Hey everyone, I just got off the phone with Concern Day. He told me the update's canceled. I'm sorry, we can all go home now. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding you, but did your heart stop for like a second? Happy 1.6 update day, everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, it hasn't officially come out yet. We are still living in a 1.5.6 world, but... It's not long now. I have to believe in my heart of hearts. For those not keeping up with the events, which I can't imagine how you're not, if you're here and you're not aware of this, then I don't know what what you're what you've been looking at all morning. But concerned ape is uh, going to post the update as soon as he wakes up and has a and has his morning cup of coffee. So we're, the the entire world waits on this one man to finish his hot bean juice. I'm excited. <laughs> so excited. I hope the I hope the mug's not too big. How's everybody doing today? I mean, I can't imagine anyone's doing that poorly given the <laughs> given given the day that we're on here. So, holy moly. Does he brew it in a keg? I have to imagine so. Like how else are you supposed to get coffee these days, right? Hey, Rudalis Srivatsa, thank you for being a member for 13 months at the Electron level, by the way. You'll be here for about an hour, hopefully it drops. I was, honestly, I, was, I wasn't even sure that I was going to be, like, early to the party like this. I thought I was going to be late to the party when I scheduled my stream for, uh, for 9 a.m. Pacific. I wasn't sure if he was going to do, like, a midnight release or what have you, but, uh... Well, and, you know, I guess we'll, we'll all get to explore it in real time together once it drops. I'm not going to be keeping an eye specifically on, like, the Steam page or his Twitter or anything like that. So I'm going to be relying pretty much on chat to, to tell me when the update does drop. Because we'll, we'll do some other stuff while we're waiting for it. Because who knows how long it's going to be. But And Tanya, I think you're being a member for five months at the Neutron level as well, by the way. You took the day off work for this? I did too. <laughs> I mean, usually I have Tuesdays off anyway, but holy moly. This is so exciting. So we have power. <laughs> you do have power, but I trust that at least one person in chat when the update drops is going to be typing all caps. The update, Argon, the update, it's out. And I'll, that's all I got to look for. As long as I can avoid any uh, any false trolls or anything like that. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, I have some ideas of what we can do before the before the update drops, but uh, but I'm just I'm just so giddy with anticipation. Like I I feel like I'm I'm worried that if like if I start doing something, then I'll just like then immediately after that it'll be like the update's out, and then I'll be scrambling to get it all done. So I'm just like, do I go? Do I wait? What do I do? What do I do? I want to drink mayonnaise now. <laughs> Clover Course, thank you for being a member for 22 months at the Electron level, by the way. Want to play Fall Guys? <laughs> Welcome on in, Leap. Welcome on in. I will I will politely decline the, the Fall Guys invitation for right now. <laughs> but hey, if you you know what? You do you. You do you, friend. Happy to see you here. Best of luck on your stream today. I don't know what, what plans you have for, for 1.6 yourself, but I know. Oh, I know. I know we're all we're all going live. The entire Stardew community is going to be live today and it's going to be <laughs> and it's going to be hard to choose like who to watch. So hey, if you're here right now, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that uh I'm glad that I've won the lottery today. I am also, I don't know, maybe not maybe a lot of people haven't started yet. How much mayo do you think was purchased overnight? There definitely was an uptick on the on the Hellman's like sales charts. Somewhere a a, may, a mayonnaise tycoon is uh his cowboy hat's popping off his head, his eyes are, are bursting out of the sockets. He's like, oh huh? <laughs> people people are excited more than anything. More than anything in the 1.6 update now. I think people are excited about the mayonnaise. For those who don't know, on Twitter, Concerned Ape has been posting non-spoilery um, patch notes for 1.6 every single day up until release, and one of those patch notes was above and above, far and away, the most popular. 
you will be able to drink mayonnaise in the 1.6 update officially. It has become a consumable beverage. <laughs> so there you go. All your mayonnaise drinking dreams have finally come true. He really wants people to use the meadow farm. That is that is the final note that he posted. Uh, was that of what the uh, actual new farm type is going to be. It, it, it kind of toes the line of being, you know, non-spoilery. Of a non-spoilery patch note, but... It doesn't tell you that much, so I'm, I'm willing to let it slide. But I will I will refrain from mentioning it too much for right now because, you know, because <laughs> some people might might consider it a, a spoiler for sure. Sal Mentz, welcome on in as well. Exclamation point, Sal. We're all excited. We're all so excited. We're, we're just, we don't know what to do with ourselves. You and me and Leap and and, ev and everyone else. I don't even know what other... Like, I know a few people are alive. Like, I know Habu is live. I know Canadian is live. I, I know there's... I mean, there's people doing things, but... <laughs> it's hard to know how to bide the time. Hanging until the update drops. What, you mean you don't want to hang out after the update drops? Do you have things to do? Come on. You can't... You can't... You can't have that many plans for when the update drops, right? Concerned Ape is online? How do you know? Wait, did he post something on Twitter? I, ha I have his Twitter open, just to be on the safe side. Nothing new yet. I don't know, maybe maybe if you can- Oh, I guess you could maybe see him on Discord, if he was if he was live, because he's like in the, uh, the Stardew server, right? Online on Discord. Yo, he's up? How many how many pings do you think he's getting from, from from random players? Being like, when's the update? Where's the update? Don't do that, by the way. Don't do that. Completely relaxed day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mean, for for want of something to do, I could we could do a little we could I wasn't planning on doing like my daily uh, Poke Doku and Puff Fertiles today, but I mean we got time to kill, right? So so why not? Traditions are tradition for a reason. Do a little dailies, just to pass the time. I'll load up a Puff Fertile. I'll load up a Poke Doku, and maybe by the time that's done, Concerned Ape will have will have consumed his coffee. <laughs> Nico, thank you for being a member, or thank you for the five gifted memberships, I should say. Thank you very much for the generosity and the support. That is uh, that is incredible. Thank you. Today is a very exciting day for all of us, and it's you can just feel it. The air is electric right now. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So yeah, I know there's like a big Stardew thing happening or whatever, but guys, do you know any water or fighting type Pokemon? Water and fighting type Pokemon? I'm gonna hit you with uh let's just can I just do polyrath on this? I've already guessed polyrath before. Water fighting. How about Urshifu? I think Urshifu Rapid Strike is water fighting, maybe? Yeah, yeah. He does definitely I don't know where the water comes in, but he is water fighting. Fighting type from Unova, easy. That's gonna be Cobalion. No doubt in my mind. Fighting type from the Galar region. How do you feel about a little phalanx? I don't even know how these guys fight. They don't have hands. Um, water ghost type. That's came me with a little frillish on this one. Frillish slash jealousy combo. We're speedrunning Pokedoku because I just know the update's going to drop while I'm typing in like Zigzagoon or something. All right. Ghost type from Unova. That's going to be easy. So easy. That's a Yamask right there. Ghost type from Galar. How about... Um, how about Yamask? <laughs> that works. All right. Um, how about a, a water type starter? Give me Sobble on this one. This Sobby boy. This Sobby Soggy boy. How about starter from Unova? Um, I will give you Snivy on this one. Easy. 
And we should go with a fire starter here, I guess. St fire fire type starter from Galar. That's going to be um, Score Bunny. I've already guessed Score Bunny at some point. Fennekin. I, I, I went fire instead of Galar. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I was so locked into the fire thing. All right, keep playing. Let's go. This is going to be Grookey, actually. Rip. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm too excited. Can you blame me? <laughs> Yamask Sweet Baby. I use the Yamask, uh, Gal Galarian Yamask slash Runerigus Runa in my actual playthrough of, uh, of Generation 8. The one playthrough I did. He's a, he's a good he's a good dude. He's got like a really weird evolution like claws though. I forget what he has to take like 50 damage under underneath an exact point like an archway somewhere. I forget. Fennekin's still one of the best. Fennekin is top tier for sure. They should have accepted it anyway. Restless Parrot, hello, hello. Alright. Onward to Puff Fertile we go. I hope I hope that this is not cursing us to have like ten new fish in in the one point six six update. I hope this isn't egging anything on. But let's see what fish we got here. It's a jumpy guy. He's jumping around quite a lot. This could be. This feels. This has heavy scorpion carp energy. Is what this is giving for me right now. This could be scorpion carp. It could be ice pip as well. It's got that kind of jittery quality to it. Maybe some sort of legendary fish, although which of the legendary fish, like, I don't think it's enough to be a crimson fish. It's certainly not a glacier fish or legend, and I think it's harder than the angler or the uh, mutant carp, so I don't know if that's the right path to go down here. I think scorpion carp is where I want to start, and then we'll go from there, if I can just catch the darn thing. Bro, master angler who? What the heck am I doing here? This is just the rest of the stream now. Just trying to catch this fish. Hope you guys don't mind. All right, there we go. That is a scorpion carp. Heavy scorpion carp energy, but not quite. Wasn't quite there. It is all season like the scorpion carp. All weather. The time is incorrect. I'm gonna go with ice pip because that was my secondary hunch here. Not quite. It is a specialty fish of some repute though. That's that's kind of what this means, because it's like all season, all weather, all the time. But it's like a really hard fish. Could it be a... I mean, it wasn't like really, really hard is the thing. Could that be a void salmon, maybe? No, no, not a void salmon. Um, it's not any of the night market fish, because they don't fit the criteria here. What about... It could be a stone... Maybe a lava eel, actually. No, because it, it would have it would have ticked on, on mines here. Because I remember all the mines fish uh, have the same location identifier in this game, I'm pretty sure. Um, slime Jack? I don't remember the Slime Jack specific pattern. But maybe. Mutant Carp. Maybe it is a legendary fish after all. Turns out it is. <laughs> all right. Mutant carp's always harder than I give it credit for. That's fair. Got there in the end, at least. Didn't X out like like nine poor souls have in the past. Mutant flounder. Yeah, it definitely didn't feel like a mutant carp, to be honest with you. Can't decide if you're nervous or you're hungry, Lisa. Why not both? I had a little bit to eat, but I was honestly like too... Do you know when you're like too excited to to eat? That's kind of what I was like this morning. I had I had enough to like fill me up for a little while, but uh, I'll probably have to go and take a break to get some snacks or something later on. Poor disrespected mutant carp. Mutant carp. He's it's definitely the black sheep of the uh, of the legendary fish. What if 1.6 introduces a new legendary fish? Could you imagine? Puffertle was a catfish for you today. I think Puffertle catfished you. Because it was a that was a mutant carp for me. Alright, I'm checking his Twitter again. P 
people are saying that Concerned Ape is live, not live, but uh, online on Discord right now. So I, you know, it's it definitely it bodes well. Like he wouldn't go online on Discord because without like it being like pretty close to the time right because he knows people are going to be eyeing that like a hawk <laughs> he know he has to know man he, he's online in discord and people are saying he's typing i'm excited he could be trolling people he has been known to troll at some sometimes in the past so Bold of me to assume he knows how to go invisible on Discord. My man programmed an entire game by himself and and all the art and music and everything in like in like C sharp without even using like an engine. Well, I don't know what that he, he used like the XNB framework, right? And you and you're telling me he doesn't know how to go invisible on Discord? <laughs> Something doesn't add up there. Something doesn't add up. Does Steam make notification noises? I don't think so. Not for not for an update. All right. Well, what the heck am I gonna do here? I mean, I can I can I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'll show you, I'll give you a we'll get, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So for those who do, who don't know, and I've sort of been kind of vague as to what my plans are for when 1.6 drops, what I'm gonna do. Um, the first thing I want to do, as I'm sure the first thing that many people are going to want to do and are going to do, is um, start a new farm on the new farm type that's going to be available, and then just explore the game from there to the best of my ability. I might, you know, depending on how, how long we go without finding any new things or what, what have you, I might have a sneak peek at the patch notes so that I can have a little bit of guidance that way, because I feel like the patch notes, they, there will be spoilers and stuff in there, but... It's not going to tell me, you know, tell us, you know, exactly everything and where to go and what to do. So, so I'll be, uh, I'll be having the patch notes handy probably once they come out. I'm going to focus on that. Um, but I also want to, because, you know, I, if I start a new farm, there is supposedly supposed to be some late game content that's being added, like quite a bit of late game content from what I'm, from what I'm understanding. Or from what I can surmise from the spoilers and the and the sneak peeks and stuff, so I'm gonna. I also have a farm that is a decent ways through the game that I would like to load into later on in the stream that I can you know use to to maybe bridge the gap instead of having to play through like the entire thing and to in order to get to like Ginger Island and that late game content we can just you know start in the midpoint cuz I'm no habu I'm no speedrunner I'm not going to be able to get there all that fast if I'm going from the very beginning so I feel like if we have a uh, a little bit of a later stage farm to go th go with and that would be a good idea You're raw raw dogging the patch notes if you're honest uh, I I respect it honestly 100% um so why don't I show you that farm? Why don't I show you that farm? It's a farm that uh, some of you may have seen in the past. I, sh I showcased it one time, a long time ago, during I think it was actually during the Price of Perfection finale, one of those one of those twelve hour streams. Um, it's a farm you may have seen before, but it has not seen some love in some time. It is not Penelope. No, Penelope's farm is really scuffed. With, with all the mods and stuff that I've experimented with on it. So so we're going with a bit more of a normal farm, a bit more back to normalcy here. So let me scroll. It is actually the oldest farm that I own. It is I have to scroll all the way to the bottom of my, of my farm files in order to see this farm. This is going to be the farm that I Wait, hold on, it's going to has to load in for a second. The OG farm from back before I was even a... I even had any idea of doing Stardew on YouTube. This is the Matrix farm starring Argon. The closest approximation to... That's 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 the closest thing you're going to get to a face reveal anytime soon. Is That's, that's kind of, you know, <laughs> an approximation of me right there. We're on day 22 of spring, year 3. We have... About seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, ninety hours played, and I have not really touched this farm in any realistic capacity since version one point three. 
version 1.3. That is that is several updates ago, my friends. <laughs> hey, Coldfish, thank you for the $5 super chat, by the way. It's a fairly nice day outside, but why, why would I walk in the park when I can watch Argon stream 1.6? Hey, you know what? 1.6 isn't out, possibly for another little while, so, so feel free to take a quick walk if you like. You can have it both ways. This is a prehistoric farm. I want to bring it up in 1.5 first. I mean, that's, yeah, I think that's what I should do, like, right now. We should pop in. Because, honestly, I don't really have the first clue of what's going on in this farm. Like, fully. There is Fishy Farm, by the way. Fishy Farm cameo. Is that Martin? Is the 1.6 update out? Not as far as I know. But we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll, let's just load in. Let's just load in and see. I have some recollection of what I've done on this farm. But not a whole lot. Oh, we have in-game music as well. Actually, I am going to be going in-game music with uh, with 1.6. So let me just pause this for right now. All right. It's out. Wait, is it out? Bo is it, Boris? Are you trolling me? The moment I loaded into this farm, is it actually out? <laughs> Bagel. We got Bagel, and we got Bojack. Oh, wait, is it really? Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, we might not get a chance to explore this until <laughs> until actually going into 1.6. Let me let me pop over to Steam for a second. I will first let me I had his Twitter loaded up. I might as well refresh that just in case there's anything there. Nothing. Okay. Um let me. Make sure I'm on this. Yeah, okay. Steam. Stardew Valley. It says it's running. It says it's up to date. I do not have an update queued or anything of the sort. It's not out. It's not out. <laughs> don't don't ban any of the liars, but, you know, we'll see. How do you refresh Steam? That's a good question, honestly. No update just yet. Okay. Totally timeouting trolls, no banning. But if you but if you troll purposefully, then then you could you could be on the receiving end of a timeout. Habu is not updating. All right, no worries, no worries. It could be an honest mistake. It could be an honest mistake. So plus, I did also troll all of you at the start of the stream, so I kind of had it coming. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. All right. Let's get back in, shall we? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this farm, dude. All right. I've got I've got a pretty decent suite of iridium tools except just a gold watering can for some reason. Iridium rod, galaxy sword. I've got iridium ore and 97 slime in my inventory, okay? I got the slime charmer ring and a glow ring. Milk pail and shears just like hanging out there. This is an this is an old farm for sure. Yeah, we got some. We have cactuses growing down here. Wait, how did I know? How did I know, man? How did I have that kind of foresight? Flower dance is coming up. <laughs> Act actual cactuses growing, and <laughs> that's that's so good. They're not watered though, because there's no there wasn't. There, I don't have any retaining soil on these things. I have to water these by hand every single day. Am I married to Elliot? Chat, I'm going to give you two guesses as to who I'm married to right now, because they, they're probably in the kitchen. Actually, you can, you can kind of see. There's there's a little pixel there that you might be able to see. <laughs> Many people probably remember, actually, yeah. That is Penny over there. Penny's hanging out. Salmons, look away. Look away. I'm going to head into town today just for fun. I'll be back in a while. <laughs> Let's do a little exploration of the farm, shall we? What's what's going on in these chests? There's a couple more couple more tools in there just hanging out. I do have a little a little baby child here, a little baby boy. I, wait, I have a tea set. What the heck? <laughs> I have I have Prairie King, but I don't have Junimo cart. That tells a story, doesn't it? I have a tea set. I've got a big old Junimo here. Who is this small child? Is Oliver right there? Apparently that's Oliver. I also have max friendship with everybody. 
So, uh, except for Leo, because I haven't met Leo, because I've never gone to Ginger Island on this farm. Ollie? <laughs> it's literally Ollie, man. Wait, you're so right. Distant cousin of Ollie. Let's see what we got going on here. I got... Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? I don't have a dresser, so I was just, I've just been putting hats and stuff in here. Hats and rings. I've got an actual just, like, chest for them. What the heck am I doing, man? Maybe this was pre-dresser. This is a bunch of strawberries. A lot of those, too. Got some oil makers here. I got a fireplace in my kitchen. I've got the furniture and, and, and wallpaper catalogs. I've got something in the something on the go there. Kids a hat rack. Coffee? I don't think I have any coffee. Well, let's check the fridge, I guess. Um I have some coffee beans. I don't have any coffee ready to go. We have it's kind of just like a quaint little farm, isn't it? This is my first farm, yeah, and this is one of the ones we're gonna be exploring 1.6 with today. Hello, Gus. Good morning. I wonder if we're gonna get like a whole just like slew of random people visiting my farm here <laughs> because of because of one point uh, or because of like there's there's a bunch of I've never logged on to this past 1.3 so we might get some 1.4 and 1.5 content here. I think this is mini jukebox cutscene, right? Yeah. He's out here stirring the pot. Dot dot dot. It's like when making a sauce. If you put in a new spice, you could ruin everything. It's so ominous. So ominous. Ah! <laughs> there we go. You'll, try to, you'll create something new and delicious. Absolutely true. Honestly, this is kind of an allegory for 1.6. There's always a chance when you add a new spice that you're going to ruin everything, but you could also make something new and beautiful. And I think we all know the way that this update is going to go. Mini jukebox, let's go. Received a mini jukebox, and I can craft other mini jukeboxes, if I'm so inclined, I guess. That was the only cutscene. Alright, perfect. Shane's got some pepper poppers for me. I got a dark sign from Krobus. I got pancakes from Gus. Oh my gosh, it's just a great day to be me, apparently. I'll eat some pepper poppers. A little get up and go here. Um, Pancakes? I honestly don't even know what to do with these pancakes. Would you like some pancakes, honey? This looks special. Yeah, I got it in the mail today. <laughs> this is not 1.6 yet. No, the 1.6 update has not dropped. Um, so right right now, I'm just showing off the farm that I plan to explore 1.6 with in some capacity. We're going to start a new farm, but we're also going to be having a bit of a later stage farm here. Look at this cute little farm, dude. There's no iridium sprinklers in sight. They're all quality sprinklers. I got a bunch of like rhubarb. What the heck, man? This is so nice. I got a little mill over here. I got a well. I've got trees and like and like and like hopper stations and stuff here. Get all this out of it. This is this is looking gross here. I got flowers. I got bees. I got I got like the whole the whole kit and caboodle here. These out of the ground, please. They're ruining my feng shui. Can I get the can I get the honey without grabbing the flowers? A little blue jazz honey. And a little tulip honey as well. I don't know why that tile is not code or anything, but maybe it was struck by lightning. Who knows? I don't see any lightning rods around here. Never mind. <laughs> there they are. Got our lovely little horse friend here as well. What's in here? A bunch of forageables. Alright. We got fishables here as well. I got. These look like loved gifts. These look like loved gifts for, for a number of people. There's also star fruit and red cabbage. I don't know what I don't know what this chest is about necessarily. Put a hat on that poor horse? <laughs> I don't think I knew that you could. Grange display? Oh, that totally is a grange display thing, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I, there's only eight things here, but it definitely could be a grange display chest just you know have it on hand sell me some honey here sell these pine cones and stuff as well don't need it i got a lot of eggs here i got the mayonnaise machines the may ma mayonnaise machines i'm ready fully stocked up and ready to drink some mayonnaise when the when the moment arrives are my skills max i believe so yes yeah we got max skills don't have all the wallet items and stuff 
need grass. I don't know what my what my silo situation is like. I do not have any grass right now. 136 out of 240. Yeah, I don't have any grass on hand. Do I have the ability to craft any grass? Bro, I can't even make my own grass starters? What the heck am I doing? What's in this shed? I just got a lovely little, lovely little emerald. I have to imagine that's for Penny. We got a bunch of fruit here. We got a bunch of vegetables here. And some ancient fruit as well for some reason. Shouldn't this be in my in this fruit chest over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that better. Need auto auto grabbers. <laughs> Maybe auto grabbers weren't a, when were auto grabbers added? This is a 1.3 farm, you have to remember. There's a crystallarium just sitting in that chest. A bunch of stuff that I can smelt, a bunch of... I have a lot of ores. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why, why, why do I have so much ore, man? Why, don't, why am I not doing anything with this stuff? You could be you could be making some, some magic happen here. Just a random crystallarium hanging out there. Back before the crystallariums would be full of jade. Absolutely true. I'm going to stick this little mini jukebox just over in the corner here. I mean, can I get, can I get shuffle? Randomize, yeah. What song did we get? I don't even hear any song. All right. Always be smelting. Absolutely. We got cheese presses. We got looms. I got milk, and I got wool. I got an. I got a barn full of all this. All the sorts of animals. I have exactly one barn. <laughs> I have mushroom cave. All is right in the world. There's no stream music. We we went in, we're going in-game music. I'm I I turned it to in-game music in preparation for 1.6 because we're going to be going in-game music during 1.6. Why don't I let the animals out? It's a good question. Let the animals outside. Let them let them roam. I need to get some grass as well. I need to get grass on the go for sure. Like two, like yesterday honestly. We got ancient fruit growing here. We got star like star fruit but not a full line of star fruit. I got fruit trees, one of each fruit tree. I kind of went for, like, one of everything around here. I got some... I got I got the slime hutch here. The dang slime hutch on the go. Hello. <laughs> Don't have a sprinkler for the slime hutch, apparently. Not bad, not bad. Can I... I can make a slime egg here. When is it coming out? Sometime today. I don't know. Is is one point six out yet? That's that's the question of the hour. I've got. I imagine lots of people in chat are checking. So I I assume to be in. I assume I'll be inundated with uh with people telling me. Got all four candles on there. I will donate two hundred and fifty dollars if you shout me out. You can't buy me, Sarah. But I respect the hustle. I don't even know what to do with myself. Let's go explore outside of the farm. I should go and get some grass starters, if nothing else. Pet the animals. Oh, I should be petting the animals. I don't have my auto petters. Wait, you're right. Hold on a second. Pet all the animals? I need to go to Pierre's, though, in order to actually get some, uh... Some stuff here. Okay, we got truffles there. Thank you. I feel like I just shoved that pig back into the barn. Junimo cart. I need the machine. Fix the boat. I do think I should fix the boat. I don't know if I have the resources to fix the boat, but uh, we can go. We can go find out. Well, we can go. We can go just exploring around and see what's what. I don't think I've completed the museum or anything. Let's have a look at my my collections and stuff here. It's kind of probably like all over the place. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the late game stuff obviously I don't have. I haven't completed even the fishing collection. How dare I? Artifacts. Decent amount of minerals and stuff. I don't think I was that focused on the collections when I was first playing. Oh, hey. 
I guess there's that. Yeah, no, never did never did that special orders board cutscene. Fair enough. Get that on lock. Let's see what is available here. I'd like to put a topaz on a chain. I think I'll pass on that one for now, Sandy. I'm already good friends with literally everybody, so I don't really have a need to to gain any friendship right now. Um, all right, buy this grass starter recipe. Like, what are we doing here? And then I'm just gonna buy like I don't know, like a hundred grass starters, just just so I have something for my for my animals to feed on. Is the update out? We're still waiting to find out. We've we've not uh, not been. I don't believe it's out yet. No. Um, let's go see about the boat situation, shall we? I don't think I've gotten any like mail from Willy for the boat, so I don't know if like I can actually go back here yet. Let's see. Can I sneak back here? It's locked. All right, so we might have to we ha might have to like sleep a day. No, it's definitely the 19th. It's def today is definitely the update day. It's just we're waiting on uh, on concerned Dave. Let the man have his time. Let him have his morning his morning coffee. He's dessert. He deserves it. Can I tell you how to get the iridium axe? You just upgrade your axe as as any other tool. You take it to Clint. You get yourself a copper axe. You get yourself a steel axe, gold axe, iridium axe, all the all the way up. It's just that easy. Didn't get the I got something interesting cutscene either. That's true, actually. That's a good that's a valid point. That is a very valid point. Plant some grass starters in this little like this little nook here. Animals are just gonna go crazy for the grass. Look at them all. They're 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 swarming. They're feasting. The hay was not good enough for them. <laughs> we got a lot of excitement in chat, I can tell. A lot of excitement, a lot of, a lot of new folks in here as well, I, I think, as well. You're w welcome. Welcome, I'm happy to have you here. It's dawning on me just how little a hundred grass starters truly is. Do I have, do I have, like, resources to make more grass starters? Do I have a decent amount of fiber? I have 576 fiber. Is that enough grass even? I know, we, we definitely need more, I think. Give me some more, more grass starters here. They go through a lot of fiber there, but that's okay. That's okay, we can always get more fiber should the need arise. 444, this is the most people I've ever had watching one of my streams. I should have expected it, I mean 1.6. It's not out yet for those who are, who are aware, or for those who are wondering. We're not there yet. You are not currently watching 1.6. You are watching what is actually probably the furthest thing from 1.6 you're going to see today. This is a 1.3 farm that we are uh, that we are sort of getting ready for 1.6. Probably comes out before 3 p.m. because that's when you start work. Concerned Ape is uh, in Pacific. Is he, he's in the Pacific Standard Time Zone. So he is, uh, you know, he's as far as far west as you can get, as far as time zones in in America, basically. Other than like Hawaii, I guess. <laughs> so we have to, and so it's earlier for him than it is for a lot of us, and so he's gonna. It, it might take a little bit of time. Oh, Alaska as well, true. Yeah, it's only nine thirty where he is right now. Check the job board under the mayor's house. I don't know if we need to do anything specific there exactly. Let's see. Um, honestly, just like sell all, sell all this stuff. I should go. I should get resources available for the boat repair. Like I don't have that much hardwood. I'm realizing I should definitely be going and taking care of that. Um. Okay, I think I can go down this way with my horse probably. Nope. All right. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Can I get rid of this bush? How, do, how does one get through here with a horse? Maybe I go around the long way. Get some mayonnaise in inventory ready to go. How are you doing, Bagel? 
been a long time. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of opportunities to make to make mayonnaise when the time arises. When the time is right. For now, we just enjoy. We just enjoy the same Stardew Valley we've we've always enjoyed. There's no reason not to continue enjoying Stardew Valley in the same capacity that we always have. Let's just get some get some hardwood, get ourselves ready for for a little trip to Ginger Island because I have to imagine Ginger Island is going to have some of the content we're going to want to see. Not all of the content, I imagine. I imagine there will be stuff outside of Ginger Island as well that's available. I'm so excited. So beyond getting the boat repaired, what else do you think we should do on this farm in order to in order to prepare to get ourselves in a prime 1.6 ready position? How will I know when the update comes out? I'm I'm basically relying entirely on chat. I miss the hardwood in the lower area. True, true. I always forget about that stuff. All right, thank you. Manoni, welcome on in. First save the farm into 1.5. I mean, we're in 1.5 right now, but I think we're, we'll probably get some more stuff tomorrow as well. Like some more cutscenes and things, so. So let's just go ahead and lock in today. Have mayonnaise in my inventory. Couldn't hurt, I suppose. Prepare a hat for the cat. We got hats ready in chests. I don't know how many, how many we have. I need to smelt some more iridium. Yeah, you're probably right. Yo, Oliver, welcome welcome on out of the crib, buddy. What are these bad boys? You got some, some fresh strawberries ready to go here. Probably not going to worry about too, doing too much with these in the form of, like, making, you know, making jams or wines or anything like that. It's the flower dance tomorrow. Don't know if I'm necessarily going to be going to that, but it is it is noteworthy, I suppose. Let's see. Oh my gosh, dude. What the heck is going on over there? <laughs> you got a bunch of chickens just standing on top of each other. I've unlocked the back room of my shop. There it is. Alright, that's what we were waiting for. Uh, flower dance tomorrow. Alright, perfect. Send those. Let's go see. Let's go see how much iridium we actually have. Oh my gosh, the truffles. The truffles are out of control. I also gotta make sure to pet my animals because I don't actually have auto petters. So, so we are. Uh, I mean, it's it's honestly understandable to not have auto petters in this 1.3 economy. Get them all petted. Sneaky little slime egg. We do have a blue chicken. It's true. It's true. Uh, oh, I didn't feel this. My bad. My bad, my little slimy friends. These, All these little black slimes. The witch has not been kind to me. I didn't put down a wicked statue of any sort. I guess I should also be, like... I guess I'll just, like, pick all these. It's like, why not? Just get them done, right? Do we know when, when the 1.6 update is coming out? It has been stated that uh, Concerned Ape, once he wakes up and has his morning coffee... We'll post the update. We'll push the update through, but who knows how true to life that it, that is exactly going to be. But I, I I trust him. I trust that it'll be out before too long. Not bad, not bad. Happy birthday to your cat, by the way, Zoe. That is a special day to have a birthday for a cat, absolutely. Alright, the fruit goes in here. All the fruit goes in there. We can make use of that when we when we so desire. Um, let's go see what I actually wanted to see, though. I have 91 iridium ore here. I can go ahead and get this smelting. That's going to be more than enough iridium bars, because I don't think I have any iridium bars actually kicking around just yet. But that should be more than enough. Um, battery packs. We need battery packs. 
for, uh, oh, it is Charlie's birthday today as well, actually. Yo, coincidence? Happy birthday, Charlie Barley. Um, and we need some battery packs. Battery packs. I don't know where those might be, honestly. <laughs> we can we can scour some chests here and see. Let's see, we got a bunch of seeds and stuff in here. Just a bunch of... I don't know why I've, I've stowed all these rare crows away. I guess I just don't have a use for them. I also have 300 hay here. Might as well fill up the silo, I suppose. I have around 90. You saw 90 battery packs in a chest? I imagine that I did have them because I see these lightning rods around here. Um, holy moly. <laughs> Does anyone want some flowers, by the way? Yo, big brain. Maybe there's... Maybe we'll be able to start our own flower market in 1.6. I'm thinking ahead with this one. Playing the long con. All right. Looking for batteries. Looking for batteries. Flowers for the flower dance. I'm the I'm the sole supplier. Maybe they're in here? I have 41 batteries. All right, good call. We got 41 batteries right there, so that's more than enough for that. So we really just need to go out of our way to get all the hardwood. Let's just bring... It's... I don't remember how many batteries specifically it is, but I can I can bring them down because I'm going to be going... I'll go down to Willy today anyway. How much hardwood is it? Is like is it like 150 or 200 hardwood, or is it just 100? I, I think I want to say it's 200 for the uh, boat repair in Dry Island. This is year three of this farm. Do not believe the exclamation point year command. That's <laughs> that's for a different thing. <laughs> it is 200 hardwood. Thank you. Thank you. At least we got an Iridium Axe to make quick work of this grind. Shouldn't be too bad. I don't know why I have, like... I, th I think I have a... A glow ring as opposed to a glow stone ring. I don't know why I'm like that. This is back when... Like, I... You have to keep in mind, I played this farm, like, back when... I first discovered Stardew Valley, and I wasn't, like, looking things up on the wiki, and I didn't have an encyclopedic knowledge of... Of so many things in this game. So a lot of things may be, may have been suboptimal decisions. I don't even know like what my what my mind situation is like, but <laughs> like if I have a chest over at the mines or anything like that. When do I expect 1.6 to come out? There's no specific designated time. I imagine it would be like morning slash early afternoon as it relates to Concerned Ape, which would be uh, he's in the Pacific time zone. He lives in Seattle. So do with that information what you will. A glimpse into the mind of baby Argon, basically. Alright, if we do yeah, if we do a little our hardwood runs for, for a few days here, it shouldn't be too bad. Ew, what's going on here? Alright. Look, we may have other things that we need to that we need to address, but like, how did I let this go by? What the heck is this? This is horrible. Who let all these trees just, like, grow wild over here? What on earth? Oh my gosh, alright. We gotta deal with this. I might not even have enough energy to deal with all this today. You can knock down a sapling with one hit with an Iridium Axe. It's a new world. The Wilderness Farm is your favorite basic farm. This is the Wilderness Farm, isn't it? Is this the Wilderness Farm, or is this Standard Farm? I honestly, it's been so long since I've played many of the other farm layouts that I don't, that I honestly don't know. <laughs> I remember going Wilderness Farm, I think, because I saw, like, I was, like, looking at all the different farm layouts, and I was like, ooh, monsters, that could be, like, a little bit of an extra challenge. And even back then, like, my entire gamer life, I've been challenge-oriented in some capacity. So... It, it even extends to then. No matter how minimal the challenge may have been of adding extra monsters to the farm, it, it appealed to me. You always turn the monsters off, though. That's fair, honestly. Wait, hold on. I gotta see what that what's going on with that tree. I think that tree is growing in the wall. Any guesses for the new festival? Uh, oh, no. There's like a little nook here. It's not actually growing in the wall. 
I have no more guesses for anything just because it's I mean today's the update we're gonna find out so much today that I don't want to guess anything and be proven wrong I'm just I'm just excited to uncover it for whatever it may be that said New Year's festival would be pretty hype but I, I think New Year's festival has been has been debunked <laughs> At least that screenshot that was that we all took to mean that it was a New Year's festival was proven to not be a New Year's festival. It was not not an actual new festival at all. It's just a showcase of some of the new possible things you can do in 1.6, I think. You have a guess? You think it will be awesome? I think that's a perfectly reasonable guess. I think that is. I think you're going to be happy with the result of that one. Farmer's birthday would be cool. I've seen some great ideas for the new festivals floating around, you know. Farmer's birthday, um, community center, like, you know, anniversary day. Actual anniversary with your spouse, maybe. I don't know. I don't think that would be, a, like, a proper festival, but maybe there'll be something, something in-game to recognize that a bit more. There are also, you know, many real-life analog holidays that uh, that could come into play. A Thanksgiving-type holiday, or a uh, or like a Fourth of July-type holiday, something like that. But honestly, I'd be down for more like just like fantastical holidays, something just made up exclusively for Stardew Valley. I think that would be cool too. Some sort of like summer version of the night market would be would be interesting, like a multi day multi day holiday, like that would be very very cool. The world is our oyster, honestly. All right, that gives me a nice bit of peace of mind here now that we now that I've gone and done that. I guess I can go ahead and like replant a bunch of these seeds. Couldn't hurt to have, you know, excess wood available. So maybe maybe that's what I was even doing over here. I honestly it's been so long I don't remember. There must have been a reason that I left all those trees there for that long though. We did get we did get a decent amount of wood out of it. Just plant a bunch of random trees. We're not we're not using this land for anything else yet, and we're not and I'm not planning on upheaving the farm quite that much anytime soon. Also, we can do better than this. You want to see the the new Meadowlands farm that's been that's been teased? I am excited to see the new Meadowlands farm as well. That was that that was the most recent. Did I just pick up eight truffles? <laughs> wait, how did I? Wait, did I already have truffles in my inventory, or did I just pick up eight truffles from from that? <laughs> There's that the the math doesn't check. I must have already had truffles in my inventory. Pigs be kind today, apparently. Yeah, I think I, I think I did pick some up earlier. I did have them. Okay, I was I was very I was like, how did I? <laughs> I've got like a super profession or something. Jeez, Louise. I am gonna start a new save file once 1.6 drops, so I can experience the new farm type for sure. But um, but I also want to have one that has some progress into the late game. Hence, this farm you're currently seeing right now. So that we don't have to play through, like, the entire thing in order to get to some of the later game content, potentially. That is my current plan. I don't know if I have a spot where I keep sap normally, but it's going in here today. Well, I do actually- I have sap right there. I had I had a hunch. I had a hunch that sap was actually down in one of those chests. I got some, some muscle memory locked in here, I guess. Look at that. I guess I could probably even be harvesting these crops, honestly, but I just kind of like the look of it right now. We don't need that much. Well, we might need more money, honestly. Have I been milking the cows? I have not been milking the cows. I haven't been. I haven't been keeping up with my with my standard farming duties. Couldn't hurt to do some of this just to just to stay ahead of the game a little bit. 
I don't know what my plans were for these crops originally, but they're going by the wayside now. Blue Grass Festival. That would go in tandem with the with the blue grass that has been teased as part of the new the new Meadowlands farm type. Yeah, for those who haven't been keeping up with the the posts concerned Dave's posts on Twitter, the the final teased patch note from 1.6 was in relation to the new farm type called uh, apparently the Meadowlands farm, and in that farm there will be um, apparently quote unquote chewy blue grass that animals seem to love that can grow there, and you also start the uh, farm with a coop and two chickens. You start, you start your file with a coop and two chickens, which seems, like, insane to me, honestly. <laughs> that seems like such, like, a crazy, like, a crazy buff to start a farm with. Like, to have a coop already built for you, that's kind of wild. Also, you can drink mayo faster. I have to believe it wasn't a coincidence. <laughs> I think, I think you're right on that, Sal. All right, I'm just going to sell all these crops, to be honest with you. I, we could process them for sure, but don't see a reason not to just get the get what money we can right now. Um, Yeah, we're good to go. I'll make sure. You know what I think I used to do, actually? Jas and Vincent weren't behaving well today. I'm still all wound up, so it's all good. Do I have an emerald for you? I don't think I gave you a gift today. I think I used to do this. I would close the doors to my to my barn and my coop, so that way in the morning I could go in, I could make sure I pet all the animals, tend to them with like my milk bucket, my shears and everything, and then I would let them outside. I think that's how I did that. It would be very funny if Mayo gave you the nauseous debuff. That's what I'm gunning for, honestly. I would be so happy if that was actually the case. <laughs> All right, we can't get any hardwood tomorrow because of the flower dance. At least, well, actually, we could get it. We just have to wait until like later in the day after the festival is done. Still no update for those wondering. As far as I know, anyway. All right. Get a few cactus fruits for the road. Don't mind if I do. The manual watering lifestyle is underrated. Excuse me, son. We are all waiting with bated breath together, it's true. I actually also think I used to do something like, I would like, put coffee into this keg. That's why I have that keg there, I think. It was like my own, like, you know, make-do coffee machine, before coffee machines were things that existed. <laughs> Okay, we can also, you know what, sure, we'll get some mayonnaise going, why not? Get me some, get me some small eggs here to turn into mayonnaise. There we go. We will have plenty of mayonnaise ready. Oh my gosh, I haven't been looking in the coop at all either, jeez louise. <laughs> my farmerly instincts have gone by the wayside. I'm so not used to just playing like as like a normal farmer in this game. But that's what I built this farm to be. It was just like, I was just a casual player. A little casual pleb. No challenges or anything to speak of. Actually, I can use some of this wool. I think the wool goes over here because this is where the loom is. I don't know why I have a single loom. I can also get some milk going, I suppose, into the cheese presses. It's like a well-oiled machine here. We should also have the, um... Yeah, 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 the iridium bars are ready to go. Love that. What is this farm? This is the first farm I ever made in Stardew Valley. The first the first one I played when I was just, like, a casual player back before I, um, started making Stardew content on YouTube. Virtually untouched since, uh, version 1.3. So what better time to bring it back than for version 1.6, right? 
All right, get these sheepies here. I should get. I should shear the sheepies as well. Shubba. Shubba is definitely a random animal name. Cha Bell. I, I just went random animal names. Boo. Boo past Argon. You're so uncreative. Capono. Jezebel. Look, they're great names. They're great names, but... I also haven't been keeping track of which, which cows I've milked and stuff. <laughs> Baby sheeps. Excuse you. Oh, Rongus doesn't have any milk. My apologies. But, uh... The, oh, the flower dance has begun in the forest. Wait, who are you? Jesus. Beth Jesus? Alright. Um... I put all, all put away all these little goodies into here. I can go tend to my slimes. Milkless behavior, excuse me. What did I do to what did I do to deserve this slander? Getting an auto grabber should be part of prep for 1.6. Honestly, yeah, I should probably just go buy auto grabbers from Marnie, right? <laughs> I don't think I knew that auto grabbers existed in 1.3, if they did in fact exist in 1.3, which I cannot confirm or deny. Why don't I upgrade the watering can? Because I don't need it. <laughs> I, th I think I just haven't needed it. Yo, mayonnaise. All right, we'll store. We'll we'll begin storing mayonnaise. I think normally I would just like sell mayonnaise, but I can just stockpile the mayonnaise in here for right now. It looks ugly. Are you talking about my gold watering can? Please don't talk about my son that way. Alright, I will sell my cactus fruit, sell all this, sell the petrified slimes. Emerald would be for Penny. I don't know if she's still home. Got a little coffee there. You alright, Ollie? <laughs> um yeah, Let me just put these just down here for right now. That's, that's my ginger island stockpile. You believe they did have auto grabbers but in 1.3, but it only worked for barns. I got you. All right. Can't wait to eat mayo. It never, it never crossed my mind just how strange it is that you could not, that you could eat void mayonnaise, but like no other types of mayonnaise, right? Like dinosaur mayonnaise, duck mayonnaise, and, and just regular plain old mayonnaise. It was we were all out of luck on those, weren't we? Never crossed my mind that just how strange that was. All right, let's go. Let's go do the flower dance just so we can, you know, get to the. I want. I basically just want to get to the secret woods that much faster. Holy moly! Is this what it's like to be productive on a farm. On a farm? Go ahead and get rid of those. Honestly, I should hold on. To, I, sh I should be. I should make some uh, some of this large milk into cheese. That way, I have like gold quality cheese as a good food source. Because I don't really have a, a good food source that I can ascertain here. So I might go that way. Have a good one there, Mrudala. Thank you for hanging out. Let's go to the flower dance real quick. We have no bananas, it's true. <laughs> I'm extremely banana deficient right now. Ooh, look at all this grass growing down here. Random wild grass, don't mind if I do. Quick flower dance mo moment. Concerned apes taking a sweet old time. I respect him doing that, honestly. Have I bought the... I do have the Tubble Flowers recipe. Good to know, good to know. I'll go dance with my lovely wife. You're nervous? Don't be nervous. We've done this plenty of times before. Thanks for going through with the formalities. <laughs> That's sweet. I didn't know she had that like, little extra piece of dialogue there. Penny enjoyers rise up. His tweet said they were, he was going to make sure there weren't any last-minute problems to solve. Did he post a new tweet? I haven't, uh, I haven't been 
checking the Twitter. Penny <laughs> enjoyers fall down. And all is right with the world. Everything perfectly balanced as it should be. Oh, that was the same one with the coffee. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So he's probably he's probably just doing a little last minute last minute check for like any like major bugs, I guess. All right, more mayonnaise on the on the horizon there. My horse. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about any of those machines just yet. I should I should have left my horse up here so I could get down a little bit faster. We should still be able to get our hardwood and get back in time. And if not, oh well, I guess I'll pass out. <laughs> Guess I'll die. Welcome on in, Grace. Hello, hello. They'll also probably spend the day cranking out bug fixes that people find. I'm excited, honestly, to, to possibly find some bugs. I've never been on the cutting edge of an update quite like this before. For, like, any game that i played. You usually, like, when a game has, like, a big update that I, that I tend to play, I, I wait, like, a few days and then, like, start playing it after there's been some hot fixes and stuff. But it's kind of an exci exciting to be on the frontier of, uh, of some possible new, new content, including new bugs. Okay, get down here. Needs to make sure he's fully rested. It's a busy day for him. It is a very busy day for him. I don't, I, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> Ima imagine being concerned ape right now. Imagine being concerned ape right now. All, all of this weighing down on your shoulders. That's, it's a lot, man. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> but he's also got one of the most supportive and incredible communities in gaming, period. At, at his back, so... He, he's got a very understanding community. Stardew has is, is fostered a very loving, beautiful, amazing community. And I'm happy to be a part of it. And I'm excited to get to celebrate that community in some capacity with all of you today. Let's get some of this large milk on the go, I think. Mayonnaise. It's, 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 it, you know what, it's entirely possible, I'm just realizing. I was talking about needing a food source. I mean... <laughs> the mayonnaise is right there, we just have to wait a little while. Excuse me? There's a purple slime back there? Oh, it's because it's, it's of the wilderness, wilderness farm. <laughs> Get out of here, you nerd. All right. Pop that back in there, and we're off to bed. Not too shabby. This house is so, like, wide open. I'm so used to the randomized perfection house, where there's, like, just, like, no room to even walk around without bumping into a random piece of furniture I picked up in year, like, 17. <laughs> It's just a clean, open floor plan. I've made so much room for activities. Got my coffee here. I should honestly hold on to some coffee beans in inventory, I think, so that I can, like, make coffee just that nice and quick. Just have a little get up and go in the morning. I know coffee on its own doesn't last that long, but... Better than nothing. You enjoy that as well. What save game is this? This is the very first Stardew save file I ever did. Good morning. Hello. Are you here to tell me about your sewing machine? <laughs> or your, like, dye pots and stuff? been here a while and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? I got my first piece of cloth! I I definitely had cloth before this. I have a loom. How could I not have had cloth before this? This just must be something that was added post 1.3. Yeah, the sewing machine was the sewing machine wasn't in 1.3, was it? Get a dresser. I should go buy a dresser. Maybe we should go definitely go out shopping today. 
Also, I'll leave, I'll leave this. We can we can reestablish this at the start of summer if we want to. What kind of seeds do I even have on the go here? I have a decent amount of starfruit seeds, actually. We could probably make use of those in the summer and then uh, go from there. Yeah, I don't think tailoring was in early Stardew. More eggies. Oh, I do have a furniture catalog. Wait, you're so right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have all the dressers I could ever want right at my fingertips. I don't even need to wait. Look at those sheep. Wait, did those sheep regrow their wool in one day? I thought... I, wait, I didn't think that sheep did that. I thought sheep... I thought unless you had that, like, certain profession, they didn't regrow their wool that fast. But I definitely... I definitely sheared them yesterday, right? Unless I'm just misremembering, which I very well could be, honestly. Um, iridium wool. Is iridium wool worth more than cloth? Do I have that profession? That's what I was looking at, but it, it does not seem to be the case. I have tiller and artisan. Which is pretty much bog standard. A little bit of gold. A little bit of truffles from Snatchly. Thank you, Snatchly. T-Y Snatch. Can I can I get the truffle though, buddy? You, wait, you can rename? What? Since when is that? Uh, man, we're not even in 1.6 and I'm learning new things. I didn't know you could just rename your pet, your animals, like, in this menu here. That's cool. All right. <laughs> I never knew that. I guess I've never had the need because all my all my animal names are just so based. Excuse me. Mella. That's a great name for a rabbit, actually. I like that. And yeah, I don't think... Yeah. Yeah, Jesus has no milk right now. Fair enough. Fair enough. More large... More, more gold quality cheese for me, please. All my animal names are amazing. Thank you. I can't. I can't take all the credit for them, though. That's gonna be. That's those. Most of these names are concerned ape originals, right here. You thought I renamed a blue chicken and randomized perfection? I don't think I did. Or if I did, then I. It was. It was news to me. All right. Such a cute little layout for this farm. It's kind of coming back to me how I did it now. It's like, you know, I'd wake up every morning, I would go like left or like right to left from like, I'd take care of my coop, my shed, my barn, my greenhouse, and my slime hush like in that order every single day. And then I would like walk on back over and then like sell any of the produce that I might have had by that, by that point. Including, we gotta, we can't forget the mayonnaise here, obviously. had this little crop field, which I honestly don't fully remember what my, like, general strategy when, when approaching that was, but... Alright, um... I don't need to sell all this, but we'll sell that. Sell that. Sell those. Honestly, sell these. This, it's fine. It's fine. And I should put away these eggs and stuff, so I can make more mayonnaise in the future. I don't have, like, vast armadas of, you know, a lot of these, like, processing machines. Like, this is the most, like, processing machines I have in any in any location around here, which is not that many by modern Stardew conventions. But it's enough to get me by. It was, it's been enough to get me this far, so <laughs> I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right. Keep the cloth. I can make clothing. True, actually. I should be keeping the cloth because there could be new tailorable situations in uh, 1.6 once that drops. Speaking of, someone had a good idea earlier. I'm going to go over to chat here. Um, the 1.6 update is not out yet. Um, it's not out yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just going to say that, and then I'll I'll pin that, and we'll we'll go from there. 
pin it. There we go. Praying for exactly seven hats. That would be amazing for you, Sal. So I hope that you get six hats. Would it be worse? Would you be more upset if you got six hats or eight hats? Is my question. For for your uh, for your hat playthrough, you're all your because uh, that would be it would be it would make such a perfect number if it was seven hats. But <laughs> I can't decide if 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 there is a one short or one over. Oh, it would be heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Eight hats would be worse. I'm trying to decide. I feel like eight hats would be better, honestly. No, maybe eight hats would be worse. I don't know. Because then, you know, maybe at least if you only got six hats, then you'd it, it, have hope in the future that you could get one more and all would be right in the world. If you get eight hats, you're full on pretending that one doesn't exist. There you go. Yeah, just ignore it. And if anyone comments about it, just be just just play dumb. That's the smart way to go. I like how you I like how you're thinking. All right, let's go down, get our hardwood for the day, and I will also pick up some auto grabbers so we don't have to worry about manual tending to our animals necessarily. Start over here. Assuming Marnie is in today. She is. Okay, thank goodness. Supplies shop. Give me off oh, 25 grand. It's still a decent amount. Two auto grabbers, that's all we need though. You're 22 today. Happy birthday, R. A lot of people have birthdays today, I'm, I'm finding out. <laughs> Maybe it's just gonna be because we have so many people in chat, so naturally there's gonna be a higher abundance of people with, uh, with birthdays today. Happy birthday to anyone whose day might be today or in and around today. I couldn't imagine a better birthday present than than an update to one of the greatest games of all time. Perfect, perfect. More people equals more birthdays. Absolutely true. Here we go. 56 hardwood. We are well on our way. I don't think there's any any way currently for us to make this uh, this hardwood grind go any quicker necessarily. So we're just gonna have to make do. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Maybe that 1.6 uh, didn't drop for me because uh, there didn't drop earlier for me because now I can actually take this time to to get the farm ready. Was the slime charmer ring in 1.3? Indeed, it was. All right. Let me go. Let's let's go stow these auto grabbers. The hundred grass starters is already getting thinned out. I should do the little trick that there that you can do where um, what is it? Like you put like fences down, and you put like grass like or you put a grass starter down, and then you put a fence on top of the grass starter, and then it spreads out. Right? I could do that for like a decent amount of grass starters. And then we'll have little like renewable sources of grass. That's a that's a standard trick you're gonna learn in like any number of you know top top twenty five tips in Stardew Valley videos on YouTube. And it's a good tip, honestly. One fence post for each animal. So if we have full coops and full barns, which I think we do, then that would be twenty four grass starters and twenty four fences. That's that's very reasonable, honestly. We should just go do that. Actually, I don't even need necessarily new grass starters. I could just like get uh I could I could just put some fences down in the existing grass starters here. Hardwood fence. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'll do some iron fences, why not? I don't have any iron fences going on around here. That's not where I keep my iron. Can't pet bagel yet. One day. I will get I'm gonna need because we need yeah we need 24 fences then we'll just do it like that. Iron fences break down too fast so you don't use them. It's true. And we 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 actually don't have like a gold clock or anything yet so we are a bit uh 
we gotta be keep that in mind actually i think i think these are hardwood fences i think that's those aren't just like normal wood fences are they surely not surely i wouldn't be that buffoonish to put down just regular wood fences in year three of this farm no way they wouldn't they wouldn't have lasted that long All right, cloth I should hold on to for tailoring purposes. Um, truffles we can just... Oh, I actually have some cloth in here already. That's good. Good to know. Lenabo. And a, and a fine Lenabo to you as well, my friend. All right, I should grab all these as well, just for posterity's sake. I can't get over how, like, cute this farm is. That's just the word that keeps coming to mind. It's just such a cute farm. <laughs> okay, do I have the syrups and stuff in here? I do, yeah. They're all they're all just stacked in there. I think I'm going to wait for all the animals to go inside. And I think I will go buy some more grass starters if I can, if I can get to Pierre's in time. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to buy some, and that way I can set up the grass starters precisely how I want them, more or less. Hop on in here. It's Farmer Argon. That feels so weird to see <laughs> compared to like Farmer Chloe or Farmer Beatrix or anything like that. Farmer Argon. All right. Buy me 25 grass starters just because it's easy to do easy to do it that way. You slept on the beach farm. It's far better than you expected before trying it. I mean, the idea of no sprinklers on the beach farm definitely turns away a lot of people, I think. But once you can kind of get used to that, and there are some areas, or like at least one area where you can use... Um, where you can use the the sprinklers. Once you, once you get over that hurdle, it's not so bad at all. I'm going to clear this all out so that I can... I, can, I want to sort... I want to make this nice and pretty. Do we do? We could just do like a fence, like a fence, like all along here. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this necessarily. I, I feel like fences in in and amongst here is is the right is the right play. How many tiles do I actually have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It was meant to be. But I could just I could just put like a, a fence like right along here. And we'd have we'd have one for every so we so we could just do like that. Hold on. Close these. Actually I guess I can leave them open. All the animals are inside now anyway. Just do actually I could maybe do it along like Along like that area might actually be better now that I'm looking at it. Just like along like the bottom part of there. Well, no, because then it wouldn't really spread up, would it? Okay. We'll do it like this then. Like so. And one. And one for the road right there. Perfect. Do a little something like this now. You can't get past the fence? You can't get past- that's illegal! You can't get past my iron fence? It's iron! It's too strong for you and your iridium- like, seeing an iridium bat on your- on your farm is actually kind of scary. <laughs> get this guy out of here, man. Holy moly. Free iridium ore is never a bad thing, though. Just gotta wait around for- for a few hours every day, and you too could be the proud owner of some iridium farm. Or some iridium ore, courtesy of your wilderness farm. Update is not out yet, as far as I am, as far as I know, the the pinned message remains true. Iron kills vampires and thus bats too. As far as I know, iron doesn't kill vampires. Maybe like an iron steak, but I usually hear of like a wooden steak.
personally, I'm, fan, I'm a fan of a medium rare steak myself, though. Hardy har har har. All right, get this going for tomorrow morning. Anything else I should be doing? I don't need to be hauling around this this slime. I got. I just got to get into a good rhythm here. I got to get into a good rhythm with this farm, and once we do, then it's over. It's gangbusters. I got four mayonnaise just chilling in my inventory. All is right with the world. I can actually get... Some, no, don't put the coffee there. Put the mayonnaise there. I should probably move all this stuff now, actually, just to the auto-grabber, right? We don't really need this chest out here if it's going to be... We'll, we'll leave it solely as a mayonnaise chest. <laughs> Man, this truly is, this truly was destined to be, oh, I can't, I can't even open the auto grabber. Okay, we'll open it tomorrow then. And I'll just, I'll just sort that out tomorrow. This truly was destined to be the one point, the 1 1.6 farm though, if we have a chest exclusively for mayonnaise. Atomic Diamond, thank you for being a member for two months, by the way, at the Electron level. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for entertaining 686 viewers while we wait. Well, I'm not even keeping an eye on the viewer numbers. That is mind-boggling, honestly. Thank you all for joining me while while I prepare for 1.6 here in whatever capacity I can. I'm sorry I don't have anything more, more entertaining to show you, but honestly, I think we're going to be happy when everything's said and done that we've done this. Made the bed and everything. You're so sweet, Penny. Thank you. All right. Um, we'll put away all that in the auto-grabber tomorrow morning. Off to bed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there's something. Add this to the uh, things to complete pre 1.6 here. Little missing bundle moment. Ooh, woo. What's this? Do I even have the stuff necessary to make? Or to complete that missing bundle is my is my question now. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I've seen any prismatic shards kicking around. I don't have any dinosaurs for dinosaur mayonnaise. I don't. There's you know, we might we might be a little might have to do a little bit of uh, of journeying in order to actually complete that one. Have a good day, Penny. Take that for the road. Um, get some more coffee on the go. Coffee in the pot. Alright. What do we got for mail here? Oh, thank you. Green mushroom. I should be checking the mushroom, uh... The mushroom cave, I suppose, too. Although, honestly, as far as, like, you know, all the stuff we got going on here, the mushroom cave is kind of small potatoes these days. Okay. There we go. Now we'll fill this up and fill it up with all the other eggs and coop accessories that we have gathered. Sort that out. And I'll grab some eggs just for... Oh, I should pet the animals too, huh? Because I, I, I do have the auto-grabber now, but not the auto-petter. That is an important thing. It, it, still, it saves a lot of time, the auto-grabbers, but... Okay. More mayonnaise, please. 20 mayonnaise and counting. <laughs> How much mayonnaise do you think we can get up to before 1.6 drops? Maybe that's the maybe that's what we need to be experimenting with here. All right, I should do the same with this auto grabber. Is a uh, okay, there is stuff in there so I can start moving start moving these over. Open this back up, please. Get some milk into the presses here. Do I have any other large milk that's non-iridium quality? I do not. That's honestly a good sign. But fill a chest with mayo speed run. <laughs> I think we might I think I'm hoping that 1.6 will will drop before that even becomes a remote possibility, but I guess you never know. Alright. Don't really need the shears or the milk pail anymore, to be honest with you. Just store them in here for the time being. If I'm gonna if I have auto grabbers and stuff on the go, then that should be totally reasonable. There we go. One mayo per viewer, maybe. That might be more reasonable, I guess we'll see. 
Ooh, blue slime egg. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of thank yous, oh my goodness, Atomic Diamond, thank you for 10 gifted memberships to the community. Thank you so much. The generosity is incredible and appreciated. That is, that is, that is awesome. The 1.6 hype train drives ever onward. Thank you so much. If you were gifted a membership by Atomic Diamond, please use your first Argon-based emoji to thank them personally. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you. That is, that is incredible. We got such a great community here. For those who might be new, who might just be tuning in for the, for the 1.6 hype party, I welcome you in with open arms. You find yourselves amongst some of the, uh, some of the kindest, greatest people that the Stardew community has to offer. And we, and everyone and anyone is welcome. As long as you know you're kind and... Honestly, I mean, it's kind of the crux of it. If, you, if you're if you kind and you sort of follow the rules and you and you play nice, then... Then we can have a lot of fun together. Happy to have you here, everybody. Alright. Let's, um... Put this away. Jay Nuggets, thank you for being a member for 22 whole months, by the way. Almost two years at the Electron level. <laughs> Welcome on in. How's everyone doing? I think everyone is just giddy with anticipation right now as as 1.6 is on the horizon. It's not out yet, but it's uh it's not far off, I have to believe. Alright, sell all those. Let's head down to get some hardwood. Is there anything else I need I should be doing in the interim while we are waiting for hardwood? Or while we were waiting for uh, 1.6 here. Yeah, for those who might be wondering like what the rules of the stream and stuff are, there is a breakdown in the description below. So, pretty basic stuff, but but just in case. Traveling merchant. There's no moratorium on the traveling merchant around here. I can I can shop here all I want. Not that I need to apparently. Yikes! That is a that is a gross <laughs> that is a gross inventory. Yeah, no swearing in chat. We we are a PG-13 stream. Airing more on the PG side than the 13. Concerned Ape said in Discord, get ready. Melon J, is that true? You are a member? You are a noted member of the community? I have to believe this is not a troll. Could this be, you know, like, final warning? All right, <laughs> yeah, get ready, get ready. I guess, per habu. Okay, get ready. Not since the legendary phrase "Iridium Scythe" have two words shaken the Car Stardew Valley community so far, and so hard. Get ready. <laughs> We've been ready, man. We've been ready. Come on, rip off the bandaid. Let's do this thing. I'll go get some... I guess I'll go pick up some honey in the meantime. <laughs> oh, I can sneak through this this side with my horse. Not all the way, though. Sorry, Bojack. Next two words, let's go. Let's go! That's speculation, by the way, as far as I understand. It's not, not, he didn't actually say that. <laughs> keeping an eye. I'm keeping an eye on my, because I have, I have his Twitter open in a separate tab. I'm waiting for it to say, like, you know, open parentheses one, close parentheses, to notify me that there's, like, one new tweet <laughs> that I need to be, that I need to be aware of. Thalita, welcome on in. You say greetings from Brazil, greetings from, from Canada, back at you. All right. The mayonnaise empire continues to grow. Get some more mayo on the, on the double here. I need four more jars of mayonnaise, stat. The people demand it. And I'll get some more cheese and stuff on the go as well. Couldn't hurt, right? So 
such a humble little farm we have going on here. Cecilia, greetings to you as well. Alright. Bagel's doing exercises over by the TV. I respect it. We are at 68 hardwood and climbing. We gotta, we gotta hurry this train up. I think we just start going to sleep. I think we go get our hardwood pretty much every day. And, like, I'll, I'll go pet the animals and stuff just to make sure they're well tended to. Then we just go get our hardwood. I've got, I've got, you know, a, f a few chores to take care of daily here, but the hardwood should be, first and foremost, the, mo the most important thing. Give it at least an hour before the update comes out. I mean, if Concerned Dave's saying, get ready, who knows exactly what that means. All I can really glean from that is that he is, you know, he's working on it. <laughs> He's getting himself ready. Ooh, Sandy, give me a cactus fruit. Thank you. Don't mind if I'd take that. I should be drinking my coffee as well. Drink the coffee. Did I put more coffee on the pot? I did not, I did not put more coffee on the pot. That's on me. Put this, like, right here, just so it's easier to remember. Concerned Ape is mentally preparing. I don't blame him. He can, he can take all the time he needs. We'll have we'll have fun one way or the other here. We'll make we'll make it work. Even if even if 1.6 doesn't drop until you know, until like the, for like another few hours, we can, we still got time. We got time. We got ways to spend that time. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I booked the day off. We got uh, we've got an open schedule here. I may have to leave at some point to get some some snacks. That's about it. <laughs> All right, pet the animals. Don't forget, pet them with a nice silken touch here from this cloth. Let them cook. Absolutely. I hear some truffles on the go as well. Where's Truffle Town? Right up there next to the greenhouse. I see it. Grab some of these, one of those. Not an optimal design, maybe not maybe not the design I would have gone with, you know, these days as far as you know farm layouts go, but it's getting the job done, you gotta admit. It is getting the do job done. These slimes are also happy to see me. Look at look at how many how they're rushing to hug me. Surely it's to hug me and not to, you know, not to feast upon my bones. I remember I do this. Any, anytime I get a hundred slime, that's what that chest is for. We, we stockpile the slime until we get enough to turn it into a slime egg. And then you sell the slime eggs because they're actually worth a decent amount of money. That's how you make money off of a slime hutch, at least in my opinion. Keep the coffee flowing, please. Maybe if I drink enough coffee, then I can match Concerned Ape. Because he needs to drink his coffee, too. If I drink, if we all drink coffee together, maybe we can minimize the amount of coffee that he needs to drink. That's the only thing that makes sense, right? In this strange, twisted world. Throw a little, little of that in there, why not? All right, I'm off to the secret woods. Honestly, the one thing I'm very glad about this farm is that we don't have to worry about getting any extra friendship with anybody, uh, except like Leo, if we if we if we need to be friend people. Um, and I don't need to worry about, like, leveling up any of my skills. We're, we're max in both of those capacities, and that's a pretty good starting point, because those are some pretty hefty grinds if you don't have those done. 
I don't know if any of those will necessarily be, you know, important for the 1.6 content. That remains to be seen, but it's better to have them than not, right? Once we do, once the 1.6 update does drop, by the way, I'm n I obviously I'm gonna be starting up a new farm, like I said. I do have one very specific exact idea for the first action I'm going to take once I drop into that farm. There's there's one thing that I'm gonna do before anything else after we make that farm. Can you guess what it's gonna be? <laughs> You don't you probably don't have to think you don't have to think too hard about it if you're if you really think it's something you can do like without even like leaving the the opening house, honestly. Chug a mayo. That will come in time, but you can't do that immediately, immediately after. It's something you can do the moment you load in. Hollis, you're right, you're on the right track there. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're absolutely pausing instantaneously and popping over to the collections tabs, and we are gonna be scouring these for for any possible any possible new things to look at. We'll have new silhouettes surely in the shipping collection. I am very I'm very nervous to check the fish collection when it actually drops, but it has to happen eventually. So so might as well rip off that bandaid very very early. You know, aside from patch notes, that's probably the quickest way to discover, you know, where new content might be lying is, is via the collections pages. More mayonnaise, please. More mayonnaise. I could get, you know, we'll get some duck mayonnaise. We'll get some duck mayonnaise as well. We'll experiment with the different types of mayonnaise. I don't have access to dinosaur mayonnaise currently, but we can probably make that happen at some point. Um, I also don't need the... Don't need this. Sorry, Rongus. I'm trying... Oh, actually, I don't need to get in the chest. I just need to get in here. If I try and redo the challenge, I'm telling your mother. Look. Is it 100% guaranteed that if I, uh... That if that if there are new fish in 1.6, that I will redo the Master Angler Challenge where I caught every single fish in one day. No. No, it's not guaranteed. But I mean, you know me, right? You guys know me. Any most people, I mean, a lot of people here know me anyway. Know my tendencies, so you know, I say no that it's not guaranteed. But how much? How far are you willing to actually believe that? It depends. I will say it depends on, you know, how many fish are added. <laughs> if he adds a hundred fish, you know, all bets are off. All right, we're good to sleep, right? Everyone say hi to the man in the moon. He's, he's, this is my face when Stardew Valley 1.6 doesn't drop within the one hour time frame of my stream starting. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, I gotta take a quick hydration break here. When is mobile? When is 1.6 coming to mobile? It's, um... No need to spam. No need to spam. Straight white male. <laughs> um... It won't be as long of a wait for 1.6 as it was for 1.5, as is is what uh, I believe Concerned Ape says on on mobile specifically. Beyond that, I don't think we have any confirmed details about when it's going to come out on mobile. But I believe he said he's taking steps to make sure that uh, that it's not going to take Chili to Argon. Is that what she, that's so cute? How can people not love Penny, honestly? How long was that? For 1.5, it was a very long wait for for it on mobile, so. 
so less than very long. I, I don't know how long. It was, was it like multiple years for 1.5 on mobile? Just a year and a half. Okay, okay. That's actually not as bad. I remember, you know, 1.5 on mobile being like a major point of contention for a lot of people, but but 1.5 years in terms of, you know, like in terms of games, it's not not the end of the world, honestly. And if 1.6 will come out even faster than that, then then that's just hunky dory, isn't it? A little bit of duck mayonnaise. It's a rich yellow mayonnaise. Do you think duck mayonnaise is going to have different quality? I mean, like, how... Do you think duck mayonnaise is going to be better than regular mayonnaise as far as, you know... I wonder... If, they'll probably just give you, like, energy and health and stuff. They're probably not going to be any that exciting, but maybe they'll give you, like, special mayonnaise buffs. I don't know. <laughs> Anything is possible these days. Concerned Ape is kind of a... He's a wild card. I'm going to load up on some more just, like, regular mayonnaise here. Duck might give you a perk. What if, like, duck mayonnaise gives you, like, you know... Doesn't have to be anything crazy. What about just, uh, like, plus one farming or something like that? Hollis L., thank you for becoming a member at the Electron level, by the way. Thank you very much. Enjoy your new fun emojis and your sword. Careful you swing that thing. Thank you, thank you. Duck eggs have more protein, so it would make sense. Valid point, honestly. Very, very valid point. Duck mayonnaise makes you quack. New emote unlocked. Forget about forget about slash jar. It's all about slash quack now. That's what all, all the cool kids are on about. Maybe it's already in the game. Slash quack. Slash jar. Wait, is it slash emote jar? There you go. That's how that's how you get this that one. So you gotta do slash emote quack. Nope. No, they're giving me they're giving me the list of shame. They're like, no, you didn't pick one, so here's here's a list for you. <laughs> Fair enough. Have I considered exercising my slime hutch? Like, what, getting rid of it? It's it's serving me so... Look at all the slime and stuff I'm getting. I'm getting all this petrified slime. I'm getting, uh... I don't have quite enough to make another slime egg yet, but we have a slime egg in inventory. We're making money. We're making... We're making lots of green off these, uh... Off the slime eggs. And not just because the slime eggs themselves are green. New items equal new tailoring options. That's that's definitely something to look forward to for sure. That's why I want to save some of this uh, some of this cloth. Sarah, I do see you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a shout out for five hundred dollars, and I would kindly ask you to stop uh this stop to stop spamming it, please. Can't enable slow mode for chat. I just did. I mean, I said your name, but that's not really a shout out. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I can definitely do. I think I have like. Let me see. Let me see what slow mode might might look like here. Slow mode in chat because we do have a lot more people than we're used to having in the stream. That's for sure. Let's see, slow mode, customization, slow mode. I currently have the slow mode, like the time between messages put set at two seconds. I can definitely bump that up. We could do, we could do like 10 seconds between messages. We'll, 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 I'll go with 10 and we'll, we'll see how we feel about that. We could go, we could go longer for sure. Depending, I I don't know. I've never really had to mess with slow mode before, so. Yeah, ten second ten seconds seems pretty reasonable to be able to like prevent spam and let people like get their people get their uh, 
their words and stuff in. All right, back into here. There we go. You want the update? You and me both, Cecilia. You and me both. I'm happy to continue just playing Stardew. Base, basically just Stardew 1.5. <laughs> I mean, I played it for a long time already. I'm going to play it for a long time to come. Update or no, but... 45 minutes per Discord. Higher Ginger Bree, is that true? I'm, take, I'm taking, you know... I, there's There's been a lot of people saying things, but... If someone with, like, a green name who's, like, a member and I recognize their name and they've been around for a minute, if they're saying something, I definitely take notice of that. Concerned J. Does that mean... Is that is that supposed to be Concerned Ape? <laughs> Concerned Ape. C today at 10.47 a.m. Um, I have to imagine that specific time, so that was about two minutes ago. Stardew Valley 1.6 will release in approximately 45 minutes. 45 minutes confirmed in Discord. I'm seeing a few people say it. Mel and Jay is saying it as well, who who said it before. Alright. I mean, I'm I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. 45 minutes. That's our deadline. That's our cutoff point. Can we get another 120 hardwood in 45 minutes and at least get to get the boat to Ginger Island unlocked? Remains to be seen. There is also some new... Um, from the 1.6, like, teasers and screenshots and stuff, there is new content relating to the JoJo route in 1.6, like, late-game content. Like, after you uh, complete JoJo Mart, then, like, there's some stuff later in the game available to you. So I don't know if we want to, like, you know, try and go JoJo Mart in, in our new file that we end up starting up today. Just so we can see that. I'm, there might be new content relating to the Community Center route as well, for all I know. Is this my old save? This is my old save, yeah. This is, like, the first save I ever I ever played on, basically. Allie, welcome on in. Good to see you, good to see you. Chat's, chat's being very good. We got, I mean, we got a lot of first-time first, first -time people in here, a lot of excited people, for sure, so the, the, the excitement is palpable, but, but, but overall, it's been just, you know, a lot of positivity, a lot of excitement. It's, it's just a big old party in here right now, more than anything. Very, very exciting. Alright. Um, we're up to 92 hardwood. So that's... So I need... I need yeah, 120. So I need nine, nine more days of hardwood collection. And that'll get us to the 200 we need for the Ginger Island boat. That is probably the way to go. Honestly, I think I'm just going to knock that out. I'm going to... I'm going to forego... I'll, I'll, I'll go in and I'll, like, pet all the animals and stuff, which I actually don't think I've done today. I'll go in and... I'll go and pet all the animals, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna necessarily go to my way to, like, be checking... Like, collecting all the produce and stuff. We'll... We'll make... We'll make a quick work of this. Because 45 minutes can disappear very quickly. When it comes to... When it comes to Stardew Valley. Okay. Let's grab some... I'll grab some large eggs. Just have these ready to make some extra mayonnaise, because I feel like people would not forgive me if I didn't at least continue on the mayonnaise grind. <laughs> we'll keep going that way at least, and then everything else is uh everything else can go by the wayside for the time being. I will plant some summer crops tomorrow though, because tomorrow is the first day of summer, so we might as well take care of that. Oh, there's also going to be, like, debris tomorrow, I'm just realizing, because we don't have a gold clock or anything, so, like, the first day of any season, there's always some debris to clear off the farm. I apologize, but I'm, pr I'm probably going to have to do that just for my own peace of mind. <laughs> Mayo grind never stops, ain't that the truth? Jay Foros, thank you for becoming a member at the Electron level, by the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate the generosity. And Tree Tream, thank you for being a member for five months at the Electron level. Happy 1.6 day to you as well. Not much longer now, according to Concerned Ape on Discord, based on reliable sources. Less than 45 minutes until the update drops, which is just, like, mind-boggling. We've been waiting for so long for it, and the fact that it's less than 45 minutes away is, is kind of, like... Like, today doesn't really feel real yet. <laughs> once once we're actually playing in 1.6, maybe it'll start to feel more real. But for now, it still seems like just like such a dream. 
It just, it feels like, you know, like a fever dream more than anything else. All right, we are officially in summer. Whether on this farm or on the new farm that we start as well, by the way, we are definitely going to have to get to winter today. Because, I mean, if you think this stream is going to end before we see the winter outfits for the for every single villager in this game, you are sorely mistaken. I am super looking forward to that. I feel like in the wake of a lot of the, like, the 1.6 Discord that, discourse, that's like been flying under the radar a bit more than usual. But, the, but there are going to be new winter outfits for everyone in 1.6. And that is going to be just, like, amazing, so... So get hyped for that. <laughs> Mermadium, thank you for the $5 super chat, by the way. Thank you, thank you. This is your first stream to attend because you just finished all the Price Perfection VODs. Yo, perfect timing. Perfect timing. You're usually a 7. 7's seven in chat for the lurkers, please. If you are lurking this stream, just lurking and enjoying yourself, just all I ask of you is post a single 7 in chat. So that I know you're here because we respect our lurkers. They are the lifeblood and the backbone of the stream. And I'm happy to have you here. I, I imagine there's a lot of you here today as you, you know, as, oh my, oh my gosh, I can't even name all the sevens. Look how there's so many people. Look, look, Liz Shooty, uh, Liz A, Xavia, Mushy Ginko, Floral Fjords, Jerry Van Hove. Oh my gosh. Uh, Marshmallow Opossum. There's so, that was just like a wall of sevens. <laughs> I've never seen so many. Lurkers, thank you so much. Bex W. Uh, Mia Marie. Uh, Jake Six. Goose. Laura. Oh my gosh. Delilah. Scoria. Arus B. Renanda. Oh, there's so many of you. So many. Thank you to everyone who is lurking today and enjoying the stream. You are, you are just as, as valuable and appreciated as any active chatters. I appreciate that you're here to enjoy to enjoy the 1.6 festivities alongside everybody else. Seven is a salute. Oh, seven is a salute. Seven is just, you know, for fun. You can see it as a salute as well, though, I guess. Thank you, Lewis. Yeah, look at this. Look at this cursed debris. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. It is terrible. That's the, that's the true benefit of the gold clock is, is not having to, you know, be faced with this, like ramshackle farm every single season. This is, this is just awful. Yo, Dawn Time, thank you for the five gifted memberships as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are, you guys are being so generous today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. If you, if you've been gifted a membership today, please use your first emoji to thank the person that gifted you the membership. It would, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna put a stone in front of that door. That's just that's just so rude. Someone is making coffee. Concerned Apes got his coffee on the pot. I can smell it. You smell that? That smells, smells like fresh espresso. Just about ready to go. Oh, I can't clear these without the scythe. Okay, that is that is noted. Yo, thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate that. All right, we got to plant more flowers today as well. More flowers. We, get, we just need more more crops, more flowers, and then we'll be set for summer. And then we can just keep on going. I'm actually gonna leave those. I'd like to. I'd like to get these tappers like back in sync with each other. Not that it's probably gonna matter for for most of us. Oh, I can't clear this out anyway yet. Making coffee, coffee. Latest tweet by by concerned ape himself. He's making coffee, making coffee as we speak. Oh my gosh, I hope it's the I hope it's the best tastiest coffee he's ever had. I forgot. Oh, this makes gold star mayo. I forgot that we ate gold star mayo with large eggs for some reason. That's good. That's good. We want we want pristine mayo. We want to be able to compare all the different varieties of mayo when we get the chance. So, so that is good to see. Okay, um, let me grab my scythe, and we'll we'll get this show on the road here. Drink the mayo. I will when I get the chance, but it's it's not available to me just yet. Mayo tier list. Okay. Get all this out of here. Could put some fertilizer down as well, but... Honestly, I'm too I'm too excited these days for for fertilizer. Okay. 
Got that. Um, I have, I have some, like I said, some starfruit seeds here. And we can do like this. Get the fields all nice and ready. I'm also very excited. Yeah, no, there's just like, like I'm just out here just randomly hoeing some fields, and it's like, you know, who who would think, based on what you're seeing right now, that we're about to experience like one of the most exciting days in Stardew Valley history. The 1.6 update is so so near. We can almost taste it. I can almost taste that nice, thick, eggy mayonnaise. Didn't even need to do that, but just, just just a little extra. There we go. Perfect. All right. Um, excuse you, Tanabella. I'm gonna need you to move so I can plant some. Well, I'll plant. I'll start planting the star fruit on the side here. That's fine. But I might need you to move later on. We're not gonna have enough star fruit here, I think, to fill up the entire field. Certainly not. I can just go buy more star fruit seeds, though. I'll probably just go all star fruit here. So that was 61. That got us like or one, two, three, four away from uh, from a full side there. So it'd be 65. So we need to basically need to go buy 65 seeds for this side and four more for this side. Someone want to do the math on that one? Tell me how many how many seeds we need. How many star fruit seeds do we need? 65 plus four. It's too hard of math. I can't do it. That's uneven. Well, it's because I started with uneven amounts of seeds. I started with 61. 69? Nice. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop some truffles away in there. Should go check my slime hutch as well. Um, actually, I'm going to go to the desert before we... Because uh, I don't have a desert obelisk here, so I actually have to take the, the normie way to the desert to buy my 69 star fruit seeds. I have to pay. I have to pay my way. So not used to that. <laughs> you didn't know you could like a live stream? You learn something new every day. Chat, I need to test this because some in, in YouTube videos, I don't know how long this has been a thing, but I've seen when I'm watching a YouTube video and someone says subscribe, the subscribe button beneath the stream or the video or whatever, actually just beneath the, the video, it like glows rainbow for a second. Does it do that when I'm streaming? If I say subscribe, is there like a little like rainbow border that goes around it? I don't know if it happens live or not, but it, I've seen it recently on like actual videos. No? You've never seen it? It doesn't happen every time on, on videos that I've seen. All right, hold on. Five, 69, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't happen every single time, but I have I have decidedly seen it. Say subscribe again. There you go. You have to cue it in editing. I don't know if you do, because I feel like I feel like people have been caught off like I've seen videos where people talk about it too and they've been like caught off guard by it, so I don't know. Yeah, it might it might be a video exclusive thing. I, it's definitely a thing though, like I've seen it. Oh my goodness, Salmons! Thank you for becoming a member at the Neutron level, by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're off. All right. Have a good one there, Sal. Enjoy your stream as well. I know you're going to be streaming and going over the patch notes yourself once the once they're available and out. Enjoy the rest of your, your 1.6 celebration day. Thank you very much, by the way. Appreciate you. Take care. All right, let's go plant the rest of our starfruit seeds here. If anyone is inclined to to leave for Salmon's stream, I don't blame you. There's there's no ill will, no matter who you want to watch, as far as you know, Stardew streamers go today, or or if you don't want want to watch anybody at all, you want to just experience it for yourself. I I hold no grudge. I'm just I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> You're ride or die. I appreciate that, Dragonic Moon. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> 
Perfect. Exactly the right amount of seeds. Now we just need to water it all. Probably should have upgraded to an iridium watering can. <laughs> but we'll make we'll make it work. We only need to water like once a season, so like it's not really that big of a deal. Just do it like this. Just have all the streams open at once. You woke up and chose chaos today, I see. I respect it. Yeah, Haboo's also been streaming. I know is going to be doing a uh, perfection speed run, I believe, as soon as 1.6 drops. Or at least going to be starting it. I don't know if he's going to like do the full thing today, because isn't that like a 20 hour plus speed run? Like 22 hours or something like that? So, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what kind of plans he's got, but... Uh... But it'll be interesting to see to see 1.6 from a speedrunner's perspective as well. Leap is streaming. Charlie also went live. Everyone's going live today. There's probably lots of people live over on on Twitch as well. You know your 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 Lee Chatons, your uh, a twenty something losers, Joe TG, Algorithm. I don't, there's there's got to be so many people. So many people going live for, going live today. So thank you for indulging me with your with your patronage. All right, I think we're good as far as like crops and stuff go. Oh, I did, I, did, I wanted to plant more flowers today. Wait, I might have more flower seeds. I have like a chest full of flowers, so I can possibly get some seeds from there. Poor Algo, more stuff to collect. Hey, you know, he knew what he was getting into with a long form challenge like that. It's not it's not his first update since starting the the 999 collectathon. I imagine he's probably like excited to be able to add new things to his collection. Um, let's see. Flower seeds. I do have some flower seeds here. I've got poppy seeds and fairy seeds. Poppy seeds and sunflower seeds. I guess I can I can use both of these. This should be enough probably enough to fill up our our areas down here. Oh, I also I forgot I, I actually do need the scythe still for to clear out the dead flowers that are down here. Carolina Alaniz, thank you very much for the uh, for the fifty fifty dollars as well, fifty Mexican dollars. Greetings from Mexico. I'm gonna drink so much mayonnaise, I'm gonna puke. I am very excited. I'm very excited for you. Please, like, keep it keep it in Stardew. Drink the mayonnaise in Stardew only. You've been warned. I, I don't think you know doctors recommend drinking mayonnaise in real life, but drink drink mayonnaise to your heart's content in Stardew. And thank you for the generosity, by the way. <laughs> Take it from someone who's had a sandwich that exclusively consisted of mayonnaise in the past. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. I promise you. <laughs> you think you want to do it for the memes? You don't want to do it. You're welcome to try, though. You are welcome to try. Not the mayonnaise sandwich. That's an old story. Little sneaky fire bat Hank coming on in. Stay away. I don't want don't want anything to do with you. Alright. You, you, you want some too? Fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna put down we'll start with the sunflowers here. Sunflowers for some sunflower honey. And we actually might be able to do like half and half here. Yeah, not bad. Not too shabby. Actually, I think I can plant one more here, maybe, or down here. No, I think it's okay. It's all... Alright, that's perfect. Covers our bases right there. Drink 999 mayonnaise in Stardew Valley. The newest speedrun sweeping the nation. The 999 mayo speedrun. Unironically, I think that there could be the birth of a new speedrun with 1.6, like drink mayo percent or something, something like that. Because it honestly, like, especially with the Meadowlands farm, where you start with, uh, where you're going to start with a coop and two chickens, that's not going to take that long to get some mayonnaise. It really is not. Let's 
one chest full of mayo. That's going to take a little while longer, probably. <laughs> Speaking of mayo, let's make sure we get that. I also don't think I've done my hardwood run today, actually. I've been so distracted with everything else. But that's just kind of how the first day of any season goes. I'm trying to find where I like put bat wings and stuff. I think they're probably, yeah, right here. Okay. Spooky. And I should grab that, uh, that emerald as well. Can't believe people have forgotten about big chests. I haven't forgotten. Do you think they're going to be available, like, right off the bat? Probably not, right? You're probably going to have to unlock them in some capacity, because, like, what would be the point of having, like, regular chests if, uh, if big chests were already just, like, right there? All right. Also going to be fixing the, the hitbox from... So, so doing it like this and fighting a monster from above isn't as as perilous as it once was. A little bit more debris to clear, but that's okay. Which farm is this? This is the uh, wilderness farm. Donnelly got a pretty good layout. It's got a decent amount of land for, for farming. If you can contend with the spooky monsters. All right. Shed of mayo. Big chest is a community board reward. That could be. There could be like a new special orders request that uh, that unlocks it, similar to the stone chest. There's also going to be the big stone chest, though, right? He he did confirm big stone chest as well. Maybe you unlock like both recipes from the same source or the same quest. Maybe there's like some extra like you know exclusive content at the end of the game where you can unlock multiple rewards and stuff like that. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to find out. Cheese resource rush. It could be a uh, like a walnut room thing as well. I feel like put, putting like locking late like big. Oh my god! I forgot that that could happen. <laughs> I forgot you could get serpents on your farm. Actually, all right. I'm not scared. You think I'm scared of you? Get out of here, dude. He dropped me a rabbit's foot. It's my lucky day, baby. <laughs> That's the power of the wilderness farm for you. I'll put, I'll plop that away in my, uh, in my auto grabber here. Honestly, serpent want to be friends. You just want to bestow upon me a, a cheeky little, little rabbit's foot. And honestly, I appreciate it. Have a good one there, Bex. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Wait. Hold on. Living hat. Alright, but that would have been amazing. <laughs> uh, I sell the truffle. Also, I'm just gonna like, sell all this like stuff that's here. I just don't feel like going and sorting it into my, into my inventory. I'm just a little lazy right now. Alright, someone did... People were saying that he tweeted something. Let me just, let me just verify that for my own eyes. Making coffee dot 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 posted 17 minutes ago by Concerned Ape on Twitter. Yeah, it's happening. It's truly happening. <laughs> yep, just the coffee. I don't know how fancy he takes his coffee, but I'm going to hope that he just takes it, you know, just straight black. Nice, nice, quick, easy, bitter roast. All right, lock it in. Mayonnaise coffee. You know, if you ask for a coffee with sugar and cream, I don't think that's the kind of cream people people want in there. To each their own. I'm not I'm not here to judge, but maybe I am here to judge in that case because that just sound it just sounds like a step too far. I'm not normally a coffee guy to begin with. I am a mayonnaise guy though. Good morning, Penny. 
In summer, the ants become very active. I could watch them for hours. Honestly true. Answer based. Okay. I think our farm is pretty well set right now. I will ship these cactus fruits. I think I also forgot to put my coffee on the in the pot. BRB making coffee. I don't know what's taking Concerned Ape so long. Like, I've already, like, made and drank, like, 10 plus cups of coffee so far in-game. So I don't know what's taking him so long, honestly. What if we're getting a new type of coffee? Ooh, that would be fun. New different varieties of coffee. Could the, could Haley's Peppermint Mocha dreams finally come to pass? There's a chance. There's a, there's a non-zero chance. Barista challenge when? I feel like the barista challenge is probably going to end up waiting for Honda Chocolatier, if I had to guess. I don't doubt that there's going to be more... I don't know, something about, you know, Haunted Chocolatier. I feel like chocolate and coffee go go pretty well together a lot of the time, so... So I wouldn't be uh, surprised if Concerned Ape... ...threw in a little extra coffee-idge into that game as well. Get some of this going, just so I can have a little bit extra... A little bit extra high quality cheese for energy purposes in case we need to go mining or anything like that are we playing with chloe today we will be once we start a new farm yeah chloe's gonna be the one i go into the new farm with You're guarding my guarding the slime hutch i appreciate you gretel thank you appreciate that sakura welcome on in hello hello You know next to nothing about Haunted Chocolatier. I don't think many people know much about Haunted Chocolatier besides besides the man himself, so <laughs> he's been he's been pretty tight lipped about a lot of Haunted Chocolatier related related business. There are some teasers and stuff, of course, but not too many just yet. Alright. Um, yeah, let's put away the, put away this, the cloth here. I always want to say silk when I say, when I say cloth. Maybe that's just like my runescape brain coming back to haunt me. Sneak some iridium ore in there. I guess I can smelt some extra iridium ore here. We, I mean, it couldn't hurt to have some iridium bars handy, right? We've already got enough for the, um or the boat to Ginger Island, but we don't have enough for other potential purposes, so. Okay. Go ahead and ship that. Go grab ourselves some hardwood and call it a day. Jerry Van Ho, thank you for being a member for five months, by the way, at the Neutron level. Five long months. Thank you, thank you. Love the content you provided for so long. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can't wait to see how you take on 1.6. I also can't wait to see how I take on 1.6. I am very excited. I have some plans, but a lot of it is still is still kind of up in the air. We've still got... Uh, ooh, a train's passing through Stardew Valley. Could that be a sign of things to come? Maybe we'll be able to take that, like, take it from the 1.6 screenshot and ride the train for the first time ever. <laughs> But yeah, I'm also excited to see where 1.6 takes us. There's there are so many different ways it could go, and I'm 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 happy to go along for the ride with you and to, and to discover it alongside everybody else. I mean, I am you know I do make content for the game, obviously, but first, but oh, I actually have to water all these flowers, huh? <laughs> I don't have sprinklers down here. Just realizing. But first and foremost, I am a Stardew Valley player as well, so. I just happen to like sharing my journeys on stream and in videos and stuff, so. I'm glad that people enjoy watching it. So if you want to discover 1.6 with me, then... Then I welcome you with open arms. Alright, leave those alone for right now. Top that up. And back on out of here. 
There have been times when we were really happy to get the ore wooden stone from trains. Trains can be pretty lucrative. But they can also be extremely disappointing. Like, you go up and get, like, one piece of wood or something like that. And it's, uh... And it's just disappointing. But most of the time, I would say, it's worth going out of your way to visit the train. Just to, you know, just in case. You never know what kind of goodies you might stumble upon. Only place to get leprechaun shoes so far, so... Why not place down wood floors around the trees? Probably because I didn't think of it when I was a... When I was a little newbie to the game. But there's no reason not to now, you're right. I should place some kind of floors around the, uh... Around the trees. The ones down by the, uh, the honey patch, anyway. You'll have a good one there, Lid. Thank you for hanging out. And take good care. Let me see. What, do I have any, like, good flooring options here? I've got... Crystal floors? Weathered floor? I might just go weathered floor, honestly. I, I, I like the look of the weathered floor. Where's Miss Palindrome? She might be avoiding spoilers. I would I wouldn't blame anybody for avoiding spo avoiding spoilers. I imagine once 1.6 actually drops, a lot of people here will probably will probably head on out as well because they don't want spoilers and they're just here for for the hype train while we wait. But once it hits, they don't want to be spoiled on it. So so that's prob there's probably and there's probably a lot of people who just didn't show up in the first place because they just don't want to be spoiled on it, no matter what. You love spoilers, to be honest. I don't mind spoilers. I've never been, like, hugely averse to spoilers for, for just about anything. There was a time, you know, back in my youth where I was kind of, like, very gung-ho about trying to avoid spoilers, but I ultimately think that that was just because, like, I was... I was constant. I, like, so many other people avoid spoilers. And it had been kind of, like, trained and ingrained in my brain that, uh, that spoilers are not good. But when I really sit down and think about it for myself... I'm gonna take one of these hardwood fences, by the way, and patch up this side over here. It's been bothering me. <laughs> when I really think about it on my own, it's, um... I, I just really don't mind. Spoilers do not ruin the experience for, for me for... Basically anything that I can think of. My viewpoint is that, like, if I, if I get spoiled on something and that ruins it for me, then the thing itself was, wasn't good enough to begin with. If, like, one key spoiler makes it so, like, I don't have to watch that movie or play that game or what have you, then, like, it wasn't worth going through with, through with it in the first place because, like, it should be able to stand on its own regardless of spoilers. And I think a lot, of, I think most things do, honestly, especially most things that people are worried about spoiler-wise. But I also understand, you know, the rationale of wanting to, wanting to experience it and discover it on your own. That's just my own personal reasonings. Yeah, the excitement of finding things out yourself. I mean, I also like that, for sure. That's why I'm going to be going into 1.6 without, like, looking at the patch notes first. I'm not averse to looking at the patch notes should the, uh... Should the need arise? Should I feel like it's a necessary step in order to make any reasonable progress and find new things? But I'm going to be going in just, you know, with my own volition and instincts first so that I can, so I can, like, possibly have that those moments of discovery on my own. How do you get weathered flooring? I believe you buy the recipe from the dwarf. Get some homies in chat. Homie! Alright, how many more do I need? I'm just going to make ten more. Maybe we might need a little more. No, ten might actually be enough. Not Robin. No, I think the weathered floor is specifically from, uh, from the homie. How long since the making coffee tweet? Hold on, I can check. Refresh. Making coffee, dot, 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 posted 28 minutes ago. Okay. 
like we are so close <laughs> so we are so unbelievably close i'm so oh just giddy oh my gosh all right um let me take all this stuff up back up and then then can take and then just carry on Steam DB, Steam DB says things have changed. Is he in the process of, of pushing through the update right now? I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where we're at right now. I don't believe the update is live, but, but I, I expect to be inundated with a, with a lot, with a flurry of activity once, once it is. All right, chip the truffle and let's head off. Well, we'll. Fix up a little bit more mayonnaise, and then we'll head off to bed. 45 minutes ago was roughly 40 minutes ago. What the, what, where the heck did the time go, man? Oh my gosh. <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't be too long, in theory. You know, don't take, you know, 45 minutes as an exact timer, necessarily, but... If it's a good barometer, then we, we are mere minutes away. See if we can get one more good day in here. One more, one more day of hardwood farming. The update is queuing in your Steam. No movement on Steam yet. Updating. It dropped. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Give me one moment. Give me one moment. I'm seeing a decent number of people and and a few people that I that I trust and that I recognize saying updating. Let let's go let's go have a look, shall we? Let me go have a look. Here, let me give you some some music to listen to in the interim anyway. Stardew checking uploading update queued Oh, <laughs> I've never clicked an update button so fast in my life. Update queued. Starting down. It's going. We're going. We're in. Yo, refresh your steams. Refresh steam. Update complete. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was I don't know if that's just a pre-update or if that's an actual. If is that the update update? I don't know how these things work all the time. <laughs> all right, hold on. Hold on. I'm loading in. He just posted. He just posted. Wait, hold on. Uh, please upgrade to a newer version of Smappy. You are currently running Stardew 1.6.0, and this is only compatible with 1.5.6. I thought I had the, the right version of Smappy. Do they not have a? Do they not have an updated version yet? I might just have to play non-Smappy. Smappy.io service unavailable. All right, we have to we have to pivot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I've got to get the uh, I've got to get the scene set. Then I've got, I've got to get my scene in OBS set up here. Right then, he tweeted. You don't see it? Yeah, I can't play with Smappy, but I can still I should still be able to just load up like this. I think that scene will work. We're gonna find out in a second here. All right. I'm gonna click Concerned Ape's nose for good for good luck on the loading screen here. Stardew, Stardew Valley. The 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 title screen it still looks all very much the same. Let me pop on over to this scene here. Okay, you should be able to see the game. Okay, I don't know if the audio is gonna how the audio is gonna come through. I don't because I don't know. Here, let me dis let me reset that. Can you still hear me and still hear, like, well, I'm going to turn off the actual music player right now. Because we're going to go in-game music on this. Yeah, yeah, Smap Smappy is down right now, but that's okay. We can still go in without, I mean, we want to go in vanilla, ideally, anyway. We hear. There's no sound coming in from, coming from the game right now, so I can't test that. Hold on, I got to see it for myself, though. Version 1.6.0, build 24079. Oh my gosh. It's, it's here. <laughs> it's here. It's real. 1.6 has officially arrived. Concerned Ape, thank you. Thank you for this blessed drop. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so I have so many butterflies in my stomach right now. I have so many butterflies. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? This is your warning right now. If you don't want any 1.6 spoilers, do not proceed. Wait, yeah, I can hold on. I can pin. I can unpin. Unpin message. Unpin message. The message is live. Or uh, hold on, yeah. 1.6 is officially out. Beware of spoilers. All caps, just because it's a very it's a very important message. Do not proceed any further. You have been warned. If you don't want, and I, and I can change. Wait, I can change the title too. I can change the title of the stream. Get rid of that when it comes out part. Get rid of that garbage. All right, save that. Beautiful. Did I save my game to update it? I mean, I haven't even I haven't loaded anything up in 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 1.6 yet beyond just like starting the game. So, all right, where are the patch notes? That's a great question. <laughs> we'll we'll figure that. We'll, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But for right now, I didn't want to deal with the I didn't want to worry about the patch notes anyway. All right, to anyone who is leaving, enjoy 1.6 on your own, or enjoy you know whichever content creator you decide to watch. Um, with 1.6 or experience it with, by all means, go have fun and celebrate it the way you want to celebrate it. New farm. Oh my gosh. Two columns? It's already so exciting. Look at that. We got two columns. Standard, Riverland, Forest, Hilltop, Wilderness, Four Corners, Beach, and the Meadowlands Farm. It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. You start with two chickens. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, let's not let's not forget to set that first. How's the music, by the way? Is the music too loud, too quiet? Are we or are we good? I haven't played on this like scene in OBS for a long time here. Excuse me? Wait, that's a new dog. Oh, that, there's new pets. Wait, there's new pet options. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Wait a minute. That's a new dog prototype. This guy has a bandana. <laughs> new pet variants. We got two new pet vari or two new dog variants. There's got to be new cat variants then too, right? It's a touch loud. I can t I can turn it down just to. This, just a scotch if we need to. I'll turn it down to like right there. Hopefully that's all right. I can I can mess with audio if need be, but cat. Okay. Much better. That's good right there. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, let's see what these other cats look like then. That's those are the three we know little white cat look at this little white precious baby and the black cat of our dreams oh my gosh wait that's like my actual cat that one looks like my my my, my previous cat who's no longer with us me new that's that's like that's like the closest i'm getting to her black and white cats finally here with us new cats new dogs i mean i want to i want to I kind of want to play with one, but I still, I also still want to play with Chloe and Timbeeb too. We got to go Chloe Timbeeb to start with. You know, we may, we can, we can mix it up in the future when we dive into different, different uh, farms, but I got to go, I got to do my girl right here. All right, six. As long as none of these options have changed, I should be able to just set this up just fine. Use the black cat. Give us me new. <laughs> uh, we want shirt 34. new dog all right you know what maybe may, maybe we can just you know as a special occasion thing we can go with menu i'm happy with that <laughs> just i mean the option is right i did not see that coming at all all right for eye color we go 55 56 close enough 75 25 hair color is 92 get my classic girl in here 92 58 ish and 18-ish. 
Uh, pants color is totally fine right there. All right. This is Chloe. I don't know what my farm name is going to be yet. Skip intro, probably. I don't know. I don't imagine that the intro has changed. Shirt wrong. This is her. This is her normal like tunic shirt. This is kind of the default I go to if I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I said shirt 34. It's not shirt 34, I'll tell you that. I, I just got the numbers confused. That's my bad. There might be new shirts. I mean, hold on. Let's let's have a quick look, actually. If, they're, if there are new shirts, they're going to be at the end of the list. So let's go down here. 112. I think that's, that's the same. I think 112 is as high as it went previously. Keep intro on. I can't imagine the intro has changed, but we can sit through the intro just in case. If nothing else, it'll be a nice little dramatic reveal of what our farm looks like. Alright, what options do we have here? Community Center Bundles, Normal Remix, Guarantee Year 1 Completable, this is all the same. Uh, profit Margins, the same. Spawn Monsters, Multiplayer Options. We now have up to seven other possible players, that's beautiful. Starting cabins nearby separate. Other options. Use legacy randomization. Make random choices in a way that often repeats patterns. Most players should keep this disabled. We aren't most players, friends. But I will keep it disabled for right now. That is really interesting. That is super interesting. Use legacy randomization. That is a great approach to the, uh, to the possible, you know, randomization changes that have come with 1.6 here. Is that a patch to clay farming? I don't know if this applies to clay farming or not, but we're gonna we're gonna leave that alone. I want to experience 1.6 in every capacity. That affects things like clay farming, according to Habu. Okay. Yeah, legacy randomization could come into play for a few for future challenges and stuff. But all right, um, farm name. What do I even call this farm? <laughs> I have no earthly idea. I mean, it's the thing that everyone's talking about these days. Mayonnaise farm. Uh, favorite thing. Mayonnaise? I could go, I could go mayonnaise as favorite thing. You know? How about... Actually, I kind of like Renaissance farm. Does that fit? Is that how you spell Renaissance, even? No, I think Renaissance doesn't have two ends, does it? Renaissance... Favorite thing, mayonnaise. All those star drops are going to taste like mayonnaise, baby. <laughs> All right, Renaissance Farm. Favorite thing, mayonnaise. We got the Meadowlands picked. We're not skipping the intro just to be on the safe side here. Let's do it. We got all the settings. Yeah, we're not using legacy randomization. No random seed. Go in. Here we go. Maybe we'll get some secret 1.6 forbidden knowledge in the intro here. I'm not holding my breath for it, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be paying close attention here, see, looking for any potential changes. Was this shrub always in the foreground? Was this tell me right now, concerned ape, was that shrub always there? Alright. I have this sealed envelope. Oh, don't open it yet. Have patience. I've had it. C Grandpa, don't be telling me to have patience on 1.6 day. <laughs> the bed is still broken. That is a thin bed, man. There will come a day when you feel, feel crushed by the burden of modern life, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Hasn't happened yet, but I'll take your word for it. If I, if I was working for Joja, admittedly. It's a cot. Honestly, fair. That's a fair point. I'll be ready for this gift. I've been so ready, man. I've been so ready for your beautiful Meadowlands farm. He left two chickens on this farm. Wait, am I going to get to name the chickens? They might just have, like, random names, then you can, like, just rename them whatever you want. That's probably how it's going to go. Or maybe if, like, when I go to, into, like, the coop for the first time, it'll give me the option to name them. Feral chickens. There she is. Everyone's favorite Joja employee. Am 
my siding with Joja. I very well might, just because I know there is late game content exclusive to Joja. So, so we'll see. Dear Chloe, if you're reading this, it must be, you must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature and chickens and mayonnaise. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, the Pride and Joy Renaissance Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Will do. Will absolutely do. Has the has the bus scene been bad added back in? The secret hidden cut bus scene? <laughs> Probably not. What's the dude what's that character's name who was like supposed to be your rival that got replaced by Morris? Where's where's he at? Is he in 1.6? <laughs> Bro, I swear that bird is more brown than it usually is. I'm just looking for anything, man. I'm looking for anything. <laughs> Dobson, you're so right. Hello, you must be Chloe. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lou sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. This will be our very first look at the brand new farm type. Are you ready? Ooh, look at this! Like, there's like, there's like room up here. There's like, huh. This is Renaissance Farm. It's a little bit of a work in progress. <laughs> Where's my blue grass? Where's my blue grass? I was concerned. I was. I was promised blue grass, chewy blue grass. We got. We got to start growing our own grass, probably. And here we are, your new home. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, the new farmer. I think at this point, honestly, I think at this point we can probably skip. I think we can probably skip here. But we're so close. We've come this far. We might as well see it through just in case there's something something sneaky in here. It's quite a big deal. wonder what the inside is like. That's true. Yeah, the inside of a new farmhouse, it's, it's dependent on your actual farm layout, right? Very rustic house. It's panning up. There's like a little, there's like a path going up there. Do you see that? We're like not like in at the top of the farm. We're like in the middle of the farm, it feels like. Crusty might be a little more apt. Rude. There is bluegrass. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so I buy one of her house upgrades. I've heard there's a coop around here. Can you guys show me that one too? You must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. You got it. What did the Renaissance farm type say? It's it's called the Meadowlands farm. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box. You got it. There we go. He meant bluegrass music. My chickens! Your progress has been saved. Ooh, I like it. Wait, I like these little, like, like draperies. What are these? Ceiling flags. I like that. There's a cute little armchair here. Just a little armchair. This is very cozy. I like this. It's like a it's like a little rancher's house. We got a, a chair. We got a bench right there. A decorative lantern. Excuse me. <laughs> I received 15 hay. <laughs> Day one of spring, year one. That's new. That's new. That doesn't normally show up there. <laughs> Where are my parsnips, man? I mean, I guess I need hay for the chickens. That's fair. I guess I do need yet. Yeah, look at the menu. There's a, there's a chicken menu. Animals. Special items and powers and collection. Okay. All right. All right. Take a deep breath, everyone. We're going in. We're going in. All right. Let's explore the menus one by one here. Skills. What is this? What is this? Level one. New farm... Combat, fine. Okay, no new skills. There's something locked here. There's like an experience bar, which I have to imagine. Or there's like a star there. Okay. 
I don't know if this is like an experience bar for like your total level, which is like a cumu an accumulation of all your levels, or if this is something else entirely. There's also like other icons down here. There's a cute little tree down there. Maybe that's just for decorations. Star drops collected, that could be. Socials, we got Lewis, Robin. Peeping for any new characters. I don't expect to see any. Okay, no, this looks this all looks the same so far. Alright. Um map. Look at these. Wait, is this this is a springtime map? They didn't used to have these cherry trees displayed on the map, did they? Does the map update now with uh with your season? That's amazing. Lonely stone. Tide pools. I don't see anything new specifically. Um, that's the path that leads up to the summit over there. Graveyard, yeah. Saloon. 12 p.m. to 12 a.m., 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. close Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all pretty standard stuff so far here. Sakura trees, flower dance trees. All right, um, what else we got? Crafting, excuse me? Text sign, you can write a custom message on this sign. It was, I think Salamence was the first one I was uh, that I saw call that one. You can now put your own custom text on a sign here. That's very neat. That is very, very nice. All right, nothing else new that I can see here, animals. I have Viola and Piccolo. <laughs> so this is like a friendship gauge for your pets. That's kind of what I assumed it would be. Yeah, it lets you see where your friendship is at. And if you've petted the animals today, that's very handy. That is super handy. I wonder if your actual like cat or dog will, will show up in here or if it's just like your, your farm animals. A checklist for petting is huge actually. And it is random names. I'm sure we can change them obviously. Special items and powers. This is your wallet! This is the wallet got too expansive. Okay, wait, what are these then? Hold on a minute. Because there's like, okay, Bear's Knowledge, Spring Mastery, Key to the Town. I'm, I'm recognizing like a lot of these. But like, what the heck is all this? What are these like pages? Are they secret notes or is that... Maybe that's secret notes? An unforgettable soup. Delight the governor. Good, uh, uh, good neighbors. Help your forest neighbors grow their family. Get first place at the start. There's new achievements. Well read. Read every book. Fisherman. Catch ten different fish. Infinite power. Obtain the most powerful weapon. All right. <laughs> Polyculture. Monoculture. This is so exciting. I did not expect new achievement. I didn't expect so much that I'm already seeing here. Special powers. These these aren't star drops, are they? They're, they're not the right shape for star drops. They're stars, but they're something else. That's like it's like it's like the five stars on your trainer card in Pokemon or something like that. Those do not look like star drops to me. Okay, collections. Got to save the best for last. Cooking. How big is the cooking collection now? It's not that much bigger. There is new stuff here. I don't know what that is. But there, there is definitely new stuff in here, but it's not a whole lot bigger. Okay. Letters, obviously, we don't have anything. Are there five star drops? There are seven star drops. So that, yeah, I wouldn't even check out if this, if this, if these were star drops. Um, minerals. L minerals looks the same. Artifacts also looks the same. Okay, so no new, like, donations or anything. Um... A little bit expanded here. That is a fish. That is a fish that you have to ship. It, it almost looks like a carp. There's like a wide eggplant. That's a carrot! That's a carrot! Wait, that's totally... That's a carrot. There's like, there's like a squash. There's like broccoli. This is like... New crops? The carrot has finally been realized? <laughs> carrot, zucchini maybe? Broccoli? There's definitely new stuff here. I've, maybe this is like a new crop for each of the seasons. Like carrot for spring. Whatever this is. Like like a zucchini or something for summer. Broccoli for fall. Maybe. Isn't the last one just a chi fruit? I don't think so. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't seem like chi fruit. Does this count as a new fish for the fishing collection? I don't, I don't know, man. Why is there a fish in my shipping collection, though? And why is there ectoplasm here? 
There might be other ones hidden in here as well. Some they don't always get added to like the very end. Like bananas like up here. So it's like All right. Moment of truth, chat. Moment of truth. Fishing collection. Are there more than 67 fish in here? What happened? What? There's two pages. No, there's two pages. <laughs> there are a fit that's, I think that's 72 fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times 10 plus two. 72 fish. That is five new fish based on if my math is correct. <laughs> I accept your challenge, concerned ape. I accept your challenge. So we go down to here, blue discus. There, Then there's... I don't know what these are. There's, those are like the same... That's the same sprite. At least it's the same silhouette. So maybe like different colorations of something there. Also, is there a new fish earlier on in here? Because this goes lower than it normally does, right? That's also the same sprite. It's like three variations of the same thing and then something actually new at the end here. Huh. Check Marnie if there's new animals. Hey, we're still getting started. We, we're we It's 6.20 on the first day. Let's all calm down for a moment here. <laughs> all right. Um... Just looking at potential. There might be there might be new menu new uh, new options in here that I'm just not privy to. Mute animal sounds. Lock toolbar zoom buttons. Controls. Seems pretty standard. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we haven't looked at the patch notes yet. I'm not averse to doing so in the future, but I haven't I haven't done so yet. Okay. Nothing in my dresser. I thought they might sneak a little cheeky something in there, but. Let's pop out. See what's what. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Can I turn on this lamp? I cannot I cannot turn on the lamp. Game broken. Fix it. Where's my coop? Look at the oh this little fence. There's the bluegrass. Look at the bluegrass. It's like an intermingling of bluegrass and regular grass. We got we got a little like waterfall section here. There's my two little chickadees. Viola, baby chicken. And Piccolo, baby. I don't know where they, why they're babies. I, did Grandpa leave them behind when, when they were babies still? <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, can I put these in here? Silo required. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That should probably be one of our first goals here. Oh my gosh. Have I checked the quests yet? Getting started. Harvest an egg from your chickens. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they are mature, harvest an egg. Well, let them outside for sure. We got to see if they go for that blue grass. Just went for the... Is, he's going for the normal grass. Yeah, they just went for the normal grass that time. I don't know if there's a... Uh, I don't know what compels them to go for the blue grass necessarily. Can we move our home? According according to the, the teasers, we should be able to move our home for sure. Alright, we gotta definitely clear off some, some debris and stuff here. Let's let's do a little exploring, shall we? I wanna explore the actual farm first and foremost. Okay, so that is that is the exit out. Wait, where's my cave? I see stairs up that way. Let's go up let's go up up behind here actually. See what's going on yonder way. Is that oh that's the that's the warp uh that's the warp like landing pad. Is it out on Switch yet? No, the uh, the update will come late at a later date on Switch. It is not currently available on Switch though. That's not bad, I like that. There was a path I can't get to that unfortunately. It's a path up here. It's just kind of oh, this is like your like little spouse's area. Okay. I see, I see. What pet did I pick? I picked the little new black cat in honor of my own my own black cat that I that I used to have. One down here. We got stumps. We got I mean just you know your standard rigmarole. More blue grass down here. I don't I don't want to scythe too much of the blue grass. That's for sure. A lot of grass. So this is a very Obviously, a very animal-centric farm is kind of the idea with the Meadowlands farm. 
It's pretty big. It is it is quite big. Like there's a lot of room for for activities here. I saw a fence down there. Giving me like Stardew expanded vibes over here. There's a fence. There's a frog. That was just a normal frog. False alarm. Take a picture of the farm. I, I want to do a little walk around first and foremost, but I'll take a picture just to make sure I don't miss anything as well, yeah. Are there limitations on growing crops on the farm? I don't know if, if there are any limitations beyond just, like, having less space, you know? Okay, yeah, let's take a quick picture here. Quick little screenshot. And try and, uh, and suss out what might be available here. Oh my gosh, this is this is massive, dude. Okay, um, let me bring you in here. First, let me get that loaded up. This is our farm. I see, there's the cave down there. That's the mushroom and or bat cave. Um, and otherwise, it's pretty, it's, I mean, it's pretty standard. We got this little area here for, uh, I don't know if these, these are probably fences that will decay over time, right? Because these, these are different fences than these ones here. These are just like fences that, uh, like free fences, but they're the ones that we can craft. Holy chicken is right. We got a little like island over on the side here. Can we even get to that? How does one get there? Because there are stumps and stuff. Yeah, is there, is there a way to get to this top left portion? I don't see it. I don't see... There might be a bridge, like, hidden behind one of these trees somewhere or something like that. Grandpa's water is locked. Where is Grandpa's shrine? Isn't... Because Grandpa's shrine is normally up here. Is it hidden back here somewhere that I'm not seeing? Where is, uh... Is Grandpa... Where is Grandpa's shrine? No secret wood shortcut. Maybe unlock it later? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Concerned Dave forgot to add it. I got the... Yeah, there is the uh, the farm cave down there. Behind It could it could be... Oh, it might actually... I think I see the candles, yeah, behind that tree there, actually. I, th I think it's just a little bit hidden by that tree. Beyond that, I mean, it's just a lot of a lot of debris, a lot of grass. There is a decent amount of like room down here for for farming and stuff if you want to. There's also obviously this patch right up near the uh, the main farmhouse. All right, or is it down? Yeah, this is the this is gonna be the mushroom cave, I imagine the mush the mushroom slash bat cave. You bet that one stump by the river blocks a bridge. This guy right here. Well, let's pop back into the actual uh, game for a second here, and we'll, we can we can go and have a look and see if we can find that bridge or not. Let's see. Sneak on up here. I don't see a bridge there. Um. Bridge. There's the bridge. Oh, you were so right. It is literally blocked by that stump. <laughs> That's such a concerned ape move. Oh my gosh. Check Robin, please. All right. I should probably go out and start and start checking the various shops. Um, obviously, we want to clear debris at some point, but we should check the shops while they're all while, while we still have daylight, right? Update isn't available on Steam. It should be. I download. I updated it through Steam. Try try like refreshing. You might have some some setting you need to change. I'm not sure, but it worked. It worked like a charm for me. And the calendar outside Pierre's. That's true. Yeah, we could be looking for new festivals as well. We're on the lookout for that. First person we meet, Sam. Top of the morning to you. Good to meet you. Waiting for new. Looking for new dialogue as well. Okay. Oh. Oh, how about this? All right, Egg Festival, of course. Birthdays are all about the same here. I see hot air balloons. Um, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, you're not going to give me anything? You're not going to give me anything, man? Flower dance. Bookseller. Bookseller. Bookseller? 
that is exciting. That is intriguing, man. Do you think these are like, I, I almost want to feel like these are like not set days, but that they're like randomly chosen in the, in the, I don't, I don't even know. That kind of feels strange to me. You know what that makes me think of is this. Don't these look like they could be books? Like these don't look like secret notes. These look like books. That is, that is intriguing. That is very intriguing. That's the, that's the first thing that comes to mind with me for me with that one, for sure. Marnie, hello. I would love to go actually visit your <laughs> visit your stock and see what you have available. I heard someone was new and moving onto that old farm. Kind of a shame. I love to explore those overgrown fields. All right. You got anything new for me, pal? Carrot seeds. Dehydrator recipe. Place five pieces of fruit or edible mushrooms inside to dry them. You need fire quartz to make it, and it's a ten thousand dollar recipe. That's unique. Okay. <laughs> Lore. There are books, books beyond books that we can read in the museum. Maybe that's what this achievement is referring to here. Um, well read. Read every book. Maybe that doesn't mean like the books in the museum. Maybe that means like the books from the bookseller. Dried fruit. Dried fruit sounds pretty, pretty hype, honestly. Okay, no, no, no new seeds or anything that I can see though. It's Miss Chloe, the fa new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the local general store. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Keeping an eye out for uh, for new for new potential seeds and stuff, and new pieces of dialogue. I picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. Look at Caroline's area. Am I gonna get some seeds right now? I'm I'm just I'm just exploring. I'm just exploring. I don't know necessarily what I'm gonna buy or not yet. Maybe maybe we don't go seeds. Maybe we just focus on our animals more than anything else. Maybe we. I mean, if we're going with the if we're picking the Meadowlands farm, maybe it's uh maybe that's the way to go, right? Caroline's. But I don't think we can, we can't get in here yet, right? Yeah. That rug is new. That rug is new. Wait, you're right. That used to just be like open uh, open floor concept. Very, very true. Okay, let's go see... Let's go see Joja. We'll go visit Joja and see what uh, what might be available there. Because, yeah, Lisa did say maybe there are new, like, Joja exclusive crops. Make Joja competitive. Joja Furniture Catalog grants one, one, lifetime subscription to the official Joja Thrive Collection, featuring 40 exclusive furniture pieces. Now that is something I can get behind. You're giving me temptations, reasons to possibly go Joja here. Grass starters. Nothing else new otherwise there. Joja Furniture Catalog. Okay. New furniture. So I assume this is a furniture that is not available through the regular furniture catalog. It is only available through, through Joja specifically. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Shane's hard at work. I've already talked to Sam earlier today. Go fishing in the ocean. We'll, we'll, I don't even have a fishing rod yet. <laughs> Welcome to Jojamart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. All right. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have Joja memberships even available yet if we wanted to. Introductions, 11 out of 28 people greeted. Check stomach bag. I don't remember what aisle stomach bag was in. I apologize. All right. We should go visit Robin's. Because Mar Marnie's not going to have her shop available today, but we can check out Mar uh, Robin's for sure, at the very least. Thoughts on the new farm? It's, uh, I mean, it's exciting, honestly. I, th I actually quite like the idea of making, like, a farm more focused around, um, more focused around animals than crops, as far as, like, farming goes. Like, an actual proper, like, rancher-type farm, I think is a really cool idea. It's a niche that I did not expect to be touched on with the new farm type, but I'm happy to see it addressed. Maybe new crops come out year two. They could, potentially. Let's see. All right, shop. Big chest. There it is. 120 wood and two copper bars to make a big chest. It can store almost twice as much as a regular chest. And I imagine once you unlock the stone chest recipe from the uh, from the special orders board, that prop then she can probably sell the, sell the big stone chest recipe here as well there's your big chest Q 
Okay. Stone. Lots of different floorings. Braziers. Marble brazier. Nothing new there that I can see. Um, construct farm buildings. Tells you how long it takes now on the side here. That's nice. That's very nice. $4,000. We already got one of those. Don't worry about it. Okay. Silo. Definitely want to get one of these. So if we can, if we can build up a uh, hundred stone, ten clay, five copper bars, that should be probably one of our first goals here with the Meadowlands farm. Mill, shed, fish pond, cabin, pet bowl. You can build a separate pet bowl, or I I know you can you should be able to move a different pet bowl, right? Provides a dedicated home for one pet. Wait, can you get multiple pets? Can you get multiple pets? <laughs> is this is this like one pet per player, or was that wasn't already a thing? Was it? This could be um this could be a multiplayer thing. Change appearance. Ooh, me likey. I like that. Okay. Stable, slime hutch. Does the slime hutch look different? I feel like there's like a different kind of design aesthetic going on here. Raise up to twenty slimes. Big coop. Big coop. Oh, the big coop's there because I already have an existing coop, right? Shipping bin. And then back to regular coop. Um, move buildings. Farmhouse confirmed movable. There you go. And I assume you can move this coop as well, yeah. Pet bowl. Also movable. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm perfectly content with where they are. But that is, it feels good to have that freedom for sure. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, no new buildings other than, I mean, there's obviously the, uh, the pet bowl there that you can now build. You can move the house. That is a, that is a 1.6 addition. Is the warp pad movable? Good question. Um, construct farm buildings, move buildings. You. You cannot move the warp pad. Which honestly kind of makes sense, because if, if you could, then you could like move it like right next to your house, and then it's like, you know... Like, that's basically just turns it into a return scepter. Which I think is... I think that's fair. Is the carpet in front of the reception new? It's hard to say. I mean, I don't, I don't have all those... all those details fully internalized. House got moved one square south. That's that's the magic of 1.6, baby. Did I intend to do it? Maybe not. But the fact that I can do it is very nice. Hey, the waterfall? Was there another was there another new waterfall? I know this waterfall is on our farm. I'm just out here scouring. I'm scouring for new new options here waterfall on the river oh my gosh this is so unbelievably exciting what's old is new again it's truly like a fresh coat of paint paint a breath of fresh air why am i abandoning the seeds i don't usually like do use mixed seeds is there is there a reason to hold on to mixed seeds can i make carrots out of mixed seeds <laughs> oh gus gus good point yeah gus check out the uh the saloon here Let's have a look here. Pancakes, hockey roll, triple shot, fried mushroom. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary here. Star Drop Saloon is as it always was. Oh, hello there. I'm Gus, the own chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Arcade games? Arcade games? Was there always a space in between them? There was, wasn't there? There there was a space in between them, right? I'm not I'm I I'm I think I think there was. I think I'm just gaslighting myself. <laughs> Alright, there was always a space, yeah, fair enough. Space space is still there for, for pumpkin smashers. Say hello to Alex. Omelet new? I don't remember if you could always buy the omelet recipe from uh, from Gus or not. 
I feel like you could, but maybe I'm just being maybe I'm mistaken on that one. Gus's shop looks brighter. It looked about the same to me, but I'll take your word for it. Also, a little garbage check. Look above Joja. Hello, Penny. Or not Penny. I, oh man, Freudian slip. All right, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? I'm Haley. I gotta, I gotta get back in the Chloe mindset, not in my, not in my old farm mindset. <laughs> All right, yeah, Marnie is not gonna be available here, but is anything interesting going on here? Meet Jass. Check if we can go to the flower dance place. All right, I need to. There's so much to explore. I don't even know where to even begin. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What is that? What is that? <laughs> that tree is amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Freaking redwoods over here, man. Can I grow those? I want to grow them so bad. Secret woods. I wonder if you can still get in there with a chair. It's huge. There's there's two up there. Yeah. There's the wizard's tower. You know, someone was saying, "Can we get to the Can we get to the flower dance area down here?" I'm gonna guess no, but I would be I would love to be surprised. All right. Does, does, it does look like the bridge is still not available to us. Giant crops, but like trees. Hat mouse still is is not available just yet. We don't have any achievements to unlock them. A fence opening to the first huge tree. Wait, you can get in there? Hold on a minute. All right, hold on. I should get rid of the sap. Grab some spring onions for the road. Not bad for at least a little bit of early game energy. You know, 1.6. It's very exciting, and there's lots to discover, but we gotta you gotta take care of the basics too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was so I was so laser focused on the actual big trees themselves that I didn't even realize that uh that you can get in there apparently. I never even fathomed a world where you'd be able to get in there. Let's go have a look, shall we? Little gap in the fence. This look at the cursor. There's something that goes here. There's there's a there's a door that appears here. There's something there. What about this other one? Any of these other ones here? No, I can't get up to those. Is that where the bookseller? Oh, the bookseller. Maybe, maybe that's where the bookseller goes. Treehouse. Shane's room got updated. The room post marriage, or the or just like his like pre marriage, like normal room. All right, I should go. Um, it's get it's getting late in the day. We can go explore more once we actually have like some. Once we actually have some daylight to explore by, I think that's a good idea. Plus, we can get our fishing rod and stuff tomorrow. I am going to go ahead and try and get enough wood for a chest here, so that I can at least you know have some organizational capacity. There's a door near the spring onions. There's a lot to explore, and I'm we're barely scratching the surface. I didn't, ex ex I honestly didn't expect there to be like this much to uncover immediately upon like like the first day coming in here. I am pleasantly surprised. Let's go ahead and chop down some some logs and some trees. Try and get the wood we need for a chest here. Let's do it. There's he's added so much, yeah. Use the chair glitch to get into the woods. It did cross my mind. Yeah, we could definitely check out the, the secret woods a little bit earlier than than otherwise possible. Do you start the new farm with a silo? You do not. No, you have to get your own silo. But you do have. You, yeah, you just got the coop, and you've got you've got a dis quite a bit of grass. Like the chickens are not going to go hungry by any stretch of the imagination. All right, craft me a chest here. Mrs. Chloe, crap me a chest. You can still put them on here, even though like you can move the building. That's good. Okay. Um, put these away. Don't need the watering can right now. I'll keep all the rest of the tools on me. Keep the spring onions. Keep the hay to keep the animals fed. 
and I think we go to bed here. Am I doing a Joja save? Kiffy? I'm not not entirely sure yet. I mean, I, I definitely want to explore Joja um, because there is new Joja-related content. Can I turn this off? Still can't turn off the lamp. Sad. I want to explore new Joja-related content for sure, but I don't know if this is going to be the file to do that on. I wouldn't be surprised if I did, though. Go to sleep for the night. Is this new? This little, like, question mark icon here? Oh, anything new on TV? Good call, actually. I never never checked the TV. Living off the land. Probably not. This one's for all you green whores out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage. Yep. Can do. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Any, like, new, new icons or anything? Probably not. Not bad, not bad. All right, off to bed. Lock it in. What's the new tab in the menu? There's actually multiple new tabs in the menu. You got the animals tab to check on your animal friendship, and you got this, which is replaced the uh, the wallet that used to be down here. And I have no idea what this is, but but I'm excited to find out. All right, this should be from Willy or from Pierre, telling me to get a bigger backpack. I, I've been here one day. Like, come on, dude, chill out. Let's go take care of our animals. Got to pet our little Viola. Viola, is that you, Viola? Is that Piccolo? That's Piccolo. There's Viola. Perfect. I actually really like those names. All right. The hay is still fine because they've been eating they've been eating out here. I should, you know what? Let's clear out a little bit of, uh, of debris out of here just so we have more room for the grass to spread. Turtle pet? <laughs> Alright, we do we, ha we do have to go... Oh, I can't visit Marnie today, can I? Because it's Tuesday. She's not going to be... She's going to be going to aerobics. Son of a gun. Patch notes say that if you close the barn door at night, it will give your animals some happiness. Ooh, I like that, actually. It gives a good reason to, like, go... Because that, that that honestly does make sense. Like, closing it so they have a nice, like, cozy, warm place to sleep at night. That makes a lot of sense to me. When are we going to read the patch notes? <laughs> I mean, hold on. I can start a poll on this. If you if you guys just want me to go and read the patch notes so that I, so that I have, like, an idea of what's going on here and I'm not just, you know, wandering around... Then I can do that, but I will leave it open to a to to viewer suggestion suggestion here. I don't mind either way. I was planning on reading the patch notes eventually. I just you know how how early do you want me to read them? Should I read the patch notes now? I should actually clarify now. I'm gonna read them eventually, but uh, but we'll, we'll 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 gauge how we feel right now. Okay. For the time being, let's go ahead and leave that behind. I would love to get that wood, honestly. Can I get like get up here and get some? No, I can't. I don't know if there's any way to go about getting that. All right, I'll have some fun with Discovery for a while. I am open to any and all possibilities here. Let's go... Dude, I don't even know what the heck I should be. I mean, I definitely want to focus down a silo. We need we need some uh, some copper in order to be able to do that. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. What does that mean? Is that I leveled up? I leveled up in foraging, and I got new things to sleep on. That's amazing. It actually tells you midday when you level up. That's so cute. I love it. I really like that. I really, really like that. The star outlines are new. Star outlines, you say? I am not familiar with any such star outlines. What do you got here? Hold on. Help on a quest. You need 20 copper ores. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that happen, Clint. I'm sorry to say. Trash. Trash. Bro, I'm waiting for a raccoon to jump out of the trash. <laughs> I have to imagine he's, he's in there somewhere. We haven't been down to the beach at all yet. I'm going to assume this is the same. Bamboo pole. 
Easy. Should we do a little fishing today? Should we work on something else? I honestly don't know. I Like, part of me just wants to, like... Part of me just wants to... Clear, like, debris on my farm. What is that? I got carrot seeds? Plants in the spring takes three days to grow. There's the carrot seeds. Okay, that's a new one on me. Three days. That's extraordinarily fast as well. Whoa, okay. That's how you get carrot seeds. You don't buy them at all. You don't have to wait for a later year. You just, you just get them. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. That's also, yeah, you're right. That's not a normal seed pack or anything like that. That's like a little like bundle of seeds. Can I like open that or is it just like it's just I think it's just the the aesthetic. Feels like rice. I'm just glad the carrots are finally getting the recognition they they so deserve. If if that's the only way to get carrots, that makes it I mean maybe they're more maybe they're maybe they're more common than I think they're going to be, but I guess we'll find out. Hold on, we can pop over to Clint's. I can't imagine Clint has anything new to sell, but if we're checking out all the shops anyway, right? Let's have a look here. Clint's, Clint's, he's been spruced up a little bit here. I think all the shops have received a little bit of attention. We got some ore rocks here. I see an Omni Geode node back there. Ooh la la. All right. Gold ore. Uh, that's all he can buy. Okay, fair enough. Upgrade tools. Nothing new there. Prices are the same, I assume. I think actually this might be new, like this little icon here. But other, other than that, I think that's uh, that's normal. Steal his ore. And one of those. Thank you. The museum. You got anything special for me, sir? Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Is that? That's not what he always said, was it? The Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. This is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. Maybe he did always say it that way. I don't know. Hips on farming. Didn't realize how overwhelming this would be. There's so much to discover. There's nothing new over here by the looks of it. I missed Willie's shop. True, I haven't visited Willie's shop. I should go. I should go have a quick look over there. There's lots of, like, little things. There's, like, little decorations added here and there. Just a little bit of extra, like, vibrancy. Honestly, like, if, like, some of those are just some of the most exciting things to discover. It's just, like, seeing, like, something, something brand new in a place that you've visited so, so many times. What is that? Bobber style. Bobber style, so you can get, like, new skins for your fishing bobber? <laughs> what? You can unlock new fishing skins for your bobber? I wonder if you get all of these in one day. Miniature model of a frigate. It's a tackle box. That is, that's, that's not, that was not expected, <laughs> that's for sure. The fish smoker. That's the machine from the 1.6... Sea jelly, river jelly, cave jelly. Place fish that those are the new fish in the fishing catalog in the fishing collection, right? Sea jelly, river jelly, and cave jelly. That it's three different kinds of jelly that you can fish up in three different locations, I assume. Place fish inside with a piece of place fish inside with a piece of coal to create a smoked fish, which is worth double. The quality of the fish is preserved. Double? That's incredible. That is insane. Flounder bait increases your chance to catch flounder. Are you kidding me? No. No, they did not add bait for every single type of fish. Increases your chance to catch flounder. <laughs> no shot. No shot. That actually changes so much if that's true. Do you think that's... I mean, there's not... It's not just exclusively flounder bait, surely. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
I have so many questions. Does this mean I could catch a flounder out of season with this? Does it, like, wh how high is the increase? Are you really going to make me walk around with 60, 72, excuse me, 72 types of bait so I can catch all the various fish? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I get a bait box that I can carry like various different types of bait in? Hanging fish? I don't know if he always sold that. Still, that's, that's, ex that's very exciting. So I can buy flounder bait. I can't put flounder bait on my rod yet, but. That is huge. Okay. Okay. Go to Lewis. What an ominous message. Strategically placed chests of bait. My mind is, is running a mile a minute already. Check Willie's bedroom. I, I imagine I can't go to his back room yet. Lewis's house, this, he, this is, his house got spruced up a little bit, didn't it? Excuse me. Whoa. 12K. What am I seeing here? 12 carrot seeds, an apricot sapling, and 15 magic baits, awkward prepubescent cousin? Do you get that from using spending a ticket? I can click the button. It's very tactile. I like that. Does this change every day? Maybe these ledgers are probably like the same, right? Pelican down ledger book. Yeah, this is like the divorce book as the lost and found. Okay. I don't know what to make of this at all. Like maybe it's just maybe it is like every I don't know where you get these tickets. But maybe that's what it is. Like, every day, you can come here and get something new with these tickets and just get, like, a random whatever. 12 carrot seeds. Like, that's that, like this would be pretty good if you got this. Like, the, like, the sapling on its own is worth, like, a ton. You need a ticket to take these. 57% of people are saying that I should look at patch notes right now. Honestly, that's not enough of a majority for me to... For me to for, to go that way, it is it is a majority, but it's not enough of a majority. So I think we're gonna. I'm I'm content to just continue exploring right now with some some minor guidance in the form of of you know chat messages like that, like you know things like it's like oh why don't you go and see pay pay a visit to Lewis's house. I like stuff like that. Village quests. When you win at stuff like the Egg Festival, you get tickets from that. That could be. That could be. I don't know if that's that's confirmed true or if that's uh or if that's speculation on your part, but either way. Did I look behind Joja? I have not looked behind Joja, and this is my this is my second inclination, my second suggestion to look behind Joja. I just did normal bundles, I didn't do remix bundles. Nice makeup. Thank you. I pretty I worked very hard on it. This is for you. Look at the menu then the face icon. I think we have looked here already. Like we've seen we've seen all this already. I don't know what that's going to become, but uh but I'm excited to find out. Yeah, we'll go to Marnie's tomorrow for sure. See what like other animals and stuff might be available. Many people, many people are telling me to go to Marnie's tomorrow for. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, we will. Behind Joja, they tell me. A little staircase. Okay, that's definitely new. I'm a little nervous to honestly go up there. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bide my time by knocking out some debris here. What is this? This is like a little garden type area of some kind. There's, there's stumps here, like hardwood stumps. What is this? This almost seems like a, like a foraging type area of some capacity. I was also thinking it might be the bookseller. Yeah, this could be, this could be where the bookseller comes to visit. There's a sign there that can be possibly repaired. Can I like go that way anywhere here? No. Knock down that tree. This tree here. 
There's nothing behind that tree, but... Or, or do you mean this tree here? I'll chop the tree. Chop a little pine tree. Ooh! <laughs> what is that? There's a little sneaky present back there. Yeah, that's very, very... How very Harvest Moon of you, Stardew Valley. We need a better axe to get at that one. We do. We need to get ourselves a copper axe of wellness, as it as it turns out. I would like to take. Yeah, I'll take the wood over the mixed seeds. But I want the sap over anything else. I'd probably take the sap over. Actually, the clay is kind of valuable. I'll take it over the fiber. It's fine. Chair glitch. I don't know if this is at an angle that you could chair glitch in there, honestly. Maybe through here, actually. We could try. I don't actually know if I have a chair that fit. Oh, I mean, my, my, my armchair is, like, kind of big. I don't know if it fits there. Anyway, let's go plant some... I, I go plant, like, one carrot seed. <laughs> Maybe a big tree is part of the advancements. There's so there's so many there are so many questions to answer. Willie has a different bait for you. I assumed it seemed like ba like it seemed very random that he would just have flounder bait. Oh, the spring onion door. Good call. Good call. It seemed very random that he would just have flounder bait. So I assume it's like a daily rotating bait situation would be my guess. Is that like every day he has a new bait on offer? And you can, like, build up a, a supply of them over time to give yourself a higher chance to get various different types of fish. That is my... That's my hunch. That's my gamer instinct on that one. I'm going to put the hay away, honestly. If my animals... If my chickens are eating... Um, they're eating grass anyway, then why would I need the hay on me for now? We'll need it eventually, but for right now, it's totally fine. All right, plant the carrots... Get them watered. The gnome and Krobus have new stuff. I assume you mean the dwarf? Homie. Alright, let's go. There's apparently a door down by the spring onions. That is not the sewer door, I'm assuming. Look at the giant freaking redwood tree. Oh my gosh, so cool. I've, I can't wait. Have a good one there, Kitty Burger. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, there is something here. Is this a door or is this... What is this? Only a master of the five ways may enter. Zero out of five. That seems like it's probably... All five skills leveled up to, to maximum. That would be my... That's my immediate hunch. There could be something else there, but if we, but I mean five, what comes in sets of five in Stardew other than the skills? There are also, you're right, these five stars here, which maybe you unlock these as a result of the leveling up your skills. I don't know. That could be. Yeah, get all your skills to level 10. Skill issue? What? Don't tell me a skill issue, chat. That's so mean. <laughs> Just because it's literally a skill issue that I can't get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me feel bad about it. Alright. More carrot seeds, please. I mean, I know these aren't carrot seeds, because they don't have the, uh... The, car the carrot seed spot looked different than the... Than just, like, your standard artifact spot. You can now put torches on sprinklers. Can't believe I'm not level 50 on day 2. SMH. Pick up some more forage here. And then I get th I think I'll just spend the rest of my energy to uh, to knock out the debris around here. Knock out some debris, like, around... I'll, I'll work outward from my actual, like, farmhouse up here. Is the update live yet? We are officially playing version 1.6, Mr. Mustachio. We are on the, the new Meadowlands farm. 
we are in it. We're in the thick of it, discovering so many new and interesting things that I don't even know where to freaking begin or end. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so lost right now. Have I gone into the farm cave? I have not gone into the farm cave. I was actually meaning to do that because I assumed that uh, it was just going to be like the like empty empty cave a la like mushroom cave slash bat cave. But what I've learned so far in 1.6 is that I should not be making any assumptions. I should check literally everywhere and everything. What do we got? Okay, it, it, is, it is empty. It is empty, but I'm glad that we have peace of mind on that one now. How long do I think till the wiki gets updated? I mean, the wiki's probably being actively updated as we speak. As for when we have, like, a, a full, you know, and a full collection of uh, of all the new stuff added to 1.6 on the wiki, your guess is as good as mine. I'm just content to do a little wayward debris clearing. I don't know if I want to actually plant any, like, I mean, I should probably plant some crops, I guess. If, I, if I'm intending to possibly go community center, then I want I would want to plant some crops. It doesn't hurt to have them around just for, uh, just for, like, potentially help wanted quests and stuff as well. You want to see frogs? I mean, I want to see frogs, too. <laughs> Maybe they're at Marnie's? That's the, that's where I'm going to check tomorrow. We can't even go buy seeds tomorrow if we wanted to, because it's Wednesday. Um, but we can check Marnie's tomorrow. And it's raining tomorrow as well. Maybe that's a good ca a good cause to go fishing or something like that. See if we can catch some ocean slime? Whatever it was. Ocean jelly? River jelly? Cave jelly? I, oh my. <laughs> Get ourselves a fish smoker. I'm starting to feel exhausted. That's my cue. I'm not going to dig into my my onions too much here. Pop those away. And off to bed. Swamp juice. Oceana jelly. Jelly Oceana, welcome on in. Level one foraging has been achieved. Trees from dump drop seeds. This is all this is all the same. Crafting speed wild seeds. Actually was wild seeds always level one foraging? It probably was, but I'm just I don't know. I'm I'm my brain is is constantly just reaching and stretching and bending for new things that I might uncover. All right. I'm bringing the chair. <laughs> I'm bringing the chair, man. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, I didn't close my I didn't close the coop for the animals. I'll close it today. And I should also, well, the hay is still going to be in there cuz they haven't eaten it yet. They're fully grown. Yo, it doesn't take that long at all. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. How fast they grow. Piccolo looks really happy today. Viola looks really happy today. I love that. We got a silver quality brown egg. And just a regular quality egg as well. Concerned ape? I got a bone to pick with you. You couldn't have added the Meadowlands farm before I did Price of Perfection. You really made me wait 112 years when I could have just started on a farm that gives me eggs for free. Just saying, man. That's, that's, that's rude. That's cold. I don't know if it would save us save enough money, honestly, though, for, uh, <laughs> I honestly have no idea if it would save more money than the beach farm. It's something I'll have to look into, though. <laughs> okay, what are these new quests? Advancement, reach level one, farm, level one farming and craft a scarecrow, okay. And feeding animals, build a silo, yep. Wait, what does it actually say? Because that's a new quest. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of the town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. If you build a silo, you can start harvesting your own grass with a scythe and a store to feed your animals. Pretty basic, but still good. Then you couldn't get vinegar, right? Vinegar you have to buy from Pierre no matter what, but the uh, the main reason for the beach farm was to get Hello Fresh crates, so you can get, like, oil, um, sugar, and wheat flour and stuff for free, but... I don't know. I'd have to do the math on that one. Put these eggs away. Little eggies for the future. Save them for when we level up in farming and, get, and can make a mayonnaise machine. 
Maze mayonnaise machine is level two farming for those who are keeping track. <laughs> Have I seen the mystery boxes that fall out of the sky? Like, no. <laughs> No, I have not. Alright, we're waiting for Marnie to open. Let's go do a little exploring while we wait. I, should, I can also get this. Marnie's not open yet, but we can... Let's let's pop on over to that Joja area, see if I can armchair and strong arm my way into it. So you can catch three herring today, maybe. It's, I mean, it's a good excuse to go fishing at the very least. Zero of three herring caught. Wonder if you can get different things on the beach now. I mean, we got that's where we got the carrot seeds. I don't know if they're exclusive to the beach. I, I would imagine probably not. That would seem kind of strange, but, you know, stranger things have happened in this game. Furniture can't be placed here. You sly dog, concerned ape. You sly dog. <laughs> All right. We'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait on that one. I'll have to test that with the uh, Secret Woods as well, actually. It is a two-wide chair as well. I don't know if that's making much of a difference, but... What are the stars on the calendar? I hovered over them, and it said question mark, question mark, question mark. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, sorry, Penny. Let's check in at Mayor Lewis's house and see if this, like, machine has changed. Because before it was offering me, like, 12 carrot seeds, apricot sapling, and, and some kind of bait. That's the same. It's actually It actually is the same. I wasn't sure if it would change on a daily basis. We gotta try and find ourselves some tickets, I guess, at some point. I don't know where that comes from, but... That was my first night in the old cottage. It was... I mean, it's... it's I mean, it truly was my first night in the old cottage after a long time. It's different for you. It might be based on your seed, but it hasn't changed. Our beloved Mona. Old and faded. Okay, let's go visit Marnie. I know that's what people have been clamoring for. So a quick check in here first. See if there's any changes to, like, rooms or anything like that. It all looks pretty much the same to me, but maybe it's, uh... Maybe my eyes just aren't seeing it. Vincent's shadow still clips through the top of the wall there. Zero out of ten. Think they got a bigger bed. Oh, is Jody's bed a double bed now? Oh, okay, okay, that is that is noteworthy, absolutely. Smappy already updated. Why am I not surprised? Wipe your feet. Thank you for having providing a mat to do so. That is new, isn't it? What is that? Hold on a second. All right. Uh, purchase animals. Chickens. Requires construction of a big coop. That's a duck. Deluxe coop. That's a rabbit. That's a cow. That's a goat. That's a sheep. That's a pig. <laughs> they're all. The, they're all. It's all the same animals. Those are all the same animals. That is a. That is a duck. That is a. That is a rabbit. Yeah, they're all the same. But what about? What about supplies? Dark dog house. Dog, you can bi buy dog houses. Or cat trees! <laughs> or bird houses. It's just outdoor furniture. Decoration can be placed as a decoration. Is it just decorative? Is it just decorative? Or do the, do the animals actually play with it? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. It is $10,000, so it's a bit prohibitively expensive right now. Birdhouse. Okay. Wait, I wanted to see what that, like, cucumber is over there. I feel like this is new. Looks like someone was chopping vegetables but never finished. Interesting. Interesting. Even if only decorative, it's cool. I mean, more decorations is never a bad thing. That's very, very accurate. Shane's room is different. I was looking at it and I didn't notice anything like specifically different, but I haven't been paying that much attention to like the to the rooms either, so. I think my chair is too big for this. Yeah, my chair my chair is too large to even go here. But you can't put down chairs anywhere here, which makes me think. Like 
I mean, it makes me think you can't do that anymore. Even with a small enough chair, right? You just can't place chairs outside. That's, you know... That, that tells you how concerned Ape wants you to approach things, I guess. <laughs> Death to the Booty Express. 07? Booty Express? You were you never truly got your chance to shine. That's ter that's 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 harsh. That is harsh. The death of of some speedrunning strategies, but maybe the birth of uh maybe the birth of some more it remains to be seen. All right, I am going to buy a chair from Robin. I don't know about all that, but for right now, I'm going to. Go down to the beach. I'm going to try and catch some herrings. See if we get some extra extra fish of some kind. I don't know. And we'll we'll, go, we'll play it by ear from there. I do still have... I do want to save up for a silo. Like, I need... I mean, basically, I can get a silo once I get to the mines. Because that's where, like, most of the resources are. So I think we just wait for them. Check out George's house to see if they have a bigger bed. I will indulge you. What we got going on in here? We heard some someone saying that you got your first chicken the other day. Man, I wish Grandma had chickens. I'd eat a dozen raw eggs for breakfast each morning. New dialogue, baby! It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? I did get my first chicken, yeah. In the old days, George would have scampered right up and fixed it. They do have a large bed up there. Look at that. They do have it quite a large bed. What's good on the TV, George? Check Penny's house? I should be checking, like, all the houses realistically. Oh, I can check, uh... I mean, we're, if we're checking all the shops, we haven't checked, uh, Harvey's, right? No one's even here. What the heck, man? I'm dying! I have the flu! Someone help me! <laughs> help me! Wonder if we get new heart events? Possibly. I'm not ruling anything out at this point. There's been... There, there's so much here. There is so much here. Has Penny's room changed? Penny aficionados? I, I need your... I need your keen eye. Isn't Wednesday the day Mar is supposed to work at the clinic? Maybe the rain is throwing it off somehow. I don't know. I don't know why that would be, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and catch some fish here. Over at the Lonely Stone. Who knows, maybe 1.6 made it so that the Lonely Stone actually does increase your fish odds. Actually, I should check... I'm going to check in at Willy's as well and see what, like, bait is available. See if my theory that it changes like every single day is is correct or not. I don't know if this is gonna be a sunfish. It is not a sunfish. First catch! Wait, do you see that? I, I skipped past it so fast, but it made a cute little sound, and it was like first catch. Is it gonna do that every time I catch a like a, a new fresh fish for the first time? Like the very first time I've caught each fish. Bream bait. Yeah, it is changing. Eight gold for bream bait. That's a, what a steal. I guess per piece, but... Can't get back there. Leads up to a little sleeping cubby. It's off limits. Can't do that either. I want to unlock more bobber styles, man. How do I do this? I, I tricked you with my fishing sounds because you're also fishing. It was fated that the first bait I would find would be flounder bait. Do you think there's bait for, like, literally every fish? Like, do you think there's bait for the legendary fish? That's just, like, really, like, rare, harder to come by? I would be, that would be curious. I would be really interested to know that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's only for, like, the quote-unquote normal fish. First catch. One out of three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it shows you. It shows you so much more, like, directly when you've got something for your for your quest there. That's huge. 
That's really nice. Just the, all these little quality of life things. Probably not, since you can only catch one legendary fish. Yeah, but they can be hard to, like, hook sometimes. And who knows, maybe if you get, like, multiple... Like, maybe if you get bait for the legendary fish, maybe you can catch multiples of them. New record. We'll likely go fishing somewhere else once I get these three herring, but I definitely I wanna wouldn't mind just getting this quest done. Fishing update just dropped. <laughs> I mean, the, one of his posts did say that he was adding, uh, or it might have even been, like, the big, like, post for 1.6, that he was adding new late-game content for every skill area. And obviously this is not late-game content yet. We're, we're far from the late-game, but it's certainly, uh, certainly appreciated new content nevertheless. First catch. Stardew Valley expanded updated already. I heard that that was... Oh, see jelly! <laughs> I heard that was happening. A rare jelly found in the ocean. Plus one fishing for seven minutes? That's incredible. <laughs> that's really good. And the energy on this bad boy. Yo, that, that's got to be... I mean, I believe the description when it says that's rare. That's really, really cool. I don't know how rare exactly. I guess that remains to be seen, but that's that's very nice. And it's just like you don't even have to play the fishing mini game for it. It's like basically just like seaweed. Oh no, dude! I just realized. Oh no! <laughs> In randomized perfection, what if that's another thing we could accidentally like have to reset for because we catch the wrong fish? They just added three new variations of, like, green algae and seaweed. That's so good. <laughs> I think they, they, they're rare, though, so they're probably not going to be that big of a deal. At least this one is rare. I don't know if the I don't know about the other types of jelly yet. Cave jelly and, and river jelly. First catch of that anchovy. Will the randomizer continue on 1.5? I'm planning to update it to 1.6. But it remains to be seen what exactly the new requirements for perfection are in 1.6. I've got some new ideas to sleep on! Ooh! Night, night, time to level up fishing, baby. Do we think the jellies will work in the fish pond? A rare jelly found in the ocean. I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Chloe dreams of fishing. We could hop... I mean, I have some, some farms with, like, fish ponds and stuff. We could hop between various farms and try and, like, figure some of this stuff out for sure. Final herring, please. It's not labeled as a fish. It is in the fishing collection, though. We saw that earlier. Yeah, it's right there. Sea jelly. It's not labeled as anything, really. Sneaky little anchovy. Oh, pesky bee. Petting Dusty outside of Stardew Expanded would also be nice. Yeah, if they opened up if they opened up Dusty's uh, pen and let us actually interact with that that goodest of boys, then uh, I would not be opposed. Can non fish in the fishing collection be put in ponds? Like green algae and seaweed can't. There is a precedent precedent for these not to be able to be put in the in fish ponds. But it's it's hard to say. Like I don't know if this is like it's not a jelly fish. It's just it's rare jelly, sea jelly. I'm on a I'm on a sea jelly diet. If I see jelly, I eat it. Can anyone else relate? Sea foam pudding. Oh, that could that would be interesting actually if they change the sea foam pudding recipe based on that. 
Don't forget to check the seller on the Friday. The traveling cart, that's a that's a great call, honestly. Is herring available anymore, by the way? I thought I think I thought herring was an all-day fish, but maybe maybe I'm misremembering getting my fishing wires crossed. Or coated in jelly. Zippora, thank you for being a member for seven months at the neutron level, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Don't want to spoil it for yourself for 1.6 so you won't be here long, but hope you have fun. I am I fully respect that, and I thank you for dropping on in all the same. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy 1.6 in whatever capacity you choose to explore it. I don't need this seaweed. Excuse I just want one more herring, please. Just one more herring. It shouldn't be that rare. Bro. I mean, I'll, it'll keep me topped up on energy at the very least. <laughs> There's a new bobber, which will which would really help the fishing challenge. It seems like there's a lot of new new toys to play with when it comes to fishing. If there's like new bobbers, new bait, pro probably a lot of other new things that are available to us as well. That fish smoker. That fish smoker is honestly kind of crazy that it doubles the sell value of any fish. Because, like, fishing can already be a pretty lucrative endeavor. And if you're able to... I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how long the, uh, the smoking process takes. And I guess the smoking... I guess the smokers are also kind of expensive to craft. I mean, I already have some of the jelly I need for it. Smoked Legend. Imagine Smoked Iridium Quality Legend. Easy $30,000. <laughs> Love that he's increased the amount of Artisan goods. Making Artisan just that much better. I'm getting lots of eels today, if nothing else. Yo, you got the river jelly? Grats, Maggie. Grats. I've only found the sea jelly so far. I feel like cave jelly is probably going to be one of the rarer ones, because how often do you even go fishing in, the, in like, the mines or anything like that? Did the relationship chat tab change? Not to the best of my, uh, my assertion. It looks like it's pretty much all the same. I didn't see any new villagers. I didn't see any new... I guess. Ooh, halibut first catch. Um, I will get rid of the bait for right now. That's fine. I guess I didn't, like, click on these here. Let's see. Birthday for animal produce, arson items, cooked items. This all seems the same. All looks pretty much the same to me. Any new areas? None that we've discovered yet. I, haven't, I didn't notice any when we were looking at the map previously. Um, there is some large tree over in the Cindersap Forest that possibly will have a door in it at some point. There is a also a door just in Cindersap Forest that I think will open when we have ax when we have maxed out all five of our skills. So there's definitely new areas to explore. In, in uh, how big those areas are, or like what they contain, remains to be seen. But many things remain to be seen, as it turns out. With uh, with 1.6 right now, 10 iron ore is actually pretty good to get. Um, I think I will toss this silver quality sardine for that, and the bait I don't need. Have a good one there, Manoni. Wonder if the community center is any different. I want I I kind of wonder if I should have gone with remix bundles because maybe there's more options for remix bundles now. But I also wouldn't mind seeing if like the default bundles have changed in any capacity. I imagine they probably haven't. Maybe the rewards from them, but I I don't know. I'd be curious. Turns out, herrings are the rarest fish in the world. By the way, um. Honestly, I'm just gonna. I can come back tomorrow and fish for the last herring if I need to. Let's let's head home here. That's it. You're checking the patch notes. 
I feel like that's the game a lot of Stardew Valley players are playing right now. It's like, how long can I go without checking the patch notes? How long can I resist that siren-like temptation? Nice to see the young folk moving into the valley. I don't know if I'm going to be able to resist that much longer myself. Curiosity must be satisfied. I think what I'm going to do... I think I would like to try and reach, like, farming level 2... Maybe get myself a silo, get myself um, get myself some and get myself some mayonnaise via that farming level two. Get a little ways into spring here, so we probably don't won't do like full days like this too much going forward here. Have there always been two rooms at the saloon? I believe there have been, yeah. Um, I could save these fish in order to like sell them later and get like max value out of them, but I honestly think I'm just going to sell them now. Um, I should save some fish because they are required for the community center, though. Anchovy is not. Save the sea jelly. Save one eel. Save the herrings. Good there. Saloon kegs very well might look different. I, I honestly, I, I don't know. I simply do not know right now. I think I'll craft another, um, another chest here. Text sign. That's so. That's such a cool little addition. I love that so much. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. I'll make it blue. I'll add my little fishing endeavor stuff down here. Some things never change regardless of the update. Let's get all this out. I'm gonna need the watering can for tomorrow. Put these away. And we'll be off to bed. Another fine day of 1.6 exploration. Done and dusted. Level 1 fishing. Plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. Nothing else new there. And there's level 2. We get our bait from that. That's interesting. It didn't get, Even though I level up twice in that day, it didn't give me the message twice. That's like, you have a few new things you need to sleep on. It only gave me that the first time I leveled up. That is, that is interesting. Can I try not to skip dialogue so quickly? I'm try I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glancing them and seeing if they're new or if I recognize them, but I'll try to go a little bit slower just so we're all on the, on the same page there. Fortune teller. Star drop luck day. You love to see it. Nice sunny day tomorrow as well. That's good. When do I think I'll unlock new recipes? Couldn't tell you, honestly. I feel like a lot of new recipes are probably going to be available not via, like, skill unlocks or anything like that, but via, um, via, like, shops. Like, how the big chest is available at Robin's. Maybe there's other shops and things that will be, that'll become available later on. Oh, they're still asleep. Do they have, like, a, like a little sleepy period in the morning, or is that just, you know, that just, <laughs> that just because... I came in too early, I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just random. Go over to skills and hover over Chloe. She do be walking. I think that used to happen anyway though. Alright, let me grab some hay here. For those wondering, like, how did I get 15 hay so early on? I don't even have a silo or anything like that. I, I, did, I didn't buy it from Marnie, I'll tell you that much. We got 15 hay instead of 15 parsnip seeds as our, uh, as our starting gift on this farm. That actually kind of makes me wonder. Do you think that the starting gift on other farm types has changed? Like, what if, like, you know... On the, on the Riverlands farm or something, instead of, like, 15 parsnip seeds, what if you get, like, 15 bait or something? I don't know. I would be curious to see that. Make each of them have their own, like, little specialized gift or, or something like that from Mayor Lewis. I'd be, I'd be, uh, start with a better rod, maybe. Start with a better rod, or maybe even you start with, uh, like, you know, crab pots or something like that. You hope not? I would be I would be interested in seeing it if only so that we could, you know, 
have some idea of uh I'm gonna make actually a different chest for all these eggs because we get we're probably gonna get a decent variety of eggs. I think I think it would give a different incentive to uh to explore some of the other farm types maybe and give each of them their own more distinct personalities. I'll put a chest right here. A nice little white chest. White for eggs. Sorry to the sorry to the the brown eggs there. Look for the green worms on the ground. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Green worms noted. I'll be looking for green worms. Is it more carrot seeds? I've already got some carrots growing in the ground. <laughs> I don't remember what color those worms are. I just I I hoed them so fast. All right, I should try and go and get the last herring today if I can. Or honestly, maybe even maybe not. Maybe I should just let it go by the wayside. Okay, I should go buy some seeds today. I've got money to buy seeds. I'm going to go buy some seeds, see if we can get our farming level up a little bit here. Keep your eyes peeled for green seed, green worms. I mean, even if it is just more carrot seeds, I'm, I'm down. I want more carrot seeds. <laughs> I should do the help wanted quests, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Thank you for the non-spoilery intel. I appreciate that. All right, let's go. What should I buy? I guess I should buy a little bit of everything here. What if I just buy, like, five parsnip seeds? I'm just going to buy, like, honestly, I think, I think I'm just going to buy, like, five of everything except maybe, like, the flowers and stuff. Just to have it. I guess I don't really need five bean starters. I'll buy five bean starters, though. Five cauliflower seeds, five potato seeds, and I'll buy five kale seeds, just for good measure. That was most of my money, but money well spent, I say. Can't wait to try this myself. Nintendo Capri Sun, welcome on in. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's very... It's a nice breath of fresh air so far. I mean, a lot of it feels very... Very much the same, which is good, because you don't want to change what's already been such an amazing experience. But there's little bits of polish and additions here and there that are just very, very welcome. It's super cool to see so far. I hope you have fun with it when you do do eventually give it a try here. Alright, get this sapling out of here. I want to clear a nice little space for my crops. And we'll just do few cheeky little lines of crops. That's not what I meant to do, but actually, you know what? It, maybe it works out. No, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. We want one, two, three, four, four, five. Five, and we have five different seeds, so two, three, four, five, and then we just fill in the square. Yeah, we have no idea when it's going to when it's going to come out on Switch, unfortunately. Concerned Ape has, uh, has said that it, it'll, it should be, you know, quicker than the 1.5, the way for 1.5 was on console and mobile and that sort of thing, but he hasn't said specifically, a, like, a release date or anything like that. Which is fine. We got, we got to let the man, got to give him some leeway here. <laughs> Even though I know a lot, I know many of you are console and mobile players, and I feel for you. I hope the wait is not too long. And I imagine Concerned Ape also feels for you, so. You know, who knows? Maybe maybe next month we'll be laughing thinking it would have been any longer than like a month or two. We can only hope for the best. Alright. Got ourselves a nice little field of crops here ready to go. Um, I was told I should be doing help wanted quests, so we should so let's go ahead and actually where's the closest water supply on this farm? I should know so that I can refill my watering can. Nothing down here. Is it over by my coop? It might honestly be over by my coop. Because there is this little, like, waterfall section over here. I don't know if that's the closest one, sp like, strictly speaking, but it's the one I was thinking of, so and there we go. Okay. 
let's go ahead and grab the... Well, I'll put away the stuff I don't need for right now. Grab myself a fishing rod. Take the herring with me. Bring these just in cases. And I'm on my way. Might need a well or a fish pond. I'm definitely getting a vibe that fish ponds could be could be important. There might be some upgrade to fish ponds. Maybe that's how you get your frogs and stuff. Your frogs and, and the turtle I've heard so much tell about. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. How long until we got... We have, to, we have to wait until the 15th before we get any, like, new things going on here. We might hit a point where we just end up, like, sleeping the days through. That said, I do still want to... I do still want to do my due diligence for the time being. What's the blue blob I have? That is sea slime. That is uh, one of the new things in the fishing collection over here. Sea jelly. My apologies, not sea slime. Sea jelly. A rare jelly found in the ocean. You got your own carrot seed from Green Worms. Yo, congrats. I've only found one carrot seed so far, but... <laughs> it was an exciting moment, to be sure. Yeah, it could be some kind of... I don't know what kind of festival it's going to be. It's three days. It's like three days and stars on it. Like the... Like a la Night Market. So I have to imagine it's Night Market adjacent. Could you imagine if Concerned Ape spoiled us so much to give us a Night Market style festival for every season in the game? It's too early to say. Ooh, double Aquamarine. Don't mind if I do. Actually, I might just go donate one of those right now. Get the uh, archaeology quest done because you get you get like 250 gold from that. It's no nothing to nothing to sneeze at. Did I get Joja Cola? I have not gotten any Joja Cola yet. Is there has something about Joja Cola been changed? I mean, presumably I'll fish up Joja Cola at some point. I can't help but notice I haven't actually fished any trash up. I don't know if the rates for that have been changed or if I'm just you know getting lucky enough that I haven't caught any, but. Ooh, flounder. First catch of the flounder. Ten bait for me. Will I play until the year of the game turns? I don't know if I'm going to play that long on this farm specifically. Like, right, like, today anyway. Um, We'll play for a decent while longer on this farm, and then I want to pivot to some other farms to see some potential, like, other, other content, late game content and otherwise. Joja Cola is different now. That is so intriguing. Like, what's different about Joja Cola? Was it maybe it was made different so that the reward you get for doing the Joja Path, like the Joja Cola machine, is a little more valuable? Maybe that's why. Buy one at Gus's. I could buy one at Gus's. That is, like, most of my money, though. Not that I'm not going to get quite a decent amount more money from just, like, fishing and stuff, but... Am I willing to commit, like, three quarters of my remaining money just to find out what Joja Cola might do? They changed the formula. They made a diet version, you think? A little flounder for the road. Flounder, do I need flounder for community center? I might. Give Sam a Joja Cola before realizing. Okay. Show me the herring. The herring? Maybe I should buy some herring bait. I don't know, man. I don't well, I don't have a rod that I can put the bait on, even if I did buy any, but <laughs> How do I read chat and do fishing at level three? Lots of practice. And also these fish are not. Not that hard. The sardine and stuff, it's uh, not too shabby. Excuse me, Willie. This is my fishing spot? You're going to have to go find your own, pal? Boom. Mumble, mumble. Hey, I, th I would tell you about my thoughts, but it's a fisherman's secret. Nothing new there. Mm -hmm. 
you're reading through the change log and concern date mentions something about secret items, quote unquote. Hmm. I am very excited to learn about what these books might be from the bookseller. We should definitely like save some money for when the bookseller comes around, because I mean, I mean, it's a bookseller. We're gonna need to have some money for for that, right? So, how much? I don't know. How much is a book worth to you? I guess it depends on the knowledge contained therein. Weird glitch with Willie's poll. First glitch. First bug spotted. Wait, you're so right. There is like a weird little visual glitch with Willie's poll right there. All right, everyone, mark it down. Mark it down so we can send it to send to, to Concerned Ape later. Wait a second. Just let me catch this. See, look at that. He's, there's like a weird little, weird little something. It's like offset a little bit. Ooh, chicken statue. It was meant to be. Oh, I should have gone and donated stuff to the museum. A little too little, too late right now, I guess. Uh. Inventory is so full right now. I just want this herring, man. Just give me this herring, please. You have to guess that the books give you some kind of permanent buff. They've got to be special in some capacity for sure. Like it's like they're in the, like the section that is now basically the, the new wallet, right? So if you're comparing it to the likes of wallet items, they've got to give you something good. Like you said, probably some kind of permanent buff, because that's usually what the wallet items are, uh, are want to do. Seem to be new outfits as well. Wouldn't have it any other way. Tailor some sea jelly when... Is Willy wearing short snoo? I think his sprite is the same. I think so. It looks it looks same-ish to me anyway. Did the raccoons from the poster end up doing anything? I have not spotted any raccoons just yet, but I have to imagine maybe they appear in the trash can sometimes. A little halibut. Halibut for the halibut. This last herring is immense. The first two came like instantaneously. <laughs> and now this last one just does not want to appear at all. There we go. We're gonna anchovy, man. An anchovy and ten bait. I mean, I don't really need the bait, to be honest with you right now, so why not? Maybe the raccoons can be in the trash can at night. You just got a Joja Cola out of the trash can, and oh my goodness. <laughs> People are losing their minds over Joja Cola, of all things. I never thought I'd see the day. Finally! Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> got a little check mark on our on our journal over there as well. Swap that out. Willie, check out these herrings. <laughs> herrings an exciting catch. They're strong swimmers. Apparently so. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Thank you very much for that. All right. The people are clamoring for it. I'm going to go buy a Joja Cola. I'll spend my hard-earned herring money on a Joja Cola or two. Is this still... Is, oh, what? What is this? I've been in here before, but maybe... I, I've done something. There's something... I've triggered... Okay. New cutscene. Ah, hello there, Chloe. Please tell me what the heck this is, man. I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. Aw, prizes. How does one win such prizes, sir? It's a new program I've come up with to help promote the spirit of goodwill amongst the townsfolk, you included. It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help others in town, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. This is why we want to do help wanted quests. There's some special stuff in there. So there's a chance that when you do a help wanted quest that you get a ticket that you can redeem here for like really pretty good rewards based on what I'm seeing. My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. You're probably 100% right about that. But 
<laughs> yup, I'm in it for the prizes, baby. Oh yeah. Get me some greedy emojis in chat. I just want to help. I just want to help. Can't let him on. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. At any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in town. That's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Good luck out there. That's huge. That's huge, man. All right, now we know at least. Now we know. I don't know when this is going to change or if it's going to change. Maybe it only changes after you buy it. Or maybe it changes on the week. Or I don't know. That's really cool. That completely changes the possible dynamic of help wanted quests. I have to imagine, like, for, like, seated speedruns and stuff, that could actually change a great deal, depending on what's available from that prize machine. Speaking of what's available from the prize machine, all right, put the chicken statue down for a second. Buy a Joja Cola for 75 gold. Sure, what is this? Joja Cola plus one speed for 21 seconds. Whoa, okay. I mean, that's not a long time, but plus one speed... That I did not see coming. <laughs> that I really did not see. That's pretty legit. Yeah. I mean, if you if you build up a decent stack of these, you could at least, you know, you could make you could go places with that. Hey China Washington, thank you for the five dollar super chat, by the way. Thank you, thank you. You got one of the books in the power section after cutting down trees until until you passed out. Five percent wait. After, you got one of the books in the power section. After cutting down trees you, until you pass out, 5% chance for double wood. That is very interesting. Huh. So maybe not all the books are available via the bookseller then. That is... You can just like, get some from like random activities throughout town. Drink me a Joja Cola, baby. Get me, get me home nice and quick here. <laughs> Plus one speed from Joja Cola. It's not much. It's not much for, like, you know, just, like, a short duration like that. But, you know, 20 seconds can go a long way in the right moment. They added caffeine to the formula. Finally. Kind of base since you can fish it up. You can fish it up. You can get it from trash cans. You can get it from the, uh, the Joja vending machine. You get one per day. A lot of options. Very, very cool. All right, hold on to those for the time being. Actually, I, I kind of no. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sell them. I was just selling them before, right? Yeah. So let's sell all the ones. I, I'll save the ones I need for the community center. I think I need a flounder for the community center, so we'll save that. Keep these out here. Farm speed and lava cave. Um. Yeah. Just sell all this. Kuro Okami, hello, hello. What about Joja Mart itself? Oh, you can buy it from Joja Mart yourself, can't you? I didn't even think about that. You can like buy like maybe like a mass like a mass stockpile of Joja Cola. That that is an idea. If there's no limit to how many you can buy from there, you can just buy like a full stack of Joja Cola. That could be pretty big. I don't know how expensive they are. Oh, <gasps> my little kitty cat. Oh, you're finally here. You see this cat here? I do. Meow. <laughs> Look at this black, beautiful baby. There she is. I think it likes this place. Absolutely, this place could use a cat. I will adopt this cat. Me new. You got the first two letters, right? There we go. Welcome in, me new. Well, little Minu, you be a good kitty now, okay? She's so precious, dude. She's so precious. Not exactly the same, but she, but it is very, very similar. New items in stock from Willy. Ooh, special Joja stationery to our value gen. So this is just the one for the mines, but it's still so cool to see new stationery. I like that. Oh, you're fast asleep over here. Look at you. You're so cute. I gotta get a hat for you. Toot sweet. Oh my gosh. There's so much, so much exciting stuff happening. It is a terrible luck day, so it's probably not the best day to go to the mines, but gosh darn it if that's gonna stop me. I got myself a carrot, by the way. Plus 75 energy. 
A fast growing colorful tuber that makes for a great snack. That you're not wrong, that is a great snack. A little black witch hat for the cat, that would be really good actually. Like, I understand now why you can't just, like, buy carrot seeds outright, at least not to start with, because 75 energy, that is, I mean, that's pretty insane for, like, a, just a spring crop that grows, like, in three days like that. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty big. The only carrot I've gotten so far, for those who are wondering, like, where it came from, it's, I got one carrot seed from a, uh, an artifact spot, quote-unquote, on the beach. It wasn't an artifact spot, like, how we know them, but it is, like, a green artifact spot. Ooh, half a heart with both of you already. You love to see it. Yeah, Black Cat is also part of uh, 1.6. Black Cats were not previously available. Honestly, maybe I should sell these silver quality ones. Get myself just a little bit extra spending cash. Have a good one there, Otto. Thank you for hanging out. Okay. Um, I want to donate these today. I would like to... I'm going to... I think I am going to go visit the mines today. There could be some new stuff happening at the mines. I think it's worth going, even though it is a bad luck day. So let's go ahead and bring all the stuff we're going to need for that. Like so. Do I bring the carrot? Or do I save the carrot? I think we should, I should probably save the carrot. It is good for energy, though. I'll bring it just, you know, just in case I end up in a, in a tight situation. Oh, it's, hold on, it's, it's a traveling cart day as well. I should check that. If we're going to see any new items anywhere, you know, the probably the first place we're going to find them is in the traveling cart if we get lucky, so. Excuse you, that's so rude. Look at this big tree, man. I'm so, I'm so excited. I need to know what happens here. All right, Mabel, there she is. There she is. Got anything for me? Roots platter. I do like it. Shows it shows the buff differently. Well, it shows it shows the buff and it shows the time for the buff, which is very very nice. Coconut. Um. Saplings. Nothing else of the sort. Nothing else noteworthy here. Okay. That is a lot of cooked dishes. You are not wrong. Hey, Emily Glenn, thank you for the dollar or the 199 euros, by the way. Or is that pounds? I always forget the same. I think it's pounds. Me new. Precious little me new baby. Thank you very much for the generosity. I greatly appreciate it. What do you mean? What do you mean, simp? What do you mean, simp, Karita Hearts? Excuse me? Alright, hold on. I don't know you, but you will. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... I got things to do. I'm gonna go donate all this stuff. And I guess I'll sell the other ones to, to Clint. I could save them for, like, other purposes and stuff, but honestly, I think the money is probably more valuable at this point in my life. Bottle hole. I mean, the money is more valuable after spending five hundred dollars on a coconut. That is, you know, it's a good point. Mom's making lentil soup tonight. Gosh darn it, not again. She's even in one point six. We're not safe from the lentil soup. Do we actually have access to the lentils now? Though is the question. All right, this is the same cutscene I have to imagine. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it just on on the chance that it probably is. Kuro Okami, thank you for being a member for 21 whole months at the Positron level, by the way. Member milestone, heck yeah. They love the trees. It feels like a new game. It it's it's like a fresh coat of paint on on the same old game that we've come to know and love. No doubt about that. Chicken statue. Doesn't seem like I have anything to donate. We're good there. Archaeology, 250 clean dollars. There's a book missing here. Book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors rather than dry hay. All the same old usual suspects. The layout of the museum changed, right? It didn't look that different to me. I wouldn't be surprised, though, because there have been a lot of, like, touch-ups to shops and things in, uh, 
in various parts. So if it, if it was changed, then pardon me for not noticing. Depressing, huh? Yeah, he was talking about the weather year round in his shop. The opening with the purple rug. That could possibly be new. Concerned Ape has added many rugs that I've noticed to just like various shops. Every like a lot of shops just have like a new rug at the counter, which is kind of a nice, you know, just it's just a more immersive touch. There's 140,000 people playing Stardew Valley right now on Steam, apparently. That is amazing. All right, um, Haley is not here yet. I'm gonna go home and just like drop off some of my goodies. Will I run into Haley on the way down here, or has her, has her schedule changed? I thought she would be up there on Friday. There she is. Okay, she was just on her way. Enjoy. Food judgment might not might not be the healthiest. Yeah. Okay. I am I am kind of in the habit of skipping past dialogue. You'll have to pardon me on that one, but I'll I'll, I'll try to be better. All right. Helpful guide for where to stand to interact with the shopkeeper. All right, we'll come back this way to unlock the community center. We should be able to unlock that today. Simp chat. I'm looking for new hard events. Don't call me a simp. I'm just looking for new hard events. That's all. All right. Uh, I'll bring the hoe for potential artifact spots still on my way. I believe the top of the 1.5 release was 100k players at the same time. Sardew Valley is, is growing and it's showing no, showing no signs of stopping. Community Center. I'm going to skip this. This is a long cutscene. There might be a change in there, but at the very least, I'm gonna I will visit the Community Center and just see if there's anything new. Oh, help on quest. I need, I need to see if I can get a ticket. <laughs> 160. Okay, 15 copper ores. There's a there's stars on the side. Was this here before and I just didn't notice, or did that get added after that cutscene with Mayor Lewis? There is a. Do you think this is like you know like you can because I've completed one help wanted quest, so maybe I complete three and I get a ticket. Maybe it's like you can upgrade the help wanted board over time. Maybe it is. Maybe it's difficulty. I feel it, like my my hunch is telling me that it's. Like, you complete, once you complete three, you get a ticket. That's my guess. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and complete that quest, because we're going to the mines anyway. The star outlines were there. They got filled in once I, once I finished one. I see, I see. All right, community center. Looking pretty much the same, pretty unchanged, from what I can tell. Sneaky little Junimo. This is an entirely new message, I can absolutely tell. Over here, probably nothing, but do our due diligence. Yeah, take it for every three quests. That seems like it might be the way. Does the community center have different missions? We're going to find out. We're at least going to see, like, like, tomorrow we'll have access to the, our first set of bundles, and we'll go from there. Let's go see. We haven't really explored much up in this in this general vicinity, honestly. We have yet to visit the mines because we haven't had the chance to until today. Howdy there, Linus. A stranger, hello. I haven't actually met everybody yet. Build a silo. 26 out of 28. Who am I missing? I'm missing Sebastian, Elliot, and, and the wizard, but he doesn't count for the quest. It makes sense, though. All right. Same layout here. I'm not noticing anything new immediately off the bat. I will skip this and get myself a rusty sword. Rusty sword, same stats, 2 to 5 damage. That sounds pretty much entirely unchanged. Okay. Can't get in there yet. I want to see you. I want to see you, homie. <laughs> Alright, reach level 5 in the mines. Let's take care of that quick. Hopefully it doesn't take too long here, That, but that said... Ooh, Geode! For a second, I thought there was going to be a Geo cutscene, but it was just, like, slightly delayed. Mining some extra stone just because... We are going to need stone for our, um... Our silo. Got 
God love these early days in the mines, baby. <laughs> Taking however many, like, what is that, like, 15 hits to kill a green slime with our sword? Feels good to be back, man. Ooh, a little yellow slime. There's extra sap in this one. What? <laughs> that's, that's not extra sap, man! That's not extra sap! <laughs> that's money! Yo, Dominic, you said it. You can get 250 gold from killing a yellow slime? Or maybe just from killing slimes in general? <laughs> that was that I mean 250 gold is also not like a not nothing to scoff at. That's quite a lot, especially for the early game. Do you think that's just slimes, or is that like other monsters might have potential might, maybe there's like gold variants to monsters now? I mean gold slimes were already always in the game, but I don't know, it just gets my gets my mind buzzing with ideas. Alright, there's a sneaky rock crab right there. Get a free crab for the community center, potentially. Would be nice as our first drop here. All right, fair enough. Wonder if the slime hutches are the same. Yo, if you could breed gold slimes in the slime hutch and get money that way. That's a pretty good incentive, honestly. I see the staircase over there, but I will just do a quick exploration. Not bad, not bad. Deeper in the mines, level 40. Don't think we're going to get quite that far, but I will... I'll try and go to level 10. We still got to be on the lookout for copper ore anyway. Maybe those types of rewards are dependent on the slime color. Just got an amethyst from that guy. I mean, that, that was always able to happen. I know that. Still nice. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a lot... Maybe some of the loot tables have been changed around. getting like gold from it. Ooh, is that is that a proper glow ring or just a small glow ring? Small glow ring, we'll still take it. Getting us started off right here. I like I like glow rings if only for production quality. <laughs> There's a new Joja furniture catalog. I did see that. We went and visited Joja Mart and it's on sale there. Very excited about that to see potentially you could you could really like lean heavily into into Joja Mart is what I'm learning right now. What am I going to do with randomized perfection? I will be updating it to 1.6, I think. I've got some new ideas to sleep on, baby. Ooh. That is really nice. Uh, just, like, getting that message so it's like, oh, I leveled up in mining. That's, uh, that's good to know. There we go. Yeah, this is where the luck is coming back to bite us. We actually had a pretty good run of those first five floors, but... Coming back around now. That's all the copper ore we need. Um, I could grab that quartz. Is there anything I would get rid of for the quartz? Honestly, everything is, is kind of... I mean, slime doesn't have a huge purpose, so I can maybe get rid of that. But there's bound to be plenty of quartz in our future. Quartz is not that uncommon, unless that's gotten changed. Which it does not seem like it. Did Steam get updated with new achievements? I don't know if Steam itself has any new achievements. There are a lot of new in-game achievements, but actual Steam achievements, I didn't uh, didn't look at it specifically. All right, I will eat the spring onions over the carrot. I mean, who knows what this carrot could be used for? I'll chomp it down if uh, push comes to shove, but for now, this is what the spring onions are all for. Nine new Steam Steam achievements? Really? Ooh. I did not expect the Steam achievements to get a shuffle shuffled around. I'm very happy for that. I'm always I'm an achievement hunter at heart to a certain extent, so. That said, it is kinda hilarious that I finally got the last achievement I needed after like so long. Literally like a couple weeks ago. I got like a full house with two kids. Just in time for nine more to be added. <laughs> you love you love when, you know, when the universe gives you a big old slap in the face like that. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm 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 happy more than anything, though, because I, I am a big fan of achievements. So you're not going to catch me complaining, but it is a little bit 
a little bit cheeky. Hard mode Factor's challenge, I think Concerned Ape learned his lesson with the first Factor's challenge achievement. If he put in any other Factor's challenge adjacent achievement, I would be surprised. That said, it's, it's, there is poss a possibility that we could look at the Steam achievements and glean some information therein. Sometimes, like, the descriptions for the Steam achievements will be, like, hidden, so you can't always glean information, but there's a chance, uh, there's a chance that they're not. He definitely gleaned. <laughs> Just wait until you see all the new fishing stuff. Master Angler is a breeze. <laughs> well, I'm gl if it's a breeze now, I'm glad I got it done in 1.5 when it was actually hard. Um, Let's see. I guess I, I'll probably just be able to put these on, right? Yeah, it's because it's leather boots. Uh, Swap those around real quick. Is that a new mine floor layout? I don't think it was. I think it was uh the same one that's always been there. Of course, if Master Angler is like much easier now, I do some I do dread the comments that are gonna happen in the in the coming years on the Master Angler video of like, oh, why didn't you use the special bobber that allows you to make that that would make this challenge so much easier? I'm gonna have to add like 1.5 to the title or something like that. <laughs> oh well, comes with the territory. It's fine. That's interesting. Check the skills tab. Skills tab. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is oh, it tracks your mind's progress down there. Okay, so these are so this is something else then that presumably also gets tracked. What would that be? I imagine this is probably star drop progress then. I'm a greenhorn baby. Have a good one there, Mobby. Thank you for hanging out. I think Clint is probably still here, right? Yeah. I brought the ores you requested. Enjoy. Enjoy, sir. Here's my payment as, re as requested. Awesome. All right, we're looking for one more help wanted quest in order to potentially get ourselves a ticket. I've got the golden ticket. Skull Caverns in the tree, maybe? I don't know what the tree is. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know of a tree that I'm very curious about, but I don't know... In relation, is it a new? Is there a new tree-based dungeon? Potentially. Check out the arcade games. I looked over there to see if there were any like new arcade games, but I haven't actually played the arcade games myself. Wonder if Robin can make your house even bigger, go even further beyond. I think it has something to do with the new giant tree. Like it doesn't like the icon just based on like its silhouette here doesn't look like a skull cavern like I it I mean silhouettes can be deceptive right so this could be any number of things but it definitely does have I mean this is a tree <laughs> but I don't know if that's a a silhouette in the same way that these ones are Sebastian's the only one left to talk to is Sebastian here. Fashion does hang out on Fridays, but I guess it's too late now. The third looks like a star drop. It does actually kind of look like it's, it could be like a miniaturized star drop. I can I can see it. Either way, let's go lock all this in. Do I have enough wood to make another chest, or am I just going to have to, you know, consolidate into into one here? I feel like I don't have that much wood. Yeah, 15 wood. All right, fair enough. Just stockpile all this in here for right now. Um, Put that away. And I'll grab my watering can just so I'm ready to go tomorrow. Off to bed. Level 1 mining. Classic. <laughs> I love the chicken sounds, man. Furnace recipe incoming. Unless they changed it on me. Alright, good luck day. We should definitely go back to the mines then, in that case. There we go. That should be furnace recipe. 
Furnace recipe unlocked. Forging ahead. Craft a furnace. Don't mind if I do. Me new. <laughs> Alright, gotta pay a visit to the wizard. Slay 10 slimes. A lot of stones scattered on the farm. That's for the well. Okay. 75 stones and 1,000 gold. Got it, got it. Go pay attention to my little chickens first. Viola and Piccolo, I believe your names are. I've got some new ideas to sleep on. That's farming level one, baby. That's farming level one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to sell that gold egg and everything. Farming level one, which does unlock the scarecrow, so we can complete the advancement quest there. Which is good, because I completely forgot that I actually need a scarecrow for this, but... <laughs> All right, uh, at least no crows have gotten into any of our uh, crops yet. I was so gung-ho about just, like, planting crops, I forgot actually... I, I could probably use a, sta a scarecrow here. <laughs> did Grandpa leave these chickens for, like, ten years? I can't imagine he did, because they were babies when I arrived. Maybe Marnie donated some chickens? Maybe he just left the coop? I mean, he did leave... He did fly the coop. In the literal sense of the word. You know, I should water... I'm realizing I should water my crops first and then come up here and take care of the chickens because then I can refill my watering can. That's the that's the cycle you want to go with. That grass... I mean, with only two chickens, that grass is actually going to sustain us for a decent while here, I think. Okay. Um, put the watering can away. I think I will quickly get 50 wood so I can just make a new chest for mining-related stuff. Actually, maybe I'll bring a chest to the mines. That's probably a that's probably a smarter idea, honestly. See if I can chop a few different trees as well, so I can get a a field snack. I did I did finish the copper quest. Yeah, I went and saw Clint uh, at the saloon last night. No worries there, Lisa. Someone will live in the giant tree. It's definitely giving like treehouse esque vibes. Um, I need... I still need a pine cone, and I need an oak seed. A.K.A. an acorn. <laughs> oak seed. What is this, Minecraft? Alright, they're not giving me any of the seeds I want, and I've already eaten through a good chunk of energy, so... I think I'll just take my... take my wood and leave. Alright, make the chest. Pop these away in here. Um, should I bring anything else for, like, snacks? I should bring these other spring onions here. I think I'm just gonna leave the carrot, honestly. I think I'd, even if I run out of energy, I'd rather just leave it there. I'll bring this, this, just bring all the mines goodies here. I'm gonna need more clay. You need, like, what, ten clay for the, uh... You need ten clay for the... Word's not coming to me. Silo, silo. <laughs> Hydrate, don't dihydrate. I do. I am just about finished my water here. I'm gonna have to go get another, uh, another glass in uno momento. All right, visit wizard. That's a good call. All right, four geodes. Um, I'll leave the geodes here for the time being. I'd rather. I'd probably rather have them closer to home than, uh, than at the mines anyway. All right, let's go quickly visit the wizard. You just got mixed flower seeds from fiber. Maybe that's what those uh, seeds that are at the that are currently available in like my ticket machine are. Because it it looks they look like mixed. They look like magic bait, but it's not magic bait. It's not the sprite for magic bait. Why well, am I bringing the bug meat? Um, I'll, I mean, you know, it's a good point, honestly. <laughs> so I can stockpile it there, because I'm gonna that's where I'm going to be getting more bug meat, and I can maybe turn it into bug steaks in the future. All right. Ooh, Wizard's Tower got a little bit spruced up, too, I think. Isn't there, like, a more, more of, like, a nature-y vibe going on in here? Hello, sir. I predicted your arrival a long time ago, young Chloe. Your fate is ultimately in your own hands. Still got the circle. We got these like little ferns down here. That table is that table new? There's like notes and stuff here. The trap door is still here. Pretty standard stuff. Okay. 
Don't notice anything immediately that new, but it's definitely been spruced up a teensy bit. Community center. Spring foraging bundle, standard. Exotic foraging, yep. Yeah. Construction, yep. Yeah. Fall, yep. Yeah. Summer. Okay, all the bundles are the same. They have the same requirements. Whether they actually give the same rewards remains to be seen, I suppose, but... It's a big bookcase. Yeah, maybe maybe we just never noticed it. I, there's probably a lot of things that were in the game that, like, now that I'm looking for them, I'm like, yo, look at that. There are new new remix bundles, though. Should have gone remix bundles. I knew I should have gone remix bundles, man. <laughs> hey, Allie, thank you for becoming a or thank you for being a member. Pardon me for 23 months, almost two years. We're closing in on. That's wild. Thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate the support and the amazing mod ship that you have provided. Oh, final person for the introductions quest. You love to see it. Thank you so much. Here's to here's to another couple of years beyond. Even further beyond. I smell like grass. Life goal achieved. What's the gimmick of the new farm? There's blue grass that I think makes animals like you faster when they eat it. And you also start with a coop and two chickens. That is the that is the crux of the gimmick so far. Amethyst is a nifty gift. I actually should be... You know what? I should give an amethyst to somebody, maybe. Just for the, the gift-giving quest here. Emily's probably available right now. And then I can go and donate the other one. Excuse me. Pardon me. Didn't mean to... <laughs> that was quite a, quite a traffic jam we had there. Could gift the bug meat. Lily might appreciate it. An amethyst. This will protect me on those late nights working at the saloon. That's new. <laughs> this will protect me on those late nights working at the saloon. Wait, do they have new dialogue for their loved gifts now? Or for gifts in general, maybe? An amethyst. Do you think she would say just like replace like whatever this is with her with a different loved gift? Maybe. I don't know. I don't I love that either way. I love that for you. Crystal powers or something? I'll need to give... I mean, I'm going to give Haley that coconut on her birthday. I guess we'll get to see if there's any, like, new birthday dialogue, potentially. Please tell me <laughs> Abby still eats rocks. I don't think Concerned Dave could change that if he wanted to. The, the community would riot too hard. No more Sandy saying that that <laughs> Wait, archaeology oh I thought I thought it was telling me it was closed. No more Sandy saying that mad mango sticky rice is a flower. I mean that's pretty great though, you gotta admit. Can I do anything for you? Nope. Take care. Alright, great conversation. <laughs> uh how to win friends, that one's done. Okay. We gotta, we gotta make a, actually, let's make a furnace, like, right now. We should have the stuff to do it, yeah. I could actually make, I could even make another furnace, and I think I just, I just, very well just might. Let's do that. Two furnaces, a couple furni. Don't sniff me, Lewis. Even after all this time, all these updates later, this man's still out here sniffing me. Hope Sandy can be your wife. She's not available in the, uh, or at least I, I don't have her on my my friends list just yet because I haven't met her. So I don't know if she has like the single tag next to her. I didn't actually look specifically. Are any of the other ones single, single? Yeah, these are all the same. Harvey, Linus, Elliot, Sebastian. Yeah, no, it's all the same. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know if we were going to have an upheaval of grand proportions. Like, all of a sudden, you can marry Willy or something like that. People would go insane. All right, pop on in here. Hold on a second. This is important. This is important information right now. Put that down there. Boom. Let's go. Homie, are you here? Homie. 
same as ever. <laughs> Hello, Hemo Homie. Hat O oh, Hemo? Hemo Homie. There we go. Have we been to the guild yet? We haven't uh, completed the initiation quest to get in there. We might be able to do that today, actually. Homie. Homie's cave has not yet changed. I hope that Homie actually has some new dialogue, because I feel like they are, are pretty lacking on the dialogue front, to be honest with you. Alright, let's go ahead and put all this. Actually, I guess I can smelt some of that. No, I'll save the coal to smelt copper for now, because I need more copper than iron for the time being. Okay, put that away. Um, I'll say I'll put... No, I'll hold on to these. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's head on down. You're the next contestant on the Mines Are Deep. Alright. Yeah, I am excited to get into the Adventurer's Guild, because there's been pretty much new stuff in every single, like, building that we've gone into so far, so... The Adventurer's Guild hopefully does not... is, is the same in that regard. Hopefully we've got at least, at least something new available in the shop. Have I noticed the combat changes? I have not been specifically n looking for them. Let's check the, uh... The hitbox change, like, when attacking from above, though. Should see just, like, how that feels in general. That does... It's noticeable. That is noticeable, for sure. There's... there's There is a difference there. Yeah. New bug sounds? I don't think so. I haven't I haven't noticed any new bug sounds specifically. It's one of those things you might not like notice just by watching, but there is a distinct difference when attacking from above compared to what there used to be. The colors have improved too. You guys might have a keener eye for that kind of stuff than I do. It all it all looks pretty much the same to me. Ooh, more amethysts. But if the colors are more vibrant or just different and, you know, just like I said, no new fresh coat of paint, I'm all here for it. I think it'll be easier to tell once we once we start attacking with the dagger, the classic dagger. That probably will be easier to tell, honestly, yeah. All these sneaky slimes. Oh my gosh, they're inundating me with staircases here. Get out of here, dude. Give me an earth crystal, please. I'm on a keen... I'm on a mission for an earth crystal right now. Because we need one of those to craft our mayonnaise machine here eventually. I want the first mayonnaise I drink to be on this farm. I think that's... I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll pivot to a different farm and explore some possible later game options once we get the mayonnaise machine and get that on deck. But... We're not resting until we at least get that far. The Mayo update. Drink that Mayo, baby. <laughs> um, I will get rid of... Actually, eat the green algae. Take the quartz. Allie? Wait, are you Allie, are you not are you not privy to the mayonnaise revolution? Mayonnaise is now a consumable beverage in the game. Which is pretty wild. <laughs> mayonnaise is an instrument. Na mayonnaise is everything these days. Mayonnaise is love, mayonnaise is life. One thing I keep racking my brain about that I can't... Like, my brain keeps just, like, wandering back to this. Where is it? In the collection page. Shipping collection. This guy here. That's a fish. But it's not a fish. <laughs> because it's, if it was a fish, it would be in the fishing collection. Is it, a, is it a smoked fish? Do all smoked fish consolidate into the same thing? Must be a smoked fish. That's interesting. I guess maybe, yeah. Maybe it's instead of, you know, making like, you know, smoked herring, smoked salmon, smoked uh, bream, whatever it is. Maybe it's all just one smoked fish. That could be. But the sell price would have to be different for all of them, right? So, because that's kind of the idea of the smoked fish is that 
it uh, it doubles the sell price of whatever your fish is, so you wouldn't have like a definite sell price in there. Ooh, a little copper node, a cop copper vein, I should say. Same goes for row. I guess that's true, yeah. That's a valid point. Yeah, no, there is a precedent for, th for that now that I'm thinking about it, really. Yeah, like row and wine, and there's actually a whole bunch of them, like all the artisan goods and stuff. Watch that rock crab. Get out of here, buster. Excuse you? Don't don't go cowering in your shell. I'm not done with you, mister. Get out of here. Get out. Get. You're done. You're done, son. Okay, I would like to eat more spring onions, please. Have a good one there, Pelinar. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. You thought wines and jellies have different colors now to identify? They do. That was one of the things Concerned Dave teased on Twitter, is that uh, wines, jellies, juices, and pickles will all have colors based on the items used to create them. So there's, you can have like a whole rainbow suite of, of wines in your collection now, instead of just being them just being like named differently. Which is very, very cool. You can see where you are on the map now. It's a nice little quality of life feature as well. Map. I'm up here at the mines, baby. Question mark, question mark, question mark. We just don't know that that's the railroad yet. Prismatic wine when? Once they add a prismatic fruit, I suppose. Okay. Looking for more green slimes. Honestly, looking for more yellow slimes, please. More yellow slimes? I could use the cash. But we do need to complete the initiation quest as well. Found a new hat. Yo, new hat hype. Congratulations. I look forward to joining you in new hat territory eventually. But right now, I'm gonna kill this Dougie. Definitely can't go any deeper, or at least can't go down to floor 20 today, so cut our losses here. Yo, Danny, thank you so much. I appreciate that you enjoyed that video. Okay. I think I'll make a... I'm gonna make a third furnace, honestly. Get that going there. Do 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 do. And I can smelt one more copper bar. For the road. Up all of this. I'll bring the geotome with me. Um... I should bring the gemstones and stuff as well, actually, I think. Hold on to all of this here for right now. And... Yeah, I'll bring the copper bars with me as well. They'll serve me better back at home, I think. Alright. You on your way to spoil yourself with the CJB item spawner? That's another way to do it, too, yeah. That could very well be a, uh, that's, I mean, if CJB item spawner is updated and compatible with 1.6, which I imagine it probably is, then, uh, that's a quick way to discover a lot of fun things, I imagine. Smelt the iron. I, honestly, I probably should have, because there's really no reason not to, but... I'm saving, I'm saving some of the coal for the, uh, or I'm saving most of my coal for copper. Wait! Yo, carrot seeds! Let's go! <laughs> More carrot seeds for me. All right, so they're not just on the beach. That's at least confirmed. You love to see it. Don't forget to close your animal's door for the day so you can get a little bit extra friendship, allegedly. So I have been told. Get a couple more carrots down in the dirt here. I guess I didn't need to hoe two spots. All right, pop these away in here. Watering can. Only take three days to grow. Yo, the carrot is so unbelievably hype, honestly. And I have to imagine that it, that it is like what I was saying earlier, that there is a... Um, put these away as well. Actually, I have everything I need for the spring foraging bundle now, which is good. I can complete that tomorrow. 
I have to imagine there is a like carrot like crop that you can uncover like that for every season. I imagine there's one for summer and fall as well. Cause that's what it looks like in the shipping in the shipping collection at least. Because they were side by side that way. Level one farming, let's go. And level one combat. Give me some bug steaks, baby. Wonder if you can seed maker carrots? That's a good question, actually. Probably. Giant carrot crop. Could you imagine? Rainy day. Don't forget our queen of sauce here. Stir fry. That's the same as ever. Any chance you're supposed to ship carrot seeds? There is, like, in the collection here. There are, like, bags. These, like, weird little bags. They kind of look like the, like the carrot seeds. Obviously, we have to ship a carrot at some point. We also have to ship maybe the maybe the cave maybe the carrot seeds as well. Ooh, I wonder if there's any like uh, any recipe with like cave carrots and regular carrots or anything like that. I don't really need to open the coop for them today because it's raining outside. You're not heading outside at all, are you, little babies? Well, we got some nice fresh hay for you right there. I should actually move the hay up to this chest. Instead of keeping it down over at the, uh, at the farmhouse. Carrot cake with both kinds of carrots. Don't forget the scarecrow. Good call. I actually got this piece of coal last night for just such an occasion. Grab those and those. Put that away for now. Grab the hay. Um, I also need to grab some more tools, actually. I need the axe today. Might even go fishing today. We'll see. That show us C CJB later. I don't know if I'm going to go into CJB item spawner and look around myself. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how we feel about that a little later. Alright, I think I need, what, 50 wood for a scarecrow? Let's get chopping. You suggest we spend a ticket at Lewis's? Zizify, you're spending your, your membership notification, of which you only get one per month for that ex explicit message. To tell me to spend a ticket at Lewis's. So there must be more to it than meets the eye. Alright, we gotta try and get ourselves a ticket then. We gotta be on the lookout for a help wanted quest. I am here for it. Alright, there's our Scarecrow. Gives us the advancement quest. Susan, Ed Susan Edgecombe, hello, hello. Alright, I'll plop you down. I'll plop you down at the bottom here. There we go. Managed to avoid all the crows somehow over a few days without a scarecrow, and now we have some peace of mind. Okay, pop these away. Did I get another piece of coal? I must have gotten a piece of coal, because, yeah. Has a limited radius, about eight tiles. Alright, let's go... Let's pro drop this in here. I might go fishing because it is a rainy day, so I can get some, like, uh, like catfish or something for the community center purposes. Oh, well, speaking of community center, I should do this as well. Um, and if nothing else, we can level up our fishing so we can get some more money that way. Possibly afford a backpack in the near future here. Alright, look at all this lovely blue grass down here. It's so nice. So nice. I wonder if you get more hay from the bluegrass, actually. Because I know, obviously, it says animals eat it, uh, like, eat it up and like it a lot, but maybe there's benefits that way, too. Caviar, speed grow, chanterelle. Gold pillar. But nothing too out of this world. Is there a new dog as well? There are two new breeds of dog and two new breeds of cat. It's very, very cool. Greatly appreciated. Ms. Renegade, welcome on in. Sorry to hear that you've been fighting a bad case of cellulitis there, but uh, we are having a great time so far with 1.6. Chat, based on our experience so far in stream, as well as your own playthroughs and other experiences via 1.6... Um, I know it's a little early, but rate this update on a scale of 0 to 10. How are we feeling about it so far? There's our ticket 
There's our ticket, and that's two quests complete. Our third one should reward us here. Ten iron ores. You got it. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to do that, but I'll I'll give it I'll give it an honest effort. Sixteen out of ten, ten out of ten, nine, eight point five, seven, eleven, nine, nine, thirty, a hundred, a gazillion, a ten, nine, twenty-one. Ticket out of ten. <laughs> it's on the high side for sure. It's on the high side that we're that we're rating this one. I don't know if I can get I don't know if I can get ten iron ore. That's kind of a lot. For like not being I mean I could just I could try and fast track the mines as best I can here. Maybe that's the way. One hundred billion out of ten. Spring foraging bundle. Let's go. That's a new little bundle complete screen. They didn't have clouds on it before. That's cute. Spring seeds are as per usual. I love that. Slime hutches are smaller. On the inside or just on the outside? Look at that Junimo run! Holy moly, you see that? That man charged. I've never seen a Junimo carry a bundle that fast before. You got somewhere to be? You got a hot date later, little pal? Holy moly. You got the zoomies. <laughs> Alright, um... Pantry bundle. The spring crops. Artisan. I think these are probably all going to be the same. Summer quality crops. Fall crops. Animal bundle. Same as usual. And probably with the fish tank as well. River fish. Crab pot. Yeah, so we, since we didn't do any remix bundles, it's, this is all pretty much the same, I think. Not bad. Not too bad. The tea saplings are debuffed. The need slash benefit of seasonal seeds is less important. I don't know if any changes have been made to tea saplings. I haven't. Maybe it's in the patch notes somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, for now, I don't think I'm going to plant these spring seeds. I don't think I'm going to do any. I think I'm just going to honestly sell these spring seeds to be. To be perfectly for actually you know what i can sell them directly to pierre and then i can afford a backpack upgrade i feel like that's where i want to go right now someone said they sold for less or they sell for less now i would i would kind of believe it i don't know how much less they might sell for but oh, i was been cut in half from 500 down to 250. that is a pretty heavy nerf but maybe it was warranted Alright. Nothing doing here. Dehydrator recipe one of these days. Five pieces of fruit or edible mushrooms inside to dry them. So that's gotta be something new in the shipping collection as well. Is like dried mushrooms and dried fruit and stuff. Anyway, give me this backpack upgrade, please. Please und thank you. Don't tell anyone, but I snuck into the old community center last night. I think it's haunted. Does she always say that? That feels like that feels like new dialogue. Maybe she maybe I've just haven't seen it that often, though. She's seen the Junimos as well, though. Abigail, blessed by the forest magic. Who would have thought? Alright, um, let's try and catch a catfish today. I don't know if I have a high enough fishing skill to necessarily net one very easily, but it's raining, I'm gonna make the most of it. Rainy spring day, you know what must be done. Have a good one there, Kuro Okami. Thank you for hanging out. Further supports the the theory that she's the wizard's daughter. Yeah, you know what? There is there are there are legs to that theory. It's a valid point. First catch, smallmouth bass, not bad. Check your menu really quick. My, yours has changed, Maggie. I'll check the menu in a second here. Which part of the menu, though? <laughs> there are many pieces to the menu. Oh, there's our catfish. Bro, they made catfish easier. They made catfish easier. 
I don't you know, anecdotal evidence, but this feels this catfish feels easier, man. <laughs> that felt too easy for a catfish. Um, this is all I'm saying. First achievement, by the way, fisherman. Bone flu, skeletal tail. Some good donations as well. Let me go actually take care of those. They stealth stealth nerf my catfish. Or was that just a, a super lazy catfish? <laughs> probably just the latter. Probably just, you know, I'm just going crazy here. My character screen. That is new. Oh, that's the, um... Okay, so this shows your progress on the community center. Pantry, fish tank, crafts room, and then the other three. Okay, yeah, because that, that was like a, just like a little locked icon before. That's nice. I like that, actually. Even if it's only, like, a visual indicator, this kind of gives even a little bit more incentive to go community center if you if you were considering Joja, because now you can get, like, these, like, little stars on your on your thing here. Maybe it changes to something else if you go Joja to, to indicate that progress, but, but I do like that. Donate me. Don't let me donate me a bone flute. Ooh, we got a couple things off that, actually. Like rewards. A flute block and nine cauliflower seeds. I'll plant the cauliflower seeds and I'll leave you the flute block to ponder over, sir. Okay, catfish. What else do I need for um like a possible rainy day fish for the community center? I need shad as a rainy day fish. I've already got the eel, right? Which was night fishing. Lake fish doesn't have anything specific. I think we're good. If we get the shad, I think we're good. Do I want to know for certain what the fish is on the shipment menu? I think I'm happy to just take a guess at it for right now that it is going to be the smoked fish. And then go from there. Been Mayor Pelican now for over 20 years. Hold on, I want to check this. I want to see if this has changed because of the change in the week. It has not changed. It's still it's still staying the same. Maybe until I just get until I get a ticket and get that. Have a good one there, Jay Lee. Am I going to stream with anyone else to see if there are co-op differences? Honestly, I haven't played co-op enough to know even if I did play it. Like, many of the things would be new to me. The co-op and multiplayer changes, I'm content to learn about via just, like, patch notes and stuff. I don't think Shad is super rare here. But this is probably not it. Got some new ideas to sleep on? Heck yeah. That, oh, that makes me feel so good every time I see it. <laughs> Getting that level up message is nice. I think it does only show up on the, um... On the first level up of a day, regardless of the skill. So like if I, I got a fishing level here, if I got if I went and got like a mining level today as well, I don't think it would show that that message there, because I think I did get like I got a farming level and a combat level on the same day, and I think it only showed me the one for the farming level. Smallmouth bass, not bad for energy, honestly. Might hold on to those. Yeah, tea saplings are now half of what they were. Oh seven to the tea sapling. <laughs> you had a good run, pal. You had a good run. Honestly, I think it's I think it was kind of needed though. There's our river jelly for the record. Plus 30 max energy. Ooh, okay. What was the uh one for the the the, the ocean jelly was plus 1 fishing level. This is plus 30 max energy. Rare jelly found in fresh water. I wonder what the cave jelly is. I feel like it's got to be like the best of all the buffs because it's probably the one you have to go out of your way for more than anything else. Cook something exciting today, something spicy. It looks pretty and gross at the same time. It kind of looks like it would taste like, you know, like a sour green apple candy. Did I wish Charlie a happy birthday yet? Not in person, but I did say it earlier. But it is Charlie Barley's birthday, so happy birthday to Charlie. 
I'm jealous that you get such an amazing birthday present as version 1.6 of Stardew Valley. I hope you have a good one. There we go. We got two catfish. Not sh not too shabby. There have been adjustments to Junimo card as well. They probably made he probably made it harder, right? Because it was too easy before. It was too easy to get fifty thousand points. Did he change the chi quests to a hundred thousand points instead to make it more balanced? I hope so. And hopefully he made Fector's challenge a little bit harder as well. It's the only way I could see that going. I feel like this is our shad. This feels not hard enough for a catfish, obviously, but harder than a smallmouth bass. There it is. Beautiful. And ten bait for the road. What do you mean, dot, dot, dot? I think I've said hi to Haley yet today. Oh, I also have a, a daffodil. Wait, is she going to be out of her room? Nah, she's in her room. Okay. Can't even get there then. Tea saplings and clay farming nerfed. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that being nerfed. It's going to ruffle some feathers for sure, both clay farming and tea saplings. But, uh, but I think for the overall health of the game and just overall balancing purposes and just, you know, being able to, you know, experience different aspects of the game, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Plus, it's, you know, there's probably other stuff that's that's going to be, like, way out of balance anyway with 1.6, so. Better go try and exploit those before, uh, before they get patched out, right? We didn't know about the clay beforehand. There, We knew there were going to be tweaks to the randomization. I don't know if we knew specifically about clay. Actually, maybe we did. I'm trying to remember now. All right, let's go plant these cauliflowers. I'll plant them in a nice little three by three square, so we have a chance at, uh, at a giant cauliflower potentially. Sneak it on over here, just south of my carrots. Perfect. All right. I'll pop these away. Actually, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the smallmouth bass for food. I think. Um, I was saving this for the community center as well. Flounder is not not needed for community center apparently. My mistake. Sell the rest of all this though. Have I been doing delivery requests? I have been. I have a kind of a tough one right now. Um, for the one that I actually need to do in order to get the. In order to get the ticket, I need to get 10 iron ore, which means I need to get deeper in the mines. I need I need to get to floor 40 and beyond by like tomorrow in order to actually in order to actually pull this off, which I don't know that I have uh that I have that in me because I'm only I'm not even at floor 20 yet. Right click on my pet's bowl. Minu's bowl. Aww. I love that. I love that. It's the it's the little touches that make a difference. All right. I'll check for maybe a different help wanted quest tomorrow. Otherwise, we're gonna hope that we get a uh, solid luck day tomorrow, and then we'll try, we'll try and make it work. I can bring some leeks. I can bring. I, I got some decent stuff for food here, so we can try and make it down down that far. Me new, it's so precious. Um, I think I'm just gonna sleep the day away though. I don't think I'm trying to remember when our first bookseller day is. I think it's not for a while yet. We didn't get any. We didn't get bookseller until later in the season. Level three fishing. If they are indeed random days, which I'm going off the assumption that they are, based on what I've seen in chat and just sort of the vibe I get from the bookseller days. All right, show it to me. Decent luck day. All right, if we get started right and early here. We might actually be able to make some uh, some good headway here. Me sell hats, okay, poke. We have gotta definitely go check out the hat mouse at some point. I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage, cottage when you first met. She's talking about the house expansion. That's fair. Thank you, Robin. Do a little 
cultivating of our parsnips here. One gold star parsnip for the road. That's actually that's a step towards the uh, the quality crops bundle. Excited for new fashions. I didn't realize how excited I was for new fashions, honestly. What are my bookseller days? I'll have to check when I head back into town here in a second. But I'm pretty sure I didn't get any until, like... I think I think maybe the, my first bookseller day is on the 21st. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know if it's random or not. But... I could see it being random. I don't. I mean, I honestly, I don't know what the bookseller is about. To, to be, to be perfectly frank, so. Ice donut. You have one on day twelve. Okay, so there must be some sort of, some sort of randomness going on there. You thought I was Argon, not Frank. You don't know. You don't know me. Not fully, anyway. Alright, we'll hold on to these for the time being. Um, sell. I'm going to sell this egg. Actually, maybe I hold on to the egg for energy. Eggs actually might not be a terrible source of energy on this, uh, on this farm now that I'm thinking about it. I'll bring the leeks for energy, leave this behind. Um, we'll just have, like, a nice little... We got quite the, quite the collection of, of energy restoration food here. I'll bring... I'm going to bring the wild horseradishes as well. I'll bring one... I'll bring the carrot, too. We have more carrots growing, so... If I need to dive into the carrot, that's fine. Okay. Bring this with me. For smelting purposes, everything else, I think I am good to leave here. Pick up more, uh... More seeds if I get the chance to fill out those empty parsnip spots, but... I don't know if I will get the chance. It's going to be a big mining day. Am I crafting a chest? There, we already have a chest up the mines. Good looking out, though. Thank you. All right, no other help wanted quests, so this is the one for me. Yeah, we have first bookseller day on the 21st down here. Little ways to go for that one. So we're going to get to whatever this other, like night market adjacent festival situation is before we before we ever sniff at the bookseller. Yo, I didn't even, I never even internalized that, but yeah, there, look at that, look at that waterfall over there. That is nice. Makes the spot where you fish for the angler just that much more uh, grandiose, I suppose. Wasn't there a big chest? You have to buy the recipe from Robin. Um, I think it's like 5,000 gold for the recipe, or it's, it's like 5,000 or 10,000 gold for the recipe. But it might be a worthy investment, honestly, early on. Okay. Let's make some headway here. We will try our darndest to get to floor 40. We have a good luck day on our side. Not the best luck day, but still a good luck day. So let's make a, a big push for it and see if we can't get those 10 iron ores in time. This area is overrun with monsters, my favorite. Especially when I haven't upgraded my weapon yet. Alright, starting off strong here. At least we did unlock the Adventurer's Guild there. So that is nice. Perfection is officially harder to get now. I mean, just by virtue of adding new things. That new things that are required for perfection is probably it was probably gonna be harder to get unless he made like a lot of things a lot easier. Anyone find out how to get moss yet? Don't know about moss, but I got me a nice a nice collection of uh, of jelly building up at home. Moss is supposed to be on trees. Interesting. Like a new forageable type thing? Spawns on trees in fall. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. Done that. Been there. Done that. 
Hopefully we don't get any more infested floors. We just get nice smooth sailing on down to floor 40 here. That would be ideal. That is, I mean, you know, looking good so far. Spiral floor, please don't do me dirty today. Moss soup. Oh, geez. <laughs> with every with every message in chat, I'm getting more and more tempted to look at the patch notes. Didn't delete the spiral floors. No! Concerned ape, how could you? How could you betray us like this? It's alright. You know, with all the things you've added... I guess you can be forgiven for leaving some of the some of the bad stuff still in here. Gotta balance it out somehow, right? Give me that steel small sword, baby. Alright, toss that. I would love to go fishing for some cave jelly at some point here, but now is not the time. Yo, Triple T, thank you for the $2 super chat, by the way. I have 10 iron ore in my chest. I do, but I think I have to gather... I have to gather the iron ore while the quest is active, right? I can take it out of my chest and see if that counts as gathering, which, it I mean, it never has before. But I'll give it a try. Thank you for the heads up, though, by the way. And for the generosity, I appreciate it. Okay, we'll get that in a second. Honestly, even if things go rather luckily, I don't know if we're going to actually make it to floor 40 just based off the amount of energy and stuff that we have. You hate the dark floors. I did manage to snag a uh, a small glow ring earlier on, so hopefully that'll help with the, with the dark floors. Unless it's like, you know, 1.6, patch note 37, made dark floors even darker. Could you imagine? <laughs> this would be so rude. Should have gone out of my way for that uh, that coal. This area is overrun with monsters. You don't say. You really. Don't. They just know. They know, man. They know when I need to get when I need to be on in a hurry, and they're just throwing all these different stupid infested floors at me. Oh well. At least I got the uh, the crab from that guy. Good for the crab pot bundle. We take those. One point six nerf all glows. <laughs> Nice little stash of crates and stuff over there. We gotta take advantage of that for sure. Okay. Steel small swords putting in good work at the very least. How different are the community center bundles? Uh, the normal ones are just the same from what I can see, from what I can glean, but there are supposedly new remix bundles that I have not been made aware of. There we go. Clear this out as well. Good stuff, good stuff. How's the vertical vertical hitbox been feeling? It's pre it's pretty good, honestly. It's a minor change, but a but a decidedly noticeable change, in my opinion. Three fifty. We're almost at four. Well, it's almost at floor 30 is maybe a bit of an overstatement. <laughs> Hopefully not that far from floor 30. Ooh, but that copper node, though. That copper vein. Give it to me, please. Don't you dare. Don't you ruin my moment here, okay? I'm going to enjoy this copper, and you're not part of the picture at all, all right? Just get out of here, dude. There's our ladder. Got some new ideas to sleep on. That's a mining level. Use my bomb. Use my bomb. You're so right. That's a very good call, chat. Very, very good call. All right. Earth crystal mayonnaise machine is officially in our sights. I'm saving that one for sure. Definitely not donating that. Now we just need farming level two. And we should be, uh, we should be smooth sailing to mayonnaise town, baby. 
Mayonnaise town population, Chloe. I don't think we're going to be able to make this help wanted quest happen, to be, on to be perfectly honest with you. There's still a chance, but I'm just looking at the time here. It's like, even if we get to floor 40 in time, we still have to mine 10 iron ore and bring it to Clint in time. It would be, it would be tough. It would be tough. Because today is the last day for her, right? Yeah, final day. Clint is already closed. We could catch him at the saloon, though. You don't have to give him to him at a shop. Excuse you. Oh, there's our staircase. Love to see it. Ourselves a topaz out of here. I'll I'll eat these leeks as well. At least at least well, I'll eat one leek and then we'll just we'll just go through this green algae. It's probably a better better idea here. Have a good one in there, Misku. Thank you for hanging out. Take good care. Think there's a leak in my backpack? Well, I hope I patch it up soon so I don't want anything to fall out of there. One iron ore. How dare you taunt me like that? <laughs> Come on, gate. That's just rude. I suppose I could have bought the iron ore from Clint's, but I don't even know if I have enough money to, to even buy 10 iron ore, to be honest with you. Probably not. Alright. Let's pop on out of here. Uh, I will make a couple more furnaces, honestly. We have, once we have Now that we have five furnaces, I think that's a good, solid number to just stick with. And start smelting. Okay, if I take this iron ore out, it's not counted as, as collecting as I as I assumed it wouldn't. Okay, um, make some bug states out of the bug meat if I want to. Bring this home with me. What else are we gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna visit the uh, the adventurers guild. Yeah, because I'm not gonna make it to floor forty. Just a bit of a pipe dream. Floor thirty is still good progress though. Let's see what's available here. Anything fancy? Help us keep the valley safe. Are there new monster eradication goals? I don't think so. 250, that's serpents. This is magma sprites. Pepper rexes. I don't think there's anything new here. No. What about here, though? Wall sword, decorative sword. Those are some new uh, decoration pieces, right? Or at least they weren't, they weren't previously available here. Decorative sword is pretty cool. Do like that. Topaz, oh, Topaz ring. You feel a little bit safer wearing this? He did it! He finally made the change! <laughs> Topaz rings are not useless. Plus one defense, baby. Oh my gosh. I never thought I'd see the day. Plus one defense. Not quite as good as the rock, as, you know, the, the crab shell ring, but you also don't have to work as hard for it. It's like a nice little middle ground. I'm happy for that. It's like 1,000 monsters to enter here. There's a little gift box back there. Huh. Slay 1,000 monsters to enter here, you say? I accept your challenge. I accept your challenge. One day I will slay a thousand monsters. Little secrets. This is kind of like laid out differently too, isn't it? Oh, oh. I don't have my hoe with me. Wait, my hoe is in the mines chest. I can go swap that and get my get myself some more carrot seeds. Instead of Marlin friendship. I didn't even like it didn't even fully process that there was like even a door there, to be honest with you. 
until uh until I like walked up to it and I was like, wait a second, this is very different. What are the topaz ring used to give? It used to say that it gave like a, a bonus to weapon precision, which isn't actually a thing that was ever implemented in Sardew Valley. Um, so it basically did nothing. Couple carrot seeds for the road. I think I'm gonna ship one of these carrot seeds. Just to see, to see if it is one of those like bags that's in the shipping collection. It would be kind of weird if it was. But I mean, the carrot seeds, why would he make the carrot seeds like this different sprite as well? I'm trying to wrap my head around it. We'll ship them and just like see what they're worth at any rate, I guess. Wonder if the quarry is good now. Some things can't be fixed. No, I think the quarry is probably... I mean, I, I, the quarry you can get, get some good value out of. Just takes a long time. Nick Stavali, thank you for the 499 super chat, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the 1.6 coverage. I'm watching your grandma, Kathy, who really likes you. Can I give her a shout out? Yo, Kathy. Hello. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I'm glad you're enjoying the new 1.6 content alongside all of us. Here's to you and to your and to your grandson, Nick. Thank you very much for the uh <laughs> for the support. I greatly appreciate that you're here with us. Thank you. All right, I will plant, I will sell one carrot seed, and I will plant the other one there. Carrot seeds, I never, who would have thought I'd be saying that in Stardew Valley here? Carrot seeds. All right, pop these away, put all this in here. Oh, I should have put the, uh, the copper ore back in the mine's chest, honestly. All right, um, crabs. I'll hold on to the leaks for right now. Good energy source. Put the crabs away in there. Lock it in. Level 2 mining, we take that. Level 2 foraging as well. Didn't really expect to get there, but... Carrot seeds for 15 gold. I mean, nothing, nothing to write home about. Let's see if that actually shows up in the shipping collection now, though. Leap just ended stream. Yo, hopefully hopefully Leap had a fun time exploring 1.6 as well, in whatever capacity he chose to. Forest magic. You are one with the forest. Didn't even see didn't even think that that like check that, but <laughs> that's cool. I like that they actually like denote that now. Look at that. Oh, we do have Minu here, and you track their hearts of your pet! Why didn't I look at that the first time I actually got my cat here? That is really nice. Now, you, instead of just, you know, a one-time message that you're liable to miss, you can actually see your pet friendship. That is major. Can your pet friendship decay now? That was the only question. What was I looking for here? I was looking at shipping collection. All right, these bags are not... It was not carrot seeds. I didn't think it would be, but it did kind of look like it, so... When pets are loved, they give you gifts. Is this true? Is this fake? I don't know. I don't know what to believe right now. <laughs> More carrots, please. Alright, let's get the uh, watering can out. Not only to water our crops, but now to water Minu's bowl. I can put hats on pets. We do have a hat available now, in theory, from the hat mouse. Wouldn't be the worst idea to go and uh, and pick that up, potentially. It is. It would be like a thousand gold, unless they've changed the price of... Of hats now. Either way, I'm excited to I'm excited to discover that too. Just like I'm excited to discover everything so far. Even the smallest changes have just been so fun. I am loving every second of this. Okay. Go tend to my little chickadees. We could actually go and buy a new chicken if we wanted to. If we wanted to upgrade to three chickens, not just two, wouldn't be the worst idea. I gotta admit, like, the, have the dynamic of having a coop right off the bat, I kind of like this. I actually really kind of like this, uh, like, ha having two animals to tend to right off the bat. Because normally you have to actually work quite a bit in order to, uh, in order to get yourself a coop. You have to make a pretty big investment. 
So it can be a, something you only get to like a little later in the game. Whereas now it's like it's a defining aspect of this farm. It makes me want to like play the game differently, become like a rancher type person. It's super neat. Okay. Um, what am I going to do today? I'm going to check for another help wanted quest. And then I think I'll go from there, honestly. I'll see what the day has in store for me beyond that. You get a coop. You get a coop as part of the uh, the new Meadowlands farm, yes. It's incredible. And two chickens to start with. New farm is basically less crop room, but you get you get animals. You get a coop with two chickens to start, and you get uh, the ability to grow blue grass on your farm, which is apparently really good for... Need seaweed to dry for next winter. That's a, that's a new new piece of dialogue for the Help Wanted quest, and also extremely doable, Emily. I got you. We'll go fish for some seaweed. <laughs> Need to dry for next winter, specifically. The Riverland farm starts off with a fish smoker. I was wondering about that. Not specifically about the fish smoker, but, like, if the other farm types would be changed to, uh, or would, would have things added to them like that. Like, I wonder if, like, I wonder, I wonder what the other ones might have. Maybe it's in the patch notes. Maybe I, I just need to discover it. Stars on the Help Wanted board. Um, so basically from what I've been able to glean is the stars on the Help Wanted board are to track your, um, like how many you've done. And every three that you do, you get an extra reward of one of the, one of the tickets that we can use at Mayor Lewis's house at the new like, lottery machine that's over there. That is currently the, the standing theory and it seems to be holding up so far. Let's go. I don't have any seaweed just hanging out, do I? I do not, so we gotta go fish up some seaweed properly. My cat is definitely on my roof. I'll buy a few more seeds as well. I do need to, like, fill up the, uh, spots from where my parsnip seeds used to be. I guess we'll buy some more- just some more parsnip seeds. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna buy. I'm gonna buy like ten parsnip seeds. We could potentially use those to get towards the uh, quality crops bundle if we're gonna go that way. I still don't fully know whether I want to go Joja or if I want to commit to the community center. Remains to be seen. I imagine there's new content to be had either way. Almost six hours in, and we're only on day nine. To be fair, to be fair, I think like the first three hours of the stream, 1.6 wasn't even out yet. <laughs> but that is still only nine days and three hours. You're right. But I think these days are gonna. I'm gonna, gonna start making these days go a little bit faster. Where's Willie going? Does he normally leave on Tuesdays? Maybe he's going to the. Uh, maybe he's going to like a doctor's appointment or something like that. Is this year one? This is year one. This is a brand new farm I have started. We will eventually pivot here to. Um, like a pre-existing farm so we can explore some other content without having to gr grind it all out but right now I'm just having a fun time exploring it I think I'll probably get this seaweed give it to Emily we'll, t we'll take care of the whole the whole ticket thing see what's up with what the deal is with that and then maybe we'll just sleep Maybe we'll just sleep, tend to our animals and crops and stuff, and, and just do, like, we'll just do, like, a few sleepy days in order to, like, get through things here. And get to maybe some of that, like, the festivals and the bookseller and stuff later on. Because I think I'm, I'm, I'm hankering to get to some of that new content. I'm itching. Should I be going for a silo or something? Yes. If I was, you know, committing any extra time to, to this farm, I would be going for a silo, absolutely. But we gotta see that new content, baby. I think, I think we've dried up all the content we're going to find just by, like, ambiently wandering around. I think we need to to force some stuff that we know is going to happen. So let's let's wait until... So once I finish this up... I mean, this is, this is going to give me some new content once I get this seaweed. If I get this seaweed. <laughs> I 
Shouldn't be that rare, you would hope. Yeah, I definitely want to get to the bookseller, and I want to get to the spring star on the calendar as well. I want to give Haley a birthday present. I just want to see if, like, the birthday dialogue has changed at all or anything like that. And I would like to get a mayonnaise machine, which entails bas basically the only thing I have to do at that point is get to level 2 farming. And then we can make our mayonnaise, and we can, we can put a nice little capstone on this farm for right now. And then we can pivot to, to somewhere else. The first step of this master plan, though, involves just one just ro one rogue ple piece of seaweed, please. Emily has unique dialogue for her love gifts. Just Emily? Not anybody else? That would be interesting. Because I did see, I did see the, uh, I did see the unique dialogue for for Emily when we gave her the amethyst before. Why do I need the seaweed? It's a uh, help wanted quest. Emily wants seaweed to dry out for next winter. <laughs> Beyond that, I don't know why she wants the seaweed. That's literally the first piece of trash I've ever fished up so far in 1.6. That's kind of amazing. Gold Pumpkin is now Universal Love instead of Universal Hate. I think that was part of 1.5. I think that's been been there for, for a little bit now. It's like experiencing Stardew for the first time again. I know, right? It's so cool. It's so... Because, like, I just don't know what's going to be around, like, the next corner. I don't know what I'm going to ultimately discover here. It's just so neat. I do think I will go to that uh, that farm I was playing at the start of the stream, like the one that was in 1.3, and I'll explore around with that. But I also might pop around to some other some other old farms and just uh, and see what's available. Like I, like part of me wants to go back to ooh a little sea jelly. Part of me wants to go to the master angler farm, to fishy farm, and just like see and because I think that one's in winter, so the number one that'll let us see like the winter, um, the winter outfits. Plus, it's actually like pretty deep in the game as far as, like, progress goes. So we could go there as well. Like, the 1.3 farm is, uh, is mid-game. Fishy farm is end-game. So maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a smart idea. This update's so much bigger than expected. I, it was, you know... It was originally supposed to be just a small modding update, of all things. Look how far it has come. <laughs> it is definitely, you know, definitely a lot more than anybody expected, I think. Who do I think will be the first person to reach perfection in 1.6? Probably Habu. I think he's in the middle of a perfection speedrun as we speak. Drinkable mayo and jelly. Is jelly drinkable too? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I would be even happier if you would, if you would bestow upon me a single morsel of seaweed, though. That I would greatly appreciate. Getting all the herring I needed before. So happy. <laughs> Pickles are edible as well. Hopefully the whole jar and everything. <laughs> or maybe you slurp up the pickles, you drink them down. There it is. All right, perfect. I'm running. I'm running. Emily should be either at the saloon or probably like on her way to the saloon. See if we can catch her. I'm not going to give you my seaweed, Elliot. I know you're eyeing it. I know you got a, a thing for seaweed. All right. Is caviar edible? Great question. I think caviar was already edible, unless I'm mistaken. 
which I very well might be. There's just too much to keep in uh, keep to keep track of these days. Prize ticket, y'all! <laughs> you saw the bulletin I posted. It looks perfect. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Thank you. I will take the 60 gold, but the prize ticket is really what I'm here for. Bring this to the prize machine and lose this house for a special reward. I mean, we already know what it's going to be. We've seen what it is, but it's still like it's still going to be cool. I just want to see like if there's like a fun little animation or anything. Either way, you know, I'm quickly just just because of the time, I'm going to go quickly donate this dried starfish because I don't know if I would make it make it here in time otherwise. And then we'll pop over to Lewis's house. Hate to leave you in suspense like this, but <laughs> let's do our due diligence and now let's go. So unless this has changed since I last checked it, which I don't believe it will have. This should be 12 carrot seeds, um, an apricot sapling, which is really cool. I was doing my nightly rounds and I noticed that your first parsnip was ready. Congratulations. Thank you, Lewis. I worked hard on that thing. Yeah, apricot sapling, 12 carrot seeds, and what I can only assume are mixed flower seeds based on my limited knowledge of 1.6 so far. Hit me with it. Yo, we, okay, we get one of them. You get the first one, and the mystery box! Three mystery boxes? I, I need the mystery box. Wait, Chad, I want the mystery box. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't tease me with a mystery box like this. It would take so long to get, like, three more tickets in order to actually get those. Oh my gosh, but that, that, that is very tempting. That is very tempting. <laughs> Either way, 12 carrot seeds. Don't mind if I do. That is probably better. I didn't... I, I, I thought for some reason I was going to get all three of those at once, but... It makes more sense that you only get, like, one at a time. Like that. You gotta spend some time in the sun or else you get all pale. You want to hang out with me at the beach sometime? Do you have a bikini? Same old Alex. We are not far... From some some exciting stuff here, so let's let's focus on that. I think. I'm glad we got one of those tickets taken care of, and we got 12 carrots that we can plant, which is actually pretty amazing. This should be a pretty decent step towards our farming level. To be fair, I guess I don't know how much uh how much experience carrots give. Plant our parsnip seeds. Two, three, four. Get those down, and let's get our carrot seeds down now as well. How long do you think it'll be before someone makes a makes a farm exclusively around carrots? The great carrot empire that we've all that we all want to be a reality. feel like there's already a content creator out there working on that at the moment they saw that a carrot was in the game. Carrots, it's it's been too long. I've been waiting for these carrots for so long and I didn't even realize that that it was on the table for 1.6 content. So good. Coops full of rabbits for the carrot farm. Oh, I love it. I wonder if you could feed carrots to rabbits in this that would, that would be a cute little like niche interaction, something like that. How long until I start a carrot farm? I don't know if I'm going to be the one to do it. Alright, close that up. Hold on to this and this, and I think I'm going to go ahead and sell everything else, honestly. Bam, bam, bam. Build up a, a little bit of a stockpile of money for the bookseller and whatever this other festival might be. I'm not entirely sure, but lock it in. Is the bluegrass spreading? It's hard to tell, right? I don't know if it's... I haven't been paying full attention to whether it's spreading or not. Ooh, nice rainy day. Don't have to worry about watering crops today. Pardon me, Manu. So it's faster to go through your pets now, apparently. It does feel a little bit faster. Spirits feel neutral today. Has the mayo percent been posted yet? I don't know about mayo percent, but we're getting... We're, we're fast-tracking potato percent. 
about kale here. Um, put this away for spring crops. Scythe these bad boys up. I would very much love, very, very much love to get my hands on a farming level 2 pretty soon here, hopefully. <laughs> I feel like we gotta be closing in on it. We're already farming level 1. There's no, like, uh... No, like, indication there as to how far along we are, unfortunately. Let's go do a quick... I'll, I'll do a quick look at Help Wanted quests. If it's an easy Help Wanted quest to complete, then maybe we, uh, we go out of our way to do it and see if we can't, you know, fast-track another prize ticket or two. Let's see. Slime hunters slay eight green slimes. That's pretty doable. That's that's reasonable. 480 gold for that. Eight green slimes. No problem. No problem, Buster. I don't even need to, like, optimize my inventory for this or anything. Let's just go. You need the loot boxes, please. I would love to get the loot boxes. I just... I, I was racking my brain constantly when I saw that loot box right first featured in, like, the 1.6 teaser image. And I was like, what in the world is that? My mind kept coming back to the idea that maybe it was going to be, like, a... A prize for, like, some arena-type minigame. Like, Cheese Arena. And it is a prize. It is a prize at the end of the day, so... At least there's that. Alright, let's store all these goodies that we don't currently need. Um, I didn't even bring my pickaxe, dude. <laughs> it's, all right, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We're only we're, we're here to kill monsters only. So we go for 15, 15 and 25, right? Actually, 5 might also have some green slimes here. Ooh, special green slime as well. Don't mind if I do. Welcome back, Lisa. Good to see you. Small magnet ring. That's pretty handy. Maybe I can get that wood that's been just hanging out on, like, the cliff face of my farm for the past forever now. Bro, we're gonna get, like, se How do we get seven out of eight slimes on the same floor? Just- we're just that good. Can you put carrots in a seed maker? I have no idea. I do not currently have access to a seed maker, so, uh... Your guess is as good as mine on that front. Progress counter for quests is brilliant. It definitely makes, you know... It, de it definitely makes for a more interesting incentive to go for your Help Wanted quests. I think this is going to change the dynamic of Help Wanted quests by quite a bit, honestly. People are going to love these things. There's that... I mean, there's so many different, like... I, especially depending on, like, what loot is even possible from the Help Wanted or from the prize machine. It's going to be so interesting. I just don't even know. Like, my mind is buzzing with the possibilities. I don't know how good that loot can get, but... Excited to find out. Alright. Leave the rest of that behind for right now. Did the special slime rate get higher? I've only ran into, run into one special slime so far, but... Could be. I don't know. Who knows what's been changed in the actual, like, randomization and spawn rates and loot tables and who's what's it's and zoo's ads and gizmos and... phalanges... Will we look at the patch notes before we skip to the mid-slash-late game farms? I think that's probably a good idea, honestly. I think that'll be a good way to sort of, like, bridge the gap between, you know, doing doing exploration here and then going to the end game and, like, starting to really, like, dive into what's possible in 1.6 and what's available. I need to talk to Lewis for this one, I think. Wait, wait on the patch notes until we explore the mid-late -game, game farms. Actually, that's true, maybe. I don't know. There's there's multiple ways we could approach it. Maybe we, maybe we save the patch notes to the very end. Hope you didn't go through too much trouble. Those slimes can be pretty dangerous in groups. Should be a little easier to go spelunking now, thanks to your efforts. Thank you, sir. 480 gold for me. I don't know. I wouldn't mind doing a little exploration, even of, like, the late game on my own. Please sleep and watch TV through summer first. What an oddly specific suggestion. 
Did I notice the new quest title slash categories? I did notice there was something different going on there. Like, that one was called, like, Bounty, right? Bounty, like, slay eight green slimes. There was definitely, yeah, it was definitely notable. Just a nice little touch on it. Pet the chickens. We can check if I pet the chickens yet today. I have not pet the chickens yet today. Good call, Woolen Feet. Good call. Chimpkins. I've got some new ideas. That's farming level two. That's farming level two. This is not a drill. Chat, I repeat. This is not a drill. Farming level two is officially on deck. And you know what that means. You know what that means. And if you don't, you're about to. Because I'm not waiting another second here. All right, ship your dandelion. Just, just ship it all. Get it out of here. Get it out of here, man. I'm off to bed. Good night, Manu. Slash good afternoon, I guess. Lock it in. Level 2 farming. New crafting recipe. The mayonnaise machine. It's time. <laughs> Get your egg emojis and mayonnaise emojis. Mayonnaise emojis out in chat, because this is about to go crazy. Where, what do I need? I need earth crystal, copper bar, wooden stone. That is the easiest thing of all time. No problem whatsoever. Copper bar, earth crystal. I don't have enough wood! <laughs> I gotta go chopping wood. Alright, hold on, let me, let me tend to my crops. We gotta do we gotta do the dramatic build up. I gotta get the wood and then I gotta go over to my, my chickens and I gotta get some nice fresh mayonnaise. Our drink of choice, absolutely. Do you think it gives me a speed buff like Joja Cola? I mean it's mayonnaise, it's 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 got all the powers. Can you get wood behind the house now? At least on like this farm layout you can. Ooh, thank you, Dad. I appreciate that. 250 gold for Robin's lost axe. That should be extremely doable, unless the position of the axe has changed. If so, my my whole world will be shattered. Not quite enough water to do this, do we? Nope, not quite. All right. Uh, let me... Ooh, nice gold quality crystal. Or, not crystal, carrot. They're so valuable, they might as well be crystals, though. I will ship that one. Just, I just want to see what it's worth. All right. Um, give me an axe here. Let me ask you a question. You hope the axe has moved? It's been too long. Who knows? Maybe the axe position is randomized these days. Oh, with the new magnet ring. You're right. I do. I should have. I should have gone and checked and still. If that uh, wood is still like up on the cliff over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get some of this? Ooh, magnet ring. Thank you. All right. No time like the present. Fill up my watering can. Get that seed out of my chicken pen, please. Get this out of here too. All right. Craft me. A mayonnaise machine, please. Turn eggs into mayonnaise. Right there. Waste no time. Boom. What, do we have to wait like three hours or something now? <laughs> the mayonnaise is officially being made. I, I think it's gonna be the longest three hours of my life. Good job, Piccolo. Ooh, we got one heart with you. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me re-up the hay as well here. Perfect. I'll go put away these goodies. Let's go check for another Help Wanted quest. I can't believe... I never would have thought that, you know, checking for Help Wanted quests would be the first and foremost thing to do on a given day. But Stardew Valley, 1.5 is changing things, man. It's changing things. Sell those. Actually, I could... No, I don't need small eggs for the, for the animal bundle. Uh, what can I bring for community center purposes, though. 
Got these. I'm gonna bring some fish, right? Yeah, some of this, 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 this. That should have us covered for a little bit. I missed two crops. Thank you, thank you. Forgot about that. I already got my two carrots. Cave carrot. Do I have a cave carrot? Uh, I do. Thank you. Good eye. Coconut as well, but obviously we're saving the coconut. Yeah, we're focusing on the community center for right now. We could pivot to Joja if we're so inclined, but not sure yet. Undecided. All right, no new help wanted quests. Nothing posted today. Let me go have a quick little peekaroo for that uh, that lost axe for Robin. How did we get a coconut? Let me introduce you to my little friend, the traveling merchant. Ooh, ew! It smells. This is a this is a standard cutscene, standard fare. We know about that one. Did I earn another ticket? Not yet, no. We are we are two quests away from another ticket. Artifact spot, please. Prehistoric scapula? That's, like, actually pretty rare. <laughs> Unless the odds have been changed on us. Alright. Robin's lost axe. There it is. I knew Concerned Ape wouldn't do me dirty like that. Rob has been looking everywhere for it. Oh, well, let's go pay a quick little visit to the hat mess while we're down here. Can't imagine too much has changed with our little friend, but now that they're actually here, might as well say hello. We could buy our hat. We actually have a decent amount of money now to, to spend. Look at this little, little cutie. Little cutie patootie. I mean, we're just a few days away from our... From our from like our own free hat. So so I think I'll pass on the Southwester for right now. But thank you for that. Thank you for that, little friend. Are the islands more sunk into the water? I don't think so. No, I think they look about the same. Maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm playing the same kind of game. I'm, like, looking for, <laughs> for like, any, like, even the most minute of changes that are, that are hiding around. I'm like, did this, wait, did this, is this fi fiber sprite new? Is that fiber sprite new, or is that, was that always in the game? I, I'm just constantly playing these games. And, I mean, honestly, so some of the, to some of these questions, I do not have the answers. <laughs> There's a hat in the update that brings me intense cephalopod joy. How very specific. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to find that one. Okay. Um. My gosh, I've got so much in my inventory, dude. There's so much going on. Alright, put this away, put that away. I'll bring all this stuff with us because we got community center stuff, but I also wanted to pivot over here and grab the first mayonnaise jar of 1.6, at least for me. Mayonnaise. It looks spreadable. 50 energy and 22 health. No buffs, no nauseating factor. Just a good, wholesome jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> all right. I mean, I know what the people came to see today. You've been waiting six plus hours for this moment, chat. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Get front and center here. Get all situated. Picture perfect moment. Drink mayonnaise. The slurping sounds in everything. <laughs> it's so good. It's so chuggable. Oh, baby. Oh, she drank the whole jar in like two seconds flat. <laughs> that was so good. Oh my gosh. Honestly, not a bad food either for the early game here. 50 energy. Especially with like the Meadowlands farm, you can get the mayonnaise going pretty early on. I think there's definitely, definitely something to that. The little drips. 
some thin mayonnaise. I mean, we t to be fair, we only let it, you know, we only left it for three hours to be made. River fish bundle. Don't have anything for you. I haven't gone lake fishing at all, but I do have crab pot fish. I've got ocean fish. Excuse me, ocean fish. And I've got night fish. Perfect. Feeling more queasy now? Just you wait until we drink down a big old tub of duck mayonnaise. Alright, good show, good show. Good show. Let's do exotic foraging here. Now I'll go bring this axe to Robin, we'll bring the scapula to the museum, and we'll probably head off to bed here. Got here just in time for the duck mayo statement. Leap a lot, welcome on in. Welcome, we are still in the process of exploring just the early game aspects of 1.6. How was your, uh, <laughs> how was your stream, friend? Let's talk dino mayo. Don't spoil me on the dino mayo. Is it the greatest food of all time now? I can only dream. Found your axe, enjoy. Enjoy, Robin's lost axe, done and dusted. All right. You got the book merchant in your playthrough? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting until spring 21st for the bookseller. I have no idea. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go once that happens, but I have to assume the game will guide me in some capacity. Yo, I'm glad to hear your stream was good, Leap. How many carrots did you plant? I think, I'm, I'm, I think I've set the world record so far for carrots planted. I've planted like 15 carrots. I'm going crazy, man. <laughs> I'm loving the carrots. I, I didn't know how much I wanted carrots in this game. Alright, oh, I forgot to donate the scapula. My bad. They're amazing. They're so good, right? They're so good. You get, uh, like... What is it? Like, 75 energy out of it? It's wild. How did I get so many seeds? I got uh, 12 carrot seeds from the prize machine in Mayor Lewis's house. That was my first prize. Our next one is going to be a an apricot sapling. But really the prize we're looking for at the end of the day. I mean, I, I am interested in the mixed flower seeds as well. That seems like kind of nifty. At least that's what I'm assuming they are. Collect rewards. Chicken statue! Let's go. That's all I ever wanted in this life. Found a river jelly in the mountain lake. So it's more of like a freshwater jelly, I suppose. Still no cave jelly yet, huh? I guess I can go fishing for cave jelly if I wanted to. I, n I now do have access to uh, floor 20. And I have to assume that... Uh, I have to assume that cave jelly is available there. Chicken statue. Can I rotate the chicken statue? Chicken statue still cannot be rotated. Unplayable. Li this game is literally unplayable. Where's my? Where's the uninstall button? I want to rotate my chicken statue, man. Come on. You have the chicken sprites, concerned Dave. You can. You can do this. <laughs> All right, chicken statue. I'll put it next to my coop. That's where. That way, people will know where the chickens are. Has it really been six hours? Six hours, 17 minutes, and 54 seconds, according to my timer. Gotta wait for 1.7 for the chicken statue rotation. Wah, wah. All right. Locked in. That carrot, that was a gold star carrot that was worth $52. So probably more worth it to keep as an energy source than it is for, uh, for actual profit, which makes sense given how short of a growth time they have. Still nothing too interesting there. Egg festivals tomorrow, definitely gonna have to make use of that. Or go visit that and see if there's anything new to be had. And even if there's not, that's access to the, uh, to the first hat of our, of our game here. And if you think that's going on Chloe's head, you are sorely mistaken, friends. All right, give me these carrots, baby. Give me all the care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 75 energy times 12. We're energy rich, baby. 
salmon berries are the best early game energy source. Yeah, but I mean, carrots are also... They're, they're, they're a strong contender at this point, I think. Given how quickly you can grow them, if you can get a decent supply of carrots early on, and they, they have like a pretty... I mean, obviously you can get like a ton of salmon berries. But it's also kind of annoying to like eat that many salmon berries. Just like stop and wait and eat them all. Make some more mayonnaise. Why not? Hat for the cat, baby. Ghost with both. Thank you for being a member for two months, by the way. Exclamation point, Tim Beam. I don't know if I don't know if Nightbot recognized that one, but that counts for like five Tim Beam pets in my heart. Thank you so much for the generosity and support. Honestly, I might just hold on to these carrots for liter like, literally just for energy purposes. Maybe they have some other use that I'm not privy to. 15 carrots. I think we actually made more, sold more than 15 carrots today. Um, Let's go check for the help wanted quests. And we'll go from there. 1.6 update is trending on Reddit. I'm not surprised. I'm gonna be I'm I'm not gonna lie, chat, I'm gonna be sorely tempted to play one more 1.6 on my own once the stream ends. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I don't even know how much longer the stream's gonna go, but I am very, very tempted to just like, you know, play more in my own time. I've I love this so much. You can now move chests with a tool instead, instead of just pushing into them, really. Ooh, that's kind of fun. You can make, like, a cute little, like, mini-game with this, almost, actually. Like, navigate a chest through, like, a maze or something like that. There's puzzle- there's puzzle game possibilities here. What the heck? <laughs> I did not anticipate that. Wait, no, go back. I want you back up there. No, th that's the wrong way. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's all falling apart, man. Alright, send it back. You get- you get back in position, mister. Now, what if I ram two chests into each other? Oh, he's just gonna go around. That's fair, honestly. I puzzled myself. <laughs> you can't go up the stairs? No, you can go up the stairs. There we go. That. Oh my gosh, it went, like, all the way up. Perfect, thank you. I didn't anticipate that happening so, so easily, honestly. Viola. All right, I think we're good to just sleep then. I'm, I'm just excited for the Egg Festival. And more than the Egg Festival, I'm excited for the days after the Egg Festival because it's the Egg Festival, then Haley's birthday, then whatever the heck is happening in spring. I still don't know. It's like those three blank stars that are on the calendar. 1.6 will be available on Switch, but uh, not, not at the same time. It's not available right now but it will be made available on Switch eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're saving the coconut for, is for, for Haley's birthday. You know it. Did we read the patch notes on stream? We have not read the patch notes, or at least, I guess I should clarify, I have not read the patch notes on stream. I have, I have been in the dark, just exploring, being guided a little bit by chat at a time but enjoying the process of exploration and discovery. We will probably lead the patch notes towards the end of the, uh... Drink more mayonnaise just for the just for fun, man. <laughs> just because I can. Uh, we will be reading the patch notes more towards the end of the stream, I imagine. I can't believe how second nature it was to me just to go over to that mayonnaise and right-click it to drink it. Did I pet my animals? I did, but I don't think I actually got their eggs, did I know? Ooh, my first large egg! Wait, I can make nice, like, high-quality mayo with that. I can also use it for the, uh, community center, though, so I should probably hold off on, <laughs> on gold-quality mayo for right now. But that is that is noted as a possible a possible good early game food source. Some good gold quality mayonnaise from that. 
How much energy does quality mayo heal? Honestly, you know what? We should find out. It's something new. I'm not gonna save it for something boring like the community center. Let's 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 go a little wild, man. I mean, there's probably there's like a math formula you can use to figure this out too, but I want to see it with my own eyes. All right. In the meantime, I guess we'll just go ahead and clear some debris away. Some old some good old detritus clearing. Hashtag debris day. The rumors of debris day's death have been greatly exaggerated. Okay, sort out all this like that. Wait, chat, I just realized. Did he change the positions of the eggs in the egg hunt? Oh no. Is my strategy gonna, like, completely blow up in my face? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry live on stream if he changed the egg, loca the egg locations. I'm so scared. <laughs> I can't learn new egg locations, or if it's, like, randomized. Oh, man. I don't want to be embarrassed live on stream like that. Alright, what do we got here? Lawn flamingo, plush bunny, strawberry seeds. This is all pretty much the same. I'll buy some strawberry seeds, but I do want to save for the, um, the bookseller. Because I feel like there's stuff to buy there, obviously. As well as whatever this next festival is going to be. So we'll buy, like... I'll, I'll bring myself down to, like, $4,000. I'll even, you know what, we'll, we'll go with ten, 10 strawberry seeds. 10, 10 is fine. Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. Heck yeah. Alright, eyes peeled. Peel your eyes like hard-boiled eggs for any new, uh, any new dialogue, any new things hiding around at the festival. I don't know if there will be. All this dialogue seems pretty much the same so far. Looking good. Taking a break from work can make you more productive in the long run. So true, bestie. Try the chairs. Still cannot sit in these chairs. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I realized that you couldn't sit in the chairs to begin with, but that is mildly disappointing. That's it. Going back to 1.5. Who's the tallest villager? I don't know. Dimitri is looking pretty tall over here. What a strange thing to eat. I'm not ready yet, no. It does seem like all the dialogue is pretty much the same here. Unless I can access the wizard now. Wizard is like, I don't know. I, I think the wizard is like hiding somewhere over near Jojo Mark during the egg festival. He's like off screen. Try again to sit. I mean, I can sit in this chair probably. That's not really a festival chair though. You should be able to sit in one in festival chairs. These are chairs, right? <laughs> These are chairs. I'm not mistaken. I'm I'm right clicking. I'm left clicking. I'm middle clicking. Kim, let me sit. Let me sit. <laughs> Was it part of the first hot patch hot fix that I haven't downloaded yet? I don't think there's been a hot fix yet, actually. <laughs> Another 1.7 feature. I'm just gonna go talk to Pierre. Just to, like, rattle him a little bit. How'd you get back here? It was in the patch notes? Every it, Everything is a lie? Wait, if we can't trust the patch notes, then what can we trust? Maybe he meant other festival chairs, not these ones, though. Alright. I am ready for the egg hunt, sir. Please, please. I'm looking. I'm glancing for potential eggs. Isn't there normally an egg? Oh, yeah, I think the eggs don't spawn until after his little speech. We're going to find out here, though. All right. 15 eggs are bust. I'm feeling a 15 egg high score coming in. Nice and clutch here. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. These eggs are all the same so far. I think we're fine. I think we're fine on the egg front. Whew. That is that is a weight off my shoulders. In that case, 
15 eggs should be easy peasy. Easy peasy putting in the breezy. Gotta watch just for the, the other possible right clickable situations. Do, 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 do. I feel like the layout of that's a little bit different actually. Like the bushes there kind of necessitated moving some eggs almost. 14. Easy 15. Sam, you doing all right over there, pal? <laughs> he's kind of, he's kind of, yo, we got 16 eggs. Not bad. It was very slightly different. Like one of those eggs was slightly moved because of like a new bush, I think, that was added. And I think Sam's pathing was broken. <laughs> there we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby in the least. Imagine if you said Abigail won. It's like, sorry, 16 eggs isn't good enough anymore. <laughs> A straw hat. My first hat. Finally, it's time. Get this hat on a cat stat. Where are you, Minu? You're hanging out over here. Hats on cats. Hats on cats. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at this tiny little straw hat on you. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. I need to see you, like, up and around, but you're the cute, cutest little rancher cat I've ever seen. I love it. <laughs> it's so much better on me than it is on you. I mean, scratch that, reverse it. It's so much better on you than it is on me. I got so flustered with my words, I was, I was speaking nonsense. <laughs> oh, baby. Squealed a little bit, like this. Oh. That's what I wanted to do, but I need to keep some decorum on stream. Speaking of, I should go check for the help wanted quests. Check the animal rela relationship tab. Oh, see if the, ch the, the hat is on there in the relationship chat tab? That's a good point, actually. Alright, this is the classic Linus... Zero heart event. Not worried about that. She's not wearing the hat in the relationship tab. We do have half a heart with her, though, so that's pretty nice. Alright, help wanted quest? No help wanted quest. Haley's birthday tomorrow, and then the, the spring farmer's market. Whatever the heck is going to happen on those three days. It's not even... It doesn't even give me the... The decency of telling me what it is. Alright. Off to bed. Good night, Minu. You and your cute little hat. This is so adorable, man. It's so adorable. Was that in my wallet? Was what in my wallet? Forest magic, baby. That's forest magic right there. Ooh, we got some green beans. 500 gold from the Stardew Agricultural Fund. And I see... Do you see what I see? More carrot seeds for me. I'll plant more carrot seeds. Just all, all helter-skelter here. Don't mind if I do. Oh my goodness, Tarklay. Thank you so much for the gifted memberships. 10 gifted memberships to the community. As part of the 1.6 hype party. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. The generosity is uh, is unparalleled. Thank you very, very much. That is really cool. That is very... The generosity is always greatly appreciated. I never have the right words to adequately express my thanks. But, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm one, one watering tile away here. It shows you the quality in the little bubble above the machine what <laughs> that's so good wait i love that that's such like a minor change but it's it makes me so happy another large egg for the road as well so much quality of life 90 energy from this highly spreadable quality mayonnaise i'll drink to that Yummy. Almost looks like moss is growing on it on the mayonnaise. Hopefully not. 
I should say it looks drinkable. Maybe there's a new recipe where we actually can spread it now, though. There she is. With the, oh, the hat is too big for her. <laughs> it's just like a little bit too big for her. It's so, that's so cute, though. Oh, my gosh. Hello, hello. She's doing a little hops around. This, I can't get over this hat on this cat, man. It matches her eyes. It does match her eyes. I'm in love. I think I'm fall I think I've fallen in love with Stardew Valley all over again. All right, let's bring let's bring this stuff to the community center. Pop these away for right now. Not that I was ever out of love with Stardew Valley, but you know, you need a reminder sometimes of just why just why we love this game so much. And Concerned Ape has provided that reminder in spades today. What an incredible game. She's wearing her mom's hat. It's true. It's like, yeah, like it's like when a kid dresses up in like their parents' clothes. And they're all like oversized, but they're still so cute. This wasn't here before, was it? This little like weird flower pot? The table was there, I'm pretty sure, but not not the flower pot. Free update, by the way. I know this this could easily be paid DLC and no one would bat an eye, but Concerned Ape doesn't do it like that. All right, animal bundle, beautiful. Okay. And now I think I'm just gonna go. Well, I should check for help wanted quests. I don't think I, I don't think I saw any on the way up here, but I wasn't ex exactly looking either. There they are. All right, help wanted. What do you got for me? I would like a cute girl to bring me some seaweed. I mean, we got time to burn before Haley comes out of her room. For her, so I can give her her birthday coconut, but I don't know how I feel about this being one of the quests that I do, giving, giving Sam his seaweed from a cute girl. <laughs> it's not new dialogue. I've seen that one more than enough times to know that is not new dialogue. More dried seaweed for the winter. I don't know why it has to be from a cute girl specifically, but to each their own. I'll get you your seaweed, Sam. I'll get you your seaweed. Uh, fishing rod would be in here somewhere, maybe? Bro, my fishing rod? Maybe I left- I actually might have taken my fishing rod up to the mines now that I'm thinking about it. And just, like, forgot it there. I think that's exactly what I did. What if a plain guy gave him seaweed? No good. Don't think so. Sam is very explicitly clear in his directions. He wants specifically a cute girl to give him a sea seaweed. AKA any girl. So, my apologies. If you're if you're a cute guy, you're out of luck. Can you get the carrot seeds from Pierre's shop? I wasn't able to buy them previously. Maybe in like a future year we're able to buy them, or maybe now that I've found some, I'll be able to buy them. I don't know how much sense that would necessarily make, but. But we're playing a video game. It doesn't have to make sense. What's the equivalent message of the farmer's mail? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I seldom play male farmers. So it's beyond me. This is why you didn't get the daily quest yesterday, because your farmer is a man. Oh no. No, you can still get them from Sam. I'm sure he just says something boring like, you know, looking for a sea looking for some seaweed to inspire my next big hit. Need a cool dude to bring me some cool seaweed. Change one of those cools for radical. And I'm with you. Alright. Any special birthday birthday dialogue here, Haley? You got this for me? Wow, Chloe, this is the best birthday gift ever! That is new! She has new dialogue, new birthday dialogue! Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> that made me feel so happy, man. That made me feel just like all the all the emotions all at once. <laughs> all the best emotions. Oh my goodness. Time to update Haley Bot with new dialogue. <laughs> 
All right. Do I dare waste time going fishing for seaweed when we have a new festival literally tomorrow? I mean, I got to get those loot boxes, man. You got to put in the work to get those loot boxes. And if that means, you know, spending a, an hour or two in-game catching some, catching some fish in the hopes of finding some seaweed, then stick my bobber in the water. I've got a dry crop withering away. Noted. I will I will water said crop when I get back home. Thank you. Ooh, a little more sea jelly. They tell me it's rare, but I've got three of these things. I guess, you know, granted, given the amount of fishing that I've actually been doing, three is not that many. Go inside Willy's. I've seen this before. I've seen this already. Wait, more bobbers. Wait, I've unlocked bobbers. They didn't tell me I unlocked bobbers, though. Pink bobber, please. I will take my pink bobber. Do you just unlock new bobber style styles with, uh, with like, fishing levels and stuff? That's so cool. It looks like a little marshmallow floating out there. Green to match Chloe's outfit. Honestly, could be a good, could be a good play. I do like the pink one, though. Was there a green and gold one? I got so laser focused on the pink one. The green and gold, look at that. There's some good there's so many here too. Bobber style. Is it a style or does it actually do stuff? I don't think it does anything. I think it's merely cosmetic. But still, honestly, any any level of customization like that is greatly appreciated. I don't know if I don't know if custom bobbers was on anybody's wish list for 1.6, but I'll be darned if I'm not happy that they're here now. It's so niche, I know. Are we gonna do Master Angler Remastered? I mean... Based on what I've been told and what I've surmised, Master Angler might actually be a much more doable challenge these days. Catching even even though there are there are more fish now. There's 72 fish in the fishing collection. Um, but the new tools and stuff that you have at your disposal might make it more might make it more doable than ever before. It remains to be seen. Unfortunately, the Booty Express well, is not something we can incorporate to do anymore. Ancient seed. Ooh la la. Hold on a minute. Go donate that real quick before the before it gets too late in the day here. Jelly counts as three of those fish. Yeah, and the jelly is honestly probably like kind of rare, which could make it dramatically harder, given depending on just how rare it is. Am I planning on taking a break anytime soon? I'll probably take a little bit of a break between, um, like, once we're done on this farm and we decide to go to one of the later game farms, but... But not until then. Because I can't, I can't imagine we're going to be here that much longer. Alright, Ancient Seed Recipe plus Ancient Seeds themselves. ETA? Couldn't tell you because I don't know what these uh what this next festival has in store for us. I don't know how long I'm gonna meander at it. Am I sure that's all chairs that don't work, or just not the chairs I or, or not just the chair I tried? I I admittedly I was trying it with an armchair, which is kind of a weird chair. But when I was trying to put it down, it specifically said furniture cannot be placed outside or furniture cannot be placed here. Which makes me believe that it's probably all chairs. The Grayed Out Festival isn't accessible yet. Don't break my heart like this. Pedal. Don't tell me that's true. Ooh, Iridium Quality Sardine. Can you not skip into the secret woods anymore? Based on based on that information, no. You cannot skip into the secret woods anymore.
So if you want to do that, you're going to have to downgrade to 1.5 to get into the secret woods, I suppose. It's locked behind completing a certain thing. Gosh darn it. <laughs> See Willy fishing with his broken rod there. Well, I'll play through until tomorrow just to see. Just to see, like, if there's anything, any kind of indication as to what it might be. Because it seems, like, weird that it would show it on the calendar. And then, like, not give you any indication that something is happening that day. Like, when you actually get there. So I feel like there's got to be some kind of indication once we actually get to that day. Of what it's going to be. But... We'll see, I guess. We shall see. Did we do the traveling car yet? Oh, we didn't visit the traveling car yet today, actually. Might be a little too late to go for that, especially because I, I want to get this seaweed. <laughs> Make sure I stay hydrated. I do need to go get some more water in the near future here. Can I try placing my bench outside? I will do that once I get home, absolutely. You chair skipped with the bench, but you couldn't come home. You had to pass out. Maybe it's just the armchair then. I don't know. Maybe it's like certain types of furniture. My kingdom for a seaweed, please? My kingdom for a seaweed. Just just one seaweed. Who would have thought I'd be spending so much time fishing for seaweed, of all things, in, in 1.6 here? But the ends justify the means. Why did the lobster blush? I mean, my question would be, how could you even tell the lobster was blushing? He's red all over. Can I just buy a traveling cart or a chair from traveling cart or Robin? I can also test it on just like a different farm. It doesn't all have to be tested on this farm specifically. Because the seaweed. Need the fishing jokes to bring the seaweed forth. It's clearly not not forthcoming right now. Come on, man. Just one seaweed. It should not be that rare. Thank you, thank you. Not gonna be able to get it to Sam today, but tomorrow there will be a cute girl at his doorstep. Just you wait, holding a, a freshly caught seaweed. Damn. Raccoon? I'm still waiting on this raccoon, dude. Where's my raccoon? Where's my raccoon? Give the driftwood to Linus? I don't know if gift preferences have been changed around, but I'm not falling for it. Get the driftwood out of here. Alright, let's go ahead and pop down a... Sneaky little ancient fruit seed here. Do the ticket prizes change? It like see it seems to cycle through them. It's so like I got the first one I got was like the twelve carrot seeds, and then like the line moved over so that I could uh, access the next one in line, which was the apricot sapling. So that's the next one I have available to me, and then beyond that, it's like mixed flower seeds. All right, let's go ahead and sell, 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 sell. Okay. All right, everyone's saying that we're not going to be able to access the 
whatever this next festival is that starts tomorrow. We're not going to be able to access it yet because we do, do not meet the requirements. This makes me very sad. New crafting recipe deluxe bait, though. <laughs> deluxe bait. Crafting recipe recycling machine, new crafting worm bin. Okay. Okay. Yo, Creatrix, welcome on in. Just, just, just in time for the deluxe bait crafting recipe. There's so many new types of bait in this in this update. What is this? Crafting recipe deluxe bait. Five bait and two moss causes fish to bite even faster and increases the size of the fishing bar. That sounds really good. Worm bin buff. Oh, does this give you you get you get this from a worm bin maybe? Oh, you maybe can get like a whole bunch of different types of bait from the worm bin. Actually, that could be that could be interesting too. Interesting. Still don't, don't know where moss is. Apparently, I was someone in chat said it grows on trees in the fall. That could be very very nice. You're just, just getting started as a gardener, so I want to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Granny Evelyn. Worm bins needed the buff. Have their crafting recipe been changed at all, though? <laughs> if not, it better be one heck of a buff, is all I'm going to say. Am I going to need more hay soon? Uh, I mean, I've only, I only have two chickens. They're not going through the hay that fast. We got five hay left. I'll have... Yeah, we, sh we should be fine for the next little while. Unless we get, like, a bunch of rainy days in a row or something like that. Okay. Let me... I'm going to sell this egg here. Oh, it's salmonberry season. How about that? I gotta go looking. I gotta go looking and see if there is a any indication whatsoever. I mean, I suppose that's why it's like grayed out this festival here. It's just not. It's just not showing. Not no nothing. You're giving me nothing to work with here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's fine. Five coals. That's a, that's a new quest, actually. See if any rare gems are inside. I don't think he's ever asked. He could a, he could ask for coal, could he? Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong on that. All right. Well, I think I am actually. I mean, I know we want to get to the bookseller. But I also think I might be able to get to the bookseller even faster. We can come back and go for the bookseller on a uh, on this farm if needed. But I might pivot to like some different like later game farms, like mid and late game farms, so I have access to some new material and new contents without having to sleep through a bunch of days or anything like that. I think it's time. I think we're we're almost seven hours in here. I think we're about ready to pivot to some of uh some of the newer later game content i think that's going to be my plan going forward here so the loot boxes i mean who knows maybe we'll have access to loot boxes even quicker on one of our other farms it's all seed based right so i am going to take a you know maybe like 10 minute break or so here go get myself some more water stretch my legs get recharged maybe get a little bit of food and then I will be back on the, uh, I will be back with more Stardew 1.6 content. We haven't tested the bench yet, though. All right, fine. You know what? We'll test and see if we can put the bench outside, <laughs> and then we'll be back with it. One final test for Renaissance Farm here. Let's see. Can I play one of the montages while I'm gone? I don't think I have the montages loaded up right now, unfortunately. So I'll probably just I'll probably put on some music and we'll just uh we'll just vibe out. Bench. Can you go outside, little bench? You can go outside. The bench can go outside. The armchair cannot. So the armchair is built different. The armchair is a different classification of furniture. So maybe other chairs still work. 
The Booty Express is alive and well, baby. <laughs> All right, chat. I will send you to this little uh, this little break screen over here. We'll be we'll be back very shortly. Um, yeah, I will go get some some water, some food, a little bit of rest and relaxation. Enjoy some music while I'm gone, courtesy of our stream playlist. I'll see you in yeah like ten minutes or so. All right. I might run a cheeky little ad break because I never run ad breaks, so. <laughs> <laughs> so apologies to anyone who gets an ad during this, but all right. Thank you. Thank you all for joining me so far for a lovely trip through 1.6. I can't wait to explore more of it momentarily with you. Be right back.
All right, I am officially back. I don't know if it's been 10 minutes or not, but <laughs> I went, I had a snack, I got some new water. I think I am well and truly hydrated, refreshed, and energized for more 1.6 shenanigans. I wait a little while longer just in case people are, decide, are, are still coming back. Or are on the breaks of their own. <laughs> stretch my wrists too. I did get up and I walked around and I did stretches and stuff, so but I'm just so excited to get back more into 1.6, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just having so much fun exploring this so far. Um, I did change slow-mo back down to 2 seconds from 10 seconds because I think chat has has mellowed out a little bit here from the hype of the original part. Um, I can I can turn it back to 10 seconds. If we need to, but for now it seems like chat is more or less at the uh, at the same speed as it normally is. So, and for those curious, I put it at two seconds because it's you know it's it's short enough time that it's basically like nothing for like normal people, but apparently it helps with uh, like bots and spammers and stuff that it helps to like you know mitigate those. So that's why it's at two seconds and not just like off entirely. People are so busy playing they can't type as much. Honestly, that's very fair. 
How many lurkers we still got hanging around in here? I know we had a wall of lurkers last time. Post a seven in chat if you're still lurking, playing Stardew Valley or otherwise. <laughs> I have to Im I have to imagine that most people are, if they're lurking, they're probably playing Stardew on their own. Drop a seven in chat if you are, if you are lurking, enjoying the 1.6 update, doing anything else while you're enjoying the stream. We got many, many lurkers still in here by the looks of things. Marshmallow Opossum, JTF, and BTD6 fan, Renanda, Xavia, Zap of Destruction, Charlie H, Sad Kitten. Oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> it's a wall of sevens. It's a wall of sevens, baby. Maggie Cord, your Ghost goes with Bo, Rat Boss, Hibsy Essence, Tanya, Linda Harris, playing along, heck yeah. All right. Thank you all to the lurkers. You are the lifeblood and backbone of the stream. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying uh, your lurkdom. Probably playing Stardew 1.6 as well. Hope you're hope you're enjoying that as much as I am. I am just over the moon with 1.6 so far, and there's still so much to discover. There's so many secrets yet to yet to be revealed. And to that end, I think it's time to re-poll this question: Should we read the patch notes? now is it time is it time to read the patch notes or do we go in to um or do or do we go into these like mid game slash end game farms blind do a little more exploring and then read the patch notes towards the end we're gonna read the patch notes eventually on stream it's just a matter of when most people are uh are inclined to want to see it being read I'm willing to go either way. I think that sense of fun and discovery is still going to be there. The patch notes are not going to spoil absolutely every little thing in the game. Um, go for it on the older farm. Yeah, we're going. We're going to one of the older farms now. We're not going back to to Renaissance Farm. We may go back to it in the future, but for now, we're going to go to like some of the like mid game slash end game farms, and uh, and see what's what in the later game. Sixty-seven percent of people are saying that it's probably a good time to read the patch notes now. We'll wait for more votes to come through, though. We'll wait for more votes to funnel in. I think the, the the exploration is just so much fun. I agree, and honestly, I mean, like I said, I will read the patch notes. I think for me to read the patch notes now, I would want like a super, like a like an omega majority. Of the vote, I would say probably like 75% or higher for for us to read the patch notes right now. Because I do treasure that sense of exploration and discovery. And I want to experience that uh why pull it though? Because there's still a chance. There's still a chance that it would be like an overwhelming amount of people that would be like, yes, please read the patch notes now, it's time. But there's still a pretty large contingent of people that are like, no, no, it's not time to read the patch notes yet. It's, we're enjoying the process of, of discovery, and I want to, you know, I want to leave the floor open to all possible, to all, uh, to all people, and all voices, and all choices, and all things. One of the patches is because of me. That's not true, Chad. That's not true. I mentioned he mentions a bug in the Master Angler video, and as far as I know, he's the first first to report it. I sh there's no there's no no that's not true that's not true. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Talking about the fishing patch, I don't know what fishing patch it is, but <laughs> now you got me curious. The wild bait at the forest pond one? Oh, you mean the, uh, the magic bait at the forest pond? That gives you the possible chance to find, uh, like, river fish in the, in the forest pond? I didn't realize that was a bug, to be honest with you. I guess it kind of has bug-like tendencies, but I didn't realize it was something that would be, that would be addressed like that. Interesting. Alright. I will say the poll is not enough of a supermajority. 
You're waiting for me to read it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's all good. That is really cool, actually. That is, that's like really, I don't know if that's specifically because of the Master Angler video, or if that's a known quantity as far as, uh, as far as, as far as bugs and stuff goes. But it is really, really neat. We are going to skip out on the, we're going to skip out on the patch notes for now, though. I've made my decision. Did not have enough of a majority here. If it had been overwhelming, I would have I would have gone and done it. But for now, we are going to hold off. We're just going to go explore. I have some ideas of where I want to go and things I want to look at in some of our later game farms. So let's go make some magic happen, shall we? I think... I don't know which one I want to do. Because I, I, I kind of want to go... I kind of want to just go into Fishy Farm, I'm not going to lie to you. It's the one that I played the Master Angler Challenge on. That might honestly be the, the, better, the better farm to go to here. Because it's got a lot of late game progress. We're in winter, so we can see, like, some of the, some of the, the, um, like, villagers' outfits and stuff. Yeah, you know what? We might do this. We might do this. You know, bring... Let's bring Fishy Farm back. Save a copy elsewhere. It's, it's been saved for a long time. <laughs> I'll double check. I'll double check to make sure that my, my backup is still... Is still hanging out. But, uh... Let's see. Master Angler. Yeah, it's been it's been saved. It's been there for... I've got, like... I've got, like, eight backups of, the, of, of Fishy Farm at various different stages of completion. Let's do it. Let's br let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to something that many of us are now familiar with that's never been shown on stream specifically outside of a uh, outside of the actual you know Master Angler video. I think it's time. I will pause the in-game music or pause the out-of-game music, the stream music. Bring it on back in here. It was also Lazy Farm, I suppose, but <laughs> I don't know how much... I don't know. That that one might be a bit more of a mess. All right. Chloe of Fishy Farm with her deluxe pirate hat. Are we ready to go back in? After all we did on Matrix Farm earlier, we might still go to Matrix Farm. It remains to be seen. It, it, it depends on whether I feel there's anything to discover on Matrix Farm or not. Stone Age Farm. No peeking. All right, let's do it. Fishy farm, bring it in. What's that little hourglass icon? That's new. Did they hot patch that in? <laughs> I swear that wasn't there on the on the actual like uh on the actual little playthrough. Look, it's this inventory is literally the day of. That's the last lava eel I caught, man. Wait, do I still have my achievement? Where's my achievement? My master angler achievement? Old mariner, master angler, catch every fish. Catch every fish, they say. Huh? <laughs> the clam! The clam is in the, in the, is in the fishing... Oh, no! <laughs> he added it to the fishing collection instead of the shipping collection. I didn't even notice. <laughs> that cheeky little concerned ape. Oh, my gosh. So rude. So unbelievably rude. Give me my music here. There we go. Farm ruined. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Okay. Here, so now we can see level four. Level four. So that's level four house, right? That's a level four house. That's because our house has been upgraded to max. We've got 100, 100 floors deep in Skull Cavern specifically. I believe is what that refers to. Oh, these tre these trees changed because of the season. Skull Cavern and Star Drops. We have six out of seven Star Drops. I don't even know what the seventh one is. Probably like the museum, honestly. We got the full June. We got the little Junimo there with all the with all the community center completion. You'll love to see that. Can you upgrade the house more? I guess we can go find out, honestly. Um, day sixteen of winter, year three. I got a little bit of a full inventory here. Let's check some other stuff here. These are all the different... There's so many different wallet items yet to, yet to be found. Holy moly. 
I don't even I think this is the casino card. It's this key to the town, the spring spring onion mastery. There's some other stuff here that we just have not to uh, have not even gleaned yet. I didn't have the chance to glean. Look at this. Wait, that's juice? That's juice? My man changed the ju the juice sprite. Honestly, I think that's probably that that makes sense because if the coloration of the wine is changed, you, if it was like the same kind of sprite, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart, right? I didn't even I didn't even clock that. That's interesting. The juice has changed. The juice is now worth the squeeze, as the kids say. We've got Timbeeb, got Nemo, Flag, Blenny, Rohu, Alfonsino, Xander, Panga, F Featherback, Flyer, Zingle, Snook, Shalog. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> they're all petted. They're all petted and they're all well fed. Look at that. We got some. We got some good. We got some good animals around here. All right. Put away all of everything here. I don't even know where like half of the stuff I need to like navigate this farm. Like all I've done on this farm is fish for the longest time. It's time to put down the fishing rod for, for just a little while. Just a little while. All right, well, I'll bring these with me. I guess I can bring the warp totems as well. Couldn't hurt. Where are my tools? I think they're in a chest outside somewhere. It is also winter, by the way. It is officially winter. Fishing info. That's, that's the Fibs broadcast. Tuna, walleye, perch, catfish, pike, red mullet, herring, snapper, squid, sea cucumber. I mean, that's all. That's all. That all checks out. I do own a horse! Exclamation point! Horse. I have a furniture catalog as well. Wait, we can. We can. Are, do I dare dive into the Pandora's box? That is the furniture catalog right now. I'm a little scared. That's a king chair. I don't even know. I, that one might even be new already. <laughs> I have no idea, man. Super curious to know if you can put up wall decorations on those small wall sections in the basement and coop barns and coops and barns and stuff. Oak oak lamp end table. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, a lot of this is is familiar to me. Very familiar so far. The oak lamps, decorative barrels, decorative hatch, elegant vase. Spirits table, like a table of actual, like alcoholic spirits. Wine table, I kind of like the look of those. China cabinet, I think was already in there actually. Artist books case, luxury bookcase, modern bookcase. I think the bookcases were also there. Oh my good, check out the crafting menu. I should definitely check the crafting menu actually. That's so cute. I love these. You can make like your own little like uh, like little displays and stuff. Yeah, I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of with you, Mermaidium. I you, you were, I wasn't into decoration before, but now I'm into this. It's I, like having new little toys to play with is is a lot of fun for sure. I'm gonna move these. I'm, I'm gonna move them. Let's actually move them like middle slot here. Um, I should. I need to go get my tools and stuff. I'll hold on to these warp totems in case I find a good use for them. The alcoholic update. Set up your own little bar. What do I have available in my dresser here, even? I got some I've got a decent amount of rings and stuff honestly. There's there's quite a bit, you know, Master Angler Farm, aka Fishy Farm does not uh does not mess around. All right, crafting menu. Holler if you see something new. I've got a text sign, but we already knew about that one. There's the bait maker. Oh, I thought that was the fish smoker. This is the bait maker. Places a fish place a fish inside to create a targeted bait. So that's how you can make your own fishing bait for a specific type of fish. That is really cool. That is really cool. Okay. That doesn't specifically help the Master Angler Challenge necessarily because you still need the original fish in order to create the bait for that fish, but you can also get the bait from Willy, as we saw. Interesting. I mean, I have a lot of fish. I could definitely, I could definitely make one of these and use that, probably. Worm bin... Deluxe worm bin, excuse me, produces deluxe bait on a regular basis. The worms are self-sufficient. So we got worm bin, which still has the same recipe. Sad. But we also have a deluxe worm bin, which requires one worm bin plus some moss. Which we don't yet even know how moss... We haven't, I haven't found any moss yet. Okay. Produces deluxe bait, which is which we discovered at the end of the, our little adventure into Renaissance Farm. That's pretty huge. 
That is pretty huge. I'm actually going to turn on, just while I'm going through like the menus and stuff here, I'll turn on some, some music. Okay. Um, bottom left. Yeah, mushroom log. Grows mushrooms every so often. The more wild trees are nearby, the better it works. My dreams of a little forest grotto with fairies and mushrooms and, and trees, oh my, can finally come to pass? <laughs> Yo, that's really cool. You can grow your own little mushrooms, so you don't even need the mushroom cave necessarily anymore. You can still get mushrooms from the mushroom cave, but you don't need the mushroom. That's, that's really neat. The more wild trees nearby, the better it works. How does it know they're wild? I assume by wild trees, it means just like trees you can chop down. Like, uh, cause there's like other, there's like other types of trees that you could like probably put this by that aren't, that like, they're like decorative trees more, more than anything. Or like, or fruit trees for, for that matter. Yeah, that's a good point. Slime incubator. This is all, this all checks out here. What do we got in here? Anything noteworthy? I don't see that, that other totem next to these other totems. I do see this. Tent kit. Use this to deploy a one-time use tent for sleeping can only be used outdoors. That is kind of a game changer, isn't it? That's kind of really big, I feel like. <laughs> like, where can only be used outdoors? Does that mean you probably can't use that in the mines? Maybe you can use it in the mines? I don't know. Does the mines count as outdoors? But if you can sleep anywhere... If you can sleep anywhere... I feel that there's so many interesting possible little, like, things that opens up. A speedrunner's must-have, absolutely. It's all, it's a one-time use, so, I mean, they're expensive, but they're one, and they're one-time use. But that could really, really come in handy. Could change Master Angler a lot. That's true, actually. Yeah, you could sleep, like, right at the place where you want to start fishing. Sleep right outside Skull Cavern and immediately go in. Sleep on, sleep like outside the volcano on Ginger Island. You could sleep like anywhere you want to sleep now is fair game. There, there was a mod previously for like a tent kit, but this now I didn't expect it to actually be officially put into the game like that. That is really cool. What is that? Sonar Bobber. Shows what fish is on the line before it's caught. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna scream, dude. Oh my god, what? <laughs> that's, that's so good. That's so good. I can't even... <laughs> Do you know how much time this would have saved me? Do you know how much time? <laughs> oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. The sword is <laughs> not even that expensive, man. It's not even that ex it's, it's it's free. Shows what fish is on the line before it's cut. <laughs> Why didn't you use the sonar bobber? Q one hundred different comments. You should just use the sonar bobber to tell you what fish was on the line, man. Frick you. <laughs> Is it one-time use? I wouldn't imagine so. I imagine like any tackle, it's like, you know, probably like 20 casts and then uh, and then it's done, but... Oh, it's really cool looking. It's really, I like the look of it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that makes me... It makes me simultaneously very happy and very frustrated that I didn't have this tool at my disposal during the challenge, but also that I managed to complete the challenge without this tool is pretty cool. Very, very nice quality of life upgrade for that one. Not even just for the Master Angler challenge, just in general. Like, honestly, like, for, like, for randomized perfection, that could come in handy if we get the opportunity to craft this before we, before we catch, like, every fish. I don't see anything else new here, right? This is all... This is all standard stuff. Oh my gosh. I did not see that one coming. That is so... That is a that is a game changer. That is legit a game changer when it comes to that challenge. Oh, 
all the master anglers will have it easy. I mean, you don't have to use the sonar bobber, but like, there's no reason not to, really. I guess, I mean, you have to use it in place of a dress spinner or a curiosity lure. So there is technically a trade-off. But, I mean, that's that's one heck of a benefit. <laughs> Back in my day. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, well, let's step outside for the first time and see what's going on here. <gasps> my beautiful, lovely wife. What are you wearing? It's amazing. Hello. The earmuffs. I didn't even see the earmuffs from the way she was facing, man. <laughs> She's so beautiful. The dress, queen, slay! Oh, baby! I got up early and fed all the farm animals. I hope that makes your job a little easier today. I don't even remember what I had to feed them before. So, Also filled Tim Beeb's water bowl. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are... You are amazing. You are amazing. She's so cute. She's so cute. Wait, if I look at the... The socials tab... Will that just show me all their outfits? Should I do that, or should I actually go and, like, find them in person? Because <laughs> I might just be able to see all their outfits, like, right here, right now. Find them. Click on it, go find them. I don't know. I think we explore, and then we, uh, if we don't find somebody, then we can look back on here. Just look at Haley. Just look at Haley. This is the rest of the stream. Just looking at Haley's winter outfit. She's so... It's so good. Oh, hey. How about this? It's <laughs> a great way to... You know, great way to start the... Uh, start the dive into Master Angler Farm here. Don't mind if I do. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of seaweed. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll tell you, I worked hard for that that star drop. Props, possibly the hardest star drop I've ever earned in my life. All right, I'm also gonna turn off. I'm gonna go back to like in-game music potential. I'm still missing five fish. SMH. Found you face down in the mud during my 3 a.m. sweep. 3 a.m. What the heck? All right, yeah, that's this is like where all my tools and stuff are. Let's go ahead. I think I can just put away iridium ore in here. Pop on over here. Grab myself a gold scythe. I'll just grab all the tools, realistically. I mean, I don't need the watering can, but... Uh, return scepter is good to have. Um, sure, dragon tooth shiv, why not? 467 gold quality cheese, sure. <laughs> and a hoe, a completely unupgraded hoe for the for all those artifact spots we need. Okay, I'll put... I'll do it like this, I think. There we go. Wait! Iridium Scythe! <laughs> Check the map. <gasps> That's so nice! The wintertime map! I love that they change- that the map changes with the season. That's so cool. There's Ginger Island and everything. This is so neat, dude. Railroad spa open all day. Ruined house. That's the hat mouse. There's a little flower dance area. It's- oh. Tim Beeb, Tim Beeb, I need to get a hat for you, little guy. I need to get a hat for you and for Nemo, honestly. Oh, no, Nemo has the little flower hat. I forgot. Let me go find, let me go find a hat for Tim Beeb. Garbage hat, golden helmet, arcane hat, squire's helmet. We got lots of garbage hats. Butterfly bow. I'm sold. We don't have another, we don't have a second pirate's hat, unfortunately. Tim Beeb, I need you to turn around. <laughs> this is very important, sir. I need you to turn around. <laughs> Tim Beeb. Tim, don't you lead me on like this, little guy. Turn around. I need to see your bow. Please? <laughs> He's really gonna do me like this, isn't he? Tim Beeb? Tim Beeb? There oh! He's got the little bow on. He's wagging his tail. Come on. Face, face this way, little buddy. Face this way. Nope. All right. <laughs> we'll have to catch him at a different time then. See that little hat on him? He's such a... There he goes! Oh my gosh, he was just a little camera shy at first. It covers his eye on his little, little droopy ear. Oh, that's so he's so cute, man. He's so cute. All right, I don't think I have much going on on this farm. 
I have a lot of fish ponds. We can maybe see what is available fish pond wise. Got nothing going on in the greenhouse right now. I guess I can get some speed buffs going. I mean, I have this the spicy eels and triple shot espressos. What's in the shed? Good question. I think it's a lot of furnaces and stuff. Let's go find out, shall we? Pardon me. Pardon me. Nemo coming through. What's in the shed here? Yeah, just a bunch of furnaces. All right, let's go. Let's go find our friends. Let's go see some villagers, shall we? Pam is not here yet. If she's if she's on her way. Ooh, Pam, look at you. Hello, hello. I just hope that Penny has a good life ahead of her. Absolutely. I mean, you have a you have a new fresh house now. I like it. I like it. We're gonna we're just gonna get a lot of appreciating people's outfits from here on in. Honestly, we're gonna it's gonna be like the next hour is just gonna be like a fashion show. <laughs> Look at Pam. She's rocking that, that, like, that fluffy vest, honestly. Get my Pam when I go to Clint. Noted. Noted. What do we got here? There's Harvey. He's got a nice, like, blue blazer on of some kind, it looks like. I really like that, actually. Wait, did he join Jojo? Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. I respect it. How, what's my friendship look? Oh, I can't. I don't want to look at the skills tab because or the socials tab because I get, all got spoiled on the outfits. Purple parkas. Jody, look at that dress. Is, or is that like a sweater? I, it's like a really like long sweater. <laughs> you get tired of people asking about your farm all the time? No, I get tired of people asking about fish all the time. Who even is this? Who are you? That's Emily. She's got a cute little hat on. She's got a nice little toque. You like the earrings? You must be getting very good at farming by now, huh? Scratch that, getting very good at fishing. <laughs> That's a really nice outfit, Emily. What do we got in here? There's Abigail. I, look at that. She's got the like the big turtleneck on her. P Pierre's got that like Christmas sweater energy going on here. Did you hear about the new movie theater in town? I'm excited to check it out. I think I did. I think I did hear a thing or two about that. <laughs> Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure you check back every now and then. Actually, it's a good question. That's a good point. I should probably check in with your shop, like, right now, huh? See if you got anything fancy or special going on here. Dehydrator. I'll buy the dehydrator recipe. Sure. Now I've actually got the capital to spare. Might as well make use of it. Caroline, where are you hiding? Look at her! Oh my gosh! I love the, I love the Christmas sweaters, dude. She is so cute. They're all so cute, honestly. Divorce Haley, marry Harvey. Everyone looks so cute. You're so right. It's it's just like so nice to see these characters we've known for so long in so many different capacities. Get this, this fresh coat of paint. It feels like a mod, but it's not. It's not a mod. Clint! Clint, get back here, buddy. I need to see you. I need to see you in your big trench coat. <laughs> if you want me to upgrade your tools, you have to give me the correct ore. Of course, of course, sir. Look at that. You want to see the kids, Jas and Vincent? Jas was was spoiled a little bit on the in like the uh the, the 1.6 thing. Hello. Oh, <laughs> she's got a little headscarf. Aren't you cold? You should wear a thicker jacket, my dear. I did not see a headscarf coming for for on Evelyn here. I love it though. Little babushka. Is very nice. What are you, George? He's got a nice. He's got a nice kind of like a uh, like mailboy cap here. Looks like another gloomy day. No, nah, it's just the brim of your hat, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Penny. Is Penny at home? She might actually be at the at the museum. Not hanging out at home. I don't know if anything has been changed in here. In I, I'm very unfamiliar with the interior of that. Very Sherlock Holmes. Heavy Sherlock Holmes energy. What is this? Why is there like a little bird house next to this? Island ingredients. Don't know if I'm going to do either of those, but, but I mean, we'll see. We might might want to do some of those in the future. 
Got our ticket machine. What is that? 12, that's like, that's like the winter version of a carrot. This is the same, this is the same configuration of prizes from this ex that we had in our very that we had in our first farm that we visited renaissance farm except that this has been swapped out this was carrot seeds now it's like winter turnip seeds powder melon <laughs> i don't know what, the, what it is but then apricot sapling plus uh like mixed flower seeds ice carrot maybe you get uh tickets for those quests too maybe maybe that's what this little like dispenser here is for that's entirely possible <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Aunt Marnie says, "I'm not old enough to see a movie by myself." It's okay, I'll I'll take you. I can be your your parent, your supervisor. Got Elliot here with his bright red scarf. <laughs> People have scraped for scraped a living off the sea for thousands of years. I need I need a better look. I need them to be up and up and at him. I need to be able to see. I love that sweater. I love Penny's sweater. Why is winter- why are winter outfits so good, man? Why are they so good? I try to stay indoors as much as possible during the winter. I hate being cold. I can tell by- by your new shirt. Your new duds. No hat for Elliot. Can't have hat hair? Of course, of course. I would- and I wouldn't ask him to. I wouldn't even dream of it. Anyone home? Hello? <laughs> Yo, they match so well. Look at the three of them. They're so matching. Did that does that match with Jody? Jody's was the purple one. She's like the nice little vibrant splash of color amongst the family here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that I didn't even I didn't even clock the portrait, honestly. He's got the beanie and everything. It's good to see you again. Absolutely. And then little Vincent here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Mom won't let you have any more gummies today. Why are they so sad every time I look at them? <laughs> That's the, the nice little knitted toque, though. A lot, of, a lot of lovely detail on that. And there's Kent. Kent with his high-collared uh, turtleneck situation. Except that you're here. You can light Linus's fire again. Oh wait, I should check. Just I, I can't imagine Krobus has a winter outfit. We can check in with Krobus at any rate. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Got anything interesting to sell me? Do, do, do. The wizard catalog. M. Rasmodius's private furniture collection. All right. I mean, that's $150,000, but I mean, how could I not, man? Butterfly powder. Sprinkle on a pet to remove them from your farm. The process is irreversible. You turn their pet into a butterfly. <laughs> no. No. Why? What? <laughs> I guess if you have to, if I guess if you have means of adding a pet to a farm, you have to have means of removing a pet from a farm as well. <laughs> no, it's so sad, man. Twenty thousand dollars. They want to make sure you're doing. You want to make sure you're doing it right. Never. Literally never. Go to Marnie. She's not she's not in, it's Tuesday. I'll go I'll check at Marnie's tomorrow though. Wizard catalog? <laughs> New combat video from Blade incoming. You did not just say that. Oh my gosh. Well, should I buy the wizard catalog? I should. I totally well maybe I should hold off. I'll hold off on that until I know like what I might have to spend my money on. We'll keep that in the back of our minds though. You're still, you're still normal. Still got crystal chair here. Crystal chair can still, be, can still be put around like wherever. What does the wicked statue do? You put that in a, uh, in a coop or a slime hutch, I think, and it prevents like the wizard, the or the witch from flying over and cursing you and like giving you either a void egg or turning your slimes all black. Any profession changes? That's actually a good point. Oh, I didn't mean to look at this. What is Linus wearing on his head, man? All right, um, profession changes. I mean, I don't even. It's, I mean, we could we could maybe look at like I I don't even know like I I could ask the like hey can I change a profession and then see if it's uh if there are any new options or anything like that. This all looks pretty standard though. What the, what on earth? What is happening? What just happened? 
Why would... What? <laughs> I walk over here and Kent's just like pooped out a bunch of wood. All of a sudden. Did he like walk through a tree? <laughs> what? what in the world just happened? I don't... I have no idea. What the heck? I think he... I think he literally just like walked through a tree, man. There was just a tree in his path. Yo, Gus! <laughs> Look at that. Look at that lovely little little dotted sweater. Please relax and enjoy yourself. I most certainly am enjoying myself, sir. Maybe there's a tree pathing glitch. That's the only thing that I can make sense of, honestly. Lewis, have we seen you yet? He's got a little cute little bow tie. Look at that. All the young people seem happy about the new movie theater. Thriving theater will be good for the local economy. I just hope there's nothing objectionable in those modern pictures. Don't lie, Lewis. I've seen you go to see, like, literally every movie. The stats bar in the skill menu is still empty, right? Is it? It is. I don't have... I don't. still don't know what that is. Good catch, honestly. Very, very good catch. Anything going on in here? It's complete, but it's still as empty as ever. This is spicy eel, so maybe I'm gonna go triple shot on this. Did I go to the spring onion door? Not yet. We'll make our way there eventually. Right now, I'm making the rounds and trying to trying to catch all the, these uh these winter outfits and stuff. What day is the bookseller here? Oh, good call. I should actually check. I didn't even check for festivals or anything like that. I kind of love this, like, fishing vest that Demetrius is rocking. He's got, like, major dad core vibes. He's, like, even more of a dad than he was before. Yo, they look at Sebastian. He's got, like, a nice puffy vest. Maru's looking very dapper. My hair got so frizzy in this dry weather. Wait, Sebastian, come back. The people need to see. Wait, can I go into your... I'm not good enough friends with Sebastian. You, you dare? Oh, it's not a puffy vest, it's a scarf! It's a scarf! That is 100% just a black scarf, man. That he's gonna sit at his computer desk and, and and use. If you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. Actually, great call. Thank you, Robin. Make house renovations. Add cubby. Adds a little cubby next... Add attic! Adds another staircase up and a room at the top. Add dining room, lart. What the heck? There's so many options. <laughs> Open bedroom, build crib. These these were all here before. Add attic, a cubby and an attic. Show me the cubby. Remove all items from the renovation area. Rip. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to move those those preserves jars in order to figure that one out. I kind of want. I def. I definitely want to do the attic, though. I think we commit. We can commit sixty thousand to an attic. I think that's fine. Big chest recipe. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me yesterday, honestly. Anything else new in here? There's lots of lots of pathing recipes. Yeah, we looked through that before. I love the flannel, by the way. Looking very chic. Very very chic. Construct farm buildings. Let's see. Anything later in the game here now? Another fish pond if we want it. More pet bowls. Cabin. Slime hutch. Slime hutch does decide does look decidedly different. It's less like blocky. Big shed. Shipping bin coop. Alright, so that no new farm buildings in there from what I can ascertain. House renovations. Give me this attic, man. That's amazing. <laughs> That's money, $60,000 well spent, honestly. Holy, that's so cool. Little attic, so more home customization options are never a bad thing. I love that. An attic. I mean, you got, if you have a cellar, you got to have an attic, right? Add a dining room. I should actually add a dining room. That's a good call. Linus is not here. He shrank the slime hutch. 
I'll believe it when I see it. The night market is open, by the way. Oh, it's night market. I didn't even realize that it was going to be night market day, honestly. I should have, because, I mean, that's the, that was kind of the whole idea was to go fishing on the night market, right? Homie? You're still wearing the same old duds as ever, homie. Never change. Cave carrot stew. Oh, gratin. <laughs> you got anything fun for me? Dwarvish safety manual. Bombs deal 25% less damage to you. Is this the first of many fabled books to add to our collection? Are you the bookseller? Were you the bookseller all along, my little homie? Dwarvish safety man. So bombs deal 25% less damage to you. That's, I mean, you know, that's pretty nice. There's the big stone chest recipe, by the way. 250 stone. Got anything else here? Weathered floor recipe. That's that's about it. I'll buy your dwarvish safety manual, sir. And I'll buy a I'll buy the buy the recipe as well. Give me that book. Can I just like read it? Oh! <laughs> well, she's a she's a fast reader, that Chloe. Gosh darn. There it is. Dwarvish safety manual. So that's like a little like permanent buff that you just get forever. That animation was slick. I love that. <laughs> So I have to assume that the majority of these are available from the the bookseller directly. Right? I love that sound that came with it too. Uh that's not where I want to be. Actually we can head to, we can head to the night market and probably catch like a decent amount of people and see like what their what their outfits are rocking. Who's walking through trees again? I just go to the grocery store. Mood. You bought a lot from the bookseller. If it, if it's, uh, you know... If it's early on in the game, the ones from the bookseller... Wait, there's Christmas lights in these trees. That's so subtle, but it's so good. Those weren't there before, right? I'm not going crazy. There, there, there are, like, lights in these trees. Do you see that? Those definitely were not there. That's a nice touch. That's really, really cute. Take off my glow, my glow ring, maybe. Let's see, I mean, I, I can tell if they're glowing, but yeah, we could definitely um, take that off. Yeah, there's there's just a very subtle soft glow to it. Let me see your portrait, Sebastian. Oh, baby. <laughs> Glad the fact that the railroad tracks is open again. You like going up when you when you feel like being alone, which is often valid. Christmas tree also emits light. Little night market situation here. Don't mind it. I don't know if there's anyone here that we haven't seen already yet. I don't think we've actually seen Marnie now. I'm thinking about it. Ooh, wait, you're looking kind of kind of fresh, Marnie. Fine purple silk. You can't find that at Joja Mart. Wait, fine purple silk. What are you talking about? Orange office stool. Haley portrait. Just done. I bought it. Now <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve this boon, but here I'm 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 happy to take it. <laughs> Literally bought it sight on scene. How much did I even pay for that? It was like thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. One of a kind rare Haley portrait. Why my question is why was she selling a portrait of Haley? <laughs> The Haley portrait, man. I have to imagine it's because, like, Haley's my spouse that I got access to that, but that's still, like, really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I will not buy- I have all the fish- I already caught all these fish, I don't need to buy a painting of them. By you. Seasonal decor. This all looks pretty samey. Yo, Koji, thank you for being a member for 22 months at the Neutron level. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for the for being a, an amazing mod to boot. Haley, my love. Can I buy more Haley portraits, or do I only get the one? I want more Haley portraits. Excuse me, Do you was that a one-time deal, or can I get... I'll be back next week. Actually, I'll be back tomorrow, because it's still the night market. 
So you better you better be prepared. That's all I'm gonna say. What's that? What's that juice? It might just be like juice. Actually, it might just be you know like generic juice. That's just generic juice. Sweet nutri sweet nutritious beverage. The juice sprite has been updated. Lesbian, thank you for the 14 months at the Electron level, by the way. Merely says real simp hours. You know what? I can't deny the allegations any longer. I am a Haley simp and proud. I want to ride the boat! <laughs> you and me both, mister. Meraki Maki, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Almost one full year, by the way. Thank you so much. Watching this during work should have taken the day off. Hey, it's all right. 1.6 will be waiting for you whenever you get the chance to play. Don't you worry. What about the other shop? The one with all the furniture and stuff? I did check it briefly, but I didn't see anything, uh... I didn't see anything new. Like, yeah, this guy I checked. Lupini. Oh, this guy here? Um... Radium Fireplace, Rare Crows, Upright Piano, that's a new, that's $100,000 for an Upright Piano. Is it playable? Is it a functional piano? That's the, I mean, that's, that's a, that's a steep price, my friend. Crystal Chair, I already got one of those, mister. An Upright Piano for all your concerto needs. Not even a grand piano. Wow, we Iridium fireplace. Holy moly. We need Beatrix's coop money. <laughs> we don't we don't have enough money. We do need I mean in randomized perfection we're gonna be well set, well and truly set for all this stuff, but for right now, we are a little bit I mean six hundred thousand is still pretty good, don't get me wrong. What are you hanging out here for? Want to go to the night market? I'm going to quickly look. We've been, we've been around. We've seen a decent amount of people. Let's look at the socials tab and see who else we can catch here. So Linus. Linus. Wait. Can I can I get like a look at you? Look at it. Oh my gosh. he's. I forgot that they do that when you get like a certain heart level with them. So cute. Linus, Robin, Pam, Louis, Krobus, Demetrius, Pierre, Alex. Did we see Alex? I think we probably did. He's looking very, very nice. Yo, did we get a bot for the first time in forever? Yo. Wizard? Wizard is... Wait, hold on. Is the wizard... Does the wizard look more muscular than usual? Has he... Has this man been working out? I feel like his sprite is different, but not like that much. Am I going crazy? Because I'm kind of swooning for this wizard right now. And I don't normally do that. <laughs> Kent, Vincent, Emily. We've seen all these. Willie with the purp with the purp. Why did I say purple? With the yellow raincoat. <laughs> the yellow coat. The, and the Clint there as well. No crazier than usual. Gus, Marnie, Evelyn, Dwarf, Homie. Sandy looking the same. Harvey, Leo. Maru, Abigail, Penny, Sebastian. I think we've seen just about every... We didn't see Leia. We did not see Leia. And I don't think we saw Shane either, actually. Ooh. I'm liking it. I'm liking the look, Leia. Honestly, every single winter outfit that I've seen, 10 out of 10. 10 out... 11 out of 10, honestly. I love them so much. I love them so much. Big stone chest. I, just, I don't even know where to go anymore these days, man. I'm inundated with so many possible options. I'm going to go check out this tree. I want to see if this tree has become anything yet. Hello? Still nothing here. Maybe, maybe that is where the bookseller appears. Wait. There's that... Isn't there that, um... There's that gift box up behind Jojamart as well. We gotta go check that out. Alright, but I... It might be a little too late to be coming here. I have the return scepter. I can get home very fast. It's fine. 
Shall we check this? See if this is available to us? What is this? It's the Shrine of Skills. My dear Chloe, if you're reading this note, you've found the secret room I've prepared for you. Within these walls are tips, recipes, and even some of my most cherished tools. All the very best from the many happy years I spent in the valley. By coming this far, you have proven that you possess the skill and wisdom to make good use of these powerful secrets. I hope my discoveries help you in your journey to make Fishy Farm a shining star of the whole world. Make me pat proud, Grandpa. New tools, new recipes, Grandpa, you've been holding out. You have been holding out, my good man. The final path, zero out of 10,000. What does it mean? That's got to be this. Wait, I just heard a sound. What What just happened? Oh, well, that's just the sound from closing out of that. That's got to be this. That's got to be this, right? The final path. We know where Chloe's got to go here. Fishing mastery. Advanced iridium rod used in the water to catch fish. Up to two bobbers can be ca can be attached at once. Challenge bait. A perfect catch yields triple the fish. However, each time a fish escapes the fishing bar, the catch is reduced. You can now encounter golden fishing chests. So these are like... This is like prestige. This is like you get to the highest level attainable by natural means. And then you can continue onward in order to unlock these new... Uh, these new tools and abilities and stuff. Challenge bait. This it's golden fishing chest. What is? What could even be in a golden fishing chest? Maybe just gold. Press that claim button. I can't. It's grayed out. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how to unlock it. It's just. It's just here. I just. I can't do anything with it. <laughs> the final path. All right, mining. What do you got? Statue of the Homie King. Choose the choose from two mining related powers each day. Whoa. The the dwarf king of our dreams. Heavy furnace. It's more efficient than a regular furnace. Requires 25 pieces of ore and three coal per use. So you can so you can smelt three bars at the same time that you could normally smelt one. That's really nice. That's very, very nice. Gem-bearing rocks now grant twice the gems. Isn't that... Doesn't that happen with the, the gemologist profession? So you could, like, get, like, quadruple gems? Five. 25 piece. Oh, I guess, yeah, 25. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I was, I was looking at the three coal per use, but I guess you just get a, a nice coal discount. Gem-bearing rocks now grant... Does that include prismatic shards? Is a great question. All right, farming. What do you got? There's the Iridium Scythe. We found it. Can be used to harvest any crops. It's also excellent at gathering hay. That's... That's fantastic. <laughs> that is so good. What? Yo, the, the, the Scythe to harvest crops mod is, is canon? It's real? It's here? Claim. Claim. If I click it enough times, it'll give it to me. Statue of Blessings. Touching the statue gives a unique blessing every day. How mysterious. I like the... It's like a little, like, forest sprite or something there. You can now find golden am animal crackers, which permanently double a farm animal's produce. Doesn't work on pigs. Okay, I guess they don't want it to be too powerful, but doubling, you know, like getting, like, double milk, double goat milk, double eggs... Concerned Ape is being good to us with these late game upgrades. I just want to know how to get them, man. Foraging Mastery. Mystic Tree Seed. This can be planted to grow a special tree. Treasure Totem. This is the one. Use on a diggable terrain to summon a ring of treasure spots. That I did not see coming. <laughs> Mystic Tree. Treasure spots. You can now find golden mystery boxes which contain superior items. This is so mysterious, man. There's there's too much to unpack here. <laughs> there is too much to unpack. Concerned Ape, what have you done? Anvil. Allows you to reforge trinkets, randomizing their stats. Trinkets? Costs three iridium bars per use. What is a trinket? 
Am I not? Am I dumb, or do I not know what a trinket is? <laughs> Reforge trinkets, randomizing their stats. I guess this is what I get for skipping to the end, huh? Now you can use Dwarvish Forge from the convenience of your home. Oh, you can, you can, you don't even need to go to the volcano. You can get a mini forge and you can enchant them at home. That's really cool. Unlocks new special equipment slot for trinkets. Trinkets can be found while adventuring and grant special powers. Okay, so this goes in tandem with that. I understand. I understand. Very, very interesting. So trinkets are like... They're, they're like an, a new variation of like rings almost. The final path. How do I do this? What do I do? <laughs> I, I, I guess we're going to have to find out. What if I put the Haley portrait up here? Will I if I sacrifice my Haley portrait, will you let me will you let me through? Must be placed on a wall. All right. Try gaining some XP. There's a tree like right here, I guess. That did it. All right, that is so we just need 10,000 experience in any skills or 10,000 experience per skill. Let me go, let me go fishing. Actually, do I even have my fishing rod on me? Of course, the one thing I don't have on me right now. Let me go, can I just like find a rock to mine or something? For that would just be foraging again. Just give me a rock. One rock, please. Curse my debris clearing tendencies on this farm. It's getting late. We may have to come back for it. What's this sneaking back here? Oh, it's just a piece of wood. Okay. All right. Um, right. I'm going to quickly head back into town. We can make it back to the farmhouse in time, but I want to check the calendar for book selling days. Excuse me, sir. Well, what do you want? Go away. He's wearing Joja brand winter merchandise. <laughs> this man is, is ride or die with Joja, apparently. Are on the tree. I looked, I looked back at the tree. Wait, hold on. It gets pretty cold in your little cabin. Looks like you're nice, dressed nice and warmly for it, though. I did check the tree, but there wasn't anything there. Let's see. I missed my previous bookseller. What is Squid Fest? No, I missed Squid Fest, man. No, take me back in time. I want to like want to go to Squid Fest. <laughs> What's Squid Fest? <laughs> Excuse me. Kill some squid emojis in chat, please. I need to know. <laughs> I missed it by like just a few days. It's a two-day festival. All right, bookseller is next week. I love Squid Fest. I'm just gonna tell. I'm gonna say, chat. I'm gonna say, I'm throwing this out there. I have a backup save of Fishy Farm from Winter Tenth. I can go back in time to Winter Tenth if we if we are so inclined. <laughs> Cause that would be that would be pretty that'd be pretty optimal, honestly. <laughs> we could experience the bookseller, experience Squid Fest. I won't be able to get into the room. Which room? I don't even. I, oh, the the skill room. I you know. I mean, I'll have max skills, so I can still do that. I just won't have caught every single fish. Make a backup though. All right, first, real quick. Real quick. Will it ruin this save? No, I have backups of this save. It's we're, we're all good here. Don't you worry about it. Real quick, though. Show it to me. What is this? It's a prize ticket, baby. Free prize ticket for me. Not bad. Okay, I wonder if all of them contain prize tickets. I've only seen, like, two little gifts around. There's this one, and there's the one that's in the uh, Adventurer's Guild. 
I won't have caught any fish. That's <laughs> just true. Yeah, no, I won't ruin the save. Don't you worry. Oh, the Haley portrait, though. I can get the Haley portrait back. I can get I can get it back. I can fix her. I mean, Squid Fest is too important, man. Squid Fest is too important. <laughs> I gotta find out what's what's going on with Squid Fest. All right. I'll be I'll be back, chat. I mean, I'm still gonna be here. I'm still gonna be talking to you. But I gotta load this. I gotta load the backup save. Just copy this save. It's already copied. There's already a copy of that exact save I was playing in my other files in, in like my other file f file folder. So you don't need to worry about that. For a few minutes, then go back to the current save. We might jump around between saves a decent amount here now that we're now that we're exploring some of the like the some like the later 1.6 stuff, depending on what I feel like we might need or what we might want to explore. We might jump around between some some saves. Like we can jump back to that save we were playing at the start to check out some like summer related stuff potentially. Because we got one in summer there. Alright, Stardew Valley backups. Master Angler. Winter 10th. Have a good one there, Intensive Porpoise. We'll see you, see you in a bit. And have a good night there, uh... Gellert? Helert? I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce your name, but hopefully I didn't make a total but butchery of it. Have a good one. Alright. It's not... It's not many things that would cause me to load a backup save... There are, there are not that many things that would cause me to do this. But you call a festival Squid Fest, and you expect me not to pay any attention at all? I don't think so. It's, yeah, Squid Fest. Squid Fest or bust, baby. You decided to start a new save on a new farm and just see, and just see where it all goes. Never done it. Best of luck to you, Lisa. Enjoy the ride. Alright, quick hydration break. Alright, let me see. Fishy farm, day 10 of winter, year 3. You'll love to see it. Bring you on back in here. In a second. There it is. Alright, perfect. Octofest would have worked too. Squid Fest definitely has a certain je ne sais quoi about it though. Are the new crops in the game all as hard to find as the carrots? Well, come on in, Antoinette. I don't have that much experience with any of the new crops other than carrots, so uh so I, I can't really say I'm afraid. Alright. My inventory is set up for fishing and on and only fishing. This is not where I want to be with my life right now. I'll keep the horse flute. Put all this away. So we have gone back in time officially. This is pre-catching literally any fish. I have literally caught... Where are my collections at? Literally caught zero fish. We are fresh on a, on a master angler world here. <laughs> in order to experience what I only know is squid fest. I should put the seafoam pudding away. I don't need that. I can also rearrange my stuff. Not exactly sure how I want it right now. This is, this worked out pretty fine last time, though. Need to rehat the dog. I'm just starting my day putting on my makeup. You do you, queen. Oh, I should keep a rod, actually. You're right. I'll keep a rod with... Uh, yeah, I'll keep this rod here. With the wild bait ready to go. Good shout, thank you. Thank you, Nico. Alright. Also, don't think I have in-game music on right now. There we go. Why rubies? I was trading them for uh, spicy eels at the, at the Desert Trader. Battery pack does go in here, yeah. Um, let me grab all my little goodies here. Grab this, grab this. 
Grab a hoe. Grab. I was told to care to bring my copper pan. Apparently, apparently you can upgrade the pan now, which could be very very interesting. I think I'll put the rod down there because I don't really need it on my like main hot bar. Let's bring the axe. Let's bring the return scepter. Bring a dragon tooth shiv just for just for shivs and giggles. All right. There we go. Got many, many tools at my disposal now. We do like matchy matchy tools. I don't know if it, I don't know if it would go straight to like an iridium pan, but can we upgrade past iridium now? I guess we can check that too if like there's a uh, if there's another upgrade beyond beyond iridium. All right, we got to get Tim Beeb a hat here. Oh, we don't have our attic anymore, either. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Hat for Tim Beeb. Let's mix it up a little bit. What did we... We got him the butterfly bow last time. You, he will take a, a lovely golden helmet. We gotta protect... We gotta protect our mascot here. Boom. What the heck? <laughs> He can't see! This poor little dog cannot see anymore. hes I put it on him while he's asleep, too, and he's going to wake up and be so confused. <laughs> oh, no. Little buddy. Oh, no, wait, he can see. He can see. Wait, he kind of looks like he's, like... He kind of looks like he's, like, a little military dog now or something like that. <laughs> he's, he's so cute. He's ready for action, man. He's, like, evil Knievel in dog form. I love him. <laughs> Blinded him. He do pr he do protect for sure. He protect, he attack, and he look like a snack. All right. Let's go double check the calendar so that I I know for sure what days I'm looking for here. Help wanted quest as well. Could someone bring me an iron bar? I could definitely do that actually. Yeah, we got Bookseller tomorrow, and then Squid Fest the next couple days. Feast of the Winter Star, nothing else new here. But yeah, so Bookseller, we finally get to discover what the heck the Bookseller is on about tomorrow. I mean, I don't, I don't, I have an idea, because I know, like, of the books in the game now, and, like, the different, uh, and the different stuff you can get from said books. Bro, I literally have all the bars except iron. What happened? Wait, there's probably... Are there iron bars in the shed? There are not iron bars in the shed. Go to the beach. There's some info on Squid Fest. Will do. Will do, Chief. I'm still going, Sleepy Chase. We are we are eight hours in and showing no signs of stopping. <laughs> Having a grand old time out here. Yeah. Get some iron bars on the go. You know what, I probably crafted all my iron bars into dress spinners for the challenge. That's probably exactly what happened. Okay, I want to go visit Clint to see about potential tool upgrade situations. I want to go down to the beach, because apparently there is there is Squid Fest information that I am not privy to. Look at Vincent marching through the snow in his little duds. He's so cute. Squid Fest. What do you got? Squid Fest. Friday the 12th and Saturday the 13th. A two-day squid fishing bonanza. If you can reach our daily tar catch targets, you'll win prizes. Note, any personal items found near this sign will be sent to Lost and Found. Okay. So you try and catch as many squids as you can in that two-day period? I don't know, chat. I don't know if I can do that. I I'd have, I'd literally have zero experience with fishing. As you can see, I've never caught a single fish in my entire life. What do you mean I'm level 10 fishing? Crazy. Crazy times. <laughs> I'll give it my best shot. I'll give it a try. But I don't know, I might not be able to tangle with the likes of uh, likes of Willy and Pam. Just literally doesn't even know what a squid what a squid is or a fish. Robin's Project Island Ingredients. Those are the same ones as before, I think. This is not Price of Perfection Farm. This is a fishy farm from the Master Angler Challenge. All right. Um, upgrade tools, please. 
Steel pan. Okay, so you can upgrade. I can't. I cannot upgrade my iridium pickaxe. I'm noticing, so we can't go beyond iridium or any capacity. Um, steel pan used to gather ore from streams has bigger and better yields than a copper pan. It also has a small chance to immediately cause another panning spot to appear. That's big. That's actually pretty big. What's the question mark? Wait, where's the question mark? Oh, this question mark here? I think it's just, like, part of the dialog box now. Makes the pan... I mean, and that's the, that's just the first upgrade to the pan. We don't even know what might lie beyond that. Poxiel just called. Upgraded copper pan was one of your requests. What about prize tickets, though? Sneaky little prize ticket hiding back here. I wonder if that's always a prize ticket or if it's like if it's like a loot box situation. Or it could be like any number of things. Uh, let me go down to Mayor Lewis's place here. Give me whatever the heck is in here. One prize ticket redemption, please. I will take 12 powder melon seeds. This special melon grows in the winter. It takes seven days to grow. I can I can definitely put that in the ground. Don't mind if I do. I haven't done a lot of farming on this, uh, on this farm, ironically enough, but I'll grow some powder melons. Talk to Alex. Talk to Alex. Let's get his... Let's get his little portrait here. Ooh, look at the hoodie, man. People stay indoors a lot during the winter and do boring stuff. Maybe if I read a book, I'd be less bored. Nah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Go to the fish tank in the community center. I'm just being guided along right at this point. Hello, Lewis. Ooh, look at that. Wait, what? There's actual fish here. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish, sunfish, snail. What? With a fish. You can can you put your own fish in there? Did I make a dining room? I did not. I can actually go to Robin and commission that though. Still need to make money this winter? It's okay, I'll grow some powder melons. What about in this fridge, man? Anything else in the community center going on? It's an actual fish tank now. That's so cool. That's so cool. What are you doing here, Maru? Guess winter's a good time to work on your gadgets. Is this where you work on them? Are we going to head into Price of Perfection Tracker at all? You want to see if the Perfection Tracker includes the books? I can check the Perfection Tracker on uh, Master Angler Farm as well. We have access to the Walnut Room. We just haven't. We've been so busy exploring all these other options. I haven't had the. Ch I haven't had a chance to go to Ginger Island and even consider what might be there. Let's see. Dining room? Holy moly. Remove all items from the renovation area. No, my oil makers! That is massive, though. That is, like, so big. <laughs> I gotta move those oil makers. Give me one second here. This is a really, really big room. All the more room for my keg empire. I can, I can hear so many people saying that. The keg min maxers are laughing their heads off at the at the size of the dining room. <laughs> Let's go see. Good job protecting the place, Tim Beeb. No one's gonna no one's gonna threaten us when you, with you here. Okay, hold on to those for right now. I can't really move that, so let's uh let's make some let's make hay. Actually, I will plant my powder melons. Maybe can I plant them in the greenhouse? Cause I don't really have like a designated farming spot in here. I can plant them in the greenhouse. Okay. Yeah, we'll grow some powder melons in here. There we go. Move the jars. Oh, I should move the jars, yeah, for the uh, the cubby. That's a good call. Good looking out, chat. Boom. Done. What melons? Powder melons. I got the seeds for them from the, uh, the prize machine at Lewis's place. And I assume you can get them the same way you can get uh, carrots in spring via like a specialized, a specialized artifact spot. Haley won't know what hit her. I think she's gonna love it. 
Someone, stop walking through the trees. Who's walking through trees out here? That can't be good for your health. What's a powder melon? I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm excited to find out. Alright, give me a dining room, please. Ooh. Very, very nice. Wait, give me, give me the cubby. I just want to, I, I want to look. Look at the dining room to get a better look at it. Not as big as the as the floor plan was making it seem, but still very big. Still very you can have a fully like expanded house here. A little cubby right there. My little gaming cubby. What else we got? Open dining room. Add attic. Gotta have the attic, baby. We're spending a lot of money on this, but you know, it's nothing we can't go back on later. Add southern room. These didn't always cost money, did they? I, I distinctly remember, like, all the renovations being free. Now I'm realizing they actually cost money, these ones. Yeah, they used to be free. Honestly, fair. That's a fair change. Open the dining room up. That is so much room. Add corner room. That's that's the same. That's the same. Like all all the, these three these three are already here. Do I still have an ancient fruit farm on the island? I don't remember what I have on the island in uh, in fishy farm. To be honest with you. All right, wait real quick. I'm gonna go buy my. Uh, I'm gonna go buy my book from the dwarf again. Mostly because I want to experience that animation again because it was beautiful. Did I buy the big chest recipe? I don't think I did this time around, but I will buy it from my homie here. Big stone chest. Dwarvish safety manual. Don't mind if I do. Check me out. I'm speed reader of the century. Done. <laughs> I learned a new power, baby. Anything at the Adventurer's Guild? Actually worth checking out, yeah, probably. Explosions now do 25% less damage to me. I should craft a big chest. Uh, I should be able to get back there now as well, I think. This is all just weapons. We got the rings again, the topaz ring, plus one defense. Slingshot, master slingshot, wall sword, decorative sword. All these from, like, uh, the monster eradication goals. I think it's all the same. I think this is all pretty samey. I completed almost every monster eradication goal in this farm somehow, except for Pepper Rex's. How bizarre. Prize ticket? Mapping cave systems! Ooh, a new special power! Alright, what does this do? You get a 50% discount on Marlin's item retrieval service. Eh, <laughs> not my favorite, but I'll take it. I mean, every, any extra power we can get here is pretty nice. Hey, Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 4 dollars super chat, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Finally home after a 10-hour workday. So glad to catch a bit of the 1.6 stream. Yeah, we're still going for a little while. Hope you had a good day. Yeah, that sounds like a long one, though, for sure. Have I seen the purple warp totem yet? Ooh. We did see the, uh... We actually did see the purple warp totem, but we haven't been able to access it yet because it's part of, like, the... What I'm calling the prestige system. I don't know what the actual name for the system is. I should go unlock that again, though, actually. Because we... For those just catching up right now, we checked this... We checked out, like, this door that was down in the forest. We didn't get... And then we... We learned what it was. But then I loaded a backup save because I wanted to play in Squid Fest. Doesn't even sound like I'm talk talking about Stardew Valley anymore, does it? <laughs> it's called Mastery. I do like math. Yeah, mastery is a good name for it. Grass now does not die in winter. Really? That's a pretty big upgrade too, actually. That's very, very handy. This guy here. Grandpa left us this wonderful room full of powerful secrets. The final path. 25... I've got 25 experience on the final path so far. So I think this is... Let's go, let's just, like, let's just go... I can just go catch a fish. No, I kind of want to... Ooh, hello, trash bear. 
Wants a sea, a sea cucumber. No, thank you. Yeah, I think so. I, so you get experience in any skill, from what I can tell, and it seems to add to this. A twenty-five. Where's that from? That's from the for, that's from foraging because that was that one stump. I should learn whether that's actually from every skill or if you need to do it like ten thousand in every single skill. I kind of don't want to catch a a fish just because I'm. I'm being cute with it. And you know what? We'll catch a fish. We'll, we'll ruin the, uh... We'll ruin the mystique that this farm has. I mean, I have the backup saves anyway, so we're fine. First fish of the new Master Angler Challenge got me a pike. Let's go see what the, uh... What that little statue in the, in the room shows us. Shows off. Shows off. Shows off? I, I can talk. It's been eight hours. <laughs> Let's see. 51. I mean, that doesn't help me necessarily because I don't know how much experience a pike is worth. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I can I can wiki this, though. Um, Pike. A silver quality pike is worth 26 experience. Okay, so that did add on to the, uh, that did add on to the stump. So this, it seems to be 10,000 spread across any skills. Which actually shouldn't realistically take that long, right? Maybe it's, ten, well, I guess actually 10,000 probably gets you, like, the first star, I'm guessing. Maybe, that, I bet, I bet you that's how it works. I don't think it's, like, 10,000 for, like, all of this. I think it's, like, 10,000, you get a star, then you can spend that star on one of these options. You can, like, you can, like, choose to claim combat mastery, forging mastery. That's probably how it's gonna work, if, if I had to take a guess at it. So, and then you, you get 10,000 again, and then you can unlock another one. So, so it's really probably going to be like 50,000 experience in order to unlock all the mastery. I think that's probably the idea that's going on here. Unless, yeah, it could, it could ramp up as well, yeah. Oh, Mary, Mary Pro says it's 15k, 20k, so it's actually more than 50k experience total then. For the uh, for the whole kit and caboodle, I'm gonna go to Ginger Island really quick. <laughs> See what kind of new stuff might we might be inundated with here. New achievement: a distant shore. I assume that's just like make it to Ginger Island, basically. A distant shore, reach Ginger Island. Got question mark achievements as well. There's still so much to to, to discover in this game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just can't, man. There's so many options. I'm ripping off the band-aid. I'm going to check the walnut room. See what new what new possibilities we might have available to us here. What new might be on the perfection tracker? Any new quests? Skull Cabin Invasion and Cheese Kindness. Those are both uh old quests. Junimo Chess, yes. This is all the same. Heavy Tapper, Exotic Bed, Blue Grass Starter. Place this on your farm to plant a clump of blue grass. 25 fiber, 10 moss, and 1 Mystic Syrup. Which I believe you probably get the Mystic Syrup from the Mystic Tree Seeds that you get from Foraging Mastery. It's all coming together, baby. Red Fireworks?! The fireworks of my dreams, they're finally here! <laughs> That's where they're hiding, man. An old tradition for celebrations and festivities. Handle with care. Oh, we gotta save these. We gotta save these for a special occasion, don't we? Or do we just set them off right now in the middle of a rainstorm on Ginger Island? <laughs> Used during Squid Fest? That's a good call. We can use it to celebrate Squid Fest. I'm, d I'm happy for that. Perfection tracker. Alright, everyone brace yourselves. Are there any new requirements here? Crafting, cooking, star drops, farmer level, great friends, monster slayer, hero, gold clock. It's all the same. It's all the same. 
It's just that the categories have themselves have expanded. From what I can tell. You saw the fireworks somewhere else, too? Maybe, yeah, you, I mean... I guess maybe this is just, like, the most consistent source of fireworks, maybe, once you made it this far, but maybe you can get them elsewise. Since I haven't found... Since I haven't found all the gold... All the golden walnuts that yet, there's a parrot I should be looking for. I think I know just the parrot you're speaking of. Potentially. Explore the island near the volcano. I mean, I've seen the screenshot, the teaser image of the pair of like the gold parrot near uh, near the volcano previously. That was teased like way back, like one of the first teasers for 1.6, I think. Is it here? I didn't go Joja route on this one, and it looked like it was like a Joja parrot. Oh, it is. I mean, it's still here. Ah, money. Find gold walnuts, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to skip the gold. Is does this skip the whole gold walnut hunt, or does this just get you like some gold walnuts? I have to imagine that two hundred fifty thousand. You're probably just like skipping the whole thing. He's just gonna like find all the gold walnuts for me. This <laughs> is a scam. I mean, it's not a bad deal. If you got the money for it. And if you got if you go Jojo, you probably do have the money. Supposed to get all of them for you? Gotta catch them all. I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm mighty tempted. But I'm gonna pass. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Just kidding. Are you sure about this? If the parrots find all the remaining gold walnuts, I won't have the true Ginger Island experience. Well, am I sure about this? Chloe is asking me. That's, oh, I won't have the true Ginger Island experience. He's gaslighting me, this parrot. No. No, I don't know if I want to do it, chat. <laughs> do it first thing in the morning, test and reset. If I don't like it, it's fine. I mean, we've got backups. Sleep. We do it tonight. <laughs> we do it tonight, you say. I'll sleep on Ginger Island just in case. And maybe there's like a cute little cutscene or something. Yeah, this save isn't real. This save is, is in purgatory right now. We're fine. I'm just excited. I'm exci excited to uncover new things, honestly. Exactly. Alt timeline. We're, we're fine here. Alright. Little sleep on the island. Don't you know? <gasps> what is... What is that, Morris? Where'd you even come from? I mean, he built the stand. What did he, He's lounging, man. He's lounging. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for all the remaining gold walnuts. The bookseller is in town today, by the way. Oh, there's our mastery score as well. That's what that's for. <laughs> He's basking in all the gold. That was incredible. Holy moly. Holy goldy. On your current save, you have two walnuts left to find. You're not going to pay $250,000 for two gold walnuts, are you, Lisa? I mean, you know what? If you, can, if you really can't find them, then by all means. <laughs> it might not be worth it. Maybe, maybe the money is more worthwhile. Letter? Oh, there was a letter, wasn't there? I just wanted to check this. I wanted to check, like, up here to see if Morris was still hanging out. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Drink triple shot. No, thank you. What are the faint trees in the skill menu? I believe this is just an indicator of season in some capacity, because it was a different set of trees during our spring adventures on Renaissance Farm. It is now, uh, and it's now, like, wintry trees. You think the cost scales with the number of, of, of nuts to find? That could be. That very well. That very well could be. 
You're Chloe. From what I can tell, you've been taking a you've been taking really good care of your pet. I'm really happy about that. But there are many sweet animals that need a home. If you're interested, I'll start offering pet adoptions at my shop. No shot. No shot. Just be aware that there is a licensing fee and also that each pet will want their own outdoor pet bowl area or else they'll be unhappy. Robin will be happy to construct additional pet bowls for a price. We knew it was coming eventually. I just so so you get enough friendship with your pet, maybe max friendship and that's uh I'm so happy. Hello. I've heard you're working on a very special challenge. How does he know? How does he know about the Master Angler Challenge? I have the perfect solution to help you out. Meet me in the watery cave on Ginger Island. Fizz. So this is not... Wait. <laughs> Wait. What is this? Who's Fizz and what, what, does he want to, what does he want with me? Meet me in the watery cave on Ginger Island. Does that mean the Pirate Cove? Does that mean the Gourmand Cave? I want to say Pirate Cove. That's all the mail there was. He knows. I bet you I know exactly who Fizz is, actually. He's probably that dude, that sketchy-looking Joja-esque dude that was featured on the, uh, on the 1.6 screenshot teaser thing. Let's check Pirate Cove here. Is he, is he like, down on the dock somewhere? Potentially? He's not down- he's not in here. Okay, I don't see him here. Not in the Pirate Cove. Maybe he means the Gourmand Cave, but if he's hanging out with the Gourmand Frog... I don't know, man. The other option, I guess, would be the... Um... Maybe, I mean, maybe there's a new cave? Maybe the Mushroom Cave as well. Yeah, I guess there is, like, a little bit of water in that Mushroom Cave, isn't there? Okay, he's not in here. Wait, is that Gourmand Frog? Does he have a new sprite? It's looking kind of strange to me. Good to see you again, friend. You have my blessing to cultivate these fields. May the rains be with you. He doesn't mind that I paid that I paid for all the gold walnuts. The parrots came and robbed him in the night. Let's go check the mushroom cave. Give me this. I need to, I need to, I should see if there's anything new available here, actually. This is Master Angler Farm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you got for me? Nothing new from what I can see. All right. They can't all be winners. That's fair. That's fair. Can't be new stuff around every single corner. The wet cave. There he is. Fizz. <laughs> what a name. What a name for a, such a sussy individual. So you got my letter, huh? Nice to meet you. I'm Fizz, Joja, Special Services Division. You haven't heard of us? That's okay. Most people haven't. We're not really advertised like other Joja products. We're more of a specialty service for elite clients. What do we do? <laughs> well, let's just say we specialize in legally complex matters. Catch my drift? But enough chit-chat. Let's get to business. I've heard you're trying to achieve perfection. A noble goal, but difficult. Very, very difficult. All that cooking, crafting, monster slaying, all those complicated friendships. Ugh, I can now see how stressed you are. But here's the thing. You don't need to stress another minute. We've got you covered. See these papers here? They're called perfection waivers. <laughs> Each one of these beautiful pages are worth 1% towards perfection. They've even got Mr. Cheese's signature on it. Completely legit. Seems seems legit. This I don't I don't sense anything untoward going on here whatsoever yet. <laughs> do I look like someone who would lie to you? Ah, stop it! Don't do that. Dot <laughs> dot. That's, that's a certifiable dot 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 moment. Hey, Museum Grackery is thank you for the ninety nine cent super sticker. By the way, <laughs> thank you very much. Don't answer that. Anyway, I'm selling these for a sweet, sweet price. Just $500,000 a pop. Half a million a pop. What a steal. Well, no pressure. Just think about it. I'll be waiting. So if you wanted to get... 
if you wanted to get um 100% perfection exclusively via these Joja perfection waivers, you would need 50 million dollars. <laughs> Not that, I mean, you could definitely get some of those perfect those points, like, without having to do... You could save yourself a few there, but you're still going to need at least up to $50 million in order to do it that way. That's, I mean, that is, that is a way to do it. Price of perfection going insane! <laughs> Wait, we have, an, we have a literal, we have a canon price of perfection, $50 million, we solved it. D job done, I don't even need to do the challenge again. <laughs> Easy, baby. How much percent is the gold clock worth? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. I think like 5%. Gold clock is 10%. So that, that would check out then. Wait, is that... Would that check out? Hold on. If gold clock is 10%, you could just pay $5 million to get that, right? Yeah. You wouldn't get the gold clock, obviously, but you get the perfection percent. So you can... You can get... Hold on. I'm wikiing right now. Um, perfection tracker. Perfection tracker. The gold clock is worth 10%. The obelisks on the farm are worth 4%. The obelisks all in cost what? Like three million? Four percent would be two million. Ten percent is five million. You're right, price of perfection is going crazy. So you could actually get perfection for cheaper. I never thought there would be a mechanic in the game that would cause the price of perfection to go down that dramatically. <laughs> this isn't yeah, this isn't even a Joja run. Like I've got the community center completion here. You don't need to do Joja for this. That is some that is really something to think about. That is something very much to think about. That is a game changer and a half. Wonder if it's cheaper if you've done the Jojo route. I was about to like wiki search that, but I don't think that's going to be on the wiki yet. 1.6 was targeted specifically at me. You don't get the benefits of the obelisk. It's true. You don't get the benefits of the obelisks. But, I think it would probably still save money overall. I don't know, I'd have, to, I'd have to go in and actually like do the math and run the numbers and crunch everything down, but it's good to know. What do you say? 500,000 gold for a bona fide perfection waiver? What if I say yes, I don't have enough money? You don't have enough money? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'll see ya. Man, that was embarrassing. Jeez. Oh man, I hope he doesn't tell the other Joja like elite spies or whatever. Freaking me out, dude. All right. Well, perfection waivers aside, that is definitely a game-changing aspect to things. The fact that I, you don't even have to go Joja in order to actually unlock that is really interesting. Um, but. I've been waiting a long time to see what the heck is going on with this bookseller. The bookseller is in town today. Mumble mumble. What do we got here? Bobber style. I have no bobber styles because I haven't caught any dang fish, man. <laughs> Rip. All right. I caught. I've caught one pike. That's literally it for for experimentation purposes. That's so good. Master Angler who? Like what? <laughs> Alright, where's the bookseller? Where is the bookseller? Bookseller. I need seaweed to rub on my sore knee. Sandy. I can maybe make that happen. 
What was that sign on the left? That was a squat sign advertising Squid Fest. Is behind Joja? That was going to be the one of the places I looked. It was either... Oh, there it is. Okay, look at that. That's huge. Oh, that's what that is behind Joja. It's like a landing platform for a hot air balloon, I bet. I was trying to make sense of it, but that actually makes perfect sense. Yeah, look at this. There you are. Welcome to Marcello's Books. Buy books, trade in books, or leave. All right. Well, show me buy books first. Book of Stars. Now this... Now this is something else. Learn any Queen of Sauce recipes that you don't already know. That is huge, right? For, like, perfection speedruns? Isn't that, like... Because, like, that's the gate that keeps, like... That forces you to do perfection in two years because of the Queen of Sauce recipes. That is... That completely changes the game, right? Oh, my God. Best of luck, Habu. <laughs> Price catalog. You can now see the value of your items. Okay. It's pretty, that's, that's fine. It's, I mean, it's only 3,000. Old slither legs. You will now run a lot faster through grass and crops. <laughs> that's what they call me back in high school, man. Old slither legs. <laughs> Holy moly. Kent and the Queen of Sauce. Oh, Kent! I mean, you still don't have to get to the end of year two now for because because Queen Sauce makes you go to the like the very last day of year two. But Kent doesn't make you can still do everything you need to do with Kent before the end of year two. Horse the book. You gain a little extra speed when riding a horse. Exclamation point horse. <laughs> Way of the wind part one. You run a little bit faster. Just straight up. Sure. I'll yeah. Why not? <laughs> Is this just a speed buff? Literally all the time? Give me this. I, I, I kind of want old slither legs as well. Mapping cave systems. Reading this book again will grant you some combat experience. How much combat experience? We'll find out. Mining monthly. Read this to gain some mining experience. Sure. Okay. Woodcutters weekly. Foraging experience. Book of stars. Read this to gain some experience in all skills. And very interesting. Very, very interesting. I clicked the wrong one. Way of the wind. That's what I wanted. Uh, price catalog. Sure. We got lots of books to read now. Holy moly. <laughs> do I want old slither legs and horse the book? You bet I do. Queen of sauce cookbook. I don't even know if I need that, but... Does it count towards mastery? Let's find out, shall we? Alright. We got some books to read. Let me see. This is my current running speed. With my buffs and everything. Way of the wind. It's not no. It's not like a plus one speed buff. I didn't expect it would be, but it's it's a little bit faster. What does trading books do? Actually, I, I did want to check that. Yeah, you can trade books. For, this is oh interesting. Trade so you can trade various different types of books for certain things. Get monster musk. I wonder if this changes every week, or if this is all the same stuff that you can get. You can get fairy dust for a book of stars. Pepper poppers. Very interesting. I'll trade useful stuff for your extra books. I don't have any extra books. I'm, I'm still learning what books even are, man. <laughs> fish book. There is a fish book. I assume that you just get fishing experience when you read that one. Which, I mean, that's another way to get to, you know, fishing level 10 without without ever actually fishing. You don't have to do anything to, to, to reach level 10 now. You just have to buy your way. Can you trade stuff for... Can you can you buy a book and then trade for stuff? Yeah, I, can, I mean, I can trade some of the books I bought right now for, uh, for stuff if I wanted to. Way of the Wind Part 2. Make me go faster, please. I've learned a new power. Heck yeah. Buy books. No Way of the Wind Part 3. Sad. Look how fast I am now. I'm zooming. I got magic bait nerfed. Not that much, right? I've learned 11 new recipes. I learned a new power. Wait, what was that? That was old slither legs. I'm reading horse the book. We're just going, man. Give me the price guide here. <laughs> Go nuts. Hot air balloon. I would love to, love to ride your hot air balloon, sir. Coffee who? Honestly, right? 
All right. We got 51 here. Let's read... Let's just read mapping cave systems again. That got me some experience. That got me 100 experience. Okay. What about this one? I learned a few things about mining. That got me 300 experience. Are these all 300 experience, you think? Learned a few things about foraging. 300... That was... That was 200-something experience, right? Maybe just 200? I've learned... That was, that was all skills. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the, the Book of Stars doesn't mess around, baby! That was that was scattered across various skills, but for mastery purposes, that was uh, that was pretty big. That was what like thirteen hundred or something like or like twelve fifty. Very very nice, and that should add to our yeah it adds to our uh, our collections here. So these so all of these are like the permanent books because some of those books that were just giving me experience are not permanent books obviously. Oh pardon me obviously, and so they don't show up in here. But the permanent ones do show up. You run a little bit faster. Got both ways of the wind. Blade said all XP books give 250. I might have just mis miscounted the math then. I can now see the value of my items. That I can. How about that? Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm, I'm so curious as to what like the other books might be. I honestly have, I mean, I'm, obviously we can find more books directly from the bookseller, but we can also get more books from the, uh, from like other places, right? Like we got from, from the dwarf. There was someone in chat earlier who said they got one from just like chopping down a tree, just like a random one. Wonder if Krobus has one too. Krobus doesn't have a book, I don't think. We went and visited him before, but you know what he does have? He does have the wizard's furniture catalog, which I kind of want to go buy. Or the Desert Trader. Oh, I haven't been to the desert at all, actually. That's a great point. I should go visit the desert. Don't tell anyone about me. How much was this again? The wizard catalog? 150,000. Let's go check the desert before we actually get, in, get too involved in that. Check the books for an, check the menu for a number of books I have total now. Isn't that what I was just looking at here? Or is that is there somewhere else I should be looking? I got three, four, five, six. I got seven books so far. Gonna drain her wallet? It's okay. It's a different timeline. Desert and spring is what I want, though. Apparently, yeah, for that, whatever that, like, cheeky little festival was. Oh, I guess I can't just, like, walk onto the bus, huh? Free of charge. I guess I could just use, use the, uh, the warp to get to the bus. This is non-canon, exactly. We are in non-canon territory, officially. Marnie sells a book. I have to go visit Marnie for pet adoptions. I need to go see what's available. I need to know. All right, we'll head there. We'll head there next. Magic rock candy. Midnight beach bed. Ooh, this furniture can be can't be placed outdoors. I was gonna say for a second I thought it said it can be placed outdoors, and I was like, a bed that can be placed outdoors, a dark piano for nine hundred ninety nine gold, nine hundred ninety nine coal, excuse me. Man, that's, that reminds me of like the uh, like from Beauty and the Beast, the sequel, Forte, that piano. I have to get a new bowl from Robin first. I I want to see if I if the, I can maybe see like the options. For pets, when I go to Marnie, with, even without having the bowl. Organ for a haunted mansion. I want it. I want it. Alright, anything hiding up here? Anything, like, new or interesting to look out for? Skull Cavern, you got any fun little things going on? Yes, you do! What is that? Question mark? I, you can't just hit me with the question mark, man! <laughs> What is this? It's like a super cursed haunted shrine. I want to press the button. Let me press the button, dude. Have I reached floor 100? Yes. Yes, I have. 
dangerous mind toggle for the Skull Cavern. That's kind of my first inclination, but I want to believe it's something more. <laughs> I want to believe there's even more magic to be had there. Do you have a book, Sandy? Mannequin ma Mannequin! You're telling me we can display our fashion on mannequins now? No, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm standing up, shut up. You can actually, you can display your outfits on mannequins. Actually, that's really, that's the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love that so much, man. Oh my gosh, Beatrix is going to be so happy. <laughs> Mannequins, coat stand, clothesline, old world rug, Sandy. You are my, you are my savior, my queen. A mannequin and a woman mannequin. <laughs> Buy me a mannequin, please. One mannequin, one female man. It's twelve thousand dollars. I mean, it's not, it's not cheap, but is definitely handy. Um, return scepter, please. There we go. Yo, Lance. Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships as well. By the way, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Oh, check the casino too. That's a good call, actually. I should have checked the casino. It's not too late, though. But I want to check Marnie's first. Um, because she does close earlier. Do you think there's a... There's a slim chance, a possible microscopic chance that you can use mannequins in place of scarecrows. I would, like, you know, customize your own scarecrow decor. <laughs> I would love it. I'm just saying, I would love it. Alright, Marnie. Adopt pets. Pet license. So these are all just the various pets. <gasps> the turtles. <laughs> Invite a new pet into your home if you don't have no outdoor pets. So you get there's a little pet turtle here. There's a five hundred thousand dollar pet turtle, and those are, those are the two of them. We can get a sixty thousand dollar turtle. <laughs> People are going. Where are the frogs, man? Where are the frogs? <laughs> Purchase animals. No animals. No frogs. I don't know where the frogs are, dude. <laughs> Purple turtle. Alright, hold on. I'll be right back, Marnie. I'll be right back. We can do this. We can do this quick. Uh, Triple shot. Triple shot. Wait, I might not have the resources to build a pet bull. Construct farm buildings. What do I need? Pet bull. 25 hardwood. <laughs> Marnie, ha Marnie has a book? Oh, does she really? She didn't when I first visited her shop on, a, on like, Renaissance Farm. But maybe now that I'm late enough in the game, she does? I guess I can still run down there. There's actually enough time in order to get down there. Let's see. Ooh, I haven't visited the... You know what I haven't visited is the secret woods yet. I don't know if there's anything I should be expecting to see down there, but maybe it's, uh, it's still worth a look-see, right? All right. No, Marnie! <laughs> That's so rude. It's all right. We'll ca we'll catch her after Squid Fest. Squid Fest 2024. Give me the speed boost, speed boost, please. Even with my like Way of the Wind books, I'm not feeling fast enough. It's never good enough, is it? All right. Anything hiding around here? Old Master Cannoli looking as hungry as ever. I do not see anything new within the secret woods, personally. Anywhere else I should be looking, do you think? 
Maybe the wizard, now that I have access to the wizard's buildings, does he have anything new or interesting to see? Potentially. Any mysteries around us? Junimo hut, earth obelisks, gold clock. Okay, no, this is all the same. None of the requirements or anything have been changed here, right? No. Still 10 million for the gold clock. Got it, got it. We have not read the patch notes yet. Some Somehow we've gotten this far without reading the patch notes. I can't even imagine what, what the patch notes have. Check the witch. I should check the witch's swamp. That's a good idea. What about that area of the sewers? I was actually just gonna go, just gonna head over there to the uh, mutant bug lair. I'm gonna say there's a, there's all of like a 1% chance that there's something new there, but I need to know. I need to know for peace of mind. Sebastian might give you frogs. Want to know where to get frogs? Not yet. Could it, it could be in the mutant bug lair, couldn't it? <laughs> it? Well, it's not called the mutant frog lair. Come on now. Maybe it is at the witch's swamp, actually. Witches are often associated with frogs. Doesn't look like anything is standing out to me here. Okay, good to know. Let's head to the, uh, let's head to the swamp here. Swamp me. I, Newton, Toe, Bat. Horn of Frog and Tongue of Cat. Head on up here. What's in the Witch's Swamp? Sneak on up here. This all looks the same. Dark Shrine of Selfishness, Dark Shrine of Memory, and the Dark Shrine of Night Terrors. Oops. Didn't necessarily mean to go that way, but it works out. Hello! A receptacle of unknown origins. You can't do this to me. They're hitting me with skull altars, receptacles of unknown origin, in the basement of the wizard's tower? My frog, is this where you are? <laughs> Was there always a cauldron in there? Back at the witch's swamp, you mean? Curse the countryside, a spell book for the rural witch. That's that's normal. <laughs> there was a book upstairs. Upstairs in the wizard's tower? I'm so I'm so overwhelmed right now. A receptacle of unknown origins. There are books here. What are you doing? I only allow those I trust to enter there. Alright, dude. I mean, where did I exit from in the first place? I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. You know what I think I'm going to do with myself? I think I'm going to go to bed, and I think I'm going to wake up tomorrow and have a great time at Squid Fest. <laughs> Still don't know what this tree is about. Still don't know what the uh, thing in the wizard's basement is about. We gotta get ourselves a turtle at some point. We gotta... There's too much. There's too much to uncover in Stardew Valley 1.6. The update that was too big. <laughs> nah. No such thing, honestly. Okay. Let me sort out all my little goodies here. Oh, I've got the mannequin and everything to... To, 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 like... I don't even know what to do with the mannequin, to be honest with you. Just put something on display, I guess. All right, get these mixed seeds out of here. Honestly, get the pike out of here as well. I didn't have the uh, means to upgrade my copper pan. We'll do that in the future, maybe. Go to Ginger Island also. We've been to Ginger Island. We did a little snooping around. There might still be more yet to uncover. We've been trying to figure out the tree all day. I'm excited to find out what that tree ultimately is. All right. I'm going to put the mannequin right here at the foot of the bed. Because that's not creepy at all, right? Just get, let's just get... I don't have anything. Nothing? Can I put genie shoes on it? Genie shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about a little garbage hat? Perfect. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous, sweetheart. Good night, Timbeam. 
I will sneak my, my preserve jars back in here in this little cubby. And just throw our oil makers in here for now as well. What a garbage genie. Seems like spouse weapons are in the game now, for real. You can actually get the spouse weapons, like Haley's, like, Haley's, like, curling iron or whatever it is. What? Mystery boxes can now be found? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chi, what are you doing? You have an airplane since when? I thought you could just teleport everywhere you needed to go, man. Oh, on the on this the day of my Squid Fest beginning as well. Squid Fest has begun, baby. Squid Fest. Yo, thank you. A little bit of pancakes for Squid Fest. Don't mind if I do. Is that for getting all the walnuts? Maybe? I don't know what unlocked that. That was so random. <laughs> Alright, I'm going I'm going squid hunting though. Happy Squid Fest, everybody. Can I get some squid emojis in chat? Wait, do these squids count? I've already got ten squids right there. I'm headed to the beach. I don't know if I actually need to go to the beach for like whatever squid fest may be. Or if I just need to start start catching squids. <laughs> Let's, let's go down to the beach and visit, because there was the sign down there for it. Look at all those squids. It, it pales in comparison to the amount of squids we're actually going to catch, mind you. Ooh, look at you! Hello! Squid chef. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just here for the bulk squid prices. <laughs> Currently have zero squids. Hello. Welcome to Squid Fest, what can I do for you? Explanation. It's a squid fishing challenge. If you can hit our daily catch targets, you'll win a prize. Check the sign to the left. We also put special bait in the water so the squid are active all day. Very, very nice. So they're not limited by time. So we need eight for the maximum prize amount here. Get rewards. You haven't earned any rewards yet. Better start catching some squid. Will do, chief. Will do. I don't even... Who the heck are you? Fisherman. Squid usually show up at night, but they threw some special bait in the water that's making them active all day. I knew that. I'm not too worried about winning the competition. You just want to enjoy the ambience. For forget that, dude. I want to win. I'm going to catch all the squids. Trout, man, you're in the wrong place, Buster. Well, the squid are a bit different than trout, but I can catch them all the same. Come here, squiddy, squiddy. Ooh, squiddy, squiddy. My wife sent me off with a thermos of hot coffee. What a gal. <laughs> where, are all, where are all my female fisher friends at? The cold air makes me feel tough, like a piece of jerky. What an apt description. There they are. There's all, all, all I think all of these are my, my female fisher friends. You're a local, huh? Hope you don't mind I pinch a few of your fine squid. You gotta save some for me, though. Bro, they are the ice climbers. You're right. Oh, well, one of them's, like, more reddish than pink. My fingers are frozen solid, so I'm just gonna enjoy a cup of hot cider. Wait, cider? Is that in the game for real? We're the famous fishing sisters. We're the we've been fishing squids since we were kids. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> famous fishing sisters. I thought I was the only famous fisher around these parts. What ha what happened, man? They're not master anglers. You're just a regular angler. It's cold. Maybe I'm not cut out for winter ocean fishing. Any other cheeky fishermen using up this secret spot over here? There is. A hello, fishing pro. I don't want to scare the squid. He's not much of a fishing pro. He's, he's not even fishing in like a high fishing zone, dude. Actually, maybe that's the play with the, with Squid Fest. Maybe you don't want to fish in a high fishing zone. All right. We got to set off these fireworks though to officially commemorate the the opening of Squid Fest. Chloe's long lost cousins. All right. Happy Squid Fest, everybody. Ooh, it made like a cute little design. I didn't really get to see what it was. It was like almost like a cat or something. What about this one? This probably makes a heart. Nice, nice. You love to see it. And little purple guy. That's a star. I think the first one, it almost looked like a cat, honestly. All right, I'm fishing. Clear the way, I'm fishing. This is where the best squids are caught right here. 
I'm gonna fish for higher quality squid. I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bets here. Let's get squid and baby. So pretty, but it hurts your eyes. You know, I should change the snow transparency here, because that probably is messing with the with the viewing experience. It's not a you're not a squid. First tuna ever caught though. <laughs> Where is it? Snow transparency. Get that out of here. Show me the squid, baby. It's decidedly not a squid. You know what? I should get some... I should get some sonar bobbers, I guess. <laughs> if I really want to be looking for these squids properly. Ooh! Causes fish to bite even faster. Even faster than wild bait, you think? Because that's what I'm using right now. A unique recipe from Lions that gives you a chance to catch two fish at once. Is Do you think deluxe bait is better than wild bait? It's worth a try, I guess. Don't knock it till you try it. So much better. It did increase our fishing bar size, notably. There's the sea cucumber for our for our trash bear friend. All right, I need some squids. I need some squids right now. That could be a squid. Actually, no, that's probably a tuna, isn't it? Give me. I just need one squid. I just need one squid. Actually, I probably I need like eight squid. What do I need to craft a sonar bobber? I don't have access to sonar bobbers yet. Or do I? Am I just missing it? I do. Okay, there it is. Iron bar and refined quartz. Might not be a bad idea to invest in some of those. But we're here now. You're a squid. You you gotta be a squid. I can't show up to Squid Fest and catch zero squid. It's unbecoming of someone who lives on a place called Fishy Farm, of all things. <laughs> there we go. Definitely a squid. That's the blop like a squid. Felt a nibble! Yo, me too, me too! I should just cancel out any of these ones that aren't squids, huh? I wonder if it's worth fishing during Squid Fest so you can get squids all day <laughs> for the Master Angler Challenge. Probably not. I think the Night Market is still is still clutch for the, for the Master Angler Challenge. You're not a squid. That's not a squid, that's a kid. Yeah, who needs the sonar bobber when you can just, like, play Puffertle every day? What is this festival? Welcome to Squid Fest, Sarah. You are probably a tuna. But I'm willing to see it through. You're opening your mi your mystery boxes today. I can now f I can now find mystery boxes just sitting around the valley. Apparently, I don't know like in what quantities or where they might even be, but it's very exciting. It's a very exciting time to be here. I've used my last piece of bait. Don't worry, I've got plenty more that came from. Are you a squid? I don't think you're a squid, but I'm gonna catch you anyway. Here's the herring. They don't seem to be on the ground. They seem similar to chi fruit. Oh, like chi beans when the quest is active. You can just get like a mystery box like randomly while doing stuff. That seems kind of cool. That way you're not like you don't have to constantly like go out of your way to find like mystery boxes. You can just like, you know, play the game as you were and then happen happen to find some mystery boxes along the way. I think that's the smart way to do it. Hold on, hold on. Big brain moment. Big brain moment. Wait a second, wait a second. Um, Perch bait? What are you talking about, Willy? All right, we can do this. Uh, there's still a big brain moment happening here, though. I, I need three iron bars, three coral, and one sea urchin. I can make place a fish inside to get targeted bait. I can go home, fish up all the squid out of my fish pond, make squid bait, and then come back and get all the squid. I'm gonna, I'm so, let's do it. We're going. <laughs> It's, it's going to take a little bit of time to get there, 
there's squid fest still goes on tomorrow though so we can we can definitely uh make use of that all right i'm gonna pick up some coral because i don't remember if i have have any at home cheater i'm just using all the resources at my disposal for all i know everyone else here is also fishing with squid bait did i drink joja cola no but i did read two way of the wind books to increase my speed forever and I can also drink some some triple shot here. I did drink Joja Cola earlier. I got I got the speed buff from Joja Cola. I'm I am aware of it. But the triple shot still king. Wait, why didn't I, I'm not just using the return scepter? I'm so not used to this. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, sea urchin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron bars. I had some smelting. One, two, three. I don't know how long this thing takes is the only problem. Bait maker. Give me the squids. All the squids. I'll leave one squid in here so it can at least I can get more squids if need be. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring the the bait maker bait maker with me. Go to Ginger Island and buy buy Oh I can you're right, I could buy fairy dust. I could buy fairy dust on Ginger Island. Hey, how many chi gems do I have? I have eight chi gems. That's not really that's probably not enough to do much, honestly. We're not gonna cheese it that much. Let's just go let's go to the beach. And just see. Maybe maybe the the bait machine doesn't take that long, honestly. Alright, bait maker. Put it down. Put it down right here. I'll drop a little squid in there. And then we'll get back to fishing for now. That took zero time. <laughs> that took like 10 minutes in game. And I got six squid bait out of the deal. Alright. Go. Send it. Can I just turn those squid in? Probably not. Because the squid counter up here only says one. getting all the squid bait. Dude, this is so big brain. This is so big brain. I didn't even know squid fest was a thing. I just, I'm just i just prepared for all situations, fish related or otherwise. Actually, mostly just fish related. I will not eat the squid. I already have more squid bait than I need. Does, does the squid bait guarantee that I catch a squid is my only question. I don't know how squid bait works. I think it says increases your chance to find a squid, so I don't think so. You wouldn't bait all my squid. I mean, I'll get more out of, out of the fish pond. Eventually. Squid Fest only comes around once a year. Let's go all out. Alright. Squid bait. They're not going to disqualify me for this, are they? Chat, you wouldn't disqualify someone for using squid bait at Squid Fest, right? That's just like a diehard fan. Squid me? I don't even know if you are a squid, actually. That's a squid. That's a squid. Oh, but here come the squids. Here come the squids. So I only need to catch f eight, f eight squids today in order to get the maximum reward, right? Be anything beyond that is just like, there's just no need. Three squids and counting. It's not cheating if you're allowed to do it. I mean, I've left my bait maker there for literally anybody to use, so... The fact that they're not using it, it it honestly just reflects more poorly on their own skills and intuition as fisher people than uh, than it does on me. Wild bait? needs the wild bait. My fishing tackle is worn out. That's a bit of a problem. It's not that much of a problem, honestly, though. We'll make it work. In Animal Crossing, you can keep fishing and earning multiple rewards. Well, I'll get the eight fish, or the eight squids for the, uh... For the, like, top tier reward today, and then I'll see what he says if I, I can get more rewards for catching more squids. That's not a squid. I've been robbed. What's the prize? We don't know. That's my squid! He's, he's, he's stealing my squid. This is not fair. I need to find a better fishing spot. I'm gonna fish like off the side of the dock. That's where all the like the best squid are anyway. Show 
Show me the squid, baby. Show me the squid. Oh, yeah. Five squid. The section for the community center changes if you go to Joja. The section in the inventory, I assume you're talking about? Where there's, like, the like all the little stars and stuff? That makes sense, yeah. It wouldn't make sense if that, if that state is, like, a star, stars and, like, little Junimo things if, uh, if you went Joja. Good to know, though. Thank you, Sad Kitten. What I'm learning right now, by the way, is that, like, this targeted fish bait is pretty effective. <laughs> I've caught, like, almost exclusively squid. I caught one sardine and then, like, a little bit of trash and stuff. Yet another squid. This is, this is extremely effective. There we go. That's eight squid. Look, you snooze, you lose, friends. All right, I guess I lose. <laughs> I guess I'm the biggest loser after all. All right. I would like to get my rewards, please. Holy moly! <laughs> Holy moly! I don't have inventory space for all this, dude. Dish of the Sea, two mystery boxes, some deluxe bait, a squid kid furniture piece. <laughs> is it a squid or is it a kid? The world may never know. The art of crabbing. Crab pots have a 25% chance for a double double yield. That's awesome. Yet another yet another book for our collection here. Three coffee. I honestly don't really need. Um, the pearl I'll take. Take that over this broken CD for sure. I mean, mystery boxes you gotta take, right? Take it over the this random sardine that I got here. Dish of the Sea, sure, why not? And three coffees. I'll take all my rewards, please. Get my get more rewards. I've hit my I've hit the iridium level target and earned all possible rewards for today. That's big. That's big squid energy right there. I've learned a new power, baby. And you know what? I can turn the squids that I caught today. Well, I don't have the bait maker anymore, but I, in theory, I could turn them back into bait and just do it all again tomorrow. I mean, I still have 54 squid bait even, so I could just keep going. All right. Where are my uh, mystery boxes at? You know, I'm going to take the mystery boxes home. That way I can clear out my inventory a little bit and uh, and get whatever might be within them. Okay. I'm just going to sell... Hold on, quick hydration break. Doesn't really matter what I sell here. I mean, this is a... This farm is not necessarily long for this world anyway. Okay. Sell the dish of the sea. I already got plenty of seafoam pudding that's better than that. And I'll, I'll add a little triple shot to my pile, I suppose. Boom. Easy. Am I playing on the beach farm? This is the beach farm, yeah. There we go. Get squidified. I even got one extra squid here. Look at that. Look at that. We basically completely topped up our fish pond again. Just, just exclusively via squid fest. You love to see it. Put this back. Put this away here. Um, I will put the wild, the wild bait away. I've got some more coral there. I'm going to need this. I just want to make another fish bait, like a bait maker. Just to have it. It's a good machine, dude. That's a, that's a very good machine. Let's look at the squid kid poster. I'm going to play, I'm going to put that sucker above my bed. It's a little too big to go behind the bed, I think, actually. I put it, like, over here, maybe? As I walk by? I cannot put it there, unfortunately. He's so... Look at that happy little squid, dude! That is a servile little squid kid. <laughs> Yo. He's so... He's so chibi. That's a chibi squid, dude. What does the purple totem do? 
it causes a ring of treasure spots to appear on the on the ground around your feet as long as you use it in a spot where diggable earth is surrounding you on all sides and you can dig them up for treasure. Duh. <laughs> I mean, this are we not playing the same game here? All right. How do I open the mystery box? A blacksmith can open this thing for you. Who knows what might be inside? You're going to make me visit Clint to open my mystery boxes, man? All right, I'll bite. It's crazy, right? Or Geode Crusher. I don't think I have access to Geode Crushers currently. I'm looking for... Oh, I actually do. Two gold bars, 50 stone, and a diamond. I'll try it in a, in a Geode Crusher. Let's see. Gold bars, stone, diamond... Probably doesn't work. Oh, I do need coal as well for this, right? Boom. Geocrusher doesn't need coal now? Oh, well, that's egg on my face. I cannot put the mystery box in the Geocrusher. My day is ruined, and my disappointment is immeasurable. Alright, we'll open those tomorrow. After our day at Squidfest. Squidfest 2000. I'm going to always call it Squidfest 2000, I think. Even if it's if it doesn't fit at all. Alright. Ooh. Decent amount of money from the fishies. Day 2 rewards. I need to see. I need... Do you think it's going to be 8... A requirement of 8, um... 8 squids again? Or do you think it's going to be even higher? I'm off to Squidfest, honey. Got up early and fed all the farm animals. I appreciate you for that. That's amazing. Filled Tim Beeb's water bowl. Oh, you know what? I'm going to also grab... I have enough hardwood. I can get another pet bowl here. I'll just bring 25 with me. Bring another pet bowl. So we got to wait for Robin to open. I assume that she's open during Squid Fest. This does not seem like a festival that stores would close during. So I assume we can go to Robin's and Clint's during Squid Fest here. And make the most of our time. All right. Spice eel it up. Triple shot. You think it's going to be 12 squid? Only one way to find out. Off to the beach we go. I can't believe they really gave me a new... A fishing festival. Of all things, while I, while I visit Master Angler Farm here. I need 10 squid for max rewards. I haven't earned any rewards yet today. Alright. Let's get fishing. Down to my lucky spot with my lucky fishing bait. Let's do it. I should have put on another dress spinner, actually, but I don't think it's going to matter a huge a huge deal here. That's a one squid. This just makes me so excited thinking of, like, what possible festivals and stuff could be available in other seasons now, too. Because, like, we know there's already, like, two, like, a, like a new festival in spring. New fe There's Squid Fest right here. There's got to be new stuff in fall and summer, right? Like, it's... Oh, my gosh. We're being so spoiled. So spoiled. That said, I don't know if I'll get the chance to see it all today. I, I'll probably... I am, I am admittedly running out of Steam chat, so I think after Squid Fest and all the shenanigans herein, we may just have a look through the patch notes, and then we'll, we'll use that, we'll call that a stream at that point. I have been going for close to 10 hours, so <laughs> I think it's just about time to call it. I'm going to be doing more exploration of 1.6 on Thursday, so if even if there's stuff that we don't get to today that we really want to see, we can definitely try and catch up and, and continue on our adventures on Thursday. But I think many of us are probably getting tired, myself included. Just based off what I have learned about... Uh, I was, I was about to say Squid Fest. About, about version 1.6 today, though, in this, in this short time that I've had to experience with it. 
I am I am in love. This is everything and more that I could have dreamed of out of this update. It's really it's it's breathing new life into into a game that I already thought was full of more life than just about any other game I played. There were already so many possibilities in Stardew Valley that like I had barely even scratched the surface of a lot of the things that I wanted to eventually try and do. And now the options are so much more broad and so like I like I don't even know. I don't even know. And honestly, I mean, it it might be too early to say this. But it's it's a vibe that I get. So I'm going to I'm going to air it out with all of you while while I got you here. 1.5 version 1.5 of Stardew Valley was like it was phenomenal. I've had a great time playing with it. Obviously, I've played it for many hundreds of hours at this point. I've, I've always enjoyed it. And maybe it's just because I'd experienced it so much and I knew it inside and out, but it always felt just a little bit incomplete. You know what I mean? It always felt like there was just just a little bit more missing from in, in various aspects. And I feel like 1.6... So far, based on my based on what I've seen here, has done a lot. Has done a lot to sort of like round off the edges, as it were. To make Stardew feel like a more like full, cohesive, immersive experience. And maybe, I mean, obviously we're not even a day into the update, so it's it's hard to say exactly how far that extends and exactly how far that feeling goes, but that's that's my first that's my first instinct so far. Lost the squid for insulting 1.5. I did not insult 1.5. It's one, by Stardew Valley 1.5. If, if it had never updated again, I, I certainly never would have complained. But now that I know what was cooking in 1.6 all this time, holy, didn't know what I was missing out on. <laughs> Museum Grack Reese, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this has added so much. And you can tell that there's definitely a lot of inspiration that's been taken from some of, like, the more popular mods and stuff. Like, you know, the Iridium Scythe lets you harvest all the crops with the Scythe. That is, that was like, a huge mod that a lot of people love. There's the Tent. That was a big mod. Um, there's, the, there's bound to be a lot of other inspiration. And I think it's really cool to see Concerned Ape, you know, take that... Take some of those mods that he realized a lot of people really loved and weren't, like, too, you know, game-breaking or, or changed the flow that much and was willing to incorporate them like this. It's, it's very, very neat. Seeing item values, a UI info suite thing. Yeah, there's, like, so many... I mean, we've all joked about how, you know, this is the modding update, but maybe, just maybe, this is the modding update. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I would like my rewards, please. What is that beautiful creation before my eyes. Not the trap bobber, not the winter seeds. Forget the dish of the sea. Treasure chest is nice. Triple shot espresso. More mystery boxes. Great. Seafoam pudding. That's a squid hat, baby. <laughs> that It's your chance to wear a squid on the head. My life is complete. Picture, catch me. Standing with my new best bud Fizz on Ginger Island, wearing a squid hat, downing gallon upon gallon of mayonnaise. We're living in a 1.6 world, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. Perfect for children. It's so good. Alright, let's see about these mystery boxes, shall we? I know I said we'd be done after Squid Fest, but I forgot that I had things I wanted to do post Squid Fest, like open these mystery boxes and uh, get a new bowl and like pet and stuff. A little farm warp totem, okay. Three coffee. There's there's bound to be so so many possible options out of these mystery boxes, right? Lobster beast is pretty good. Ten uh, speed deluxe speed grow. Interesting. I wonder what, like, the full loot table that is going to ultimately look like. Nice to get a little amuse-bouche of it, at least. Uh, we can actually use the mountain warp totems here. 
not the best loot, but you know, it's it's appreciated. Depending on when it comes around or what you actually are, what you want to do, it's uh, it could be handy. That lobster bisque, that's uh, that's a plus like three fishing buff. That's no joke. Do I have one more day of Squid Fest? I don't think so. I think Squid Fest was only two days. I'll double check the calendar though. First though, construct me a new pet bowl, please. Change appearance. Don't mind if I do. What's a good turtle pet bowl? That's got to be a good turtle pet bowl right there. Um, build, please. Mystery boxes could add so much to challenge runs depending on the loot table. I was thinking the exact same thing, honestly. Anything that adds, like, a new loot table like that makes, uh, could make a world of difference. All right, if we're doing turtle, got to put you down by the beach here. Little turtle friend. This pet bowl is prefabricated, so there's no construction time. That is fantastic. <laughs> I was banking on there being no construction time, to be honest with you, Robin, so I'm glad that you delivered. Okay, what's the fastest way to Marnie's? Probably, like, Return Scepter. Which cave did this farm have? This one? Actually, I don't know. I do not know off the top of my head. Let's find out. Little mushroom cave. You can, you can make your own mushroom cave these days if you want, though. Mushroom stumps. New craftable... Material. She scammed me then. It was from IKEA. Yeah, wait, what was the what was the 25 hardwood for? Wait, hold on. It was prefabricated. What the heck, man? I was I've been robbed. Oh well, it was worth it. It was worth it for this moment here. Adopt me a pet, please. Adopt me. Invest, invite a new pet into your home. If you don't have enough outdoor pet bowls for your pets, they will become upset. I don't... Menu? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> You're really gonna hit me with the menu? A turtle named Menu? No, I can't. I mean, there's only one menu in my heart. What is this turtle's name? <laughs> that was so... How did it know, man? It wasn't spelled right, but still. CISO? Lefe, Beto, Nully with three L's, Gerto is kind of a great name for a turtle, honestly. Snurda, Truna, Gragra, Congus, Prima, Zuppo, Grazzo, G, Shurders, Gi, Manabo. I love I love the random names, dude. Whatcho, baby? Gerto. I think I, I think I like Gerto the Turto. Yo, Lance, thank you very much for the uh, for being a member for six months at the Positron level. I move it to Franklin. Franklin is a great name for a turtle. But we're gonna we're gonna go with Gerdo this time. Thank you for the thank you for the amazing suggestion. We'll save it for the half a million dollar tortoise that we that we have yet to discover one day. Gerdo the turtle. I'll send little Gerdo to your home right away. Please do. I'm I'm very happy to meet Gerdo. Gerdo the turtle. There he is, man. Gerdo is acceptable. Thank you, Lance. And thank you for the generosity, as always. Where are you? Where's Gerdo? I can't get past here with you. Sorry, Nemo. Gerdo? Gerdo! Where's my turtle? Are you at home? Put the squid on Gerdo. <laughs> Actually, a great idea. <gasps> He's hanging out in the dining room. Gerdo, what you doing over here, buddy? What you doing here? Oh! <laughs> I'm dead. I just died from that cute sound. Do you hear that turtle, man? <laughs> that was the cutest thing I've heard of my life. Gerdo, you, you doing all right? Can I put a little squid hat on you, friend? No, I can't put the squid hat on Gerdo. No hats on turtles. <laughs> Concerned ape. He's dancing. He's dancing. <laughs> All right, we'll go put the squid hat on Tim Beaver at the very least. Their heads are too little. Gerdo. The shell is already a hat. There's Tim Beaver. He's hiding from me. He doesn't want the squid hat. But I can I can sneak back this way. Here you go, Tim Beam. 
Oh, I lost the gold coconut hat. What is that? <laughs> the eyes, man? The eyes, it's freaking me out. It's like an optical illusion. Oh, no. Okay, that's a little better. That's a little better. <laughs> oh, like, I don't know how I feel about this, man. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> kind of looks like a chef's hat when he's running off to the side like that, though. It's so good. Stop trying to pick stuff up by the water. You can't tell me what to do, Mom. All right. On that note, I think I'm happy to lock in this day, this beautiful day of Squid Fest. You're not a dog. You're a squid now. Lock this in. Wait. Savan hitting me with the wait. Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna read patch notes. Don't sell the chest. Don't sell the chest. Alright, I trust you on this. Don't sell the chest. Put it in a fish tank? Is that a real thing? I don't have a fish tank handy, but I know where I can find one. Also, let's have a quick look. Make sure Squid Fest is well and truly over. No more Squid Fest, unless Harvey's birthday happens to coincide with Squid Fest. Let's see. Treasure chest in the fish tank? That's pretty cool. That's a cool little decoration that you can get there. I wonder how this how the how the fish feel about it though. <laughs> Yo, Caroline, what are you doing here? Well, there's people like hanging out at the community center here. I know that, that some people would hang out here sometimes, but I don't know if it was like ever like, like a like a lot of people. Do you think Abby would look better with her natural hair color? She used to have light chestnut colored hair. Eh, she'd look you know different. Need something? Nah, just hanging out. Cute sweaters. Mayor Lewis hanging out over here with the vault. Not bad. I don't mind it. Didn't the rules say, like, put squid bait in the water or something? That seems pretty accurate, yeah. That's that's how I read it. Have I built a furnace yet? Yes, but I have not built a, like, what is it, like, a strong furnace? I need mastery first. Honestly, all those mastery options for the skills are really, really tempting. It's hard to, it'll be hard to decide, like, which one to go for first. You can get a lot of benefit out of any of them. But that's, that's a story for another time. Dude, the, the, the door for Stardew Valley challenges has just opened so dramatically. <laughs> Lock it in for the night. For Master Angler Chu, the choice is clear. I don't know how I get the squid hat with... <laughs> I don't know how I would get it without actually catching squid. Maybe there's another way, I have no idea. Mining. Oh, you mean fishing mastery. Fishing mastery for Master Angler, too. I mean, that makes sense. It is Master Angler, after all. <laughs> all right. That concludes our gameplay section of the Stardew Valley 1.6 expansion. We are going to go through the patch notes. I don't know in how much granular detail. I don't know how long these things are, but we are going to go and uh, have a look. So... We are almost 10 hours into this stream, and we're finally looking at the patch notes for the first time ever. All right, bring you over here for a second. Just watched him lose the coconut. It's okay, we got backups. I can go play Squid Fest as much as I want. Okay, honestly took you an hour to read the patch notes carefully. Ooh, I'm looking at my Steam. Today, today, Charlie Barley achieved Reach a Distant Shore, Ginger Island. Congratulations, Charlie. First time to Ginger Island. I'm proud of you. All right. Um, Where are... Where does one find the patch notes? There, there, there we go. Major update. All right. Some of the... Full patch notes with spoilers can be found here and here. What are these links? This links to this... To continue to external site, please. This is just on stardewvalley.net. Okay. That's probably... This is probably where I want to be, then. 
is just stardewvalley.net. That seems like the like the best place. That seems like the most appropriate place to see it through, right? Museum Grackeries, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Is it on the wiki? It very well might be, but I'll, I'll take I'll trust stardewvalley.net proper here. Let me see. I should be able to do this. Stardew Valley 1.6 change log. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to check one thing really quick just for 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 privacy's sake. Give me one second. Back out of here. Let me do this. And close that. Open this here. Do this. Okay, yeah, this is better. This is better. It's on the official site. The wiki does have a copy, but the pages are still in progress. I I imagine that would be the case. Yeah, the the wiki writers are are absolutely going frantic today, no doubt about it. All right. Are we ready for the patch notes chat? I don't know if I am, but we're going in regardless. 1.6 change log. Added new festivals and events. The Desert Festival is a 3-day event in spring which can be accessed after the bus is repaired. No no information as to what the Desert Festival is, but at least we know that that is, that, is, that is true. Okay, so we can access that once we have access to the desert. Good to know. Um, two mini fishing festivals, Trout Derby and Squid Fest. I gotta admit, Squid Fest is gonna be hard to top. Squid Fest was pretty incredible. A new environmental event, quote-unquote, in summer. Interesting. We might have to look more into that in, uh, in our stream on Thursday. We do have a summer-based farm that we can we can endeavor into. Can't. Added a mastery system accessed via a new area which grants powerful perks and items. We've discovered that to a pretty reasonable degree. We at least have an idea of what those might look like, we, even though we haven't unlocked anything. Um, added a new farm type, the Meadowlands Farm. It has chewy blue grass that animals love. You also start with a coop and two chickens. Very well, very well acquainted with that. I think that's going to be a very fun farm day to or farm type to play around with. Added many new NPC dialogues that include custom gift reactions, dynamic dialogues which react to things that happened, custom flower dance acceptance dialogue, restored missing dialogue like Emily and Shane's flower dance custom acceptance dialogues when, when married to the player, Shane's dialogue when browsing the saloon, Bending Machine, Lewis congratulating female farmers after their wedding, a line in Maru's 14 heart event, three dialogue lines related to Sam from Kent, uh, related from Sam to Kent, uh, two randomized dialogues when an NPC buys an item you sold to a shop, two speech bubbles from Marnie and Robin when you enter their shop building, and a fortune teller dialogue for your pot potential spouse. Holy, we got lots of new dialogue to look forward to. That's going to be nice to just have sprinkled in throughout as we're playing in various capacities. Um, because a lot of the dialogue I'm so used to, I'm going to have to break the habit of like skipping past dialogue. I am staying hydrated, thank you. Thank you for the reminder. And more. You can now get multiple pets after ma getting max hearts with your starter pet. Okay, confirmed. You do need max hearts with your starter pet. I thought that was probably going to be the case, but I wasn't sure if it was just you need like a certain level of friendship in order to get there. Added a world map for Ginger Island visible when visiting the island. We never actually checked that. That is uh, that is worth looking into next time we're there. Very nice. The world map now shows your actual position within the in the world in real time. Instead of showing you at a fixed point for each location, in multiplayer you'll see other players' positions in real time too. Very nice. Very nice quality of life. Pets that love you will sometimes give you gifts. We did not get to experience that at all today. But I am stoked to see what the heck that even means. Not only is that the cutest thing ever... That you actually get, you know, you get something back for, you know, loving your pets unconditionally. But now, you have access to a brand new loot table, potentially. And we all know that new loot tables are, are always a good thing as far as, you know, challenge runs, speed runs, that sort of stuff. Who knows what the options even are, though. That's very cool. Your cat gave you a gift? Your cat gave you a fish? That's so cute. Uh, NPCs now have winter outfits. Pog. I was pogging the whole time that during winter there. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, <laughs> festivals now have map and dialogue changes every second year, except the Night Market and Desert Festival. They now have map 
and dialogue changes every second year. So every like other year, it's going to be slightly different dialogue and slightly different maps, which is interesting. I, does that mean that on like year two of the Egg Festival, it would be eggs in different positions? Something to look forward to for sure. I added a golden Joja pair, which you can pay to find all the remaining golden walnuts in Ginger Island. Flashback to Morris lounging in his beach chair. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, so it says burned into my brain, man. Oh my gosh. You might not get him in. Oh, the rare green moonlight jelly. You're right. We might not get it. It might actually be rare now. Holy. Um, let's see. Add a golden Jojo pair. Add a perfection waivers. A new Jojo way to bypass perfection challenges. Very curious to see what that possibly opens up. Added a prize machine in Lewis's house. You can collect prize tickets as a reward for completing quests and special orders and from repeated egg slash ice festival wins. Very interesting. So instead of getting like a thousand dollars for your second egg festival win, you'll get uh, a prize ticket. And same goes for the for the uh, festival of ice. Very makes it more of an incentive to go back to those festivals, depending on what's available in the uh, prize machine. Super happy to see that. A bookseller now comes to town twice a season. That's so vague in the patch notes. It's like, it's like, what does the bookseller even mean? Now we know in game, obviously, but still, it's that's. I like that they left that vague in there. Uh, added mystery boxes, another sort of geode option that we can that we can uncover here. Very cool. Added a big tree with a quest line, which ultimately gives you some new neighbors. That tree is so intriguing to me. I am very excited to see where that ultimately goes. It gives you some new neighbors. So it's like some new, like, foresty neighbors. I don't know if that means, like, new people to befriend or new, uh, new characters in some other capacity. I don't know. I can, I can make conjectures all day, every day until I'm, until I'm blue in the face here. Like, I've drank a Joja Cola Blue, but... That's, uh, that's all they were going to be, is conjectures. Maybe that's where the raccoon is. Could very well be, honestly. It's a few little forest critters. Like we're in a Disney movie or something. Added four new crops. Carrots, summer squash, broccoli, and powder melon. Two of which we discovered. Which can't be purchased at the store. And two new giant crops. Two new giant crops. We know of the giant chi fruit. There is one more. There is another giant crop somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Place your bets now. All right. Um, out of four new home renovations, dining room, attic, expanded corner room, and cubby. So the corner room is actually even bigger, or maybe you get the corner room and you can make it bigger with an expanded corner room. Good to know. I mean, more house customization options. Like I said, it's never a bad idea. Giant powder melon. That would make sense, yeah, because we do have uh, giant melons. That would, that would make a lot of sense, honestly. My heart yearns for the giant carrot, to be honest, though. <laughs> Added new items. Here we go. Big chest, which has almost the double the size of a regular chest. It can also be placed onto a regular chest to upgrade it. That's actually a really nice quality of life feature. I didn't even consider that. That you'd, like, you'd have to move your items from a regular chest into a bigger chest. No, you can just like put it on top and you're good to go. That's really cool. Dehydrator, which turns fruit and dried, dr dried fruit and mushrooms into dried mushrooms. Fruit into dried fruit and mushrooms into dried mushrooms. Okay. We did buy that. We never actually made use of it, though. So we'll have to see what, like, dried fruit and dried mushrooms are all about later. Mushroom log, which you can use to grow mushrooms and interacts with nearby trees. We, we saw about that in the crafting menu. Bait maker. We are, we are familiar with that and its possible use cases now. Very excited to play around with that. Heavy furnace, which can process more bars at a time and yield bonus bars. Interesting. So you put in... It was like, yeah, it was like 25 ore and 3 coal into the heavy furnace. And you can probably get five bars, because that's how much it would be for the ore, and maybe even bonus bars, like six or more. Um, that's that's very neat. Very nice. Very nice little furnace upgrade there. Fish smoker, which produces smoked fish, doubling the value of the fish. You get one by default when starting a new Riverlands farm. There it is. New Riverlands farm. The, that's honestly... It's the buff that the Riverlands farm deserved. I think getting a free fish smoker there is, uh, is, you know, it's a mild buff, but it's a buff nevertheless, and the Riverlands farm needed some love, so I'm happy for that. Giant strawberry? Oh my goodness. 
I keep saying that today, but I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Giant Dropper would be cool, honestly. Text signs, which can be written on. Didn't play around with that, but I can see... I, I wonder if there's like a character limit on those, actually. We should test that next time. Anvil, which allows you to re-roll trinkets. Still very curious to see what these trinkets are even capable of. Mini Forge, which acts as a Dwarvish, for Dwarvish Forge. We have a forge at home. Statue of Blessings, which grants a random blessing each day. That was another one of the mastery perks, right? Text signs are fun. They're de they definitely add a whole other layer of customization that was not previously possible. Statue of the Dwarf King, which allows you to select one of two mining buffs for the day. Homie! Uh, tent kits, which allow you to build a tent which can be slept in for one night. Really, really intrigued to see what like creative uses people can come up with for that. Uh, treasure totems will spawn a ring of diggable spots. That was the purple, like, warp totem looking thing. Mystic seeds, which grow a unique tree that can be tapped for mystic syrup, presumably a, a valuable tapper product. Excited to see what those trees even look like. Like a mystic tree, it just sounds so magical. Deluxe bait gets fish, gets fish biting faster than regular bait. I still am not clear on whether that's, you know, because wild bait does the same, but it also lets you get, like, the chance for two fish at a time. I would, ha I would guess that deluxe bait is a little better than wild bait. The trade-off being that you get, like, even faster bite times, but you don't get the chance for double fish. That's my assumption. Challenge bait, which allows you to fish up to three fish at once, but loses one fish each time the fish leaves the bobber bar. That is, like, I mean, it, challenge bait... It lives up to its name for sure. Like if you like if the if the fish goes outside the bar three times, you just don't get anything. Very, very cool. Very cool idea for sure. And it's not like a chance for like three fish. You guarantee you get three fish as long as you can get a perfect catch. Super interesting. Deluxe worm bin, which upgrades the regular worm bin to produce deluxe bait. Very handy. The worm bin needed a buff for sure. 19 unique books of power which grant special perks, some of which we got to see today, some of which I'm I'm still anxious to uncover. We never actually saw the one that Marnie sold, did we? Uh, skill books which grant experience in a skill. Very, very cool. And very useful for the mastery system later on too, I think. Too much content. It's a little overwhelming for sure. Um, Let's see. Book of Stars which grants experience in all skills. Moss, a new type of resource which grows on old trees. On old trees. Does that mean, like, if you leave a tree for, like, a season or two, maybe it'll start growing moss? It grows on old trees. Is that an incentive to just leave your trees alone? Or, like, set, set some trees aside, have a proper tree farm to, like, grow moss and stuff? Hmm. That's my, that's my hunch, is that if you leave it for like a season or two, then you can start getting moss off the trees. Interesting. Mixed flower seeds. Never got to mess around with those, but I assume it's kind of, you know, like what's written on the tin there. That you can get flowers for whatever season you planted in. Uh, sonar bobber, you son of a gun. Raisins, which have a special use. Raisins, which have a special use. You probably put... To get raisins... You put grapes in a in a dehydrator. That's that makes absolutely like the most sense in the world to me. Um, what the special use is, I have no idea. Special use for raisins. At least I know that you can like get them, and it's, it's, like, it's like one of those special use cases. Like you know how kegs, if you like put like pops in them, you get pale ale. So it's like raisins, like a special product from a dehydrator in that in that kind of same vein, but it has a special use. Do I want to be spoiled? Not just yet. We'll see. Sea jelly, river jelly, and cave jelly. A new item that you can fish. Still curious to see what cave jelly might give us. Seven trinkets which grant powers related to combat. Could make combat more interesting or more, uh, or more accessible to people, possibly. Red, green, and purple fireworks. Found some of those. There might be other ways to find them that we don't know, because the only way we got those was from the walnut room. Star drop tea. Did not uncover this at all, um, which makes an excellent gift for anybody. Star drop tea. wonder where you'd get that. 25 new... 25 new hats! <laughs> Salmence is... 
is, I mean, it's nowhere near his seven hat conjecture. He wanted seven hats, he gets 25. <laughs> it still doesn't make for a nice round number of hats for his hat collection, but, you know, 25 new hats, more, the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. 280 new pieces of furniture. Incredible. Like, I, I can't wait to see... I mean, we've already seen some of those in the form of, like, pianos. There's other furniture catalogs, which is the next item here, which contain themed furniture sets. So, like, the wizard furniture, Joja furniture, possibly other ones out there as well. I love hats. Me too, honestly. Um, 41 new floor styles. 24 new wallpaper styles. Just more customization options is amazing. Golden animal crackers. Period. Apropos of nothing at all. We know what those do. That was part of the... Uh, farming mastery, right? And it allows you to, like, use it on an animal. And they'll permanently produce double the, uh... Double the produce. Except it, you can't use it on pigs. Still very cool. Uh, mannequins, which can be dressed. I, I'm in love. So I, There's so many possibilities there. We can showcase all of our outfits on, <laughs> on randomized perfection. On Fractured Farm, if we want to. Spouse Portraits, which can be purchased after reaching 14 hearts. Haley Portrait, my beloved. Butterfly Powder, which allows you to remove pets, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Even Concerned Ape. Even Concerned Ape knew that that one was going to be contentious right there. He threw in the dot, dot, dot. I mean, if you have a way to add pets, you have to have a way to remove them. It just makes sense. You don't want to, you know, be able to add, like, a million pets and then, like, destroy your farm. <laughs> but still... Blue Grass Starter. Where was that available from again? Was that the Walnut Room? I can't remember where the Blue Grass Starter was uh, available from. Moss Soup. And Secret Items. Items yet to be uncovered. It's butterfly Powder. Added Gobi Fish. Did not... Did not... Have any idea that that... I mean, there, I knew there was a new fish in there beyond, like, the, uh... Beyond the jellies, but that is that that confirms there is a goby fish in the game. Where where does one catch a goby? I guess we'll find out. Added some new remix bundles. I'll have to. I'll, I'm excited to see what that's uh, what's available there. You can now place hats on cats and dogs. <laughs> Not on turtles though. Not on turtles. Their, their heads are just a li little bit too small. Animal Crossing has a goby. Summer in the River in Animal Crossing. We'll see if that if that tracks in Stardew. You can now upgrade the Copper Pan into Steel, Gold, and Iridium Pans. We had an idea of what the Steel Pan does. I'm curious to see how it upgrades from there. An Iridium Pan could be a, an invaluable resource, possibly. You can now enchant pans with Archaeologist, Generous, Fisher, and Reaching. Finally, reaching, we will no longer be beholden and taunted by the by the panning spots that just appear in the middle of the like in the middle of the river. You can't reach them. That's incredible. I know what enchantment I'm going for. Fisher is also potentially really interesting. Can you, it allows you to catch certain fish with the uh, with the with the pan. Then Generous, I imagine, lets you get more loot. Archaeologist lets you find, uh, like, artifacts and stuff with it. The pan is, is well and truly coming into its own, it turns out. Added special items and powers tab to replace the wallet. The wallet area now tracks selection, a selection of progress markers. That was It was honestly a very clean interface, and I think it was the right decision, rather than trying to expand the wallet to incorporate all the other stuff. It would just look too cluttered, I think. So having its own, like, collection page is really cool. Add an Animals tab that shows all your pets and animals. Nice quality of life. You can now build pet bowls in Robin Shop with three variants. Glad to have the options. The Farmhouse and Pet Bowl can be moved through Robin's menu. Experiment with that a little bit. But you can make some really interesting farms, I'm sure, with uh, by moving the Farmhouse around. The Farm Computer can now be used anywhere to see the summary of that location instead of only the farm. That was uh, mentioned pre-1.6 release, so I was aware of that. The mini jukebox can now be used on on the Ginger Island farm. Such a niche fix, but honestly, one that we ran into in the past at some point. I don't remember when or why, but but I did, and now I'm ha I'm so happy to be vindicated in that one. PJR everywhere, baby. 
added a new interaction with your horse. Raisins. Um, that's my guess. <laughs> that's my guess, maybe? Do horses eat raisins? Is that, is that, I, I feel like my brain drew a line there somewhere. We didn't experience any interaction, any new interaction with the horse. Oh, carrots, maybe. Carrots could also be the thing. You could give car carrots to your horse, potentially, as well. That's, that's a good thought, um, Sivan. Yo, Cosmic Delta, congratulations on the living hat, by the way. Holy moly. <laughs> that is a momentous occasion, indeed. Um... Added a new side tunnel to the quarry mine. I didn't even look at the quarry mine at all. It's new side tunnel to the quarry mine. Is that like a new side tunnel, like a special area? Or is that like a side tunnel that connects it to the regular mine? I guess we'll have to find out. Community center fish tank now becomes an actual fish tank when you complete it. They know how I feel about that one. They're playing the music. They're playing my song, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Did they add Kazoom to the soundtrack? Otherwise, I mean, go back to the workshop, Concerned Ape. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. <laughs> Baby. Added more secrets and Easter eggs. I mean, that's totally fine. I'm excited to find those. Added two new cat and dog breeds. Very, very happy about that. Added turtle pets. I, I can't imagine how many people lost their minds when they read that. Added eight new achievements. Added four new cabin variants. Very good for multiplayer purposes. A few more accessory options in character creation. Have to look at those, actually. We didn't look at accessories at all. Um, added a new bobber machine in Willy's shop with 39 bobber styles to choose from. New styles unlocked by catching new kinds of fish. Hence why we didn't have literally any of them available when we were playing on Master Angler Farm and hadn't caught any fish yet. So <laughs> that's uh, that that tracks. Added a cameo, a cameo appearance to Maru's 14 Heart event. I have to assume that that's Marilda. Unfortunately, we've already seen the 14 Heart event in uh, on Fracture Farm, so we're not going to get to relive that. I'm afraid. Emily has a new rare socialized daily quest. If you completed the introduction quest. Emily has a new rare socialized daily quest. Is that like a help wanted quest that can appear exclusively for Emily? Where she asks us to socialize? Hey farmer, touch grass. Go talk to some people. <laughs> All right, Emily, I see you. You can now add anchors, treasure chests, and pearls to fish tanks. So, an ooh, anchors. Anchors and, and pearls as well is actually a really nice little touch. I like that, I like that. Pierre now sells a few random items at winter at the Winter Star booth at a markup. Sells a few random items. Random entirely? Probably not. Probably from a, a select pool of items, but still. Throws another uh, possible wrinkle into into challenge run possibilities here. Items that may be may, may be newly available or more easily available that way now. Added a jingling sound when running with the Cinder Clown shoes on. Uh, hold on. Uh, one second. <laughs> I need to. I need to know, Chad. I need to know. <laughs> I need it. I need this. You have to give this one to me. All right, prepare for your Beatrix cameo in 1.6. I didn't think she was gonna get a cameo today in this stream, but, but we're popping in briefly. Do it's fairly quiet. I have to imagine it would be relatively quiet. Do do do. Wait till Kazoom is over. <laughs> I mean, maybe we can accentuate Kazoom with our own uh, with our own jingle here. Beepa Bell. Hold on, Cinder Clown shoes. I'm not wearing them yet. Pardon me, Orion. Cinder Clown shoes. There they are. Oh, wait, Kazoom is winding down anyway. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Ooh, very fashionable to say the least. Don't mind me. I'm just on my way to go play some Vector's Challenge. I hear it. I hear it. It makes me happy. It makes you smile. Do you hear it? Chat, do you hear it? It's it's pretty quiet. 
<laughs> but it's there. Oh, is it ever there. Dude, it sounds like Santa Claus is coming to town. You can't hear it? Let me... Pause the music. There's crack- there might be crackling getting in the way. It's barely there. I can hear it pretty well, but... Don't hear anything? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna note where my, like, volume is for Stardew. Okay, and then I'm gonna crank it. This is the max volume I can get. Like little jingle bells. They're jingle bells. <laughs> jingle all the way to the community center, baby. Say bells ring. Are you listening? That was be as beautiful. It is. It is super subtle for sure. And let me turn Stardew back down to where it was. Okay. I love it. I love it. You didn't need to. You didn't need to do that. Concerned date. A specific interaction for a specific kind of shoe. <laughs> this man is a, dare I say it, he's a mad lad. Okay, where are my patch notes at? Sorry to derail the stream, but I, you know I had to. You know I had to. Alright, where was it? Um, jingling sound when running with the cinder clown shoes on. Perfect. Um... Baby Toss now has a chance to crit. Let me read that again. Baby Toss now has a chance to crit. I think I understand. <laughs> I think I understand. <laughs> what is it? Like, so when you pick up your baby from the crib and you, like, throw them in the air, now you have a chance to throw them, like, like through the roof. <laughs> Why? That's so, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. All right, added a Skull Cavern statue that can be used to toggle hard mode in the Skull Cave. That is what that is. Okay, so after you complete Skull Cavern Invasion, you can use that Skull uh, Altar in order to uh, toggle that. That makes sense. There's the same thing for, you know, the hard, for the dangerous mines. Why not have it for Skull Cavern? <laughs> Send them, yeet the baby. You're going to be yeeting babies. Added additional chests to Skull Caverns level 200 and 300. And added unique Skull Cavern chest appearance for level 100, 200, and 300 chests. Interesting. Okay. An incentive to go even deeper to get guaranteed treasure chests on those multiple 100 floors, at least up to 300. I'm happy for it. Added a high note C5 to the flute block. Sure. Don't mind it. I mean, for anyone who makes music in Stardew with the flute blocks and drum blocks, maybe that's a maybe that's a huge change for you. Huge W. Higher chance for auto petters. Wouldn't that be nice? I think it's just a unique appearance, though. Added iridium golem to the wilderness farm. I have a wilderness farm, and I am I have a wilderness farm where I'm max level combat. I can go see an iridium golem eventually here. Very very nice. Uh, see changes for mod authors. Probably not going to be that much of, that interesting to us for right now. Um, that's a that's linked to the Stardew Wiki right there, so that is on the Wiki if you're so inclined. Visual improvements, multiplayer, balance change. There's so much. There's so much, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, no time like the present. Okay. We'll see how much of these actually are are of too much interest to us here. Added waterfalls. Added holiday decorations in winter, like those Christmas lights, I love it. More pathstones to various maps. Added jack-o'-lanterns at the Stardew Valley Fair in fall. I love the, the ambiance. Seasonal world map variants. A new rare ambient critter. New rare ambient critter. Frogs? That's not, that can't be where the frogs are, right? Maybe? I don't know. Added some rare summer butterfly variants. 
Um, added an uncommon little brown bird variant. Ooh, I love that little brown bird, man. Raccoons. Oh, it's got to be the raccoon. I think you're right. I think you're right. It's pro that's probably what the rare ambient critter is. Um, redrew the world map to better match the in-game locations and be more detailed. Valid. I appreciate that. Boat journey textures are now seasonal and reflect the latest valley map. That's just for that like one cutscene, right? The boat journey. Or is that, uh, is that talking about something else? The bus stop now has a wider map, though the distance to traverse it is the same. This is to prevent black bars from appearing at the sides of the screen. That's on, like, ultra-wide displays. I've seen that in videos sometimes. Um, jelly pickles and wines are now color-based on the ingredient item. Perfect. It's great for displays and stuff. That'd be that'd actually be really cool to see at, like, the Stardew Valley Fair. Set up a nice little cute Grange display with multicolored jellies and pickles and stuff. I'm down for it. Uh, many town trees are now actual tree objects, though you can't cut them down. Does that matter? <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's nice to have the consistency there. Maybe you can, like, shake them for seeds. If you can't cut them down, though, that's... Mm. I mean, I know Ken can walk through them. Slight adjustment to the way items pop out, pop out from when dug from the ground. Okay. Updated volcano gold ore node sprite. I'm always, I'm always for more consistent sprite cohesion. Some trees have a chance to lose their leaves and fall. Oh, interesting. That could add a nice little bit of ambiance to the, to the season. A little bit more of a transition into winter. I'm here for that. Riverbanks and lake shores in the mountain and town forest area now, ha now are less jagged in some places. A little bit smoothed out. Maybe that's what uh, we were seeing on the island in the forest when it kind of looked like it a little bit different. Graphical improvements to building interiors. We've seen quite a few of those. Improved the art of George and Evelyn's roof. Didn't even pay attention to it. I'll have to keep a keen eye out for that. Oh, you can maybe add tappers to them. That's a good point, actually. Tappers to the ones in town. If you destroy a mines chest, it now shows some graphics debris. If you destroy a mines chest. Okay, I think I understand that. Add a special back plates to, fortune teller, to the fortune teller show if you get a perfectly good or perfectly bad luck day. Ooh, so if you get, like, max or minimum daily luck, you get a neat little, like, splash screen, more or less. Lighting changes. It now gets dark an hour earlier in winter. 07 to people with the, with the seasonal depression. That's, uh, you know, I think I think we played with a mod that did something similar to that effect, and, and people did not enjoy it. But, you know, it is, uh, it is what it is. I like I like it for I like it personally for like the immersion, but it is you know might not be for everybody. Night tiles now activate an hour earlier in all seasons. That could all that could help offset it a little bit. Uh, indoor daytime lighting now smoothly transitions to night lighting over the co course of two hours. Indoor indoor daytime lighting. Instead of just being like a snap cut, like I've seen that happen where it's like, you know, you get to like 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. or whatever it was, and it just like smash cuts to nighttime. Now it's a more, more, bit more gradual inside. That's good to know. Night lighting in non-farmhouse indoor locations is now slightly darker. Concern, Dave, you didn't have to make it darker. I mean, we people play with the glow rings for a reason. <laughs> Farmhouse lighting on night on rainy days is now slightly moody and still lights and lights stay on all day. I think I did notice a little bit of like a difference in the lighting on those rainy days. I think I, I think it was subtle, but I saw it. TVs and trees of the feast of the winter star now give off light at night. Pog added light sources to window lights, uh, to window light close, so there are no more dark but lit windows. I'm trying to think if I ever saw one of those, but I think I understand. Made some improvements to the intro bus drive cutscene. I felt like I noticed like it looked it didn't look quite the same when I watched that cutscene. I, don't, I didn't say anything because I was like, I probably just haven't seen this cutscene in a long time, but I felt like there was something different there. At night, hats are now drawn in the nighttime color in the in-game menu portraits. Yeah, I did notice that. Okay, that's good. Uh, removed lighting quality option is now permanently set to ultra quality. Good to know. <laughs> Submerged fishing bobber is now recolored automatically to match the water. Nice. Okay. Multiplayer changes. A little, short, little bit of a short check... Short section here doesn't pertain to us too much, but you can have up to eight players on PC. Many improvements for multiplayer performance and stability. That includes Steam players. When I use Steam player authentication, large multiplayer packets are now compressed. You now need the same seed, the same build number in addition to version to join a multiplayer server. This prevents crashes due to game changes in between builds. Fair enough. 
Accepting a Chi challenge that increases mine difficulty now only kicks other players out of the affected mine type, not all mines. Got it? Didn't know that. I mean, like, like I said, multiplayer is not really my jam. <laughs> but hopefully this helps a lot of people who do play multiplayer. Purple shorts no longer show a chat message when placed into the luau soup. Excuse me? Um, jumping down mine shafts sound now plays for all players in the level rather than the, just the jumper. Nice little immersion. My immersion! Balance changes. Added a box with three tent kits to the Ginger Island jungle. That's cool, actually. I understand that. I, so you get three tents when you go to Ginger Island for the first time. And you can use those to stay on the island for a little while. Because normally when you go, first go to Ginger Island, you either have to, you know really fast track the farmhouse in order to stay on the island or you just have to like constantly be going back and forth between the island now you can use those three tents to at least stay a few days on the island maybe give yourself enough like wiggle room and breathing room to get those gold walnuts to build the farmhouse that way you don't have to rush it all in one day that's cool that's a cool idea i like that Weapons found in the wild now have a chance to come with basic innate enchantments. You can re-roll innate enchantments if the weapon could have one at the forge using a dragon tooth. Really cool, actually. Because previously the only uh, weapon that could that could come with a uh, with an innate enchantment was the dark sword, right? It would come with the vampiric enchantment. Now just like random weapons can have them. Very, very nice. All right. Slime hutches are now significantly smaller. You can still hold the same amount of slimes, though, I'm pretty sure. It said it still said 20 slimes in the in the building thing. Um, farm animals now gain a little happiness if you close the animal door behind them at night. That was, that was, that was not copium. That's good to know. Grass now survives in the winter, though it won't spread. However, cutting grass during winter is much less effective. Valid. Good just to be able to keep that grass, though, even if only for, like, debris, ba debris purposes. The Mushroom Cave now comes with a free dehydrator. Hmm. Okay, so... I didn't have a dehydrator in my Mushroom Caves, but that's probably because I... they were already on pre-existing farms. Okay. Changed recipe skill requirements for the Charcoal Kiln from Foraging 4 down to Foraging 2. The Cookout Kit went from Foraging 9 to Foraging 3. Actually, a huge change. Survival Burger went from level 2 to level 8. I, honestly, that makes sense, because normally even when you got the Survival Burger recipe, you couldn't make it anyway. Um, Tapper, foraging level 3 to 4. That's that's reasonable, I'd say. And the Worm Bin from 8 down to 4. That makes sense, especially with the introduction of the Deluxe Worm Bin. He changed the Spirit's Eve Labyrinth, and you're actually lost. Oh no, Cosmic Delta. Okay. Price changes. Most home renovations now cost money, which is refunded if you undo the renovation. The game knows whether you bought it, though, so refunding a pre-1.6 renovation won't give you free money. <laughs> he thought long and hard about that one. He dove into the code and made sure... I'll show them. They're not going to get any free money out of my renovations. No, no, they won't. All right. I see, I see you concerned, Abe. Reduced fairy dust sell price from 500 to 300. Reduced tea sapling sell price from 500 to 250. 07 to that strategy. I mean, it's still you know, that's still decent. That's, you, just, you have to make twice as many CT saplings, I guess, to get the same effect, but that is unfortunate. Reduced life elixir sell price from 500 to, to 250. Don't know if that was necessary, but it's, I'll, I'll take his word for it. He's the man behind the game. I trust his balance choices. Building cabins no longer require materials, only the 100 gold price. Honestly, probably for the best, yeah. Raise the price of the second house upgrades from 50,000 to 65,000 gold, but reduce the number of hardwood needed from 150 to 100. Interesting. I think overall that makes it more accessible. I think it's easier to get another $15,000 than it is to get 50 more hardwood. In general, I think that's fine. Uh, reduce the worm bins hardwood needed from 25 to 15. I didn't even notice that change, honestly, but... I mean, the gold bar and stuff is still there, which is fine. Increase the cop cost of farm warp totems in the casino from 500 to 1,000. Okay, so that means that that strategy for making money via warp totems at the casino is less viable now. Not, not, not quite as good. Raise the price of bombs in the dwarf shop. No, homie! <laughs> 
raised some hat prices from the hat most. They were all previously a thousand. Now I guess there's some that are more variable prices. Fair enough. Don't know if you ever sold a life elixir. I definitely sold some from uh, like Skull Cavern Treasure Rooms if I got them. But that's the only time. I don't think I ever like made them specifically to sell them. All right, shop changes. Put limits on some casino stock. Okay. So he really, I think he's trying to say, like, you know, he doesn't want inf in people making infinite money at the casino anymore. I think that's probably where that's going. Um, you can now buy all Brazier recipes in Robin's shop at once instead of in sequence. Yeah, I think that makes sense. There was no reason not to, not to have that in there in the first place. Item drop changes. Chopping down a fruit tree now yields an appropriate fruit sapling. If the yeah, we we saw this one on Twitter actually. Uh, if the tree is mature, it will yield a sapling with the same quality as the fruit. The higher the quality, the faster the sapling will mature. So you can like that's basically to allow you to move fruit trees without having to be like having to be like the worst thing in the world. That's pretty nice. You can shake the trees in in town. I figured as much. Get some seeds out of them and stuff. Chopping, chopping down a tea bush now gives back a tea sapling. Okay, so if you put it in, down in the wrong spot, you can get it back at least instead of, you know, just losing it. That's good. There's now a small chance to find cosmetic items and other goodies while doing random tasks. I'm, I'll be happily surprised when that happens. I don't know what, uh, what random tasks that could refer to, but I can take a guess. Snake vertebrae are now easier to get. Just, uh, just want everyone rejoice. That's just that's just a win on all on all fronts, I'd say. Train cars which carry wood can now drop hardwood. Ooh, another source for hardwood. I don't mind that. Do not mind that at all. Shirts as drops. You could get shirts from dro as drops from like haunted skulls previously, but maybe now it's like more of a widespread thing. Let's see. What, where did I stop here? Um, Santa's train car can now drop gifts. Excuse me, what's Santa's train car? <laughs> is that a rare train that can only appear during the Feast of the Winter Star? Was Did I just not know about that? Santa's train car? I, I mean, I'll be pleasantly surprised about that. <laughs> I, I don't know, what is Santa's... The Santa train? <laughs> oh yeah, of course, the Santa train. Price Perfection Chloe crying over all that train hardwood. Honestly true, yeah. We had the Christmas train on stream once. Maybe. I'm trying to remember. Either way. Reduce prismatic shard drop rate from iridium nodes from 4% down to 3.5%. What a kick in the teeth, man. <laughs> Just a slight nerf to prismatic shards. Just a little bit less common. That's fair. Okay. Rare yellow slimes now drop money. Ran into one of those today. That was, that was a nice little surprise. Um... Brown slimes can now drop wood. Doesn't affect copper slimes in the quarry mine. Fair enough. That's That seems reasonable. Botanist perk now get, now applies to items dropped from trees, i.e. coconuts. Botanist perk. That's the one that gives you, like, iridium quality uh, forageables. I think I like that, yeah. that's I don't see a reason not to do that. Um, reduced chance of fishing void mayonnaise at the witch swamp. Rude. Man, I, I use that all the time for challenges and stuff. Wait. Reduce the ch- it was 25%, how much did you reduce it? He's not telling me the number, which makes me worry that it's a lot. <laughs> gift taste changes. Adjusted gift tastes for several NPCs. Oh boy. Gift-a-thon Chloe is- is seething. <laughs> Treasure chests are now a universally liked gift, except by Linus. You- he- man. That's- that's accurate. That's all I could say is that's accurate. Linus, don't be wanting that money. He doesn't need it, is the thing. He doesn't need it. He's secretly very rich already. Skill XP changes. Mushroom logs. Mushroom logs and mushroom boxes now gain now grant five foraging XP on harvest. Oh. That's pretty that's a pretty big change, actually. Because previously, with like a no XP challenge for like the community center or something like that, Mushroom Cave was far and away the way to go because you don't get any forging experience for getting those mushrooms. Now you do, which means that it is much less useful for that. I mean, it's basically like it's basically the same as going Fruit Back Cave at that point because you're still getting forging experience either way you go. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not a game breaker necessarily, but it definitely it definitely throws a wrinkle into things. 
Harvesting berry bushes now grants one foraging XP per berry. My man, my man saw the no level up challenge, didn't he? Didn't he? And he's like, that ain't right. That ain't right. I gotta, <laughs> they gotta give foraging XP. Uh, honestly, I mean, it, it it didn't make sense that they didn't give foraging experience previously, so I I can't even be mad about that. Um, let's see. Far f harvesting forage crops from wild seas now gives much less foraging experience, but grants some farming experience. Okay, so it kind of splits the difference. That's possibly a unique wrinkle to play with. Uh, monsters on the farm now give combat experience, but it's a third of the normal value. This excludes slime hutch slimes. The slime hutch dwarf scroll three dream is still real. That plan can still happen. <laughs> okay, monsters on the farm no longer viable to kill in in randomized perfection. Noted. Um, adjusted combat extended the area of the downward facing melee attacks and slightly extended the atta side attack of daggers. Dagger buff. We all love those. Uh, Topaz Ring now gives plus one defense rather than the unused precision stat. Love to see it. Raised insects head damage from 10 to 20 to 20 to 30. I think that's a good buff. I mean, you, you only get that from completing the eradication goal, so I think having it be stronger is a good idea. Raised the Cudgel's critical attack power plus, from plus four to plus 50, making the Cudgel wildly better as far as crits go. Do a second run of randomized perfection after this one. We may have to, honestly. <laughs> Just given how much has changed, doing one from like a fresh 1.6 save could be fun. Bombs now affect terrain features like trees and crops with the, within the round explosion radius rather than a square area. Okay, so there's an actual... Okay, I understand, because it was previously like, you know, just like one... like this. It was basically just like a little box, now it's more of a circle. Got it. Um... Slightly increase the rate at which skeletons throw bones or shoot spells. You almost never saw them do that in the... in like previous versions, so that makes sense. Uh, adjust the Junimo cart. Added grace jumps in Junimo cart. When you run off the track, you can still jump for a short time to recover. Coyote time. That's the coyote time principle right there. I think that's really good. Your score is now saved if the minigame forcibly ex exits while playing endless mode. Never experienced that myself, but maybe that's like a multiplayer thing. Uh, noxious gas emitting mushrooms no longer appear in pairs. That, that could screw you up on like the, uh, on the Glowstream Grotto for sure. Reduced bubble spawn rate on the whale level. Thank you, Concerned Ape. If this was the only thing that was in these patch notes, it would be the best patch in Stardew Valley history. <laughs> Everyone rejoice. Gem C Giant is no longer the most cursed level of all time. We can You can actually maybe manage the bubbles at this point. <laughs> next time. Next time we get a, Ju a Junimo Kart quest. We're going to be so happy. Adjusted machines. Worm bids now need a lower fishing level. Saw that and produce more bait. Good, good buff, honestly. Loom has a higher chance of double cloth when, pro when pro processing quality wool. Did it have a chance of double cloth before? It must have been pretty low. Um, fish ponds now have a chance to produce extra row whenever they produce row. Nice. Geode crushers no longer require coal to operate. Makes geode crushers much more viable, to be honest with you. That's a, that's a good buff right there. Adjusted penalties when knocked unconscious. You can no longer lose the Golden Scythe Infinity Weapons or Tools. That's, I mean, I don't think you could lose Tools anyway. Maybe there was like a slim chance? I have no idea. But, uh, but I mean, Gold Scythe, Infinity Weapons, those are those are both things you work really hard for. Um, and it's, I think you should definitely hold on to those. I mean, especially if the Golden Scythe, can you even get that back? I don't even know. Geo crushers are now just a free version of Clint. I mean, you still have to wait for them to process the geodes, but it's it's a lot better than it used to be for sure. Um, you can now no longer use lose more than three items. Okay, that's that's pretty big. I like that. The amount of money lost now scales on how much you have. It's now less punishing if you don't have much money, but more punishing if you have a lot. This raises the maximum loss from five thousand to fifteen thousand gold. So still not, like, crazy bad if, if you have, like, a ton of money. Like, if you got, like, millions, you're still not going to be feeling that 15,000 gold loss that bad. But it still does, you know, within that sort of middle range of income, you're going to be feeling that a lot more. Adjusted food buffs. Jojo Cola now gives a very short speed buff. Love to see that. Green tea now gives plus 0 0.5 speed. Gives green tea more of a reason to uh, to, to be made, I suppose. I'm happy with that. 
Uh, mine and dungeon changes. Added coal nodes to the volcano dungeon. Good. I mean, more coal resources is never bad in my eyes. Barrels now spawn on Skull Cavern. Levels divisible by five. So I guess that was just a bug before that, that didn't happen. Reduce the maximum po possible effect of a bad luck day can have, or maybe it wasn't a bug because this isn't like balance changes. Uh, may, re reduce the maximum possible effect of a bad luck day can have on finding a prismatic slime. Make the prismatic slime more accessible. Absolutely. Reduce the number of bugs to kill for a monster slayer goal from 125 to 80. That's a, that's a pretty significant drop and that actually changes things for like the uh, for randomized perfection because that reduces like the speed threshold you need in order to actually roll that goal. I am still alive, Oceana, believe it or not. Not for too much longer, though. We're, we're getting through the patch notes, and uh, and we'll go from we'll go from there. We'll, I mean, I'll probably be done, done at that point. Bundle changes. Made Remix Bundle Specialty Fish Bundle and Analogs reward five Dish of the Sea to make it consistent with the Classic Bundle. Okay, that's fine. River Fish Bundle now gives Deluxe Bait, so that is a new bundle reward just for the River Fish Bundle point blank. That's not a Remix Bundle thing. And imp improved some community center rewards. Just a just a vague blank blank statement. I'm looking forward to uncovering those. Adjusted crafting recipes. Speed grow now requires five moss instead of one clam. Add in, throw in the moss in there. I love it. You got to incorporate it somehow. Deluxe speed grow now requires five bone fragments instead of one coral. Okay. Quality fertilizer now requires four sap instead of two, but produces two per craft. Still only requires one fish. I think that's a. I think I would consider that probably a buff. I think that's good. Spouse changes. Uh, I mean, that just reduces the amount of fish you need to make a lot of quality fertilizer in general, right? Spouse changes now. Spouses now have a seven-day honeymoon period after marriage, which prevents them from laying in bed all day. We saw that one on Twitter. That that is nice. I, I never even saw a spouse do that, but good to know that that's not even an option anymore. Um, kissing your spouse and giving them a gift on a previous day. Each reduce the minimum heart level threshold for a bedridden day by one heart. Okay. So as long as you're giving gifts and kissing your spouse, there's less of a chance for for them to, like, lay in bed all day all upset. I mean, just be nice to your spouses, honestly. <laughs> Friendship gain is reduced by 33%. For spouses, so you have to like work harder to get your friendship up with your spouse. That's that seems fine. That seems that seems totally reasonable. Uh, reduce the crop fairy event. Rebalance the crop fairy event. The chance no longer depends on the number of planted crops. It can no longer happen on the last day of the season to avoid growing crops that might die overnight, and it can no longer choose dead crops to grow. I think that's totally. Those are all totally valid. So it no longer depends on the number of planted crops. So it's just like a flat chance now, probably. So even if you have like one crop, you could still get a crop fairy with reasonable odds. I like it. Increase the shaving enchantments effect on giant crops. Sure. <laughs> the mushroom cave now provides mushrooms every second day. It was unintentionally changed to daily in Stardew Valley 1.5. He finally went back on it. The son of a gun. He, he fixed mushroom caves. He balanced mushroom caves. I didn't think he would do it. I didn't think he had the guts, man. You can no longer plant trees in the beach farm tunnel. In the beach farm tunnel. Oh, the tunnel that leads down to that little cave area. I never even tried that. <laughs> that would have been cool to see. Randomization no longer produces simple repeating patterns in many cases, e.g. clay farming, mushroom level prediction, um, crab pot fish offset, etc. You can use legacy randomization and the advanced save options to use the old randomization, though some specific patterns may still change due to the underlying changes. That option is mainly intended for speedrunners. Most players should keep it disabled for the intended experience. So that's that's a pretty big bullet point right there. Randomization changes are definitely... De I mean, they're, they're big for speedrunners, they're big for challenge runs, they're, they're big for a lot of reasons, so... That is something that we'll have to dig deeper into and uncover what exactly that means as we go on. Clay farming is dead. I mean, you still have the legacy randomization. So if you just want to use clay farming for your own sake, then it's still right there. You just need to turn on the option. Um, spreading weeds can no longer de destroy artifact spots. Base. Increase the number of monsters that daily monster quests will ask you to slay in some cases. Added more custom quantities. For example, dust spirits will ask for what, 10 to 20 kills. 
as opposed to like just like a few that it had before. That makes sense because dust sprites usually appear in like bare quantities. That's fair. I'm all for I'm all for the more you know unique and custom like use cases of that. That's fine. Till dirt on the island farm now decays in the same way as the regular farm. Fine. Slightly increase the time you have to push the farm against farm animals before passing through them. Slightly increase the time. Why would he increase the time? I don't know if I can wrap my head around that one. Slightly boosted the quarry output. Daily quarry output now increases each year, up to a limit. The quarry has been buffed, officially. Alright, so you can actually get more and more stuff depending on how long you play through. Yo, randomized perfection quarry is about to go insane. <laughs> up to a limit? I can't imagine that limit is higher than, like, 30 years, right? No shot. You can no longer plant trees in town. Fair. Secret notes are no longer created during festivals, except, except passive festivals like the Night Market and Desert Festival. And Squid Fest, the best festival in the game. Adjusted fish variety in the Ice Fishing Festival. Totally, totally fine. I mean, you are, you're always catching like the same fishes there. Alright, quality of life changes. Is this our final category? We've got other changes, gameplay fixes. There's, it, it goes pretty deep. It goes pretty deep. I don't know if we're going to go into the fixes, like the, the actual fixes here. We might stop short of that. We'll probably get down to other changes and then gameplay fixes and stuff. We'll, we'll leave for another time, maybe. Unless there's something really big in there that I should know. But we'll just go through quality of life and other changes and then I think we'll call it there. Because otherwise we're going to be here all night. Okay, quality of life changes. Performance improvements. What does it mean? NPCs now shove chests out of their way instead of destroying them. That's pretty good. <laughs> what if there's nowhere to shove them, though? We have to test the limits of that, for sure. If Pam won't be coming to the bus for any reason, she now leaves a sign informing you, and you can drive yourself to the desert? Do you still have to buy the ticket? <laughs> I have to buy a, a, my own dang ticket for my own dang bus that I'm driving myself? What the heck is even the point, man? <laughs> I mean, I like that, and obviously it makes sense for the game balance reasons that you still have to buy the ticket, I'm sure. She leaves the keys in the ignition. Gas prices? The, the bus probably just won't start unless you input a ticket, honestly. Audio changes. Made more sounds positional, mainly players, tools, and machines. I love that for immersion. Positional sounds now fade with distance. Again, immersion is very nice. Soften the bomb fuse sound. I actually did notice that. We only really used like one or two bombs today during the stream, but I was like, that's like a quieter sound. The music now ducks out and then resumes when certain sounds are played instead of, instead of stop, stopping. I don't think I really noticed that, but that's probably for the best that I didn't notice that. I feel like it's just a subtle change. That's good. You can now strafe while charging a watering can or hoe, allowing you to reposition your tool hit area without changing your facing direction. They added strafing to Stardew. It's not even a joke. <laughs> you can strafe in this game now. Oh, only with the tools, I guess. That's kind of fun, though. I, that's honestly like a really good quality of life change. You can now refill slingshot ammo by right-clicking it with the same ammo. Previously, that would just swap the item stacks. Yeah, that was always a little bit annoying and cumbersome, so glad to see that. Planting cactus seed on the farm, cactus seeds on the farm now fails with a message instead of the seeds dying overnight. No longer will I waste my cactus seeds. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Holding a tea sapling or seed over a garden pot shows the green slash red, now shows the green slash red placement tile. That's good. You can no longer pick up rugs if there's something on it. So you can no longer, like, accidentally just, like, click on a rug and pick it up if there's, like, furniture on top of it and you don't want that rug to move. That's a, that's a solid, uh, a solid addition for sure. Checking a pet bowl will now show a text bubble with the pet's name. That is really nice. Not only is it very cute, but it also lets you keep track of which pet is tied to which bowl. Am I tired yet? Oh, yeah. But I'm still keeping the energy high. I'm going to crash after this. Don't you worry about it. Um, added a new post-fishing post -fishing sparkling text to indicate whether you've caught the fish for the first time. I did appreciate that. Thank you. Torches can now be placed on sprinklers. You can turn sprinklers into like their own little like light sources. <laughs> I hear. I love that. I like that. Now you don't have to like it, like intermingle light sources in with your sprinklers. You can just make them one in the same. Um, you can now sit on chairs during festivals, not as far as I can tell, but I tr I'll take your word for it. You can now move filled chests by hitting them twice with a heavy tool. We did a little chest moving around 
that way for sure. You can now place flooring underneath most buildings. You can place it underneath most buildings. Okay, so like place like building a coop or something on top of flooring will not destroy the flooring. It will actually like like mesh. In. Okay, that so it blends better. I think I like that. Uh, crystallariums now have to be removed and replaced before different gems can be can be put inside to avoid wasting gems accidentally. Huge change. I can't tell you the number of times I've accidentally like right clicked on a crystallarium just while like walking past while holding a, an emerald or something and getting rid of my diamonds in there. So that is that is very nice. Okay, so the crystallariums are like locked in once you got it in there and you and to change it you have to actually actively change it. The master angler fishing improvements are really nice. Fishing is like it's got like a, a big overhaul in a lot of ways with all like the different bait and stuff. It's super cool. Uh, daily billboard quests now have more informative tracker information when you make progress on them. Saw that. That was nice. Added a small checkmark icon to special orders if you completed them before, only for town special orders board. Didn't really see that, but wasn't looking for it either. Um, you can now skip the pet adoption scene, which causes you to adopt the pet. That is, uh, that's actually, yeah, no, wait, that, hold on, that make, that's really good for speedruns, isn't it? Because now you can adopt the pet and you just skip the cutscene, but you still get the pet. Instead of like, because I know previously like speed runs, it would be like you know saying no and skipping getting the pet at all was the was the faster play. Now you can still get the pet. That's kind that's kind of cool. I wonder if it still lets you name the pet or if you like can change the name after the fact. Reduce the amount of time you need to push against the pet before they start shaking, and then let you pass through them from 1.5 to 0.75 seconds. Very nice. Reduce the time for a mini obelisk warp. It's 750 milliseconds faster. Makes the mini obelisk even more, even better, honestly. Male farmers are no longer forced into wedding clothes on their wedding day, so you can choose your own outfit for the wedding. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Man, female farmers had it better all, all this time. Who knew? At least when it comes to weddings. Uh, emptying a fish pond with fish still in it will cause the remaining fish to flop out of the pond. That's so funny, because flop out is such a funny term. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta test that at some point. Just empty a fish pond and watch all the fish, like, pop out at once. Not only is that quality of life, that's just, like, entertaining. Slime hutch changes. You can now change the flooring of the slime hutch. Good. You can now remove the starter, incuba starter incubator for the slime hutch. Also good. And slime balls no longer, ha no longer appear on crafted flooring. Okay, so you can kind of, like, isolate where you want the slime balls to appear with crafted flooring that way. Can't wait to see them flop out. UI improvements. Added an hourglass cursor to show when you're waiting for something to load on the title screen. I did see that briefly. I like that. Uh, notification messages in the bottom left corner now last 50% longer before going away. That way you're not likely to you're not as likely to miss them. Sound in the night events now show an icon on the screen to indicate that a sound is playing. So that's like uh, your meteor icon, your your meteor events, your stone owls, UFOs, that sort of thing. That's pretty good. I mean, that's just good for to be able to even if like, especially if you like can't hear well, or you're playing with sound off or something for whatever reason, or you just like can't hear it at all, then you'll know. Does that mean we get a, a unique special stone owl like icon? I can't wait to see that. Dialogue question selectors no longer remain selected when you hover away from them to reduce accident to reduce accidental selections. Good to know. Robin's building menu now states now shows how many days the building will take. Pog. Marnie's Animal Shop now centers the camera on the appropriate building when purchasing an animal. Oh, so you don't have to, like, scroll the entire, like, length of your farm to find the right building. That's good. Marnie's Animal Shop now shows prices in the tooltip in case the tooltip covers the display price. Valid. If an item's menu ex exits while you're holding an item, the item is now always retrieved. Previously, only some item menus like chests would do it. I can't think of a time that that, like, bothered me or that that did something that I didn't want it to do, but it's good to know that it works, like, consistently across all sorts of menus now. It's just, like, a megaphone item at the bottom. Eh, it's better than nothing still. The achievement menu now lists all possible achievements. Hidden achievements you haven't unlocked yet are shown as three question marks. I'm I'm always a fan of the three question mark approach to game design. Give, give me the dopamine of not knowing what it is. I'm so excited to find out what those are. Museum reward, reward menus now prevent you from picking up a reward that won't fit in your inventory. I thought it already did that, to be honest with you. Museum reward menu now lets you exit while holding a reward. It'll be added to your inventory if possible, otherwise it'll drop at your feet. 
That's pretty much how they all how they how all systems like that in the game work, so that makes sense. Save creation farm selector now has two columns instead of one and no longer overlaps the back button on small screens. Very handy. Shipping menu category pages no longer take up the whole screen as long as the screen is beyond a minimum size. Nice. Inventory tool tips for food that give a buff now show, now show how long the buff duration is. That's honestly like a, a huge, a huge quality of life upgrade. I'm so happy about that. It makes it a lot more intuitive as to how long that buff is going to last. Uh, the map now closes when you cl when you press the map button again. Nice. Exiting the Junimo note menu from within the game menu now returns you to where you were in the game menu rather than exit rather than the exit rather than exiting the menu. I'm too tired to parse that one right now. <laughs> Welcome on in, Angela. Good to see you. Shops now truncate item names, which would overflow the menu width. I do like truncation. It, de it makes it just for a more clean UI experience. Shops now have a slight delay before you can buy slash sell items to help avoid double clicks doing it accidentally. I have done that a couple times, so that's appreciated. Deleting a save on PC is now much faster. It wasn't really that slow before. I never really, you know, had, had issues with that, but... Maybe I just wasn't deleting enough files, I don't know. Significantly reduce the save loading time when there are many custom locations. That, so that's for, like, modding purposes, right? Yeah, like for, like, Stardew Expanded and stuff. Now the load time into Stardew Expanded might not be as long. Uh, if a default farm building like the Greenhouse is somehow removed, it'll be rebuilt the next time you load the save. I didn't even know that was possible, but good to know it's, like, it's, a uh, Good to know it's, like, bug-proof that way, I guess. Menu background is now a drop-down option, which includes standard, graphical, or none. Okay. So you can, like, change your menu your menu backgrounds. I didn't even notice that if that was an option, uh, which obviously it is. Attempting to put something in a machine but failing will no longer cause you to try and consume or activate the object you're holding. Okay, so it'll just give you, like, a little notification or just, like, won't let you do it at all rather than being like, Do you want to eat this pancakes <laughs> instead of putting it in your furnace and be like no i just i just misclicked don't make me don't make me go through this whole rigmarole ken intro event and robin flute block event are now skippable fair enough most most cutscenes are so that's just brings them in line uh on pc you can now shift right click an item on the toolbar to throw it out of your inventory very very nice quality of life you can now press y or n key to confirm the cancel leave festival confirmation box good I mean, using Y or N should be commonplace in pretty much all text boxes that work like that, I think. Um, holding left shift, left control, and one when buying from a shop will attempt to buy a stack of 999. Whoa. <laughs> Gone are the days of spam clicking for like 25 at a time, because even 25 at a time was not enough sometimes. Now I can buy all the hay I ever wanted from Marnie in just a few short clicks. Left shift, left control, and one. That's a combination you're never going to press by accident, so that's that's really good. That's really, really good. All right. We're not going to go through the fixes, so this is the final section here. Other changes, just miscellaneous changes. Optimized hay, bu hay buying for your randomized perfection experience. Adventurer's Guild now stays open until 2 a.m., though the music will not play after midnight. I'm, I'm down, for the, down with that. Gender-specific clothing variants can now be worn by any gender. Oh, so, like, guy, Wait, guys can wear skirts now! <laughs> Yo, wait, I didn't even realize that that wasn't a thing. That is big. Yo, thank you, Concerned Ape. We, we stand more diverse representation that way. All my homies can be wearing skirts and dresses from here on out. What are my preferred pronouns? They are he slash him. Thank you. Thank you for asking. If you have 12 hearts or more with your spouse, the chance they'll say a neutral dialogue in the afternoon, which comes across as negative, which sometimes comes across as negative, is significantly lower, down from a 25% chance to a 5% chance. Everyone has bad days, so it's, I'm glad there's still a chance there. Penny's Forest Picnic and Leia's Forest Picnic events now only happen if it's sunny. Yeah, the, the picnic events meeting in the rain was kind of weird. <laughs> NPCs now try to avoid walking through trees and other terrain features. Keyword try. Kent, you were doing your best. I respect it. Cabins have been combined into one entry on Robin's menu. Instead of being like four different options they have to scroll through, that's that's good. Replace pet icons on the inventory tab with the current date. Yeah, pets ha now have like their own tab anyway, so that's totally fine. 
or animals in general have their own tab, I suppose. Um, the organize button now sorts items in a more intelligent way. It already did such a good job. I don't even know how he could how he could improve upon it, but I'll take his word for it. You can now try and drink mayonnaise and and jelly and eat pickles. So so beautiful. <laughs> so many possibilities for fun little interactions there. I wonder I I wonder if pickles and jelly then have differing like energy values based on like what you use to make them. I'd be interested to see. Some colored objects now count as their color for chi quests and die menus. Okay, so that is just a rebal rebalancing some of the colored items. That's that's good. Um, clam is now considered a fish, just like all other shellfish. You son of a why I oughta. You just want to make my life that much harder on my next master angler run, don't you? Put them up, put them up. Add out more descriptive titles to daily quests. Bounty for, for slimes and stuff, I like it. Added Cyrillic text sp sprite text and some translated pixel art text. Okay, that's good. Added the date, time, slash money box in Chinese. Uh, not going to matter to me, but I'm happy for Chinese players. Thank you. The about, the about page now shows the build number. Skull Caves now have a chance to also play music from the upper mines. Nice little variety there. I like that. Changed parrot flap sound to be different from bat flaps. Didn't even notice that it was the same, honestly, but maybe I'll notice the new one now. Pans now have a chance to yield bone fragments. New bone fragment tech is good. Made character randomization a little less random and added some of the new hairstyles and accessories to the mix. New hairstyles? I didn't even think I knew there was new hairstyles. Um... Pans no longer yield the same thing if you pan in the same spot twice in a day. Oh man, no more doubling up on lucky rings. That's for the best. The, pa the about page no longer hides the version of a tip message is shown. Good. The order that you'll get the forge enchantments is now unique per player rather than per farm. Interesting. So you can still, so even if you reset the day, you're still going to get the same order, but it's based on your player rather than your farm, which really only matters in like multiplayer, I guess, but still. The Ginger Island Shrine item, pedestal, item pedestals are now normal items. Modded players can now can spawn them to display items decoratively, though they're not obtainable in vanilla currently. Okay, so that's just more options for like aesthetics, if you have the mods to to, to get those and stuff. Nifty. Uh, map no longer chooses if you no longer closes if you click on an area of interest. I actually avoided clicking on the Lonely Stone when I was looking at the map previously for that exact reason, so that's good to know that that doesn't happen. And finally, fix some NPC schedules that weren't previously applied. Lewis visiting the library on winter Sundays, Maru and Penny hanging out on summer Sundays, Maru tinkering on summer Mondays, and after reaching six hearts with some NPCs, they won't visit their rival love interest anymore. This affects Alex visiting Haley, Elliot visiting Leia, and Haley visiting Alex. Haley, thank you. Thank you. It is fitting to end on a Haley related change note. Finally. Finally. <laughs> She's all mine, Alex. She's all mine. You can still be friends. It's fine. Well, geez, Louise. Those patch notes were sure something else. And honestly, they didn't take away from the exploratory instinct that I still have. I still want to dive into 1.6. And explore even more, uncover what some of these mean, explore them in more depth. There's there's still so much left to uncover. I can't wait to do more of that. But for now, I think we are past due where we need to end this stream. It is almost 9 p.m. I started at like at, at 10 a.m. for me, so it's yeah, closing in on 11 hours here. <laughs> <laughs> hope you had a good day with the update. Thank you, Sal. I hope you also had a good day with the update in whatever capacity you explored it. We had a lot of fun with it. I definitely had a lot of fun. I hope that everyone watching got something fun and interesting out of it. And I can't wait to continue exploring 1.6 with you. Um, for now, still salivating from eating all, from eating all that mayonnaise, right? <laughs> Uh, best of luck with the new, with the 25 new hats, by the way. <laughs> Just have fun with that. At any rate, I digress. I'm going to get out of here, go have something to eat, and just, like, chill out. Um, and I'll see you all on Thursday, where we'll continue to explore more 1.6 shenanigans. <laughs>
Oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you all for joining me on this first dive into this new exciting era of Stardew Valley. It means the world that you joined me for it, and I'm glad that we got to experience it together and see so much fun stuff. It feels like a whole new game. And in many ways it is. Alright everyone, I'll send you off with some fan art as per usual. Be good to one another, be good to yourselves. And as always, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night everybody. Bye-bye.